is rock solid. If your birthday is today or this month, you gotta celebrate right now. Break out the bubbly or make a toast. Yeah. Today is your birthday, it's all about you. Today is your birthday, go and act a fool. Today is your birthday, what you gonna do? I'm gonna celebrate all day, me too. Today is your birthday, it's all about you. Today is your birthday, go and act a fool. Today is your birthday, what you gonna do? I'm gonna celebrate all day, me too. Today is my birthday, what you gonna get me? I'm headed to the club, baby, come party with me. Let's make a toast, why? It's a celebration, the day that I was born. Show me love, stop hating. I get that cake, I You're get life. that cream. cream. Today I don't You're dress, life. I just stay fresh You're and clean. Life. Walk with a lean, show that birthday <laughs> swagger. <laughs> Collect <laughs> that money, baby, nothing else matters. Put on a fresh fit and some brand new kicks. I'm another year older, where's my birthday licks? Don't trip, that means I'm more grown and sexy. Today I want my family and friends to all sweat me. Even if there's no more of a party, gonna live my life like it's one big party. Cheers to the birthday, boys and girls, who survived another year living in this crazy world. Today is your birthday, it's all about you. Today is your birthday, go and act a fool. Today is your birthday, what you gonna do? I'm gonna celebrate all day, me too. Today is your birthday, it's all about you. Today is your birthday, go and act a fool. Today is your birthday, what you gonna do? I'm gonna celebrate all day. Brush the dirt off your shoulders, you're another year older. Your life is being up and down like roller coasters. But see today, just go out and have fun. Get your freak on the birthday. Man, I hate this song. <laughs> Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Music time. Okay, intro. At a hundred likes, devouring a entire banana. I will do that so you don't have to. A hundred likes. I'm not asking for much. Just a hundred likes. <laughs> Uh, happy birthday, everybody. I hope you're having fun, fun for your birthday. We're all getting 40 today. Let's go, some clout. You're begging. A nice lean in manual. It's been tough. You know, my life has been tough. Get a real fucking job. All of my shit, what? Prank my dog for the vlog. I stout real pod. You busy trying to get fame. I'm busy counting this money. Calling myself a comedian, but none of my shit even funny. I used to work for the coin. Now I rap out with the boys. Pretend to get money to bums. Now I got money for toys. Puffing on perp for the snap. I run the Rory and take it right back. Bitches be sleeping with me, but they just be in it for Speaking of that banana earlier, 
this is this is the best banana related video ever let's let's enjoy this video okay we're still in the intro phase nothing has happened yet the atheist nightmare you'll find on the far side there are three ridges on the close side two ridges if you get your hand ready to grip a banana you'll find on the far side there are three grooves on the close side two grooves the banana and the hand are perfectly made one for the other you'll find the maker of the banana almighty god has made it with a non-slip surface it has outward indicators of inward contents green too early yellow just right black too late now if you go to the top of the banana you'll find as with the soda can makers they placed a tab at the top so god has placed a tab at the top when you pull the tab the contents don't squirt in your face you'll find the wrapper which is biodegradable has perforations notice how gracefully it sits over the human hand notice it has a point at the top for ease of entry it's just the right shape for the human mouth it's chewy easy to digest <laughs> and it's even curved toward the face to make the whole process it's just the right so shape i thought he would put it in his mouth come on this guy is fucking underwhelming much easier Seriously, uh, Kurt, the whole of creation hello did. everybody welcome this is uh proving that god is real Justify through bananas to the genius of god's creative oh, it absolutely does it absolutely does big ups this is debunked what are we gonna do now let's listen to some more music what music i don't know i guess squeeze banana fuck it <laughs> uh today's gonna be great and the worst thing is that this guy's day hasn't even started yet and i had a full day before this so it's gonna be tough what is this peppa pig no, that's stupid. That's cringe. I'm not a children's entertainer because I'm not a puppet. I'm not here to play a character. I'm not here to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I don't dye my hair. I don't act stupidly constantly to get attention from children. I don't. Do Obviously, he's gonna be bawling today. It's gonna be great. I don't cause drama. I'm here to he's gonna ball to real fun. hard. I'm a legitimate gamer. He's a legitimate he gamer, after all. Act and talk a certain way with certain mannerisms, certain over the top reactions. Screaming at the top of their lungs, jumping, flailing, moving, constantly on camera. I need banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana. Please, the peeling comes in there, put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth. When we hit the 250 vestry, all right, enough tomfoolery. A new vest. Enough. There Enough. Celebratory bubble blow. Enough. Very nice. Uh, oh, very let's listen to this instead. Oh no, this is terrible. This is terrible. Uh, clown emotes all over this, <laughs> all over the screen, please. <laughs> Come on, Chad. Clown emotes. Uh, first, we're gonna catch up on videos that you guys voted to be highlights. Don't kill, but she's a step and still. 
<laughs> Epic. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's get to business. Let's get to business in this aptly named playlist, uh, 40 Years of Failure. Now, these are some of the videos that, that you, the audience, yes, you, you voted for to be DSP's highlights. Highlights, I mean, amazing moments, obviously. That are all super positive, and none of them are, are terrible or make him embarrassing. Now, uh... Yeah, let's get started. First of all, big ups everybody. I'm gonna be here all day. I'm gonna be looking at Phil at a hundred likes, popping a banana, devoured entire banana on camera for your viewing pleasure. I'm even gonna make the camera bigger and I'm gonna turn on my professional lights so it can be super professional and one of them fell. Now, after this, we're gonna watch DSP uh, we're gonna do the racing stuff that we did on Christmas. That was fun. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna make a song when he's on break. We're gonna work on that depression song together. And you're gonna tell me what to clip and what goes in the song, I guess. And then a bunch of shit. Maybe some gaming side by side with DSP. Because I anticipated his shit to be super boring all day long. Because he's gonna get a bunch of money and play a bunch of games he's already playing on the normal stream. So this is not going to be something special for him. So I guess we got to make it special ourselves. So let's get to it. First, we summarize the 40 years of chill. Then we watch the 40 years of chill live. And then that's it. The, the, then we do a bunch of stuff that I already said we're going to do. Okay. First, let's start with And I'm not going to watch these whole videos because they're all uh, long. Some of them. Uh, we're gonna start with this one because it's ancient and it's really funny. It's really funny because the moment the video starts, this is the first thing you hear. I hate worthless humans. If you worked on this part of the game, you're a worthless human. Go kill yourself. Huh? How does that make any sense? This is how the video starts. And this was voted on the community post that I, uh, that I made the other day. Big ups to all of that. I got as many of those videos as I could find. And we're gonna go through them. I was gonna make a video at first, but then I didn't. So that's how life works. Okay, so th this is the first one. Is when he said this. Hi. At at the <laughs> one second mark. I hate worthless humans. If you worked on this part of the game, you're a worthless human. Go kill yourself. That's very nice. And there was like applause in the background. That was so positive and chill. Fitting for a king of positivity. Then... Uh, and this was basically the whole thing. Did he rant for, about this for some more? Go fucking kill yourself. Oh no, he just doubles down. Very nice. And make sure you this do way. it in a way that doesn't hurt anyone else. Oh, we keep going. We keep going. So like jump off a fucking bridge or something. Oh, we keep going even more. And do it in the dead of night so no one tries to save you. Because you don't deserve it. Alright. Alright. This, this was great. Uh, this didn't get him banned off of anything, seems like. And not many people remember this. There was... Wow. Big ups for the, the balling, dude. Dominic You're going to need some big positivity to get through this one. I hope this helps, bro. <laughs> big ups for the positivity. Thank you, yeah. This is going to help me so much to get through this. Hint, hint, you guys. <laughs> I was going to get through it anyways. But this helps me so much with the positivity. It makes all the things that I do mean like they, they mean something to somebody. It's been tough. You know, my life has been tough over the last decade. It has. <laughs> Big ups for the, for the pull-up splash three-pointer. Buzzer beater, I guess. It was nice. Uh, Alright, so this was the first one. This was the first segment. Uh, the first entry of the segment. And it only gets... Funnier than this, we got the next one. Let's see the the homeless dude, homeless P3DO. What could that be? Donates three hundred bucks to Phil, and DSP complains about it because it's uh no, it was just he took it and he flexed. I think I, I don't know. I, I actually don't remember this, and it was pretty recent. 
free members this month. I don't know what to tell you. People don't want to re-up their membership. Again, I, what I keep telling you guys is this. And we, we... The membership of this... Right off the gate, <laughs> we're begging for members. He looks a little bit dark. I should fix oh, the, the color correction on this. Thing. Oh, I'm paying to get something directly as a result of it. What it's supposed to be is, you like the content I put out, okay? You like these daily live streams that are free. You like the fact that I do it in a different manner than a lot of other people who do this for a living, right? The honesty, the transparency, and the lack of advertisement. There's no shilling here. There's, There's no here. shilling here. So because of that, it's you not say, much oh, better though. well, I know that if I become a channel member for a few bucks a month, it supports the effort to keep that going. Here you go. It's not supposed to be, oh, here's a few dollars. What do I get for it? Here's a few dollars. Where's my transaction? Where do I, where's the product I purchased? That's not what a membership to a YouTube channel is, okay? Sadly, I think there's a lot of people who see to think that it's way. It's terrible. So there's nothing that I can do to make him not look like shit. On Twitch, they say, I bought Never mind, something. let's just carry no, on. You didn't. You literally bought nothing when you became a channel member or a sub or anything. You bought nothing. What you said is hey, you're big supporting up, that uh, content creator. You like that person and the content they put out enough that you want to oh, wait. We're going, going right into brainwashing stuff. Let's see when the, when the contribution happens. Because I was here for this one bit. But then, oh, okay, holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here's when it starts. And um, uh, we got to zoom in. Lean in manual zoom. While I was balancing all of that with other stuff. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen, wow. Wow. The, wow. Whoa. Whoa. YouTube Whoa. Doesn't care. <laughs> oh my God. What the F? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new animation. Just busted a fifteen dollars and ninety eight cents super chat. Big ups, happy birthday, pig roach party popper. But the real party is here, party popper. <laughs> hey, big ups, uh, thanks. It's my birthday today, you guys. And by the way, it's actually not my birthday. I don't want anybody to think it's my birthday. It's everyone's birthday. That's the new everyone's birthday. Big ups, uh, Omega Kurt. What? And this is the new animation. It's the guy. Did you see? I he said I'll be the guy. It was like a song. Yeah, I made it. Wow. <laughs> That's great, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to Sean who just tipped me not one, not two, three hundred dollars. This is so great when he does the not one, not two. Holy! It's shit. it's always great. Thank you. We were in the Sean, hospital for not one, not two, not three, but not four, five hours. Thank you so much. That is incredibly generous. I was not expecting that at all. That is crazy. First of all, let's get you on the leaderboard. And let's now, get you I mean, on we the went leaderboard. $16 to throw $300 because of Sean. And then Kiwi Farms did Thank the lean-in manual Thank research. You. So holy crap! And they proved what you see on the title. It's a homeless pedo dude. Now here's the thing. we don't have a lot of time left on the stream. We have like maybe 20 minutes left. Oh my god! Stupid indigestion today. Ooh. <laughs> Stupid indigestion. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was I had a meatball grinder for dinner. What? It's annoying me. Um, so we really don't have time for the polls. And rather than sitting here like an idiot, I think what I'll do is I'll grab... <laughs> the, patting his chest off. always gets yeah, me. Uh, it's always a thing that it's like, okay, this is where we draw the line. This is where, if not the snorts or the burps, this is where we draw the line. A forced burp. This is not happening in a, in a productive professional environment. I'm going to, by the way, Sean, I'm going to read your message. Don't worry. I'm definitely going to read your message, but I want to give the rewards first before we get to the, the rewards. People will be wait. upset if I don't give them the rewards. Even people though would be you, upset, but wait, what? He usually, rewards, like, doesn't mind delaying the rewards. But now, probably because the message, because dude was like, hey, I'm homeless, well, but I'm giving you $300. <laughs> Did he say that in the message? Right. I guess we're about to find out. How much can I zoom this out without it being obnoxious? Let's do this. For now? Cat hair all over my chair. Okay. That's disgusting, Diaz. Let's do this. At four minutes. Since we don't have a lot of time. The original and best. Beige vest and a cowboy hat. Oh no, the no, cowboy hat in the vest. Just busted a $10 super chat. 
Big ups, happy pig day fellow Derek's. Also, how cheap do you have to be to bot use a soundboard through a stream? Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Eisenhorn oh. just busted a $2 what? super chat. Big ups, it's all T E V I N S fault B B B B B B B B A A A L L L L L L L E E E E E R R R R R R uh big ups you guys but uh i'm i'm trying to understand you have to be to bot be to bot use a soundboard through a stream uh i didn't get this but but big ups uh big ups eisenhorn and pro farah and happy fellow <laughs> happy pig day uh, i didn't get it. if you explained to me in chat about the soundboard i can maybe answer your question yes anyone even thinks of trying to complain because you didn't want the cowboy hat or the vest, Sean is literally the only person who has a right to complain because he just did a $300 tip. So if Sean is upset, I apologize. Everyone else can fuck off because you didn't <laughs> contribute to make this happen. Sean did. So you have no right to complain. I don't want to hear you bitching about it, okay? All right. Now also, you're right. Gunner glasses as well. Let me get the glasses. Cletus is actually giving me shit. He goes, you didn't do the gunner glasses. He's complaining okay, that people are there. complaining. And he already got yeah. his money. What? Sean, Why would you complain? thank you so much for a whopping $300 tip. He says the following. Hey, man, I've been watching you since the original Street Fighter 4 days. I never tipped before. But I want to say I truly appreciate you getting me into fighting games. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike and Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. All thanks to you. Keep Street Fighter Fridays, please. Please. Okay, they're, they've up. been kept. And That's all I it said, took. It, we're in the middle of an incredible... A positive game. message. Okay. Attack attached to $300. <laughs> The games this year are so odd because they're Man, but this was really before Jax Raxer, or wasn't. Uh, no, probably not. This was like October 25th. I, new I don't know. At all. They're just not. The games I'm playing remastered I have no here, idea who his pay picks are. I just know game. that they're, there's way less than he thinks they are. Here, uh, new installment like of a game that's been around picks. for 15 years here that plays like all the other ones. There's really no hype behind the stuff that's been going on recently. I would argue that in November we'll have way more All right, talk about being homeless already. Did he say it? Or, or they found his social media. Uh, someone found his social media. I don't know who, man. And we get comments. I can't even find. I think that was the message. Or he's beating around the bush. Or he's fucking around. But it's like, yeah, he's talking in circles. I can read the transcript. It's terrible. Thank you. And we're back to thank you. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Sean. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so All right, much. Big ups. This, was, way, uh, this was the thing. I think after the fact... Oh, there's screenshots. Okay. 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 Here it starts. About this, okay? What's well, hilarious. We're so, going to laugh as you guys a saw, ton. I was streaming, and we were approaching the end of the stream. We got about another 15 minutes left tonight, right? And as we were getting closer to the end of the stream... I think the soundboard thing was a typo. I think you meant to say to not use a soundboard. And that the way he uses his, it's probably because he can't figure out how to do it. And then he needs to clip all the the sound effects and put them there. And they need to kind of sound the same loudness. You know what I mean? Dream, the viewer count was going up. Do you want to know why the viewer count was going up? Because I only had $16 in tips. And scumbags like scumbags the and laugh or point or say nasty things. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the funniest shit about uh, watching DSP shit. If you're one of those guys that would go in his chat and just talk about low tips to me when I have a stream going and <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. have a lot of stuff that I've raised on that stream. They actually get jolly like jolly jolly out of oh we want to go make fun of Phil or imagine thinking DSP doesn't deserve three hundred dollars a day. Imagine thinking that. You are so mentally ill. Try to stick it to Phil or be dickheads to Phil. Let's be dickheads to Phil. So the viewer count was going up and up and up. At one point, it was like 320 people. And now since Sean wow. tipped... How dare you not think DSP deserves this much money now every day? Now dropped 50 people. <laughs> the, Fantastic. Oh, shit. He, uh, he, made, he did good tonight? Oh, man. I need the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. These people are so fucking pathetic, man. They literally came here to try to crap on my parade. And because someone contributed, they actually got upset and left the stream. Now I'm not sure if he's complaining about low views or about trolls. Because it's both. He's still complaining about the views having dropped. Because somebody brought it up. <laughs> this is remarkable. It's remarkable. It's this is how it's going to be today as well. This is how it's going to be today. So get ready. 
Oh, and after these, which is like 12 videos and probably more. Uh, after this, if he hasn't even started yet, then we can watch the previous birthdays, which are great. Cool. As you can tell by his normal loser? streams. But anyway, all or his ev everything else. Jones the and today is going to be particularly bad because he's going to play four games he's already playing. So it's going to be like a perfectly normal stream, except long and with a ton of breaks. And we have to fill in the blanks during those breaks and do some stuff. Oh, we're going to play Jackbox later today. We're going to do Quiplash. Maybe during his gameplay, because that shit is going to be trash. You want to watch him play Kirby? Come on. Jones, we're going to play together. You don't need anything for, for the Jackbox stuff. Tired of waste their time. Oh, is it only five hours? Then he's going to play a game an hour? I don't know. I expect it to be like long. Doing shit like, like the Christmas thing. Because th there was like a build up week to it. I know it's going to be underwhelming. I'm, I'm sure of that. I just don't know if it's going to be really like that because they're losers. Like if, if he wants to hype it up, I'm telling you because they have no life. They literally came to. Oh, did you hear DSP is about to finish his stream? Well, and he only raised $16 tonight. Nice. Let's go over Hero there. Monica too just busted a $2 super chat. Let's Big go over ups, there. Bust, Foon, girthy, interactive Foon. stream dude. N U H H. Big up uh, for the robust Foon stream. Big up pseudo Monica. Get together and harass him. Pet. All right, let's do it, guys. And they all fucking text each other and they all post up on their fucking loser. Oh, with the wheelchair symbol, the the TTS lady calls it, uh, uh, what was it? Wheelchair accessible. Rooms. <laughs> that was great. It's not a wheelchair symbol anymore. Fucking post on each other's social media and they then they come on to the stream. All 50 of them. Media. They come in. Here we come. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, really? Oh, shit. A tip. Then the then that kind of means that the trolls have way more of an organized community than his own community that is supposed to be way more positive and way more good than the trolls i'm convinced Fucking oh wow there was a massive bold spot what the fuck social media what was happening they there the yo they come in here we come let's major do it. alert let's do it. oh shit. major bold alert yo that was holy shit that was just scalp fucking post on each other's social media just scalp raw stream, all 50 of them they come in here we come let's do it let's do it oh shit a tip oh shit a tip oh fucking wow shit, man. wow Bill did good tonight fuck this no, man i can't and then they shit, i can't even shit. fucking find it but because i'm terrible oh wow there we go there we go one thousand percent Wow. Fucking shit, man. Phil did good tonight. <laughs> fuck this, man. Uh, Holy fuck. And it immediately tried to conceal it. And then they go storming. Immediately. He didn't do anything else. They're losers. Normal people oh, don't no. act like that. Normal people have a life. Oh, they don't have time to do that shit. Anyway. Oh. Rip. Now the next one. You guys know this very well. I'm going to play the, the clip itself. <laughs> uh, this is by Mighty D. Big, big ups. Uh, and to everybody else whose videos I'm watching today. Probably not gonna put all of them in the description, but you know what I mean? Shout out. Oh yeah, it's the part wolf girl. This was also a... Uh, quite a few people said this on the on the community post. I'm 11. I'm 11. You're 11? Yes. And your parents bought you a gaming the PC? Which wrong a kid. with this fish here? <laughs> Click on it, ah. <laughs> just so you know. Good, now I'm away from that annoying oh, fucking girl. bitch of a kid who I would have slapped in real fucking life if they talked to me like that. <laughs> ah. Hey, big ups uh, Almighty Bri for the $1.69 tip. I don't know why the TTS didn't play for this. Uh, happy birthday from all of us in the human species community. Big ups. It's not my birthday today. Like, actually, for real. Don't, don't be spreading rumors. Like, for real. <laughs> but thank you. It's everybody's birthday. I already said. Okay, pimp slapped that shit out of that. <laughs> what the? I want fuck? it to be anyway. out there. It's not my birthday. No! I'm gonna tell you when my birthday is. I got an. And I'll tell you what to buy me. Oh what am I doing with this? Why am I playing? I'm gonna make an Amazon wish list. This game. I right, watch this. Watch this one. All right, guys. It's time to fess up. How many of you are actually above the age of 16 in this room? Huh? None. Zero. Not one person responded. Holy shit. Oh, no, not surprise. even one? <laughs> okay. 
Yes, he, but he he sounded kind of sus. He kind of kind of sounded like a like what a pedophile would say. Am I doing? Hey, you guys, is there anybody here who's like over sixteen? I'm just asking. Uh, you guys, they didn't say anything. Okay, girl, what are you wearing? With this, why am I playing this game? <laughs> I right, watched this. It was so bizarre. Let's watch this one. All right, guys, it's time to fess up. How many of you are actually above the age of sixteen in this room? Wow. He said this plenty of times before, huh? So this was the one. And it's quite a funny one when he wanted to slap a girl. Now the next one is a stationary style moment. And everybody knows who it is. Uh, it's Arnold. It's the guy. However, uh, he did not say anything. He said uh, Schwartz and Burnell. And everybody got mad. For what? For nothing. Everybody got mad, but he didn't say anything. Wow. Game Chugger just did another $10. I'm compelled to tip you again for another epic moment. Also, we get to see Jingle All The Way animation again. Yes. <laughs> Arnold Filzen. Filzen. Or have Marcian about right? to bust. Domino's Pizza Corporate just saying? busted a $2. Come on, Domino's. You, you played over this. Right? Big ups, big ups to the Hulkamaniacs and Derek's in <laughs> Hey, big ups to the Hulkamaniacs. And big ups to Domino's Pizza. How do you say... How do you say it? Uh, How do you say it? right? <laughs> Very nice. All right, let us continue. Um. Vernelza, uh, Vernelza <laughs> This was great. And then what followed was, was he salty about it here? Oh yeah, uh, Chad is saying that I said the, the a thing. That's not a bad word, so shut the fuck up. It's not up. a bad word, Schwarzenegger. <laughs> How is it a bad say, word? I didn't say the word you're insinuating. Schwartz and Vernell. Now fuck off. <laughs> and then his address was even better. I love his address actually way more than this segment. Because this is uncomfortable. But him talking about it in the uh, the stream or the daily rap was called I did not say that. Let's see if I can find it looking only on the search. I did not say that. That's how it was called. And... Oh, Shinko comes up first, which is cool. But I think it should have been a daily wrap, but it... I don't know. It's kind of a lame, so it probably doesn't come up. Oh, and here... This is the thumbnail. The bold spot was the thumbnail. I didn't even notice. It was a massive bold spot. <laughs> it was a whole stroke. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, oh, here it is in the beginning. That's how it's called, actually. I did not say that. The daily rap. Let's let's see if I can find it like that. Cause he was like, everybody was mad, but I don't even know why. No, it doesn't. It didn't come up. Did he delete it? Cause cause sometimes he does these little Weasley things that actually tell you what kind of person he is by doing these like behind the scenes secret stuff. Well, I can't find it. Maybe I scrolled through it. Whatever. Uh. Okay. And I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. This is long as fuck. Holy shit. Let's find him when he's at the greasiest point. The greasiest guy. There's a difference. There really is a difference. I don't understand difference? how people don't get that difference. What? Freedom of speech means I can literally sit here and say every incorrect thing ever about anyone and I'm completely protected. Wrong. That's not freedom exactly. of speech. Exactly. That's what I'm doing right Go now. Research the doctrine. Go out research what the doctrine. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is about. a great uh, low context no, segment. No, here's the truth about freedom of speech. Okay? Okay. This Let's is a great place to start this for rant. For example, our government is doing something you disagree with. You don't like the way our government is yes. running. Yes. Okay? You can say, I don't like the way our government is running, and the government yeah. can't come to your house and beat you up and arrest you and throw you in a gulag. What? The gulag? Are we playing Warzone now? Someone absolutely has the... <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, DSP? How is this a part of his rant about saying the N-word? This is so bizarre. Let us continue. What is here? Schwarzenegger. And he says it like a bunch of times here. Oh no, this is still the clip. 
All right, losers. Oh, okay, so he's greasy right off the gate. Oh, uh, Metroid Dread Stream, just to clear the air, because it's, it's so dumb. There's really just way to clear the air. I did not say that. Once again, the internet is such a boring place for losers. That's what you yeah. heard. What they try to do is they try to you clear it idiot. that's not real and turn it into something for their own personal benefit. Yes, hey, twisting into drama. Know, recently, my streams have been going really great. Everything's of course, been going good amazing, and except your team. facial hair. You know, right now the holiday season's in full swing. Scratch, scratch. Things. Everything I'm doing, and, you know, holiday festive feelings on my streams, animations, everything. Oh, yeah. Great, right? Holiday and festive. So, oh, yeah, this was Christmas. People hate that. Christmas. Oh, my God. Phil's doing well. Oh, my God. He's been doing streams where people are supporting the stream. Oh, my God. He's drinking and gin. The content is good. And, the, you know, things are going better on DSP. <laughs> yeah. On YouTube. You're kidding me. Massive coping. subs on the channel. Oh, my God. Now. He puts, he puts like, whole novels in people's mouths. Not even a fucking words in their mouth or a sentence. A whole novel in their mouth. Man, that this exactly what I think. What he said. My God, Phil's doing well. Oh my God, he's been doing streams where people are supporting. This is exactly what I say to myself. Right is before I go to bed every night, I'm like, man, Phil's been doing so good. By the way, holy shit, I forgot to say this. Everybody's been laughing about this. Uh, DSP Gaming has a birthday bash celebration that looks like this. This is his actual thumbnail. The actual thumbnail is is a child's fourth birthday party template. Holy fuck. This is how he does it. This is a professional guy. He built an empire for this. An empire of, of video game playthroughs. 61,001 video. The one stands for KO Gaming 1. And today is going to be a bunch more videos. But yeah, this is it. DSP's 40th birthday bash live stream. I really appreciate this and it's very meaningful. This is also what well, I say to myself. You know, things are going better on DSP Gaming on YouTube. You're kidding me. He's actually getting subs on the channel now. People are starting huh? to like his videos and leave what? comments on the videos and positive stuff. Oh my god, no. On DSP his channel is, is popping off. His channel is so hot. Oh my god, DSP's channel. Is so incredible i can't i can't believe he managed 14 years and to get to a state where he gets 400 views oh my god this guy is incredible i am so jealous and i just hate on him just to exist this is my entire existence is hating on phil and thinking man phil streams are doing so good with these 400 views and these 200 views from two days ago Man, I I love this. Oh, I forgot. Wait, I I didn't. I don't love this. I hate this. He is so successful. <laughs> I mean, how dare so Bill successful? Get even a mode of Bro, this guy for real. Like, there's some videos that virtually nobody cares about. And when I say nobody cares, I mean for him, for his uh, level of of where he is. Two hundred people. Come on, from two days ago. And this may be like 10 views you can accredit <laughs> to some dude that just randomly clicked on it and didn't mean to. And a bunch of those other people that didn't even finish watching the end of the video. So oh, this is about the Arnold gate. This is this is what happened. I actually did not say this. Wait, was there a uh, Burnell? Can I find this? Oh, yeah. This is how you say it. Feels no, this is in the beginning. I want to find later. Of Schwarzenegger and oh, yeah? my name. Like I do what? It twice. I actually say okay. Phil in that, and then I Phil say Burnell what? in that. Burnell in that. And I'm like, twice I say it. And <laughs> he, he was even wrong about this. That's exactly not what happens. And first thing you think, right, is this dude's a live streamer. He can put on the fucking YouTube window and watch the baby. thing live. What? <laughs> Big ups. <laughs> Clapping Jasper Cheap. Cheeks for the dollar. Happy birthday to Wolverine, Derek, Hulk Hogan, and Arnold Stationery. Uh, big ups for the tip. So what I was saying, he can put up YouTube and watch the video in real time and then say, hey, look, I didn't say this. But then it would be kind of like, hey, I said this, but I didn't mean to say it. And then it would be like, uh, this never happened at all. He, he never wants to do the reaction thing because that would mean he's in the tiniest bit uh, confronted. Let's keep going. Either time, am I saying what the people are trying to say? Like I what? said 
you have to actually be lying to say oh, that that's we are saying. lying that's the fucking clip how are we lying this is the clip it's here it's an egg, you're stupid but people are dumb it's an egg, you're what, stupid. Did he, what did he say Nails. <laughs> oh here it is after the last Arnold fills and fills a nigger what right? <laughs> How do you say? Da, 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 uh, Brunelza, Brunelza Nager, right? <laughs> Rogesi is now indoctrinated in the cult of chill. Big ups and sip the cool. Hey, big ups, uh, Rogesi for the the membership, dude. Enjoy your uh, benefits that are better than DSP's benefits. Because, uh, very nice. I don't know. This guy's a professional, and I'm not. All right, now the next one. The next one. Oh, we can actually start getting to this one right away. I have it open. DSP explodes on a hundred fifty dollar super chatter after not sending a tip instead. And it was what makes it funnier is that it was Mexican dollars. All right, so we got a couple more shout outs. So he got baited by the pop up that was red, and then he was like, "Man, this is like a million dollars." And then it was like, "It's not," but he he still complained about it. To do. First of all, a shout out to Calvin, who, or I say oh, and then Calvin. he he flexed Calvin. on him in his he message. Calvin, it's now. He was like, dude, I I have way more sponsorships. His name is Calvacorp. <laughs> so Calvacorp did a giant super chat. Okay, are we gonna get to see it? Two thousand Mexican pesos. I have no wow. idea what that translates to in American dollars, but it's pretty. Um, one million Ameri says, this American dollars. Dread, even with the ridiculous amount YouTube it's like takes a million. to play the game, it's a masterpiece. I'm off to stream myself this time. I'll see you later for reals. Put some nice glasses on, bro. First of all. I do appreciate it. However, if you are a streamer on YouTube, you should know that number one, super chats are not tips. <laughs> super chats, super are, chats not are not tips. tips. I don't get a super chat till the end of December. So oh, no. unless I'm gonna wait till the end of December to play Metroid Dread, sadly your super chat will not help with that. Number two, the tips goal is just that for tips. So no, I'm not putting on the gunner glasses because super chats have nothing to do with tips tips goal. The point of the tips goal is to motivate people to give me a tip that I can use now for bills and stuff because I need it in the next week. All right, so I appreciate the super chat very much. It helps a lot. This will help me like the end of December when I get paid by YouTube. Oh sadly, no, it's, it's delayed and incomplete part. support. Right? So no Metroid Dread as a result of that, but this very well could help me the end of December into January for all the new game stuff. So thank you for that. Okay. Now this guy is trolling. You see this shit? Yeah. Right, you know and, I mean, the guy dunks on him, but still gives him money. Uh, it's a red super chat, which means it's like a million dollars. Uh, you just have to be grateful. This money is what my a hundred times smaller channel makes in one night. One with uh, 1.7 thousand subs in Logitech and Asus sponsorships. God damn. Bill, you truly are the architect of your own demise. Enjoy my spare change. You needed more than me. And then he died. Thanks for the money, dummies. Big ups. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, you let's know, see DSP's reaction to this. By the way, this is what somebody else added to the screen, probably blooper. So big ups to that. Otherwise, you would get no context. You know what? Now I'm fucking pissed. Like with Fuck most it. of DSP stuff, this is one of the we weasliest uh, things about him. He tries to conceal so many things. This guy. No, really. Fuck yeah, this, guy. this guy. You can go fuck yourself. Get the fuck out of my channel. Really? <laughs> I, you see, so this guy does super chats, and now he comes in and starts insulting me. Fuck you. And now don't you. come back. Don't. Don't, don't come, come back, back ever. You're a fucking idiot. Likely this is some guy. He's full of shit. Oh, he's full he's of shit. shit. He's lying. His channel is pretty bad, though. This is, they, they do this. They're trying to derail my fucking trash. stream. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the derailing. I really tired am. Tired of the in derailing. Fact, you know I'm what? putting my foot now down. Don't really come back. Yourself, because now I'm taking you off the fucking leaderboard, too. Oh, no. No. This is the ultimate punishment. Even I would say the penultimate punishment, taking him off the leaderboard. This is what people's life goals are, to be on that leaderboard. Come okay, on. let's actually find someone who's actually a nice person. A nice person. King Gokin, put him on the leaderboard. The Only ice God. coffee. It was Kevin. Kevin was the last super Oh, Kevin, he's a nice person. He's a legit fan. So I let's love get Kevin that. up there on the leaderboard. Of course, someone Kevin. Who actually deserves it, instead of coming in here and trying and to... Who deserves all the clout. So fuck you. So this is what somebody uh, voted as uh, uh, the worst DSP moment, which the worst, of course, is a buzzword because he didn't kill anybody or something, but it's like, just a dunce. let's get a list of those. By the way, to give you uh, a sneak peek of what's going to happen at 100 likes, I will eat this piece.
of Tangerine, live on the air, live on the internet, broadcast in front of thousands of children. And I'm actually gonna make the camera uh, this big. Now I will devour this. And all of the other pieces after this cost uh, uh, <laughs> one million dollars and a thousand likes. Okay, look at this. Wait, we have over a, a hundred? Uh, this, now I have to eat the fucking banana. I'm gonna eat it later. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's amazing, you guys. It's so robust. And it's all full of citrusy flavor. Huh? Mmm. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect it. Mm. Big ups for the sub. That boy did he yes. Mmm. 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 Mm. Amazing. Let's keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna eat the banana later. Come on. Not right now. I just ate a piece of uh, of citrusy goodness. And I have more pieces in front of me that are tangy, robust, and rich with flavor. And I, I'm afraid I can't eat all of this today. I, I can't eat all of this. This is so much. This is a whole tangerine and a, a gigantic banana. This is the biggest banana that you've seen. The Atheist Nightmare right here. Easy to eat, like penny, robust, citrusy flavor. And you don't even eat the peel. You just throw it out. Okay? Biodegradable. This is the future. Okay? <laughs> now the next clip. What is the next clip? Uh, oh, it's the Atheist Behold, Nightmare. The Atheist's Nightmare. They're Very nice. Uh, big ups to b that boy Diddy08 for the sub. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Black Mage 666 just busted a $2 uh, super What's going to be next? Big ups put banana in butthole. No, this is not happening. I'm not the amazing atheist. This is not gonna happen on this stream. This is not that kind of a stream. There's some shithead who wants to be insulting me. The <laughs> Let's eat a hamburger helper instead. Now that you all got your appetite. We're gonna play Death Stranding and eat hamburger helper. Uh, this is one of the other fan-voted clips. If you're wondering what I ate for dinner... Ham and this is during uh, depression time. Hamburger helper. At some point. My wife said... Oh, we should do something quick, you know, because she has to work today. She's like, do something that you can make at home. Um, that's quick. By the way, Hamburger Helper is not quick. I'll tell you in a moment. Um, she's like, let's do Hamburger Helper. And By the like, way, it's not Italian quick. Shells. Now, I had never had the Italian shells. When I was a kid, I, my parents used to make Hamburger Helper. They used to make uh, beef stroganoff, cheeseburger, and uh, lasagna flavor. I thought that beef stroganoff and lasagna flavor were pretty good. I actually absolutely hated the cheeseburger flavor. I thought no it was only gross. Fans. I thought it was like very Never fake only cheese fans. tasting. Okay. That's for fucking sellouts. And um, I so that my, wife said, my wife said, oh, you know, try. Well, let's, if I, I open like an OnlyFans, that means I have to stream on Twitch. And I was thinking about going to Twitch and then I, I went on Twitch and I was really confused. And I went back on YouTube. Shell flavor. Let's try because she hasn't had it in a long time either. And I said, okay, we'll do it, oh, whatever. It's question. something quick, right? It's not quick at all. It looks so, so miserable in this. The by itself, <laughs> which in itself why, takes why does he look so miserable in this? Five to ten minutes. Then you have to drain all the fat out of the meat, put the meat oh, back no. in the skillet. Then you have to start. It doesn't take a thousand years. The shells, a bunch of milk, a bunch of hot water. Then you have to put this, the, the, the packets of seasoning in. And then you have to start cooking it into a boil and stir it. Oh, no. Okay, that alone to get it to a boil takes about another five, 10 minutes. Okay, more then when that's done, it says Delicious. you have to simmer it for 25 minutes and stir it constantly so it thickens. So here I am thinking this is gonna be like a 10 minute thing. It took me a fucking hour to make hamburger helper. I'm like, why does it taste so long? I thought it was something fast. I thought the whole- Cause you're a man, baby. <laughs> why does it take so long? Point of hamburger helper yeah, is that you're like a parent you don't have a lot of time you need something you quick to make for your family you're not a parent so you just grab hamburger you throw it in you mix it in you stir it parents you know what parents know how to make it fast as fuck and you're not a parent that's why it takes you an hour your baby would die it's done this was like an hour of work and then after that parents. you know cleaning and everything yeah parents know how to do stuff doxy to phil just busted a two dollars super chat big, big ups, ups for the bus italian hamburger helper takes time it does, of course. Not even an Italian can make it fast. Dang. DSP. Took him a fucking hour to make. 
of that so uh you know after 25 minutes of stirring and simmering it actually did thicken up because at first it was actually liquidy and disgusting i didn't think it was going to be thickened at all but it actually did thicken properly and cooked properly and by the end of the 25 minutes of stirring it was he really he was for real sitting there for 25 minutes in stirring and hey, there was a super chat that didn't pop up what mm, big ups pay pick destroyer for a super chat big ups chat are you ready for the massive bag with the side order of gout in gin don't forget about the main course pigler is hungry for hogan he's gonna be pulling wild today because obviously today is like the day it's ready to go so this didn't pop up on the screen but it's in chat all, so it's it steaming hot I'll and there's no way to wait like I'm, I'm like i don't have time to wait a half an hour for this to cool off i have to eat because it was for I real should... sitting there with his phone playing champions and and cooking this i bet that's what happened i, I of course i don't have any proof of, of this yet i haven't installed cameras in his house but i'm working on it it's gonna be done tomorrow to do before my second i'm gonna live stream it on the internet in front in front of thousands of children Dream. So I had to eat it. I burned my mouth. My tongue's completely burnt now because it was so hot. Like, Jesus Christ, it's like fucking it's steaming out. It took me like 20 minutes to eat it, and it was still <laughs> it was hot when staring. I was eating the last piece. Oh, it was... no, it was still hot. Still hot. Oh, my God. He's so lame. And, and his, his whole point about the parents is the most ridiculous thing because he's like completely incompetent in anything. And he's talking about, man, this is for parents. Yeah, parents know how to do a lot of stuff quick. So they can make this in like 10 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever it says on the, the thing. As I'm eating it, I realize this is one of the most disgusting things I've ever had in my oh, life. Oh no. It was devoid of any kind of actual seasoning flavor. It was the most bland. Oh, by the way, today's uh, pre-stream is going to be awfully obnoxious because he left a weird tweet on Twitter. I'm going to pull it up flavorless cheese i've ever had in my life and that includes like bad mac and cheese this is worse than that it was like it, they call it italian shells there's nothing italian in that there's no tomato flavor at all there's no oregano there's nothing that you would no say oh, this is an italian dish it tastes completely like factory cheese you know what i mean like they took real cheese and they fucking scraped off the edges of the dried up pieces and dried it and dried it and dried it and dried it. And dried it. That's exactly and what they did. you add milk and water to it, it's supposed to be cheese. It's not. It's fucking disgusting. It was like, so I'm eating it I'm like, there's zero flavor. The only thing that had flavor in the whole thing was the, the beef, because of course it was ground beef that I had cooked and it had a little bit of beef flavor to it. The thing was nasty. As I'm eating it, I was like, oh man. Okay, shut up. Shut up about this. Uh, this is great. This is great. So. So, I'm now 40. I have quite a bit of thoughts on this. And I'd live to share them. I'd live, I, Paul, with you all during the pre-stream podcast and all day long during my upcoming marathon stream today. See you then. Oh, no. It's going to be the midlife crisis denial segment again. And last time this happened, it was like 45 minutes long. So, you know it's going to be obnoxious and it's going to be long. Uh, but what... If, if not obnoxious and long, what else would apply to a DSP marathon? I, mean, I really want to eat this, but it's all I have. I don't have anything else ready to eat. Oh, yeah, and, and he got like, what, 50 likes for being 40? Come on, you've been working on this for 14 years. And you're going to get 50 likes for your birthday? Just busted a $5 like five messages? Come on. Big ups. Hamburger helper is the poster child for a quick, easy and decent meal in hand yeah. for working parents who need a big meal. And he took an hour. Yeah. Yikes. So he's he's nowhere near a, a working parent. Oh, he has more than 14,000 followers. He has a bunch of followers, actually. He's a check mark, So instantly he is uh, more positive than everybody else on Twitter. And 26,000. Which is super impressive for this guy. So <laughs> let's go. Let's go and talk about this hamburger helpless. I, I guess I got to eat it, so I forced it down, and I don't, you know. I forced it down. It was down. not appetizing at all. It was disgusting. So what, I, what I'm hoping, um, this is by the way in the same, in the same vibe he got when he was talking about actually having depression, and this is the same type of uh, monologue. <laughs> is that my wife agrees with me, and not that she actually liked that? Oh yeah, of course. 
Would you divorce I don't know her? How she could have liked that. The thing is, I remember as a kid, remember, Would you I remember divorce? As a kid eating hamburger helper and liking some of the flavors. Maybe this one, because I never had this one before. Maybe she's misremembering what kind it was, or maybe they changed it over the years. Because the thing is, it's called Italian shells. There's nothing Italian about it. Like I said, there's no tomato, no oregano, no nothing that would be considered an Italian ingredient is in that dish. It's just shells with disgusting bland cheese sauce, and that's it. There's nothing else to it. It's disgusting. I'm very upset. I'm very no, upset. I'm really upset because that was my dinner, and I worked an hour to make it, and it's terrible. When you, if one, it's one thing if you're like, oh, this is something quick. Right? I'm gonna toss it in a pot, it takes like 10, 15 minutes to warm. Oh, it's terrible. Like that's happened to me. You, you buy one of those pre-made soups, you warm it in a pot, you eat it, oh, it's bland, it's terrible. Big deal. All you do is throw it in a pot, rinse the pot, you're done. No, oh, this is no. like an hour of fucking work. An, an hour, hour of my work. Time. My time wasted. Fuck you, hamburger helper. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking ugly cartoon cremation hand motherfucker. I'm gonna crush right, your ass, wow, I'm gonna squish okay, that, okay, rip okay. that red nose. Right big, ups, big ups to Tyrone who sent a dollar tip that didn't pop up, and I've been trying to make it pop up for like a million years, but it didn't, and said Cat would be a lot more receptive if he just ate that ass. Boom, quick meal. Uh, he, he likes stuff that it's clean and easy to eat, and that's all I'm going to say. Big ups, Tyrone. Tyrone. I'm about to bust. G-R-O-O-K just busted a $5.91 super chat. Big ups. What flavor will Dave's birthday cake be? Hoping for cherry, cherry, check mark foot. Wait, what? Cherry? Uh, cherry. <laughs> yeah, cherry. <laughs> it's gonna be good for the foot. Of course. Uh, probably it's gonna be chocolate and I don't know. I, I don't know. Legit. Legit. I don't know. Is it gonna be a custom cake? Or is it gonna be uh, a store-bought? I would be okay with a, like a store-bought cake. And a banana cake. That would be great. Uh, let's see the the ten year plan. That was another oh, one. To me, dollar thirty says what another happened one. to uh, the ten year what plan? What happened to the ten year plan? What happened to the ten year plan? What are you talking about? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Cherry flavor. I swear to God, people bring shit up from like random shit years and years ago, like it's something pertinent to today. You know. Hey, this didn't happen. It's I not. Don't know what the fuck it's you're not even about. relevant. Thanks for the he chat. had like he was talking about it on two separate occasions for like twenty minutes. That whole segment was like twenty minutes. Ridiculous. And this was like the biggest clickbait he's ever put out in his life was the ten-year plan. Guys, I'm gonna get my shit together and eventually get a job because I can't do this forever. Psych. It's not happening. And then he gave a massive gold laugh. Yeah. It's rewind time. The. <laughs> um so basically it started all it started off the conversation was that my mom Mab. wanted to pay for Kat and I to go on honeymoon. So And that was a nice sausage pose. I told That's her, the way that I sit. I said it's like a nice sausage pose. Not possible. Alright. And you know, sitting there having this honest conversation, my mom said, Well, here's the deal. She's like, I need you to commit. To a fact that you're gonna do some life changes in the short term and the long term. You know, you're just run, you're you're killing yourself financially because you have all these situations going on. <laughs> and he was the sniping chat. The of everything. This you're killing this yourself to even the, make ends meet and pay your bills. The, the Tevin edition of this stream was godlike. This is shit that I've watched for like thousands of times. Thousands. So of essentially, times. we had this very long and important conversation. Okay. How long can I do this? I can't do this forever. She has a point. What could I do? And uh, the, the, the coolest shit is that in the beginning of that kind of a stream, in, in the on the Connecticut coming back type stream, when this was starting, it was the, the Worski clip with the stay back. That's what it was during Tevin's stream, and it was fun. This was like the first 30 minutes was the Worski clip. It was so good. Like a what a time in obscure internet culture to watch that stream. And also the the mundane Matt kill stream. That was also one of those where you just had to be there to see it and to laugh at it. Through ten years, this robust tops? chill. So in reality, um, what she's basically saying is that I need to not quit what I do, but I do in the long term need to figure out what else am I going to do. And she's right. I agree with her after thinking about it. 
um, being completely burst. honest with everyone. Black Mage 666 um, what I need to kind of do, do is get super chat. Big ups, and then he blamed COVID on the plan falling apart. Yeah, he said because of COVID, nobody could get a job, which means that DSP has like a negative chance of getting a job. He's he's gonna get like I get laughed at, or or things like that if he tries to apply. <laughs> get myself to a financial situation where I don't have to work all day. People are fucking street, laughing at me. Where I can do like, all right, my finances. I are just try to work at McDonald's and they fucking laughed at me. Are in a situation where now I don't owe so much that I have to literally make a ridiculous amount of money to pay the minimum payments on everything. Um, and so that way I can stream less and I can maybe go get a job. Yo, this That's is such a fantasy level job that pays less than what I make streaming, but it won't matter because I won't owe all this debt to everyone and I won't need to make that much money anymore. You see what I mean? But that's not a short term thing. There's no overnight fix to you owe less money to the world. You see what I mean? Um, so this is something that's going to come in time where maybe, you know, again, maybe within 10 years, I can fix things financially behind the scenes where I'm not Bro, no, bleeding. That's every month i mean 10 years i guess but it he's not trying and this got memory hold i don't even know when it's like a couple of of months later or weeks later it was so bizarre because that's the, the shit with him he promises everything in the future everything is promised to you you're gonna get exactly what you want even way more than what you want in the future but now help him out with his short-term thing and man he's so excited to do that thing for you in the future and then it not a thing and then eventually it didn't happen dude it never happened i didn't say this thing on camera and hundreds of people watched me and then thousands of people watched this other dude stream that was sniping me actually um and i can stream less and i can go get another job and balance my life with that and balance dude can't even balance determining his own schedule because we're behind on games he couldn't even balance eating skittles because he he got in Skittle debt to his chat. He owed them Skittles to eat. It was ridiculous. No, nothing's forever. Can't no. balance anything. It doesn't last forever. And my mom's right. She's like, you know, you're going to be our age. How are you going to be fucking doing this at 60? Look at us. We can barely move. And you're going to be doing this at 60? You're out of your mind. And she's right. Um, Absolutely. So basically, I think that's what it's going to be is uh, in the next 10 years or so, once I finally get myself in a situation where financially it's not so bad, I'm going to look to get another job of some sort. And, you know, it's going to be work because I've been out of the job market for 10 years almost. And it's going to be probably another 10 years. You know what I mean? <laughs> Before I edit those changes. But there was also uh, there was this this clip in one of the songs that I made that I put, which said, if I quit streaming tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to get a job, which is him saying it. So, yeah. OK. So after this long, I mean, this was hours. This conversation was hours. All right. After this long conversation, they should have live streamed the conversation. <laughs> they should have live streamed it. That would have been so cool. We get Mom Brunel sitting next to him on the couch and him being like, "Okay, guys, now this is the life advice segment where I'm gonna sit here with my Bob and she's gonna give me advice for the next ten years of my life." Wow. Finally. Basically, my mom said, well, since you can't go on the honeymoon, um, you know, how much do you need to how get on this payment need? plan? A million dollars. And basically not get completely screwed over. I told her. She gave me the money. This is an awesome song for this. Oh, what is happening? Oh, what is happening? Big ups, big ups to spending over 100k oh my God. on a mobile game. Sorry about this. Sorry about this. Uh, was it with what is? Okay, I got it. Okay, uh, big ups black mage for the super chat because I was fucking with it behind the scenes, and that's why I played Stop twice. It. Now you got a double shout out. Yes. Here's I'm thing. trying to make it so the his money came. The, all the shit comes out, she man. Says, Your dad and I are old. We can't you know we can't work anymore. Like, we gotta retire. This is it. You know we can't do anything oh. else. We can't help you. If this happens again so you have to commit to doing what you're saying you're gonna do because if you don't we have nothing else this is it this is the end of it you know this is the end, end, end all be all um, oh okay i think i fixed it so the situation is she she gave so. me enough money to qualify for the payment plan 
Nah, she didn't pay the taxes. Fuck no. She doesn't have enough money to pay $17,000 in back taxes. This is bullshit. She gave me enough money that combined with what she gave me, combined with what you guys gave me, all right, is enough to now pay the government, and my tax attorney will work with the government to qualify for the payment plan. And what I'm going to have to do and is, like concealed I said, number one, burp. dump the condo in Connecticut. Just don't pay it anymore till they foreclose. That's money in my pocket. And number two, make negotiations with all my credit card companies to pay like half. Because if I could pay half of what I'm paying now, that's a lot of money in my pocket. And between those two, I should be making enough to not only pay all my bills that I absolutely need to pay to keep the business going and keep this house, but also enough to pay my taxes. You know, my mom talked a lot of sense into me. I agree with her. Well, it didn't it's fucking just work. That eventually, well, inevitably, what I'm hoping to happen here is, in within, let's say within ten years, it has to be a ten year transition. My credit gets ruined, but I'm now because I'm not paying the crazy credit card payments anymore. I'm not paying for this 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 black hole condo in Connecticut. That money goes towards taxes and pays my basic bills, and now things finally start to go down. To the point All where, right, big ups to a uh, pimp named Slickback for the dollar tip because it didn't fucking pop up and I couldn't fix it. Uh, if Phil could just open an OnlyFans, he'd be rolling in money like the other bitches in my stable. <laughs> he should just embrace the fact that he's a meme. That's gonna help. Now I don't have to do full time streaming anymore. And I can go look for a job and I could balance that with the streaming. What who, would he even post? That would be horrific images. Until eventually we phase out Terrible. and I'm in a position where I'm healthy and I'm not over. Oh, yeah, this is not happening, DSP. Why are you talking to me about all this stuff you have absolutely no intention of doing? Next one is President's Day. And probably not gonna watch all of it. Because then we have DJ Runo, War Dog Leader, we have the PS5 delay. Uh, this is a big intro by Mimology. You can leave a comment to help Phil. Hey, Mimology. hey Phil, good video. Seriously, hey, Phil, that's all good you have video. to do. Because some people think, oh, the no, this starts later. Which sucks because I would have really loved to do a big celebratory 200, 200K event 200K in April. I this is not happening. By the way, we are at this day. He wanted to have 200,000 subs and he's not having them. Loved doing that, so, but it yeah. looks like it ain't going to happen at this point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that was a thick, thick boy. What ended up happening? First of all, now this this I definitely am going to go on a little rant here, everyone. Go on yeah, a little I have rant. To. This is where it okay, starts actually. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I am a full time YouTuber now. I don't have Yay. income from any other source besides the crowdfunding you guys give me on a daily basis, which is tips. Okay, everything else, memberships, super chats, super stickers, and ad revenue is all now, YouTube. Revenue. Listen to the the way he's talking about it. And I get paid by YouTube. Black Mage six hundred. Hey, big ups, Black Mage. Just Once a month. Two dollars. That's it. Chat. One pay. Big ups. Imagine hustling your own mother. Yeah, that's uh, that's a thing. He check a month. I but he didn't know it, dude. It's it, it was his narcissism that did it. It's not actually him. Yeah. And this is gonna be an arc in the future, the embracing narcissism arc, while blaming everything on it. That that's gonna be the funniest shit. I get tips from you guys. I couldn't even help it, man. You know, this is how I am. This is how I am. I'm I'm not like other people. I'm like this. I'm sorry. That's like, give me your I money, or you're a terrible person. Come back. Income. No other sources of income. Okay. So, yesterday, the 21st, was payday for me. I get paid around the 21st of every month, and usually it's on the 21st. And I got bills to pay. It's my day off. I got things I got to do, like grocery shopping and the like. And, yes, I did make several hundred dollars in tips recently. I love this Oops. guy. Didn't you just make hundreds of dollars recently? Yes, and that went to bills. As I said, this is the worst financial position I've ever been in my entire life. I need uh, as much as possible wildly. right now in the short term to get through this Wild next rocking. week. Or else I'm screwed, okay? I'm like, you know, okay, everything's good. Everything's lining up fine, okay? So I wake up in the morning and I check and it says, Google has sent you your payment. Oh, good. I got my payment. We're good to go for today. And so I go and I check my bank account and oh, it, dude, the money's not there. Nothing fucking pops up on this. Screen. Fucking sucks. What the? Huh? The money's not there. And I check it again. I check... And I'm checking over the course of the morning as I'm getting ready for my day. The money's not there. So what is going what? on? What happened? Okay. Now here's the deal. Here's the good news. I was smart this week. And you guys were very, very generous over the course of this last weekend with support. The tips were actually quite good. We had a tips war on a Pokemon stream. Tips war. So 
wisely. <laughs> Why would you be bringing this up? I saved money for my day off on Monday. Okay, I didn't go blow it on paying all my bills and everything because sometimes when I make enough money, I'm like, oh, let me just get this bill out of the way. Let me get this bill out of the way. I waited. Okay, I'm glad I waited because if I hadn't, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Okay. <laughs> wow, and that was a nice snort as well. That was a crazy good snort. Uh, big up Swickful for the membership and big up Scumbag Josh for the super chat. Uh, as Hulk Hogan's theme once said, when it comes to crashing down and it it hurts inside. This should be the slogan to his life. Man, if it was about crashing down, he does that a lot. That's why he's bad, uh, has a bad back. Crashed down too many times. His life is like a roller coaster that he falls off of all the time. So That's ridiculous. I went ahead. Yeah, so I'm trying to make this pop up money, on the screen. And I had, this is not luckily, how it's enough to work. money saved up from the weekend to actually have my day off and afford everything I needed to do on Monday, all right? So thank God it was not a crazy crisis. <sighs> it was a close one because I wasn't expecting this to happen. So all day I'm checking, I still don't have my money. What is going on, right? It says Google sent it. I went, I confirmed, yes, Google sent the payment. Everything's fine. So then I head out to have my day off and I'm like, well, I have no idea where my money is, why it's frozen or whatever. I don't know why I'm not receiving it. Let's go out. And do all the shit and so i'm driving out to do stuff you know i'm heading down the road and i'm like god there's a lot of cars out here today for midday huh? on a monday what the fuck is going on why there's so many people out on the road you got angry and that people were you. outside it took me 35 minutes more than he thought there would be that usually takes me 10 minutes to get to that's how bad the traffic was and i'm like maybe he's just a bad going. driver and everybody just overtakes him all the time i i still have this theory that uh dsp is actually a terrible driver I, I think so. Not. I'm pretty sure, actually. And then I realized it when I finally got to the store. It was President's Day. What? President's Day. All right. I, t I have to rant a bit. I have. Ladies and gentlemen, I call bullshit. Do you want to know what the biggest, fakest, most bullshit possible holiday in the United States of America is? It's President's called Day. President's Day. Well, you just what set up it for it, so it's not. Absolutely fucking nothing. Okay. At one point in the month of February, there used to be two different national holidays to celebrate the birthdays of two different notable American presidents. All right. At one point, the federal government decided two holidays in a month was too many. So let's consolidate those holidays into one and call it President's Day. OK, now what is President's Day? Nothing. Nothing. No, it's I nothing. Really mean that nothing <laughs> it's nothing except a bunch of people take the day off so to them it means something but to dsp it means nothing but his day off is supposed to mean something to me what actually happens on president's day what nothing yeah those people they take a day off and have fun and do shit nothing happens nothing no one ever is in any way benefited by this day there's no nothing happens no actual holiday huh? celebrations. No one's getting together to celebrate President's Day. It's literally a fake holiday. Nothing it's happens. It's a fake on, holiday. Okay? It's, it's a waste of time. No one benefits from President's Day whatsoever. Okay. But because it's considered a national holiday here in the United States, it's considered also a bank holiday, a government holiday, and a day when retail stores go crazy with sales. Okay, so it means something. So it is something. So retail gets a lot of sales and people take the day off. So it means something and it represents something, at least for the economy, if it brings money in. DSP. And just because it means nothing to DSP and he didn't get his fucking money on that day, it's a worthless day. Okay, so... Why? Yeah, that's true. He also has a bir my birthday week from YouTube. Fucking ridiculous. The because the banks were closed. Yeah. The banks were closed. Now I really need to go on a rant, ladies and gentlemen. Well, now we're actually going we on a rant. In a digital world. At any okay. moment, I could send you Why? a payment. You could send okay. me a payment. Why are you this bad with the digital world, though? Why are you so inept at everything? You don't even edit videos. You have no right to talk about the digital fucking world. You don't participate in the digital world. You just ask for fucking tips. Digital style tips. 
No, you don't know anything about the digital world. Don't talk about it. I can buy something over the internet. I can have it delivered within hours to my home. Okay. Yeah, you can't buy more more fucking support. Can't buy support. Even on a national. You can't actually buy anything. Why don't, doesn't he buy some shit for his stream? Oh, no, somebody like else has to. Do it. Day, business doesn't just shut down and close. Uh -huh. Every business was open. Everyone was doing work, except for the banks and the government. What? Why? How does this make any fucking sense at all? No, I mean it. How the fuck does it make sense that only banks and okay. government agencies are closed, but the rest of the of world them. is open for business as if it's a normal fucking day? I don't know. Why don't you look it up? But because this is not just a rant based in ignorance. Because he's like, I don't know anything about President's Day. So I'm going to rant about it as if it's worthless and useless and whatever. You can just look it up. You can just fucking look it up. Why it exists and why those people take the day off. And what other days off they take. He can look up all of this. But this is just an ignorance rant. It's nothing more. The problem with this is... What oh, is the problem? Today's my payday and I need to get paid to pay everyone get paid else tomorrow. who wants money from me. Yeah. Like I have bills due right fucking now that I need money to pay because I need YouTube to pay me so I can pay them. Just because it was President's Day, do you think that these the companies give a man. fuck that I couldn't get my money from YouTube because the bank was closed? Nobody gives a fuck about that. They want their money. But for some reason, government thinks, oh, it's a national holiday. We don't have to do any work today. We have our thumbs up our fucking asses and we of don't course, do shit. That's what they do. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, really. Fuck you. Fuck you. You don't. There's no point for this. There's no point. The only thing this rant is gonna do is make troll videos. This is the only thing. Get a fucking sp Why would you have this? This is lunacy. And this guy pretends like this is fucking content. And he monetizes this. This bullshit. Entitlement fucking nonsense rant. From a guy who can't afford to be entitled. He can't afford anything. He can't even afford to pay attention special treatment holiday because you work at the a fucking guy and he complains it's everybody else's fault or the government everyone else and he's having today's fucking birthday bash and his birthday bash looks like this this is how his fucking birthday bash looks like this is it this is this guy who complains about government officials that studied for their jobs this is the fucking guy the parasite has to have Get a him life out of today here. you should too I'm tired of these fake I'm national tired holidays of it. that don't mean shit. The I'm one time in my life holidays. that ever President's Day meant anything when I was a kid in elementary school. On President's Day, the teachers would have a special lesson lined up where we would usually talk about some of the American presidents, okay? And that so was it. This is the last time he heard about it. So you're literally just sitting here and admitting you're ignorant and you're just ranting about the fact that you don't know why it's important you don't know why it's a, a, a why it's a day so he doesn't know about it and he's ranting about it that is the extent and somebody is getting banned right now because they don't agree with him president's day every normal person has a normal day all these fake national holidays need to fucking go away Get they your ass out there and out. fucking work, bitch. <laughs> you don't get a day off, but because it's fucking don't get a day President's off. Day. Now, I get paid by YouTube I and I can't get this. my money. But here's the Fuck funny you. thing. Fuck you. Get fucked. Get fucked. YouTube is not a job. YouTube is a thing. Get fucked. Get fucked. And go out there and work, bitch. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. You bitch. <laughs> this dude that puts on little vests and little hats. Get out there and fucking work, bitch. You fucking government official. I can spend money, but I can't. Oh, yeah, you can. I know. I know. President's Day. I can now, spend I money. On YouTube and I can't get my money. Yeah, you're going to get cucked. I can. And I got cucked as well. And spend money. Okay. But I can't receive money from my bank account. Okay. So I can go out and go, oh, go ahead. <laughs> Commercialism is The great. massive spend, entitlement. Spend, spend, spend. Capitalistic spend, spend, mentality spend, in America. Spend, spend, spend all your money. Spend, spend. But wait, it's time for Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Make... Tips, tips, tips. Money. Contributions. Wrong. It's President's Day. You can't make any money. Fuck you. 
Wow. Fuck you. Come That's what they out. told him. Fuck you. Get out there and work, bitches. Everyone else. Get out there and work, bitches. He doubles down. Who else is doing it? Doubles and down. I'm tired of this fucking fake. And what is the funniest shit in any of this is that he is too pathetic and too insignificant to the existence of life that nobody who gives a shit about anything would care to like cancel him or call him out or make it go like trendy on Twitter. Nobody gives a shit because he's just this pathetic. Because anybody else, if they put out a ridiculous rant like this, they would be laughed at on like podcasts and shit. But not this guy. Because everybody already knows he's on the bottom. Everybody knows this. Ass holiday it's ridiculous. shit. Ridiculous. Enough is enough. All right. Listen, you want to make President's Day a super capitalistic, commercialist holiday where there's sales everywhere? Fine. You did it with everything else. You did it with Valentine's Day. You did it with Christmas. Fucking Easter. Shit. They have like a pizza day. They have a fucking chocolate bar day. They have a fucking dress like a pirate. Say R and bro drop all you your booty at the local week. stores day. Okay, fine. But don't shut fucking down everything else because it's President's everything. Day. It's like he's talking about it like it's Mad Max. <laughs> shut down everything else. It's one day. It's one day, and if one day ruins your life like this, then maybe it's your position that you gotta think about and what you gotta focus on improving and not changing the fucking laws of the government. Because everybody, everybody else knew it was President's Day and they made their plans. Ew. That's why they were outside and he was pissed at them, because they made their plans and they were going out to do whatever they want to do. President Biden. Give me my fucking money, President Biden. Wow, what the fuck is this? Who are you to withhold my funds, bitch? <laughs> and this is twisted into a joke, but it was very, very real. <laughs> okay. Here's Phil to tell you more. Oh, and this is the the DJ refund scam. This is the next one. All right. This is the next clip in the 40 years of failure playlist uh, brought to you by the community poll that I set up and everybody responded to, which was great. We went through telling people to kill themselves, game developers, then taking money from homeless pedos, then punching children, threatening to put punch children, then scamming his own mom, then President's Day, and then he said the n-word but then he said he didn't say it so did he say it yes did he say he didn't say it yes uh dj refund let's go this one is a lengthy one but uh we're gonna summarize it basically and most of you guys probably know what it's about okay but all right this is very long and it uh, I, i'm not gonna fucking read this i'm sorry i'm not gonna read it. anyways it's fucking it's dsp's response you can pause this and read the whole thing this dsp's response to uh dj runo calling him out because he gave dsp 20 dollars to buy untitled goose game a game he could have played one fucking stream half a stream sometimes when he finishes the game play it or whatever some nonsense didn't want to do it uh he eventually played it and then dj runo wanted his refund and then a bunch of complaining happened. And then a bunch of words in his mouth. So it's basically just help. And this was a fake one? Oh, this was a fake DJ Runo? This is so good. Starting to get set up now. DJ Runo 1 has been banned. Yeah, there's been a lot of drama that's been a taken. Lot of drama. Yeah, it's been, uh... This is so fucking ridiculous. I can't even keep with the story straight. So it was a fake DJ Runo posting it. And it was a real DJ Runo giving the money. Very nice. We kept under control here tonight on the stream. That literally isn't real drama. It's completely fabricated by the tractors. Sadly, they they fooled someone. And we have more tangerine. Was completely untrue. All right, so here's what happened. Tangerine. As you guys know, sadly, recently, all the lights I'm are on. A lot of financial trouble. And wow. I knew at this some point this month, tangerine. I was probably going to end up in the same situation I am every month, Goodbye. where I run out of money. My uh, my bank account overdraws. I get told by my bank your account overdraws. Let's go. And essentially, off. you guys try to help me out by tipping me, and I try to put that in. And I don't get paid by Twitch until the fifteenth of this month. 
that situation I knew was impending, but I didn't know exactly when it was going to happen. I knew that there were bills that were clearing, but I didn't know exactly when this was going to affect me, okay? So yesterday on stream, I announced I was not interested really in playing Code Vein or Astral Chain anymore, essentially because those games were very expensive. They were $60 games, and if I played a $60 release right now, number one, it would have to be a game that I knew I was going to enjoy and get a lot of traction out of. And number two, I, I didn't wouldn't want to play those games because they didn't really interest me that much. And I basically was like, I can't really afford it now anyway. I know there's other games I coming know. out this month, including just some right off the top of my head here, WWE 2K20, uh, Outer Worlds, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, among others. There's like many games coming out in October that I need to afford. So I said, if I'm going to spend money on a game, it's not going to be on a game like Code Vein or Astral Chain. I'm going to take whatever money I raise to either pay bills or pay bills. to save up to play one of these games later in the month. And that's the deal. So I announced yesterday I was not going to be playing Code Vein. I was not going to be playing Astral Chain, but instead later this week. Um, oh, my God. The setup for this is so obnoxious. Like I'm going to find when, when the drama happens uh, because this this is just like, OK, uh, there, this is where it started. Exactly this. I'm a sniper. In DJ Runo unsolicited. Unsolicited. Be twenty dollars. Just against okay. the law, by the way. I didn't ask for it. I didn't ask I didn't for twenty dollars. Okay, please pay for the game for me or anything. I was just like, I, you know, unsolicited. He said, "Well, here you go. Here's the money for it. Please play it this weekend." So I was like, "Yeah, why not?" Okay, sounds good to me. Um, and in, in reality, I even put it on my schedule last night. When my, you know, I have okay. a schedule I put out every night. I said that later in the week, I think I put it for like Friday or something like that, that I would be checking out Unt Untitled Goose Game, and I'm thinking everything's fine, okay? Well, sadly, like I just told you guys, overnight I got a message from my bank saying, you're overdrawn. Oh no, how like, could oh, this shit. happen? It's been, like pretty early for that uh -huh. to happen this month, because what's it, now the 7th? And I don't get paid by Twitch until the 15th at the earliest. That's the earliest I get it. Sometimes it's it takes earliest. longer for the money to clear. Now I know what for YouTube fact, I've got on at the least 15th? Two or three credit cards. I've got a oh. one installment loan. I got my dues for my condo facility, and I got utilities that I'll have to clear between now and when I get paid. Now what's happened in previous months is sometimes you guys tip me and I put that money straight towards it and it helps pay for some of that stuff, so it's not a problem. But sometimes it's not enough, and I still get get payments that essentially overdraw from my bank account. Sometimes my bank will clear them. Sometimes they won't. It depends on the size and the frequency of these overdrafts or overdrawing okay so i'm thinking about all this i'm like you know if, to being a responsible person there's no way that i could buy another game right now there's just no way i need i need to spend all money i have i need to put towards bills until i get paid by twitch once i get paid by twitch then i'm gonna have to play catch up because this is what happens every month. I get paid up. by twitch and now oh god well there was this let's just skip to uh the actual topic okay it was a terrible situation, terrible situation to play it okay so i announced this morning i said there's no way I can play Untitled Goose Game. Any money that I have, all right, has to go towards my bank account. And in fact, that's what I did is I took all the tips that I got yesterday, yes, including the $20 tip that DJ Runo sent, and I put them into my bank account to try to at least get me past another day before another bill couldn't clear or whatever. But I know unless I'm constantly raising more, that I'm just going to be in this daily situation, bills. all right? So that's literally all I know about the situation as of my earlier stream today. Now, earlier on that stream, there were some people who were very upset that I wasn't gonna be able to play Code Vein, I wasn't gonna be able to play Astral Chain, and they basically were trolling me. They were being dicks on the stream, yelling, oh, Phil, you should still play it. How could you say you were gonna have it? You had it on your schedule on your Twitch page, and now you're not playing those games, and this is very ridiculous of you to do that. I had literally on the pre-stream just explained how bad of a financial situation I was in, in detail. And so you would think if you had, like, if you were mature, maybe you would have some some empathy for me and say, okay, I understand, you know, you're in a bad financial situation. What? I'm not going to be demanding and be a, a, a dickhead, and entitled person who's going to demand that you play new games when we know you can't afford it. No, instead, it was the opposite. There were a few people on the stream who were really being assholes to me during the pre-stream. Because uh, you're in so this I position all the time, DSP. No matter how much money he gets, he's always in this place. And then at some point, people are like, okay, now, now it's getting kind of suspicious. How does this actually work? And then when you question him, instantly he assumes that you want him to die or something. When he has to explain himself. And th this like constant paying of bills is very suspicious. Considering that he gets plenty on his streams. Considering that he plays video games every day. Uh, and he has a tip goal of $150, which I don't think his product is worthy of having a tip goal like this. 
because his product is ass. So but yeah, I, I got angry, admittedly, and I said, no, you guys, I'm not going to listen to this shit. Um, this is ridiculous. It pisses me off that you guys are being entitled like this and demanding that I play games I can't afford. You should be understanding that this is a situation I don't like to be in. This is not... I want to be able to buy all the games. I want to be able to play all the games. I can't anymore. You know, this sucks. This is my life now. I'm in a different situation now than I used to be when I used to be the guy on YouTube to play every new release. Uh, it's not me. I am in a bad position. And, you know, sadly, I don't know if or when I'm going to get out of it. I'm trying my hardest, you know. But it's very stressful. How are you trying your hardest? No, no, no. Head. People that are trying the, their hardest, you can see. That's the problem with him. Hey, the sex bots are here. Big up sex bots. Oh, and they're dropping emotes on the screen. This is so awesome. Don't don't ban them. Oh, you banned them. Oh, it's okay. Actually, leave them banned. I was getting horned up for a second. Oh, we still get some lips, some thumbs up. A man and a woman. Wow. Very intense. Uh, what I was going to say is that those people that are trying, you can see they're trying. You can see because they try and learn stuff and make better streams and not have a stream that looks like it's from 2005 like shit that is this even though as i'm saying it uh some of my pop-ups don't pop up and i'm trying to figure it out but it is what it is i don't know why situation that i'm fucking in and i want to play these games and i can't and i'm sorry i think for there was one or two why. that didn't okay. come up earlier so there were people being dickheads to me on pre-stream and i banned a few of them and basically calm down after that all right calm down it wasn't a big deal anymore no drama and then we had basically a drama free stream where i played borderlands 3. drama free stream with no issues at all all right at least to my again to my knowledge there were no issues at all nothing going on nothing bad everything was good i finished borderlands 3 and the story good stream earlier today okay so during my break between streams i checked my emails for a brief moment i barely had time to do it maybe like 10 minutes of free time where i could check my email bro there's so and much I padding mean, on these stories so much padding he has to explain to exactly how much free time he has from paypal to check his email I'll, saying that someone had during sent me a the message break on paypal today's breaks are gonna be massive that's why we're gonna play uh jackbox and shit like this regards make a song one of the breaks we're making a song it's a 20 dollar tip yesterday Don't have depression okay it wasn't even like a, a dispute stating that people wanted their money back it was just a message was sent to you on paypal regarding a 20 dollars tip i don't know what this is in regards to so i check my paypal and it says this particular person of course i'm not going to say their name or whatever is state is stating their that they, name, they wanted to contact you in regards to a tip from oh that yesterday. he meant Here's the real name okay so by the way when you do this on paypal okay, okay you can what see their information, that money huh? Goes into a dispute status and it gets oh, yeah. suspended. Okay, it gets so the $20 pending. tip was in suspension. You know, it wasn't like money that I could do anything with. It sucked because I had already deposited that money into my bank account last night to pay bills. But now $20 of my new tips that I had raised earlier oh, today yeah, during the Portland free stream. Come was on, now bro. Held up. Come All right. on. Fair enough. Hey, money's going to be held like, up. Should be he held he up. fucking knows people are nitpicking the fucking life of him because he's this much of an asshole with Weasley minor things. So he's basically taught people to to nitpick him and to pay attention and to call him out. And he gets really pissy about that, but this is why. Because of this fucking bullshit. And especially, you're DSP, and a dude gives you $20, not even like a full price tri AAA game. And he gives you and he tells you, dude, play this game. And you know you're DSP, and people fuck with you, and they nitpick all the shit you do. And, and you choose to still do this. Come on, he should know better at this point. No matter if it's there or not. It's like he's not kept to the standard that everybody else is kept to, of course, because he turned himself like this. He Jesus. became a lol cow. He, he turned himself into a lol cow, and this is why everybody is watching this now. And why people are counting up how many tips he makes and shit like that. Because he's taught people to be suspicious of everything. Because of the shit like with Kirby, where it's just... But keeping away like what $50 in total which was like like why would you even do that and then he forgot he forgot this is how much uh money means to him because he forgets it all the time oh $50 that I was supposed to count to this stream I didn't do that it's whatever I'm a fa fallible human who cares if it was the tip from yesterday or the tip that I earned today that's neither here nor there whatever it's not so even I a good I scam the message. the message is written completely in German of course. It's giant. It's like a Okay, do you have Google Translate, perhaps? Paragraph message. I can't read it. 
It's in German. Okay, I gotta translate this. I gotta All translate right. this. Let me go ahead. Now I call a private translator. They say they're willing to do it, but only if I do a side quest and I pay them $2,000. So this is why the marathon this weekend is happening. And <laughs> go to Google Translate and figure out what the hell this says. Uh, so I do it and it says essentially, uh, I was I am a contributor to Phil's streams and I was watching his stream okay. yesterday and I said that I would contribute if he bought a game with the money that I sent him and I sent him the money and he said that he was gonna get the game but now he's saying that he can't spend the money on the game okay. and if, he, if people still want him to play on this game he didn't say the name of the game by the way that okay should... why would PayPal give a shit about the name of the video game sent him yeah uh, PayPal would give a shit oh I gave this guy untitled goose game money uh, Nintendo credits oh, I'm sorry we only give out refunds for Elden Ring and therefore I think that this is ridiculous because he's basically making us double dip in order to see the game and I what? basically I just want yeah. my money back okay that's what the message says so I read it and I'm like this must be DJ Runo because this he's the only person I can think of yesterday who tipped me 20 bucks to play uh, untitled goose game I'm assuming that's the game he's talking about it doesn't actually say that here in this message he sent me, this dispute message on PayPal or anything. Um, but I'm assuming that's what he's talking about, okay? So I immediately I read it, and I was like, you know what? He's right. He had, Even though I didn't solicit the money. Okay, I didn't solicit I didn't, the ask, money? What does that even mean? Ask for people. I didn't say, oh, I, I want to play Untitled Goose Game. People send me money to play it. That's not what happened. Bro, well, he said, if somebody donates me the game, I'm going to play it. And this is the equivalent. They're sending you the exact money you need for the game. It all makes sense. I was explaining to everyone how I can't afford games right now. He asked me, am I interested in Untitled Goose Game? I said, it sounds interesting. And then he just sent me the money for it. And after that, I said, okay, I'll spend that money to buy it. But then it comes to, to find out immediately that night that my, my bank account overdrafted, right? So the situation changed overnight. Um, but fair enough. I read this message. I was like, you know what? Fair enough. The guy's right. He definitely sent me, even though I didn't solicit him for it, it's kind of messed up that he expected me to spend the money exactly on what he wants me to spend it on. I think that's ridiculous that people just upfront will send you money and then, oh, now you must use it for what we tell you. Like, then don't send me the money. Confirm first, right? But it is what it is. Uh, he's right. So I refunded the money immediately. And that was it. So here I am thinking everything's fine. All right. I'm thinking, you know, there's no problem or nothing. Um, I get a couple emails from trolls. And the trolls are basically like, you fucking scamming piece of shit. You motherfucker, we're reporting you to Twitch. And we're <laughs> the trolls send them emails. Don't do this, by the way. Don't don't send them, like, hate mail or whatever. Reporting you to PayPal. We're reporting you to everything. I disavow it. Because you're a scamming piece of garbage and we always knew it. And now there's definitive evidence that you're a scam. Well, you, can, you can just send them fan art. That's all you can do. You can send them fan art. That's a positive message. And you say, Phil, I love you, whatever, whatever. This one's for all That's my it. baby girls. Hey, what I tried is happening? To get a Why refund for Halo. Infinite, Infinite, Infinite and PayPal. Me they only give refunds for Star Wars, Battlefront 2. Gotta believe me, <laughs> dude. Oh, yeah, they only give refunds for Battlefront 2. That came out a million years ago. Hey, big ups. And also, this popped up. And it's the guy himself. It's uh, Philip Burnell tipped a dollar. This is awesome, dude. We get even an uh, unexpected audience today. Ha 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 ha! And I, there's like two or three emails I get that are like, like get a like, refund for Halo Infinite. Isn't that free? The fuck is? Well, I think the campaign is paid. This? Right? Yeah, I don't know what the hell they're even talking about. I have no like no recollection. I don't know what they're what talking they even, about. You know, speaking of, okay. So, um, then I go on Twitter and I got a troll on there spitting. Oh, you troll. should check out your forums or something like that. So I go on my what? forums. And there's a post there from someone named like DJ Runo One spelled out, like stretched out. Okay. Okay. Um, and he basically he posts this up the situation. <laughs> this is, by the way, this is a a great a great troll. It was just a random guy who called himself DJ Runo and and got in the role of DJ Runo and went on the forums to complain on DJ Runo's behalf. But also, the real DJ Runo asked for a fucking refund. I'm so confused. This, like, with the fucking Will Smith bullshit, I'm so tired of it. These, like, petty scams. Because it's, all this shit is over $20. He talks about it for 45 minutes, 35 minutes. That's actually and then he dealt with it for, like, hours. Because he had to write this massive post in the beginning. This, like, paragraphs on paragraphs of bullshit. Had to... All of this... He dealt with this bullshit so long. 
And I, I'm sure all he wants to do is just chill and beg for money and nobody call him out on anything all the time at all for any reason. This is his ideal stream. I don't think a stream like that has ever happened. Like a perfectly just sanitized DSP stream where nobody trolls or says any shit that he disagrees with. What happens at all? Or he gets a little bit salty, even a little bit. So here's what he says. He says, oh, so oh. yesterday on Phil's stream, I Putting sent him a lot of words in his mouth. $20 to, to buy Untitled Goose Game. And Phil said that he was going to buy it. And he put it on his schedule. But apparently on today's stream, he completely changed his story, stating that he's not buying any games anymore. And essentially, he's pocketing the $20 <laughs> without my knowledge. This is also great content. I'm going to turn on the camera for this. This is great content because this dude is walking around with a bucket of water in Minecraft. Why is my camera so big? Anyways, later on with this same camera, we're going to... Wow, this is so grainy. We're going to devour this banana. Look at this. The Atheist's Nightmare. They see this. They turn around and run. Because it's absolutely natural. A thousand percent organic. Okay, the next likes goal. I don't know what. What's the next reward? Do you want? Uh, do you guys want the next reward for the next tier of likes? Is it 200, 300, whatever? Just say it. I'm gonna do it. Anything, anything, except anything that I don't like or want to do. Okay, that's the fine print. That's why I said it in a low tone. Permission. Um, and so this is unacceptable. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna report him to Twitch. And I'm also going to uh, try to get my money back from PayPal. So that was his first post. I then, can't course, smoke a blunt on the, to, on the later, stream. I don't have again. a again, blunt. This all happened when I was streaming when I was on break. I didn't uh, know I this was going on. And he posted up again. Oh, I have well, to dance for you. Because I talked to the detractors. And the detractors uh, I can't video dance. captured Phil's stream. They video captured his stream. The way he's saying it, like, like it's um, uh, a lot of effort to do. Today. It's literally just OBS. Okay. And got all this t this information apparently and fucking video captured by stream phil was asked on directly i about can't blow bubbles i wish i could i would make it as as cool as possible maybe i can put a like i did last time a bubbles green screen on the screen little goose game on his stream earlier and he went off and he exploded and he said he absolutely refuses Yo, to i'm gonna do back. a lot of push-ups fake push-ups of course i'm just gonna be away from the camera and I he said that if anyone who asked mistake. about this topic would be banned from the stream reveal. chat and they showed me these these, these his explosion on stream and I watched the video of it and his man I can't believe that still acting. He showed me his explosion on the stream. Hey, I've seen this. Seen this before. Yeah, the camera's on. Like that, what a horrible person. I suspected his that explosion Phil was scamming on people stream. all along. He was like long. But you know, I still said money anyway, because I wanted them to see I wanted him to All right, now the dude is starting in fifteen minutes and I'm not gonna watch this whole rant. Let's get through more of these suggestions and then we're gonna watch some more of them uh later. Now this dude is gonna start officially in five minutes, but in twenty minutes it's gonna be a higher likelihood of him actually being on the stream. Because of course it's his special day. He needs to get a, a lot of viewers to be sitting there waiting for him while he arrives. What's the next one? It's uh, him bitching about the PS5, but I I, I want to do the War Dog Leader, the King of Suffering thing, because that was terrible. It was like one of the most hateable DSP things. Uh, and many, many people actually pointed this out as their least favorite DSP moment ever. Has been paid for by Frey And big ups to Frey Wah. Okay, good evening, everybody. <clears throat> good evening. Yeah. Uh, so this is just, uh, just imagine that instead of this massive thing, it said, I have depression. And that's it. That's all. That's all. We just scroll away. To all of you who are now joining the stream, welcome. This is, there's no point for this being a twit longer. And he hasn't done a twit longer for a long time. Because he gets to talk on stream for an hour and a half unleashed every day. Thank you for being here. Sorry about the screwed up day that we had today. Uh, which I'll discuss in just a moment here. Um, I am feeling better. Did get a... <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> this nice I emote just a, floating uh, on the screen. This is great. Some extra rest in today. Thank God. <sighs> Things have just been kind of messed up personally yeah, for me. Uh, I can't... Again, I can't... I seriously... I... Super thanks before DSP. Big up, Susan. <laughs> Big up, Susan. Yeah, that's great. Uh, uh, both Snort Burnell and Dark Dave got super thanks. Dark Dave got super thanks before DSP. Dark Dave! Big ups to Dark Dave. Uh, round of applause by chat. 
Make some applause. Because Dark Dave actually runs both the raw in the, the not raw stream. So yeah, he does a lot. And he, he got his deserved uh, super thanks. And DSP doesn't because he has a terrible channel. And I'm behind the scenes here with me, folks. Um, I wish I did. Because <clears throat> seriously, I would like to know what's going on and, you know, how bad stuff is. If it will be bad, I don't know. As you know, about a month ago, I announced that I'm go going through a lot of stuff. Oh, the PlayStation right music, bro. I, I don't know why this is still there. This this is a, like a, a main point. Why DSP doesn't care about his viewers, listeners, whoever. He leaves the PlayStation music on. I can't even stand this for like 20 seconds. Right now because there's a... I always destroy this going music. On behind the scenes, I can't really discuss. I don't have enough information to even really share with all you guys yet. Um, And it's stressing me the hell out. And in addition to that... the fuck out. Uh, you know, my sleep schedule what, is still all screwed up. And sleep schedule. That, this guy is like wings complaining about your sleep schedule. All you need to do is get drunk one day and go to bed early, and then your sleep schedule is fixed. Stop bitching about it. My eating is all you need is one day to fix your sleeping schedule. Stop being a little. It's all screwed up. <laughs> little uh, uh, because of all the life changes that happened to me this moron. year. You know, it wasn't an easy thing <clears throat> transitioning from. You know, being in a five-year relationship and transitioning back to being single. Transitioning into a zero-year relationship. In particular, the one major change that's really screwed everything up for me is that I don't have Food? anyone cooking dinner yeah, for me. Yeah, the anymore. one major change of my soulmates leaving me in our relationship of five years is that there's nobody to cook for me. This is it. And I love those broken hearts on the screen. This is how I feel right now. This is... The worst thing about this thing I'm going through is that there's nobody to cook for me. More. Oh, if he knew about DoorDash. Wow, he would start dating some DoorDasher. So, you know, I'm on a, a, thousand a four percent. or five hour stream. Love from the first bite. Huh? It's a nice name for like a Hallmark movie. I get done with that stream. I have to rush downstairs. Oh, we're rushing. What can I make for dinner? Imagine him running downstairs. Actually running downstairs. <laughs> Being like, okay, guys, I gotta go like real fast. He turns off camera, runs downstairs, falls down the stairs, gets up, readjusts his uh, dislocated bones, and continues on. To eat here that I can make, or or even better, he runs to the top of the staircase, turns completely spineless and gelatinous, and drops down the stairs, and then reassembles himself down the stairs in a completely human form as as human as he can pull off and then we go to the kitchen and then i think that's what happens because this dude is completely spineless clean up after myself immediately so i can get back to my second stream and it's been pretty challenging i'm not gonna lie to everyone um, <laughs> yeah it's like the the know, villain from the terminator some of the things like the liquid metal guy yeah i've tried uh, work, and turns back but, into a custom fake Italian style human. They end up really <laughs> stressing me out. Like, for example, <clears throat> imagine, you know, making uh, pasta. Now, pasta is not something you should eat all the time. Maybe eat it okay. once a week, right? It's a lot of carbs. Oh, once a week. And I like pasta and I like I making you were Italian. Italian sauce. Oh, so yeah. the pasta, you know, uh, can, can be eaten with this sauce for a course of like a month and a half to two months. I stretch out the sauce because I make a ton of it. He stretches out the it. sauce. The problem is making the pasta. Imagine if he waters it down. That would be crazy. Hey, cat, now we're going to have more sauce. I put some water in it. That makes it more. Long time. You got to boil the water. You got to boil you the You got to boil the water. You have a kettle. Come on. Put the water in the kettle and then put it in the fucking pot. And it's already boiled water. Amazing. Then you put in the pasta. It takes five minutes. Meanwhile, you're working on the sauce. That's it. You strain the pasta and the pasta is done and you put it in the sauce. You stir it up and then you devour. Come on. Right. I got to thaw out the sauce. I got to combine the oh, sauce. Oh, yeah, the pasta. of course. Then I got to eat and I got to clean up. Yeah, you make your own pasta at home. You got to make your own pasta. Get it through the pasta making device. Isn't everything. And it turns out it takes you have to plug and that in. Really get through it myself. Hour and I have to make pasta. Come on. Self. Uh, and then I'm right Come back on. to stream. You it's know. so hard. It's like, and, and he expects everybody listening to kind of agree with him and understand. And it's like, what kind of people must be listening? Because everybody who is 
just does stuff in general or has a job, they know that this shit doesn't take a long time. Washing your own plate doesn't take a long time. Washing a pot doesn't take a long time. Come on. I don't like, what, what is he thinking that people are gonna say? I don't really have- Because it's like basic living, basic existing 101 is making a plate of pasta for yourself and then cleaning up after it. And he does it in an hour and a half time to make any Come kind on. of complex dishes or anything i mean we've we've seen what he does with the with the uh, cooking with the king that shit is like mostly meandering and just walking around and putting on something on the stove and explaining what kind of cheese he has and saying that he's lactose intolerant or whatever i think he was that's some weird lore dsp actually is he is he is a little bit lactose intolerant like that because <clears throat> i just don't have the time yeah, it's so you hard. Know, I finished my stream around 5 p.m. I thought he was going to say that pasta is a quick thing that he makes. But no, he gives pasta as an example of a very hard thing. And he just admits that he has the, the sauce sitting there frozen. Sitting there frozen sauce. And it takes an hour and a half. And then I'm back on stream wow. around 7.30. So I only have about two hours. Oh, yeah, since you're bringing up Perry, I watched a little bit of Perry on Tevin's stream and on Ludwig's stream on Twitch. And I was very confused throughout. In in like a very curiously confused. Very, very interesting uh, production. And it's still a much more functional stream than, than DSP stream. It's much more dynamic and interesting. Because that guy is like pretty unhinged. Or because it takes about half an hour or more to get those videos uploaded. And that dude uh, so messing really with him. Rush. I'm rushing. The dude constantly. messing you know, with him constantly. Accounting for the fact I might have to use the bathroom. Oh, I might use I mean? the bathroom. So let's see what's happening with the birthday than bash. What it used to be. It used to be. Come on, Phil. Get a million <laughs> likes. Uh, you he know, almost has a hundred dislikes. Stream, wow. Ready, you know. He almost has a hundred dislikes. This is very ambitious today. I go downstairs, eat, and then just clean up, and then I actually had uh, some relaxation time. Where I relaxation have time. Of, you know, recuperating between streams. Now that's gone. Now it's like work, 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 work. I wake up, immediately I'm off, I'm getting dressed, I'm washing, I'm getting ready for the stream. Then I get the stream set up, stream's going, you know, for four or five hours, done with the stream, upload the videos, gotta make dinner. So make dinner, eat dinner, clean up after dinner, right back to stream again. <laughs> so really from the moment I wake up to the moment that- Oh my God, we do doing so much stuff. Just because you say it in a intense way doesn't make it intense. Cause everybody knows that cleaning up after dinner is not an action scene. Washing dishes is not a movie with uh, Gerard Butler, okay? it's not very hard so you can say it like it's the hardest thing and like it's a <laughs> like a born movie but it's not that hard finally done uploading videos and you shouldn't be getting a medal stop spamming medals to dsp he doesn't deserve them which these days doesn't even but... really get done till after 11 p.m that's 12 straight hours. Yeah, it's like Michael Bay cleaning. Work. Boom, 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 boom. And it tires <laughs> Michael Bay style you cleaning. Know, there's explosions happening. Not anymore. You're trying to vacuum clean and there's people trying to break in your house and shoot at you. Anyone to help me with anything. So it's been pretty stressful. I'm not going to lie. Um, <clears throat> and that, you know, that being said, that being the case, uh, you know, I got to adjust to it. I have to because, uh, you know, this is my life now. You gotta get back to it. You know, it sucks that oh, I it three sucks. years where I got used to this routine. Oh, it, it was sucks. Working, in my opinion, you know, <laughs> I adjusted it every once in a while, but the routine was working. Oh, and by the way, he's taking breaks after the pre-stream again. That's a new thing that used to not be a thing. And he bragged about it and how amazing it was and how much it optimized his stream. And he wasn't dropping views and anything. And then it's back. So, yeah, we're getting a break today after the pre-stream because the pre-stream is going to be mega long because it's the special day it's the big day so yeah now it's it's i haven't i mean here i am i mean i broke up with my ex in may okay so early early may right i don't even remember anymore i think it was early may <laughs> so that's one two three four five you know almost six months and i'm still not <laughs> into you know, Seriously? Where I, Legit. I, I don't have Six a, months. Sleep, a consistent sleep schedule. Consistent like, sleep schedule. What do you do? I mean, now we know he was drinking because he admitted it a, a lot. And I mean, it's not hard to tell. Come on. It's DSP. I can't. But, I try. And but then, it's like six months. 
and shit gets to me. Come and on, I and you work from home? I guess he's he got caught up in the streamer life because there's people that do it. Can't sleep. Where it's like it's it's fun. You're on stream, and then you get off stream, and it's not fun. And then you gotta like do stuff. You know, around the most house. Most nights now, I don't even get to start relaxing till midnight. So I'm awake. The streamer life. Say ten and eleven a.m. <laughs> But midlife crisis edition. I'm doing constant work, constant setup. Constant stream work. Going, all constant setup. What? What do you mean constant setup? You do the setup during the stream. Oh, and and he he got a a comment in his chat. You probably could have seen it. Dumbass is starting early. Good. I get to remove them before we start. Oh, they're probably gonna keep coming. DSP, come on. It's dumbasses. They never stop. It's your stream. You should know. All day uploading cooking dinner, streaming again, uploading, and I don't get a moment of rest until midnight. So, you know, and then it's now, oh, now it's time, finally time to unwind, and I start to unwind, and maybe I'll watch a little bit of Netflix or okay. wrestling or something. so you have time. You know, play a couple mobile games on my phone, but okay, then... Okay, so you have time. You know, this shit gets to me. I start thinking about stupid shit. This unwind time, it's called free time. So you can also use it to cook or clean or do the other stuff that you complain you don't have time to do. Unwind start time. thinking about... Uh, weird ass you know, schedule stuff that's happening that i can't really tell you about the fact that i may lose my house may have the to move back to stuff i can't tell you about kind of come on the stuff i can't tell you about that proceeds to say i might lose my house come on falling dude. apart around me and, and we have a fake dsp in chat this is great i'm sure he's gonna be real funny it's not good. say something funny dsp say uh um thugs on the floor good it's not a good feeling you know if not anything <laughs> Oh wow! If anything, folks, it's not a good feeling. I would say that definitely, um, the, the the new games and the streams and everything I've been doing recently during this hardcore gaming season have been the positive of my life. You know, me playing these games with you guys and sharing these great game experiences. I mean, Shadow of War, uh, The Evil Within Two, South Park, all oh, South Park. Games, you and I've super clown mode playing, playing that South with you guys Park. On a daily basis. It was so I fun. Think you guys have really enjoyed that and appreciated it and come Everyone out to the streams. Like, and, yeah, you know, Phil. I, I really appreciate that. And he was like, ah, look at this. Look at his ass. He's farting. Ah. It was just so, Cat because it's, it's him playing South Park. Come on. It's just laughing at the fart joke. You know, that's really been, like I said, the positive. So this is the setup. To, to actual depression and then we get this happening somewhere here i guess here you're right i mean that is my job it's just it not a very like healthy job girls. like phil using his me time on stream the trolls don't stop till they're finished <laughs> the trolls don't stop when they're finished i'll be honest you know it was a lot uh, healthier big ups yeet for the dollar tip to share now i i guess i fixed them so they pop up again Hear this with and cool. to make me healthy meals and everything and all that's gone now and oh and we have nobody to make us healthy meals healthy meals this is a, a great fucking buzzword that is my job <laughs> this fucking cringe ass oh it's just not a very healthy job healthy honest, you know, it was a lot healthier when i had someone to share this with and to make me healthy meals and it everything. was a lot but healthier when somebody else was cooking for me all i can make is a ba bacon egg and cheese sandwich that's gone now and now it's a lot tougher of course now we got to get someone in the stream chat who wants of to course i'm gonna come support uh, your story. stream fake dsp i'm supporting it right now by actually being one of the 200 people watching but they're getting more, man. It's gonna be like a thousand again. Of some, if somebody decides to buy some more view bots. Into, you know, derailing the chat, and I'm not gonna put up with it. So I'm just gonna warn you right now. You know, War Dog Leader. There's no way for us to know if what you're saying in the stream chat is legitimate there's or no not. Way. Why would he fucking lie? Even if he lied, even if he lied, just take it as fucking truth. It's he's not dissing you. He's literally not dissing you. He's just trying to sympathize. I'm completely making stuff up, or you could be completely legitimate. Oh, you could be making stuff up. So what? If 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 it's fake, like even who cares if it's fake? They they don't get to dunk on him if he says, "Oh, I'm sorry, you have a bad situation." It's not a dunk. But no, he instantly, instantly doesn't believe him. And sorry to hear about a family member that passed away, but no one wants I'm to hear you make. The I'm sorry to hear, but no one wants to hear you. It's about how I'm in the wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about it, but nobody wants to hear about it. Wrong for being stressed. Wow. In my life, because you have a. Situation You're not. He's not telling you this. He's not telling you that is wrong for being stressed. And this is the message. You get it on your screen. Phil, I lost my little brother very recently. I can still function and eat. What is wrong with some noodles or eggs or cheese on toast? 
this like exactly exactly it's like a sympathizing thing like dsp go eat some fucking eggs you asshole stop fucking bitching but in a much nicer way it's worse and he misread it into this guy trying to make it up about his own situation and that he's a better person for having a situation like this and then the narcissism just couldn't he couldn't bear it he couldn't bear it um, the narcissism. Ridiculous. Wait, are you trying to tell me that I'm not suffering? Re! And you're the king of suffering. Go run your own stream. Go if, run your own stream. If you want to do that. Wow. We don't, you know what I mean? Like, he's trying to make me look like a villain because he said... By the way, this is the, the thing I'm going to put in the end of the depression song that we're all going to make uh, uh, together oh, during the break. Bust. He expects us, his viewers, to believe every word that comes out of his mouth. Then Wardog says this and he might be making it up. Of course, because everybody's making shit up to get to him. Big ups Dominic for the super chat. Everybody's making everything up. Even like innocent stuff like this. Like, w what if he lied? Nothing. Nothing. It would change nothing. Just someone passed away and he's doing better than me. Wow. Well, good for you. Maybe you're a stronger human than me. Then maybe you're a better person than me. Good for you. Go run your own stream, and everyone can go, go run watch your own it. stream. This is the fake stream. DSP gaming in chat. Go run your own stream. Get out of my chat. Go run your own positive stream. Here. Stop trying to profit off of me. And make a living. And I'm being honest. Yeah, I know he didn't lie. Uh, War dog leader didn't lie. I know that. I know, I know that. <laughs> but it's like even if he did, you couldn't like own phil or dunk on phil even if you lied about this it's just like not that kind of a situation <laughs> they're ridiculous everyone wants to turn life into like a competition i'm better than you right it was like i was saying earlier someone in the stream chat was like well phil i know you're Stay not feeling good but make sure you feel better I've, I've been crapping my pants out all day like i can't what? stop crapping i'm sick to my stomach oh and, and i said to him, you know what dude scat. you know some people that may actually make them feel better to me it doesn't to me, it actually makes me feel like I don't I don't take pleasure in the suffering of others, right? Nice I don't. Snort. I don't, uh, uh, I don't take pleasure course. in the suffering of others. I'm not that kind of a person, right? That, that kind of so, a person. When people want to compare sufferings and compare compare like, sufferings, like, wow, they're, they're he's not doing it. No one is comparing no. anything. Oh, I'm just sharing. I'm being honest. Oh, you're with you the about king what's going of suffering. Of course. I hope you enjoy legally streaming. Oh my God, it's the guy. I'm letting my friend. Oh my Robert, God. Who works for the CIA, by the way, know what you're doing. You're in some big trouble. <laughs> big Mr. ups, Rambo. I knew it. He would. He was gonna make it to the CIA. I was a hundred percent sure. Ever since he retired from YouTube, I knew it. He was gonna be in the CIA, and he's gonna bust me. Uh, big ups DSP gaming for the dollar tip. I'm sure yeah. that's that's DSP gaming. <laughs> I'm not gonna have someone come in here and I'll try to make me look fucking bad on a stream that's my gameplay stream that's for me to share. Oh, when am I playing Jackbox? Probably during the gameplay, the first gameplay. Probably not during the break because I want to do like a segment of it. Uh, during the break, we're gonna be making songs and racing. My, what's going on with be me the best you? Ever. Oh, well, my life is worse than yours, and I'm oh, better Oh, my life you. is well, worse. Who said fucking... this? We've been speaks in, in terms like this. You. Go on your fucking pedestal. My life is you better know, than yours. Go yourself and make a fucking statue to your greatness because you can do better make with Make a meals. statue to your greatness. When you have something worse. This is the fucking way he reacts, like, man. What the fuck? Wow. Seriously. Get the fuck out of here, man. That is so fucked up that people would do that. Go ahead. You know what? Officially for tonight's stream, you're the king of suffering. You're the king of suffering tonight. <laughs> you're the king of suffering. So Good for you. Lurking, and I'm Thanks for coming in and making yourself. Hey, big ups, uh, Yanni for the sub. We really needed that. Really. Unreal. Just for the lurk and the stalk. It would have been one thing if he comes in and he says, oh, you know, recently I lost someone. And so I kind of feel where Phil's coming from because he's going through tough stuff too. And, you know, no. What? Oh, well, I, I'm oh, going if to it was... than Phil. Well, well, <laughs> Who said off. this? <laughs> if it was nice for Phil, then it would have been great. But it wasn't 100% positive. It wasn't kissing his ass. So it gets mocked and humiliated live on the air. Fantastic. <laughs> no one cares. Hey, no here we one go. cares. Here come the trolls. Well, I knew we were going to be here, too. The trolls, you know, the trolls are trolls coming. would always guys. be here when I come back from when I'm not here. They're here already. So. So, so good. the Can birthday bash please? hasn't started yet. We're two hours into the stream. We've we recapped start, quite we a lot. Right, and this really asshole should start soon. Shit. Unbelievable. Okay. Oh, and he's going to order the food live. Oh, we're going to pick the food live. Man, this is going to be like Christmas. That shit was depressing. And tough shit. Goodbye. Goodbye.
more. Yo, and we have a fake Derek in chat. You know. You know, Fuck so, yeah. right, so I'm having a bad Should time, make them all right? mods. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm fake gonna DSP and the fake Derek. And the, the fake Fred that I banned once. I need to unban him and make him a mod. Just to say how I'm having a worse time than them, but I'm doing better. Get the fuck out of here. All right, so anyway, we're done with that shit. Damage control rushing to the ring. So thank you very much, everyone, for your support. I know this week I got a little bit overwhelmed with some of the shit going on. Really not. It really wasn't me um, with streaming or anything. It was more behind the scenes stuff that was really getting to me. And I know I missed a certain Yo, stream. should I be really extreme and eat yet another tangerine? That would be crazy. But they're very tangy. That's why they're called tangerines. I when in chat if I should take the risk. Apologize for that. I'm trying to be here and dedicate as much as I can for you guys to stay healthy and get rest and, and be here every day with the new releases. I'm going to do my damn best, okay? I promise you, I'm doing my best, and I hope I want to say thank you for this. Uh, you guys want me to, like, suffer or something. You know, and not making it all about themselves and trolling. Not making day, them about you know, themselves. ESP, it's about the game. Really it's like, not about you. This kid's biggest mistake is thinking that it's all about him, like, super personally. It's not. People just like watching a dude play games. I'm not feeling good. And yeah, I guess I guess I'm gonna get the tan tangerine on, on so camera. Have to try to really ah, look at this. Me to make ah. look bad. And then you know, of course, people spitting shit out of proportion of what really happened. <laughs> Wait, uh, you know, is this a fake John Rambo in chat? Insulting someone. <laughs> okay, this is this is getting crazy. We're getting everybody here, but I I did say on the on the thumbnail everybody's invited, so yeah. What really happened was this guy came into my stream chat. Claimed what really happened? This is getting derailed by eating a tangerine, and I'm only gonna eat a single piece, but because they're really heavy, you guys, and I I need to be here all day, all night actually, so I have to eat it. I'm sorry. This is you're getting the the moment you paid for, didn't pay for, but you voted for. Okay, sounds good. Hmm. 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 Where are you starting? Epic. Here he is. In front of two. Who's the guy? Hmm. Hmm. Juicy. Banana's gonna be later. Okay. Later. I promise. Here it is. Here is the banana. Wait. Why is this asshole muted? Better explain to me what the hell's going on around here. Okay. What we got it. Gamer shit. Right. What? It's anyway, so depressing. Guys. And his small chair yeah, no. makes it look really small How's and really doing like, today? I hope you're doing like, well. Like today compressed. April 6, 2022. Such a terrible layout. Ladies and gentlemen, my layout is so much better. Look, I have nothing behind me. I'm laying on my bed. I'm chilling. I have the TV right next to me. Wait, no. Uh, I, about I enough about this. me. Let's let's watch this guy. This yes. asshole. <laughs> How's everyone doing? <clears throat> I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone. Is in a good positive mood today and ready for some fun here on stream um it is actually my 40th birthday today indeed i have turned 40 years Yo, old what's with the bags bro morning, a lot of massive a lot bags of under the eyes he was he was about. lurking and stalking uh, all night yesterday there are celebratory um, polls a thousand percent because being 40 years old is a kicking off 40 with a bang a dude was like in, in vegas last night actually say that 40 is basically what they call over the hill which means that when you turn 40 years old you're essentially more than halfway done with your life and we already talked about downhill this. from here <laughs> all your good years are behind you right there's nothing good to be had in the second half it's the first half was the good the good part right but uh you know I, unlike a lot of people out there i feel like perhaps i'm the polar opposite of that of course you are happy about that but i want to give some perspective a little bit of insight in regards by the to way my history step number one in midlife crisis is denial on birthday one of my so just keep that in mind how i thought about it back then when i was much younger versus today okay <clears throat> so today ladies and gentlemen Okay, big ups, Derek. Go watch the SP stream. Bash now. Marathon Thanks event. for coming, uh, Derek. All here to the event. Um, this Thanks is a lot. Very different style of stream than what I usually when do. They although a lot of the room, content they'll have to paint it black to fill uh, doesn't blend in with the walls. Be uh, then it's gonna blend with his T-shirts, with the black begging shirts. Come on. I need to paint it green. My regular gameplay so he can green screen it. Uh, I'm actually very happy to be able to be here all day. His dad needs to paint it. He goes Barrett Wells for the super chat. And stressful for me having to take quite a lot of time away from my regular streaming to work on my federal tax filing. Um, <clears throat> and today I just get to be here 
chilling with you guys, and this is a great thing. I'm really Let's excited. Let's chilling, Phil. Come on. I'm excited, too. Let's get this shit started. And uh, not be all stressed out about stuff crappily happening behind the scenes, right? Um, thank goodness. And uh, so, it's going to be a great event. Allow me to explain. Let's, let's very briefly summarize what's going to happen during today's event. So you guys know what to expect and what order to expect it, etc. All right. Um, I should probably way, pay attention. The landscapers are outside. I can already hear them approaching. Oh, no. Come on. I may have to close the window. You're making my stream worse with all this bullshit out. nonsense. Okay, so, come on. Get your shit together. Today is the marathon event. The marathon First event. First of all, today we're How going long to be ordering, be ordering food for the event. And I want to just get this out of the way right now. Because we had a poll going over the course of the last week. First, it was what style oh, of terrible. cuisine you I want hate to see this. me try today live for Feasting with the King. And the options were Thai cuisine, Thai cuisine Vietnamese cuisine, and a barbecue. Vietnamese cuisine. You guys voted for barbecue. But I said, you know what? Barbecue is really broad. So what I will do is narrow it down to types of barbecue. And it's going to eat Hawaiian barbecue. This is what we're talking here, about. Why do you need to recap three, it? American Just say, today we're going to eat da, 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 Hawaiian barbecue. And we keep going. And barbecue, sadly, is something... There's no way to meander this much. But no, this is going to be a special pre-stream. Because he actually has your attention. And he's going to milk it for as long as it as he wants. Pre-cooked and delivered. Because you're going to pay attention. Um, ack, 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 ack. They have nowhere to go to, outside of uh, anywhere else on the internet. Hawaiian barbecue, it's actually something pretty unique around here. Because... Washington American, State stopped, is actually the travel hub big to come to and from the United States from Hawaii, which is uh, a, you know, big island ups, out in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, so in, a lot in, of in, uh, Hawaiian what? people actually live here and have started businesses and restaurants and things. Um, it's, a, it's actually a demand here, Hawaiian food. So that's unique. And of course, there's actually a lot of American style comfort food places. Yeah, I think, too that I, that I, I really I think like. the channel hit so 2000, which running. is pretty great. Now for three days. Pretty awesome, man. Two and a half days, Big ups, you guys. Thanks a lot. Overwhelmingly was for Hawaiian. It was like at one point over 60%. I just see 2K, Hawaiian. but okay. I guess it's, uh, so yeah. I go to sleep. Big ups. I wake up this morning. The poll somehow has skewed 1% towards comfort food barbecue. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit on that. It's obvious that for some odd oh reason. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the trolls. Some kind of a troll rally movement. Of to try course. To the poll. It doesn't make Mr. any sense. Mr. Paranoid. Neither it literally doesn't really make any sense. Good. However, I was already trolls. planning this out last night with Kat, my wife, and I said, well, I want to do Hawaiian because we haven't done Close that the poll. Like once or twice from Hawaiian. I've never ordered the traditional Hawaiian dishes from there, and I wanted to do that. This so dude is, is mega birthday. paranoid, man. I can man. do whatever the hell what the I fuck want, is this? and we're going to order Hawaiian barbecue this what morning. All right, this? we're actually going to go through a menu. We're going to talk. About <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to talk to Phil. And we're going to determine talk to you know, Phil. what we order together. For a meal later today, people have already asked, well, what time will Feasting with the King be? Uh, usually, it's between 4 and 5 p.m. Pacific time. I don't know um, of a troll attempt, by the way. I, I don't know anything about a troll attempt. Because I I visit Kiwi Farms. Nobody there said anything about, let's go vote on the polls. I don't know about anybody. Like, like taking way too long. It's not like a weekend or anything. Um, and so, we're back to snorting. Very it nice. should be good. Oh, yeah. Um, he has I'm his excited. allergies. So, yeah. It, cool we're going to be snorting all day. From. One of them all day, I Slay. I absolutely know I want to try. But outside of that, I'm not sure what else to get. We'll talk about it here uh, live on the pre-stream and make that determination in order together before this pre-stream podcast ends. All right? That's exciting. So that's one thing happening today that's out of the ordinary. But also, instead of just being a set stream of, say, one game, this is a marathon stream. That means that this stream is going to be running from now okay all the way to the end of my stream which will be around 7 to 8 p.m tonight usually i only oh do that sounds bad 4 p.m then there's a break for dinner sounds bad for i come me. back between for like me. 6 37 p.m and i run for another two three hours yeah, i want him to have We're kawaiian as well so he can be racist stream all right i don't want him to have the other now, kind that's not for our discussion gonna make him racist week we determine i clogged on them the ones that i like i'm, I'm playing as much as i can but I haven't really gotten as far as maybe I would have liked in some of these Already games. Already backlogged on video right? games. In addition, uh, this is the state of the stream. That I'm very interested in trying, but I can't until I beat these other games. So That's why that we're playing said, the same old worn out games today. To focus in on the games that I've already been playing and get further in them. In fact, one of the games it looks like we're going to beat today, which we're going to talk about in just a moment. Um... <clears throat> Then to do something else, you know, we were talking about Game Pass. Yeah, the the tips goal is is gonna be the normal one, but for every fifty, he's gonna 
keep uh, switching the vest or whatever. That's his new gimmick. He's going to have a new gimmick. Not a new one, but a recycled one. Do the thing that's best for everything, you know, factoring in all the different uh, f situations, factors, input. Everything that's going on. It's a lot, a lot of moving parts here to figure out what to do to make sense. So, it's going to be fun today. So, what are we doing? The first game we'll be playing today is Ghostwire Tokyo. Now, before everyone collectively groans and says, man, we don't really like that game, it's the end of the game. We're in the, the final side quest line. Basically, the game said you could beat it right now, or there's one interesting side quest line you have to complete before you beat the game. Because after you We're going to start. <laughs> We're going to start the marathon event. We're going to start it off with the game that people hate the most. People hate this game the most. He gets like 400 views a video. And he's going to start his hype, hype birthday day. The birthday party starts out with the shittiest fucking song. How does this work? Work anymore. So I said, all right. Oh, you were so silly. Line. That's longer and go two hours and that's okay. All right. And we're going to have about two, two hours per game. Good. Which is okay. as expected, then I guess. After that. I think what we're gonna do is just is here for the do birthday presents. He doesn't care about the party. Chill fun. <laughs> chill fun. About us kind of chilling and talking. Than the second else. game. Although the Skyrim playthrough has been super fun. I have no idea what we'd even do. We haven't played it in second a week. Second game is Skyrim. Play. This is so terrible. Last week with the tax stuff, I don't even remember where we left off. Quite frankly. Okay. So that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Wait. But but he Some shaved. He shaved fun. for today. Then and chill. On the time, Oh, uh, gets a, with the king a nice buzzword the segment. Okay. Then it's going to be uh, Elden Ring. And for those who have been following the playthrough, you already know where I am, but maybe some of you don't. We did a ginormous two-directional double underground dungeon that was hidden underneath Langdale Capital City. All right. So now I'm not sure. I think there's more to do. Like, I think there's one other direction to go there to figure out some other stuff. And then I think if we go and talk to the dung eater guy back at the hub, he gives us a key and we go to yeah, another talk to DSP. optional underground area. <laughs> so that that was a great then, joke. Depending on how long that goes, all right? <clears throat> Yo, now there's a fake Howard then in chat. We can I can't, go back I can't to take this shit no more, man. Um, They're taking over my own stream. Very, very, very the stream is about me watching DSP. Come on. Challenging too, right? Pay attention. So it should be fun. It should be a fun session of Elden Ring. And then to complete... Today's okay. marathon event. Elden Ring the is the third one. We played will be Kirby in the Forgotten Land. A nice chill session. And we fin now, oh my god, this Kirby, is gonna be terrible. Segments and we beat an entire world. He's playing three chill games in Elden Ring. How imbalanced can this be? This is ridiculous. DSP. How is this your job? Playthrough told me they couldn't show three up. Three chill, later. boring games in Elden Ring. Accommodate that. I like the people who've been regulars. Yo. I want them to be here for the progression. So that's how we're doing it. Now, at the tail end of the stream. Okay. And yes, by the way, Wanderer says, if you do happen to reach the World 6 boss in Kirby, save it for the next stream because it's very lengthy. Thank you. Someone actually told me that when I was playing Kirby last time as well. And thank you for the reminder. Right. I don't well, I'm probably like not going to like play Death Stranding anytime fit. soon. Thank you for on that. Stream. <clears throat> okay. Now. At the Probably very some end other of the stream, chill stream we adjourn game. From all gameplay, while we adjourn, the last thing we're going to do oh is closing God. thoughts segment, where I'm going to have a piece of my homemade birthday cake that Cat made for me last night. I actually helped her with this. I'm going to talk about this because we're going to talk about my day <laughs> Let's off talk about, about it. Oh yeah, day off. And Fuck I can't yeah. wait to try this cake. Fuck I'm yeah. We get the Phil's day off segment. We're going to eat cake and play four four boring games all day. This is amazing. And, and I'm going to eat tangerines all day to try this cake. So, good stuff coming you up. You need so, all the tangerines yeah. in the world. Pre and one banana, because right I can't handle anymore. Day off yesterday. Okay. We're gonna talk a little bit about me talking about becoming 40 years old and my thoughts. And also we're gonna order food live for the live feasting with the king. How are you marketing today. this then as a good thing? It's, it's boring. Tokyo. It's gonna be some chill Skyrim anniversary edition. We're gonna have a feasting with the king episode of the Hawaiian barbecue. We're gonna have Elden Ring. We're gonna have Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I'm going to have a piece of my birthday cake for the first time and kind of reminisce on everything that happened over the day at the end of the day. And <laughs> the landscapers are going to drown me out on the microphone. You're not We're going to eat cake and reminisce on the day that proceeded. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And now we take a nice sip. And the landscapers, they can... 
Uh, so, they can go out and work, day. bitch. All right. Now, just so you guys work, know, starting tomorrow, we're back to regularly scheduled streaming. All right. And so, <laughs> yeah, tomorrow, Howard wants to let me an idea get crazy. Breakups, big oinks. Breakups, big oinks from uh, Tomorrow pure is going succulence. to be Elden Thanks Ring the on the mainstream pure and succulence. Kirby and the Forgotten Land on the late stream. You must be the cake. Okay. This coming Friday, April 8th. Oh, no. Exciting. Schedule. New game. This is getting um, a song listening segment because I'm not going to listen to his schedule right now. If you want to listen to his schedule, then this gets a pistol grip. Okay. We're gonna get lit for just a second, and I'm gonna put the lights into the strobe. Say some, some bitches can't take the dick, son. They just can't take it. No, it's too big, daddy. It's too big. You're doing it too hard, too fast. I'll beat you with a fucking pistol grip. Fucking okay. Pistol grip. Fucking pistol grip. I would destroy your face. I would destroy your face. I'll beat you with a fucking pistol grip. I'm gonna drown myself by the end of the day. I would destroy your face. Big house black mage for the drown. I'm gonna eat one tangerine specifically for you. I'm thinking about you while eating this. People don't like fat. Mm. You've mm. seen people isolate you because mm. you're fat. It was the best one so far. You can't see your dick. This for all my baby girls. Because you're fat. You can't see pussy. Wait, it's Miyazaki. He did talk to Miyazaki. What? What is this? I'll send you a copy of Elden Ring since Phil is so horrible at the game. The Skywalker shop. As your fans say. <laughs> big ups Miyazaki. I'm a big fan. I played Dark Souls one and I uh, I streamed it. But it retells their stories, even though in you know many years ago there were Lego Star Wars. Big ups, you can send me a copy of Elden Ring at the Burnell Productions office. Great gameplay mechanics, even though it is kind of on the easy side. It's not meant to be a hard game. People are saying it's actually one of the more entertaining games coming out that came out recently, and the reviews are quite good. So. For me, I look at both games and I see positives. I see As it people is. have been asking for WWE for a while. There will definitely be an installed viewer base there who've been waiting oh, for. Oh, we're it. gonna play WWE. It's it gonna be great. Or two. It's, it's gonna have this. To do. Wait, it's right, gonna be say. this. On the other side, I haven't done anything Star Wars related in many years. You guys, I think the last thing was uh, was it? <laughs> this Star this Wars? is what it's gonna what be the, the game? WWE gameplay. It was, one where it had the guy who was the surprise Jedi or whatever, um. And it was a really good game, and then they basically... They this is the Fantasy Sims that, that he's so excited about. It was about. a really good game. It kind of played like a, a Dark Souls Light. Remember the gameplay mechanics? Um, like Dark Souls. But that was many years ago. And now, here we are, you know, a full-on game covering... And the thing that I think would really be good about that game, it's nostalgic. What I mean by that is, I watched the original Star Wars trilogy back when I was a kid. Oh, so I was there in the theater to see the, the, the prequel trilogy. Right? Everything that and happened until now is nostalgic. movies in a gaming setting all in one game from start to finish would be really cool, I feel, and give me kind of like those nostalgic Star Wars vibes that we can all enjoy together. Uh, by the way, before you ask, this is how he looks uh, because I made him look like that. The actual raw DSP feed oh, looks like yeah, this. Nothing. Big ups, on it. This is how it looks. Two K subs, dude. Folded hands, folded hands, folded hands. Hey, big ups, Paypig Destroyer. Thanks for the congrats and thanks everybody that Jeez. subbed. That was amazing. Jedi Fallen Order. I feel Thank so you much better Quite now. Quite a few people here just said Jedi Fallen Order was the last one that I played years ago. Okay. So that being said. That being um, said. Yeah, I think either game would be a great option to start up on Friday, okay? Let's see what people think over the course of the week, but I will make my decision and basically get one of the new games. Uh, I think this Thursday way, the way that it looks right now is probably how it would look in real life because I think it's pretty realistic. Or at least a little bit less saturated probably, but this is kind of his actual thing. So you can see massive bags under his eyes. You can actually see them. Uh, dude was having a blast last night and he was tweeting about stuff at like, I don't know, like 2 a.m., 1.40 a.m., some shit like that. Finally coming back and it will be consistent for the next few weeks to month until the new collection comes out in June, which will be totally, totally different. You'll have Hyper Street Fighter 2 in there, which is different from the Super Turbo version I play every week. It'll be, you know, I also have Darkstalkers in there, which will be really neat. So, Darkstalkers. Cool, That's right? like It'll the trolls. Really I'm very they stalk dark. Um, so that's kind of the rotation. <laughs> Remember forward, somebody now, once Kirby's done. I think yes. somebody called him uh called him dark once in a in a super chat or something. It was real funny. They called they they just addressed him as dark. 
off of game. The same way that he addresses people as sir. Tonight stream. There's so <laughs> many options and opportunities for stuff. Happy birthday, this month sir. Is a dead month for game releases. There's nothing going on in April, which gives us tons of time. He probably called the uh, only ice coffee sir a bunch of times. Uh, the last few months, probably I was like focused in primarily on Elden Ring and Horizon Forbidden West. Okay. So I'm definitely excited. Yeah, for him, for him, this serious. looks like the after party and not not the the warm up. Hey, because he looks like he partied already. My only streaming day of the of the week. All right. Excuse me. My only boy. That was really bad. Let's try this again. Today is my only stream for today. <laughs> I said it completely wrong. <clears throat> so one thing I'm gonna do here. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Simo uh, Green? How is it going? Dude? I'm gonna leave it saying what it says. Uh, However, please understand. That this is my only stream for today. It'll be running all day long, though. If you like my content, if you if like, you like the fact oh that yeah, we're gonna beg now. Holidays like this, yeah. you just have a good time with my stuff. A little grease, a touch There's of grease. You can do so. You can become a channel member. You can do a super. And now chat. we get we, we get an iconic beg. All this stuff. Iconic, helps. I promise. Now today there's only big, one stream, big, big, and big, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Last big, week because I missed out on I three streams. Big, yeah. Big, uh, it was big, definitely not big, as good of a week as a big, normal week for me. Big, I'm losing out on that much opportunity to be streaming for you guys. So, <clears throat> it would be great if you guys are feeling festive. If you would like to contribute today, by all means, I'd be very festive. I'll give you a shout out if you do. We do have goals in effect, and the goals that we have in effect for tips are exactly the same as usual. At $50, gunner glasses. At $100, you pick a hat for me to wear. And at $150, <clears throat> we're going to have a double choice. The first choice is do a you want to see a choice. vest or do you want to see a football jersey? <laughs> because I have both. Oh, okay? wow. We're busting and out all the tricks. And he's picking his ear as he's saying it. And now we get derailed by the fucking people doing their job. Holy shit. I love this stream. Make sure to drop a like. And now he's gone. Now we have to play something else. We still have pistol grip? I think so. Oh no, this lurking is DSP and wins. And when you least expect wow, somebody's lurking me. Cosmic Corsair. Cosmic Corsair. Keep lurking. <laughs> Big ups. Oh yeah, the jersey didn't really okay, pop let's try that again. Uh, I think as, as much as be special day he wanted to. Okay, what okay. we can do is when we hit the initial oh, get the shit out of your cup holder. That, which this shit is do. trash. Get it out of then here. Then you guys can vote. Do you want to see a vest or do you yeah, want they're to gonna swap a uh, football jersey then <clears throat> based on what wins that poll you can say okay what color of vest or what color of football jersey and then what we can do is in addition to that when we hit say i don't know 250 dollars in tips then you guys could have a second poll for a hat switch so on the initial hat, we'll wear for a certain amount of time. Polls on polls on polls on polls. All the polls. During the course of the stream, which hey, I what's feeling, up, Flip? You know, How's it going, Flip? Later on in the stream, and then we can have a wardrobe change, essentially. And then if we hit a full $300 in tips, which is actually what I aim for every day. Remember, each day I do double stream. And wow, we're going to scam. Tips, of course, it's a stretch. We almost scam, never scam, hit that scam, much scam, in one scam, day. scam, but scam, 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 scam. if we scam. the full $300 in tips, then we could do a swap. Wow, we're gonna swap. Well, let's say I was wearing a football and a snort. First. Okay, now we'll, we'll do a vest switch. Wow, okay, this is ridiculous. Vest, we'll have a vest swapping out. All right, wear now, vests on top of each other. I want to really hear them complain and sizzle. sizzle. I know that it's just something silly that we do for some what? fun and variety. It breaks up the streams. It makes it feel a little bit more, you know, exciting. What do you mean? It's a reward when we hit a mile. What? So listen, I understand. <laughs> what? Now, it's your birthday. What do you mean people are not gonna come out? Deal, but it's something nice to do. <laughs> I love how people sit here and say, ow. Oh, they have to pay money to invest with you. See, they be like, you yeah. It's just, it's just yeah, it's something that is a part of the it's cult. Not a serious reward. No one's going to sit here and say, wow. Oh, I'm seriously going to give Phil 100 bucks today because I want to see that goddamn red vest. What are you, <laughs> stupid? Yeah, you are, if that's what you think. I'm going <laughs> to eat this for free just because I can. You don't have to pay okay. me to eat this. And you can watch me eat this. You get so, all the benefit and zero it today. the now, expense. Obviously, it'd be great mm. to hit all the goals. If we don't, it's not the end of the world, but man, it would help out. Especially try to make up for last week where I did have a decrease in what I made because there were three FN streams where I couldn't be here for you guys, which sucks. I like being here. Oh, now we're going to retroactively beg. It is what it is. At least for, for past now, streams. Over. And like I told you guys, I can't absolutely <laughs> guarantee that moving forward. This Yo, week, this is just a silly support, thing we do for like $250. It it's just happen. a thing we do. Come but on. For now, it's just our thing. You give me money and I do stupid shit. Game. Okay. <laughs> $250 right. scam. 
All right, now, a couple segments today. First segment I'd like to do, Phil's Day Off. Let us talk. Hey, let's about go with the Phil's off Day Off. Yesterday. All right, so yesterday was essentially the day that I got to celebrate my birthday with my wife because I knew that today I would be here live on stream all day. All right, okay. so what did we do? Well, we did have to do a bunch of errands and things. It was my day off after all. Things like grocery shopping and the like. When I went grocery shopping, I bought all these ingredients to make a homemade cake. Wow. Okay. So I kind of knew what cake my wife was going to be making me because I was buying all the ingredients from, <laughs> from the grocery store. Um, not that it mattered. I'm very happy because, like I said, I'm going to talk to you a little bit. We actually made the cake together, which was really nice. Um, so we went out and about. We did a few shopping things here or there. No giant deal or anything like that. Uh, you know, in particular. Why not? It's her birthday. But, uh, Come on. About halfway through the day, we came home and just started relaxing. And uh, I remember, whoa, what specifically were we doing? Well, we were actually, we were watching, like I told you guys, we've been watching quite a few people play Elden Ring. And the game is oh, so getting long, cucked again. I'm over 80 hours in. It's very easy to watch other people play as long as you don't get too far ahead. You really can't spoil yourself because the game's so damn long that, and there's so much to do that most people who we've been watching haven't even reached the areas that I'm in yet. Um, <laughs> was watching other people play Elden so, Ring. So, they were behind. Watching these people. Uh -huh. Although, admittedly, now here's what's happening. All right. Oh, what's up, Mr. We're getting Sam? to the point where people are starting, farting, ah, starting to find the broken stuff in the game, um, like Mimic Tier before okay. it was nerfed. And everyone had told me, dude, the summons are crazy. Like, the Mimic Tier is broken, and that's why they nerfed it. Now, I don't know, because by the time I got it, you know, I already apparently had been nerfed. And personally, I wasn't summoning. As you know, during my Elden Ring playthrough, I am not summoning for bosses unless it's like a steamroll boss where there's no way he's going to beat me anyway. Oh, we get a very fucking long like Elden Ring segment. You know, I hate this. I like it feels like it's bait. Or, or these people like to hear him talk about fucking Elden Ring. I don't, I don't know why. Or maybe you would be the kind of guy who you want attention, so you give DSP money. And you ask them, hey, DSP, talk to me about this in, uh, I don't know, it, it a long, a long time. Talk about Elden Ring a long time. And then he gets going. And then you get your attention. Because this whole time, he's answering one guy's question. There's a boss, all right? If you've never played a FromSoft game before... Or actually, was he? I think this is Phil's Day Off. And this is your crutch? Then fine, use... Never some, mind. Right? But if you're someone who's played all the FromSoft games before, if you're a fucking content creator who literally has made tons of money playing FromSoft games before... Like if you? If you're known for being a content creator who plays FromSoft games... Yeah, like why you. Why the fuck are you using Mimic here? Really? Like the first oh, time now he's so shitting on other people. It the game. It takes all the yes, off of you. Making and the, the bosses are being so distracted. You get like 50, 60 percent damage on around to hit you. Um, so I actually uh, in this case, yeah, big of splash. I, under, I will agree with the those Betty who Crocker who said constant summoning and using mimic tier is broken. Obviously. Now that I've seen it, more than one person do this. They made the the Christmas thing together and they fucked it up. Playthroughs firsthand. Now that happened over and over, I'm like. Wow. If he was the guy who was like, don't tell me how to play, and now he's telling people how to play and why they're playing a game the, the, this way. DSP, you were getting this same kind of criticism, and you bitched about it daily. He is pretty broken. And again... Now we're fucking rambling about this bullshit yeah, I'm again. not against anyone... He was getting exactly this criticism. Hey, DSP, why did you sit on a ledge and spam cheese a boss until he died? Well, this and this and this stop shitting on me. And now we're shitting on other people. And this is like super hypocritical because he's also known for playing Elden Ring and FromSoft stuff. Except he's known for playing them badly. Playing however they want in their first Yeah, those like Dark Souls, this is how you don't play. They have a bunch of views. Run and having Pretty a good popular. Time. I'm not. I am against someone who's playing the game who's a con- Oh wait, did he got- Did, did he get a hundred? Uh, I, I don't know because he, he leaves- the tips goal to be zero the whole pre-stream. So it's an ultimate scam. Who literally is saying, well, I don't want to have any challenge. That fucking sucks. I just want to fucking steamroll the game and really just get through it and see it all and not really have any intentional Bro, boss they have whatever. like a bunch of playthroughs. A couple people do that now. And, and like, they only play games. They don't ramble. So they can do that and you can't. That's stupid. Now, the thing is, 
when I watch playthroughs, I don't look at the dates. If you remember, the Mimic tier was nerfed about a week and a half after the release of Elden Ring. And I'm curious if it okay. ended up being nerfed and now... Bro, I'm going to nerf you eventually. Come on. And I realize Stop doing the this. Halberd they need to release a new patch for DSP that nerfs the begging. So OP that I purposely nerfed myself by oh, using Oh, he purposely other nerfed I'm himself. For a while, Bro, right? your playthrough and is I trash. Switching over to the spear. You're toxic and you meander a lot. Come on. Switch over to that Oh my board. god, and now he's giving himself fucking the tap on the back. Because there's nobody there to give him the tap on the back. He has to ask people for comments. So now he gives himself compliments. Oh my god, you guys. I purposely nerfed myself. I'm so good at this. So what I'm thinking of is doing variety you know that makes sense doesn't it um and that's what i've been trying to do with my playthrough if i'm gonna, gonna fight settle, a boss bro. i'm absolutely gonna give it an honest try of course and try to beat it he's the fair. honest guy not gonna be so that's why he he forgot about the kirby tips he forgot about them and even though i know hey most people beat this game like three weeks ago the same time he was doing his taxes do an and he already has a hundred likes man this is so positive industrial amounts of bubbles are about to be blown tonight your today is more entertaining actually. because of it and i'm happy about that oh yeah people are saying that he's very entertaining play the game and this is their first playthrough of the game and they're summoning all the time and they've some of them are using the same fucking weapon the entire game why don't you go watch that somebody I really else i don't understand it was hate watching people what a game like this it was like i don't like your playthrough i don't think this is valid but i'm gonna keep watching it so i can explain to people that some anonymous guy on the internet i don't like his playthrough and mine is better and i'm like dude you want to talk about boring? And people complain about my playthrough. Oh, wow. My playthrough. Amazing. You tell me my playthrough is boring. There's people out there making content that has, by the way, 20, 30 times the viewership I get. Uh, and it's fucking like the same weapon nothing. the whole playthrough. Yeah. Like, Jesus, you go, go right to sleep, you know? Impossible. So anyway, <clears throat> it's funny because people are saying, It's nah, baby that you is boring. Again, baby, you're fucking boring. Explain. Okay, please allow me to explain. Explain DSP. Now, now you're going to get people Anyone to shit on you. Anyone is allowed to play Elden Ring in any way they want if they're doing their own playthrough for themselves. Okay. Okay? No one's here to tell you you cannot use a summon. You cannot use a fucking mimic here. No. Bad. You could, Anyone can play it however they want. Yeah. Right? You can play it but anytime however you want. There's a factor here that if you are making content for an audience... DSP. Right, it has to be you scumbag. Right. DSP, you spent... 36 deaths on the tree sentinel in your premiere stream dsp right no you're not allowed to dictate every first stream thing that a content creator does in their play the That's first one title at the same time i feel that if a content creator is trying to make a and he spent 40 minutes on fucking character creation fuck putting out content they should try to put in some effort into doing variety of content and try to entertain you in a way that's challenging yes if you found a method to cheese the entirety of the game about to all right Kid with little to no cooking him yikes challenge because you realize jesus yikes summoning is really breaking well everything. tyrone and then you sent a contribution earlier saying, say, saying that he's factor. involved in this so yeah quick and i hate to say it that's why i think agree a lot with of these content can't argue with you. doing because especially those who maybe are going to do more than one run of this game what i've noticed is they're only halfway through the game and they can't stop talking about their second run Hey, this oh, chat is about to get sexual as fuck. The, the sex bots this are here. This this. Dude, you ever Apparently, seen this is like yet? a viral stream You're already now. so ahead of yourself in your mind, thinking about runs that are going to be profitable and shit, that you're not even thinking Probably about PewDiePie what you're doing watching this. now. You know what I'm saying? Now there's going to be a fake PewDiePie in chat. Because these are people who are, I'll be honest, much bigger than me. Much oh, jealousy. They're making you're starting 40 off with fist. being jealous? Some of these guys that I'm watching are people who are known that all they do is play FromSoft-style gameplay stuff. Okay? What if they're fun though? And it just doesn't make any sense to me that to them, just the enjoyment of the game and exploring isn't even a big deal. I just can't wait to get through this first run so I can get to my my fucking special cheese run or challenge run the or whatever, run. which is the next run. What? <laughs> the just lactose the intolerant game, run. Right? Like, why can't you just honestly enjoy the game? And it, what's crazy DSP, is I thought you were happy. Game in a week. And this game is what, over 100 hours long. That means, just think about this. They were playing over 10 straight hours a day for a yeah. fucking week. Yeah, and they streamed it and it was How fun. Can you not get and their channels up, grew. Burn up. Burn out on a game. They're fun. You play it over Having 10 fun. hours a day for over a week straight, and then you're going right back You really the like the game, again. DSP. Oh, what if you really like honest, the I'm game? I'm very glad. Wow. I'm How dare they? I'm very glad that I'm the variety content creator. I feel like I'm enjoying Elden Ring because I'm taking my time with it. 
If I didn't, oh my god. If I was playing it the way that they're I playing it, I'd be like... I love my life. It. I, I don't Man, I'm glad this enough. life is mine. You know? I don't, I'll be honest, I don't envy that. I don't envy, I don't that envy them. What do you envy oh, them, though? Elden Ring is they're out in a I stable situation. Straight for five months. Every different kind of variable, every challenge run... The, the, the you know the all boss run the skip pacifist run the level one run the, the master beta on stream run my fists run the sp did it was oh super successful it went just, viral you know. no <laughs> the begging for that tips not, run the level one run for me <laughs> the okay. level one run now because the landscapers are gone it's already getting stuck oh yeah go go we reset the level and this is the this is the sad state of this stream. This is what we get to look at. A big four zero in an empty chair. So anyway, and now a greasy fake Italian this, comes and sits down. Because, um, you know, it's obviously because I was watching it yesterday with my wife. We were relaxing. We were watching various different playthroughs of Elden Ring. We're relaxing, and digesting. People employ these strategies. I'm Unwinding. Like, I can't hey, believe they did that. Uh, like, death in like July. A really cheap your way out of a legitimate first experience of the game. Um, Welcome and not be entertaining for your viewing audience but not care because you're so big i couldn't believe some of the stuff i was seeing from multiple content creators so okay whatever they're Maybe entertaining is, but they won't be able to do that moving forward simply because it doesn't exist anymore like it's I said, his day off was boring as fuck especially his day off before his birthday it's kind of ridiculous the birthday hype day the the penultimate birthday but uh i'm happy i'm not doing that i really am i'm happy i'm not doing that i'm happy that i'm having a good he's, time with the he's game. happy he's not, not doing something that's successful um Although there's really no way to avoid being over leveled, there's just not. The way that they built the game, you can't. Unless you skip 90% of the content of the game, you're not gonna fucking end up being leveled properly for every area, and it's okay. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it, <clears throat> and I can't wait for more. Today should be fun, okay? Cool. All right. Um. Anyway, so we chilled, we watched some Elden Ring. We had a nice uh, dinner. We actually ordered out, what did we order? We ordered, um, oh, Mediterranean. Oh, we ordered out, very nice. Um, Jack's Rex are paid ordered, for it. This is interesting. We ordered for from it. a place. One minute man. Where? No, one minute man doesn't tip enough. Used to order from this place pre-COVID, okay? But the the one that we used to order from closed because of COVID. Okay. They went out of business. Emil and paid. Then, Big ups to Emil. Thing that we could order from there because they're closed. But apparently they had another branch. Big ups. I'm gonna eat this uh, this I'm tangerine like for Emil. Five minutes drive. This one is for Emil. We never thought that they would deliver that far. They did. So we actually ordered and we ended up getting some really good food. What You know what? Mediterranean food, one of the things I like about it is that they definitely do things differently than other cultures when it comes to seasoning and the way that they cook meat. So I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I don't really like white meat chicken that much. I think that white meat chicken is dry and... Okay. Basically lacking a flavor. Now there's ways okay. you can prepare. I'm gonna it write this down better. for when I make general, him. Chicken. I just don't think white meat chicken is that good. I <laughs> always prefer dark meat chicken over white meat chicken. Okay. Okay. Hey, he's not racist, well, you guys. He prefers the dark to meat chicken. Mediterranean food. What they do with some of their their chicken is amazing. They put it. They, they slow cook it in a way that they marinate it with this very unique spice. And I'm not actually sure what the spice yeah, cat, is. Yeah, cat likes um, the darker one better. Is the, the, the chicken <laughs> it's more robust. Like a bright yellowish color. It robusts harder. Like turmeric or something like that, because that's the spice that definitely dyes things pretty intensely. Um, but what's unique about this is, is that it also has this like citrusy flavor. <laughs> yeah, the arms folded like, like it's the Project 7 like intro. That's the arms folded. But then like he should spin on the chair like, like on the Project 7 thing. It's unique as hell. Somebody I've should ask him to do that. Had chicken like this anywhere but like a Mediterranean. Without money at that. I think whatever it is must be their own cultural deal. And man, is it good. I really, really like it. So yeah, I ended up getting, uh, they call it like a chicken kebab dinner. So what it is is two chicken skewers kebab of dinner. white meat chicken, but it's this marinated. Shout out to uh, Mediterranean food. Insanely flavorful chicken. It's not Aww. dry. It's freaking good. And they give you this dipping sauce. <clears throat> That's uh, Why is he acting like this is like from yogurt, space? But it's garlic infused. <laughs> He's acting like it he ate food from Elden, Elden Ring. And it's so weird because it's nothing like any. It's just like cuisine. fantasy it food. Really wow. Even, like VR food. Like that. But it's, it's so good. Bro, it's and Mediterranean you know, food. Like Come on. Food is usually when you get it, you get such a good variety of stuff. Like I got, so it came with hummus and pitas. You dip the pitas in the hummus and that was delicious. In it chat, nobody rice, is talking about his rice. food. Literally nobody. Again, it tastes kind of Somebody said that EDP, rice is it has 40th peas, birthday is carrot, today as well. So shout out to really EDP good. and his and, uh, cupcake, and also, his muffin. Side salad, which was like lettuce, tomato, onion, Cooked olives. Life. 
what else? Your life is nothing. And then their unique dressing, which is like this tangy vinaigrette, but also has tangy vinaigrette. It's so good, man. (laughs) A tangy what? It's absolutely delicious. Uh, I love Mediterranean food. You know, last time when when I did one for Feasting with the King last year, I tried falafel and other things. This time around, I wanted to go more back to like traditional stuff that I usually had ordered. And oh my God, it hit the spot. It's just so freaking good. Oh, it hit the spot. It was robust. Um, So I loved it. I, it was good. I was happy because this is a place we used to order from in the past, or we went there in person in the past, and then they went out of business during COVID. And now here we are two years later, and we found another one that we can order from. It's further away, so it takes longer to get the food here, but they still delivered. And it was it was really, really good. So we were very pleased with that. Okay? <laughs> He's recapping what so, he just said. Good stuff. He just said this, okay. all um, of this. In that regard, it was very, very good meal. And then- You get a nice lean in manual. Oh no, he's gonna show something on the screen. This way, way guys, we're boomerang on OBS. I unclicked it, are you serious? Yeah. What? You may have yeah. been watching the pre-stream podcast and you're like, oh, is no one contributing today? Huh? Uh, no, actually there's been quite a few tips and I accidentally unclicked Oh wow. It. I'm a complete idiot. Oh wow. Wow. I apologize, because there's one, two, three, four, five different people who tipped Oh this. yeah. You got pop-ups because I unclicked it, apparently by accident. <laughs> Well, that's a good way to start my my uh, birthday event, huh? Being stupid. I'm sorry Mega about that. I'm scam. Years old now, so the I'm birthday tips. It's the birthday tips. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna be giving shout outs for like a thousand hours. Okay, my apologies. Don't worry, you guys will all get shout outs and get a How appropriate does that time here sense? on the pre-stream. How? How okay. How are you gonna tell me that people right, do now. completely <clears throat> illegal things and be fucking that being said? Okay. <laughs> Hold on a second, because there's idiots here. The idiots are here. <laughs> okay. That Amazing. Said, um, Amazing. The idiots are here. During my day off. Well, my wife and I made my birthday cake together. Amazing. And it was really nice because, you know, usually I don't help my wife cook, just being honest. Usually she cooks <laughs> earlier. Like when I'm streaming, she'll cook. And earlier? Like time for dinner, we have it together. Um, And definitely with baking, I don't think I've ever <laughs> witnessed her do the baking or anything like that. And she was like, you know we're both off today why don't we make the cake together do something special you know we we feel like like something nice to do together and i said you know i can't really help you with the baking i don't know that much about why not right you can learn though you can watch a youtube video that's how people learn stuff ingredients out you know i made suggestions how to bake a cake she's making the frosting and she's hand whipping it and i was like you know that we have the electric mixer it's not a good one you know it's not like a fucking kitchen aid it's like a hand it's not like the machine. the coffee but, maker you know, it's been sitting around and we don't use it very often she's like oh god i totally forgot we have it pull it out like his chat is you on know, my screen it. it's Man, above my chat easier to whip the frosting okay so this chat is here it's first really of all almost everything this is made by hand meaning this was not a cake mix that was bought in the store she actually found a recipe online to make your own cake batter Make your own frosting. Wow, she looked it up on YouTube. Hand. It wasn't pre-done stuff. Wow. Okay? Um, so we made the batter together, which was I made a mess <laughs> all over the countertop, but it was good. I made and a mess. The batter is a all a over the countertop. Did you bust again? Real cocoa. Erroneously. Okay? And erroneous bust. Semi sweet chocolate pieces in the batter semi-sweet so not only is it going to be real cocoa but it's going to be semi-sweet chocolate mixed in with the chocolate wow. it's going to be chocolate i'm so chocolate excited cake. for you to eat it okay i'm so excited to not the, have uh, a piece frosting <laughs> is a hand whipped peanut butter frosting peanut butter right? basically it's like powdered sugar Oxicity. a lot of peanut butter and a few other ingredients whipped together to be a lighter frosting wow okay, put on top and then on top of that um Wow, I'm so jealous right now. There's, All uh, I got is tangerines and a banana. We got those, we cut them up, and just covered the entire top with Reese's peanut butter cups. So this is crazy decadent. There's no way I can eat big pieces of this thing. I'll, I'll you know, I'm 40 years old. I'm not supposed to be eating crazy <laughs> shit. So I have gonna die. Of, like, one small. He's gonna piece die of from cake. Okay. What if now, today is actually stroke day? Um, we make the cake, and it's like, oh, I can't wait. This is gonna be great, right? And then we look, and by the way, thank you, Thomas McDonald, for a giant tip. I hey, it's Tom that. McDonald, the rapper. Something. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> um, he supports so Phil. We, we make the cake, and it's baked. Okay. It's frosted. Put all the candy, put it in the fridge. And I, I realized, and I said, wait a minute. We baked that in the nice Pyrex baking pan. And I looked at the meals we were doing this week. It was like, like every dinner this week, we're using the Pyrex baking pan. I like this oh, quote unquote this, rapper. Like, dude, there's no way I can <laughs> quote unquote rapper. I, I can't be eating giant pieces of this cake every day. Um, so 
What we're gonna do is later tonight, I'm gonna cut my first piece of cake. Yes, okay. I have candles for it and everything. We're gonna eat it. Oh, live. we're gonna have Master candles today. We're gonna blow out the Yo. Candles, okay? and then tonight I have to cut it into small pieces <laughs> and basically separate it all. And I'm gonna play music and over it. Into the, 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 the fridge like that so that basically we can use the Pyrex container for the rest of the week for, for meals. <laughs> so we gotta rush to get it out of the pan. Okay, okay, okay. Which is frustrating. It's, it's nice to just leave it in the pan, cut it as you eat it, but can't yeah. do that this year. Anyway, it was really good. It was really good to do that with her. And I actually said to her last night, I said, thank you for, for having that idea because actually spending the time together making the cake was nice. We joked around, you know, we had fun with it. And I really enjoyed doing that. That's a memory that I will have, a nice time that I got to spend with my wife uh, for a while, you know. It's yeah, that's a that positive that's thing. That's the time we had together to celebrate my birthday, you know. Cool. Okay. So that was really my day off. Was it anything ultra special? No. No. And by the way, idiots who are so materialistic will say, Yo, it's idiots. What are you getting for your birthday? Nothing. What are you getting for your birthday? No, yes. no physical items. No physical, no physical items. presents are needed. All right? I had a nice a day with candy? my wife yesterday. She baked me a delicious cake that I'm going to be eating for like a week Did or Did you more. get some top? You know, I'm going to have a nice day today with you guys. <laughs> have a chill day with gaming. By the way, getting I'm top with the vest on. Today playing games with you guys. After that week I just had, oh, bro. where I was spending three nights doing the tax stuff no no top three hours of bullshit grinding with, with, with numbers and stuff i was getting headaches and stuff this is nice this is a nice way no top just cake to basically chill and watching elden ring you guys today all right that's all i need maybe man. some skyrim gameplay I'm 40 years old do you think i fucking need anything a physical present what physical we, present seven? do i still need the wolverine toy no i don't care about that shit anymore i don't i just i just like having good times in my life seriously Speaking of which, let me that's gonna make to the a behind-the-scenes contribution. Reminiscing about being forty years old now because oh, it's the reminiscing know, segment. Life, Let's go. I was always told that being forty is is an actual huge milestone in your life. That when you're forty years old, that's your middle life, and you're supposed to look at around you and everything you have, and you know, is this where you wanted to be? Is this where you pictured yourself at forty? Um, you know what I mean, and. What, I'm going to give you a little bit of a perspective here. I think it'll be an interesting take. But to, to answer the first question, is this where I thought I would be at 40? Let's think about this. Did I think that when I was turning 40 years old, I'd be sitting in front of a camera talking to over 500 people and climbing on the internet with two big helium balloons and whatever the fuck this thing is behind, next to me about to play a variety of video games where I'm going to exercise Shibuya Tokyo with a bunch of demons? fight dragons and kill undead death lords smash a bunch of monsters creatures and tarnished while getting pounded into living paste all over fucking landle capital city and then sucking and blowing inside of a volcano for the last few hours of the stream in kirby did i ever think this would be my 40th birthday yes this is exactly how i pictured it i don't know how i figured it out but I knew somehow that on my 40th birthday, this is exactly what I would be doing. To a T. <laughs> no, of course not. Who the fuck would ever say something like that? You know what I mean? Like, but this is my life. This is my life. It's crazy. It's fun, though. That's the thing. My life is crazy, but fun. And that's the combination that's successful, you know. Chaos, but also fun, controlled chaos that to some extent, you know, it's things work out and end up being entertaining cool i love being a variety streamer all right again if i were one of the guys if all i did was play fighting games and all i was doing was playing street fighter today i probably would be upset if all i did was play FromSoft and i had to play elden ring all day today i'd probably be upset i get to do a fun variety of stuff right we're eating food together and everything it's gonna be so neat i really absolutely love that i do i, I have so much fun with this on a daily basis and now to actually be able to celebrate a milestone event in my life live in front of a viewing audience of people all around the world is really neat and no i never ever ever predicted that you know like i said the last few years of my life have kind of been a whirlwind where things re reset for me i was on one course of my life that really was in my opinion going nowhere and then kind of 2017 was the reset button where boom everything changed right the content i was putting out the kind of person i was my re personal relationships meeting the love of my life and everything like everything changed for the better. And since then I feel like it's almost like my second life has started in 2017 and it's kind of been a wild ride since then. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. I am, I'm very excited uh, for the future, all right? Now, I wanna give you guys some perspective here about turning 40, 
all right? And the perspective I can give you is a story that I can tell you from when I was growing up and I attended my godmother's 40th birthday party. This, this stands out for me in my mind. Now, I'll give you a little bit of background. <clears throat> my godparents are basically my mom's cousin's family. My mom's cousin is my godfather. And so his family, you know, we always hung out with them on holidays. It was kind of like, you know, having a, a big extended family to spend time with. Um, and by the way, they had way more money than us. They had a giant house with a huge yard. And they lived out in Connecticut in a nice area. And so every holiday we went out to their house. They ain't coming over ours. We went to their house to hang out <laughs> and have a good time. Bro, this um, is some amazing lore. I'm so excited. And so this was a regular story. occurrence, whether it was birthdays, uh, Christmas in particular, we would always visit them, but sometimes it would be during the summer, like in the middle of the summer, sometimes they just have like a, a cookout and we go over there and hang out over there. I remember, I specifically remember the how I got into WWE, which was WWF back in the day. Wow, my, WWE my lore. used to watch the pay-per-views. He liked pro wrestling and used to buy the pay-per-views and play them when we went over to visit and we would kind of watch with him and it got me into pro wrestling. It really did. That's how I got into, introduced. Isn't it funny? My uncle introduced me to video games and my godfather introduced me to pro wrestling. And both of those things became a part of my life for like the longest time and still are to this day. Pretty interesting. Anyway. <clears throat> so, that being said, um, one of the times that we went over there was my godmother's 40th anniversary birthday. All right? Not, not anniversary birthday. Her 40th birthday. Now, normally, we wouldn't actually go to their home for like the godparents birthday we would go over there because they had three daughters and they were all like my second cousins so whenever they had a birthday yeah we would go to the house it would be their birthday you bring gifts you had to play games yada 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 but for the parents why would we go there for the godparents birthdays usually it's not a big deal but in particular when it was my godmother's 40th that's again supposed to be like a milestone in your life you're over the hill and yada yada so i didn't even know that's why this was a special birthday party i said hey we're going over there. i guess we're going over there right um and I remember, I was, I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to remember my exact age, but I'm pretty sure I was in my yeah, early we, to Yeah, we don't have to know. Come on. Keep it going. Um, so not quite, you know, an Back adult on the yet, story. But I was definitely of the age where I was into video games and playing Street Fighter and stuff like that. Um, and so I remember Bro, going can we not meander for once? I just remember, you know, the whole day everyone was teasing my godmother about getting older. And she was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, everyone's giving her a hard time, all the daughters and everything. And then finally, when it came time, like after dinner, it was time for gift giving and cake and everything. And so finally, they start giving her cards and stuff. And I just remember it stood out to me because I had never heard of the term over the hill before. In my life, I didn't even understand what that term meant. And they gave her a card, birthday card, opens up over the hill, and it shows a person climbing up a hill and basically, they're there, and they open the card. The person tumbles over the hill. Is now tumbling down the hill at rapid speed. It's supposed to be a joke card. <laughs> this is you way know, too again, much detail, is, DSP. When you're 40 years old, you've reached the top of the good thing. Oh, we life, know. Basically, you're halfway done or more than halfway done with your life. And now you're all downhill from there, right? You can't possibly be as good as your first half because now you're old. So here I you am go, sleeping right now. End, okay? I am sleeping. Now, in a lot of ways, I can understand this, this comparison. Here's why. When I was younger, time went by slow as shit. Really, I swear to God, when I was young, it felt like time was moving at a snail's pace. And why is that? Because when you're young, you don't have freedom. You don't have money. You don't have transportation. You can't do whatever you want. You have all the time in the world because you're young. You don't have a job. You don't have responsibilities or obligations. You have nothing to do with that time because you're a senile old man. It, right? Oh, so you sit exactly around with your thumb up your butt, bro. He has all the attention in the world right now. It's his moment. Ways, you know, it's his moment. Here, there, that's why I'm not talking. Things. But that's the thing. When you're He's young, having his moment right now. His inspirational moment. Freedom. When you're an adult. Making me tear up. Okay? Now, well, I can do whatever I want with my time. Right? My problem is I can't because now i got to work to make money. So now I have no freedom of my time there. Oh, <clears throat> now that money has to go to all these financial obligations and things that I have in life now i can't spend it on the things that i want to do so it's kind of like when you're young you have all the time in the world but you don't have the resources when you're an adult 
you have more time, but now all that time is taken up by obligations, and you still can't do what you want to do. So let me get this straight. When you're a kid, you can't do what you want to do, and when you're an adult, you can't do what you want to do. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. What Over the hills and far away, pay pigs and whales come out to play. What are we done with life? Human life, exactly. <laughs> Big up, so all, make the, it the entire time we exist, we don't do what we want to do. Over it doesn't make any sense. Like, well, as how, far why, away why as possible. This is the, as the dream basically of, gone. Oh, you want to do it your life. It doesn't make any sense, right? <clears throat> anyway, all that being said, um, by the way, thank you guys. Tips are coming in. I really appreciate Whoa. this. Again, we'll, all, we'll all get shout outs and everything uh, at the end <laughs> of the podcast as usual. All right. So I remember specifically sitting there and seeing my second cousins make fun of their mother. Oh, no. Being older now. She hit 40 years old, right? And I witnessed it. And Lord they're playing it off like bust. This reminds me of when I have uh, to listen to my grandpa's stories about his time in the Yugoslavian army, and it takes him three hours to just retell the first week he had at basic training. Sarcastic, yeah, this dude is meandering as fuck. But I'm, I'll be honest, I I'm going to mute like, the alerts kind of from now on until the end of like, the story. I wonder. Yeah, I'm going to play I thought about this probably one of the first times, like, self big self-awareness in life, because I was a younger teenager, and I'm like, you know, I really wonder if she likes her life. Does she enjoy what? her family? Does she enjoy what she does here for her work and, and, you know, everything she does with her daughters? Is this what she envisioned in her life when she was getting older? Big ups, uh, Cornelius. This is like her. For the super but this is like a moment sake. of self-reflection, right? To look back on everything you've done in your life and say, wow, <clears throat> you know, look at me and here's what I'm doing. And, you know, <laughs> is this, is it, you know, are you ha are you truly happy? Oh, DSP. Right? I think when you're 40 is really when you need to sit down and actually take a look at your life and everything around you. Okay. And say, are you truly happy with how everything's going? Uh, if you are, great, right? But maybe some people aren't. I don't know. Um, I love. And life. I wondered. I wondered. Gee, is, is this a really a happy family here, or is it not? I don't know. Um, you know, that's kind of. I just started thinking about, it, and that's maybe one of the first times in my life that I started having thoughts like that. And I did. I started thinking about, man, when I hit forty, I wonder what my life will be like. Now, when I was a teenager, do you think that I said, "Oh, here we go"? When I'm 40, I'll be in front of a camera being broadcast across the internet, which wasn't even prominent at the time. And I'll be talking to hundreds of people and we'll have a conversation. What about the masturbating part? Games and shit. Who would have no, thought this dude would masturbate? Happen, you know? Come Again, on. I was and then beg for people. tips all the time. Who would have think that? Plan out a plot for my life. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people do that. Well, here's my life. What I want to do is by by the time I'm 23, I want to have a career. Didn't going. plan the big. I want to start a family by 25. That was I a nice Y pose. One, one daughter and one son, and I'd like to do this. Oh my god, like we want to talk about crazy. That to me, that's nuts. Because life doesn't work like that. At least it never has for me. For me, life is always a series of ups and downs, and you never know when the ups are coming or when the downs are coming. The best way to approach it is ride the ups and enjoy them. And do your best to stay sane during the downs. Okay, so big. The downs will turn around and you'll get some more <laughs> big. ups again. That's just what's kind of happened in my life. And, you know, just the whole YouTube thing and content creation thing has just exacerbated all of that to the point where it's gotten ridiculous, you know. Um, but essentially looking at that, how could I have ever planned anything? I didn't know what was going to happen with my life. Just about, the, the, the formative years of me being an adult in my 20s, I went from working at circuit city an electronic store to working at a bank oh, we're getting the entire the history the lender. entire job history let's go i had to leave then i ended up working at best let's buy go. for a year just to find out that best buy was also fucked up and all this and talk just to say that he's on level one and, and he's happy with it that i was working for this is so lame then i went to a helicopter company that i stayed at for four and a half years just to find out that they mistreat their employees and they overused me underpaid me and laid oh no me off when they didn't it was like a video game anymore. protagonist you know what i mean like it's a pattern of <clears throat> it's, it's not like anything I could have ever planned out and said, this is how what I can do with my life in four or five years. I've never had that opportunity. I've never had that uh, privilege. I guess I would say that's a privilege. If you're someone whose life is so stable and so dependable <laughs> and doesn't fluctuate and everything works out for you, that's actually like a privilege from what I've seen. I don't think many people get that in real life, but some people just think what? they do, especially those who are, I hate to say it, Filthy rich. Those who are born into money. What? They live in that life. What about the champions? Oh, you spend all your money on this bullshit. Like, who else, you could who do else so much could better. That exactly. Right? Yo. None of my friends ever got to do that. Plan out an entire fucking Walk life. out. You know, we didn't live in that privileged lifestyle. And that's kind of the same for me. Like, I never knew what was going to happen with my life. If, it, if YouTube hadn't happened. 
if I hadn't started to become a YouTuber back when I did, I have no idea what I'd be doing with my life right now. Zero idea. I couldn't even tell you how things would have went. You know, who would have known, right? Yeah, that's so, how life works. It's just crazy, like, <laughs> that people have these thoughts about life and how it should be. Why, at the time you're 40, you should have this and you should have this and that. All right? <clears throat> so I, I still you live in a gated community, DSP. Come on. I think back to the 40th birthday party of my great aunt. Oh, this guy or, sucks. I called her my great aunt. She's really, or not my great aunt, or my godmother, excuse me. I called her my aunt, but she wasn't. She was my godmother. It was weird. My family, we didn't like say godfather, god, godmother. We said uncle and aunt for some reason. I don't know. But anyway. Um, you know, it's to me, it's just like, bro, he was so thing. privileged. Come on, he didn't even pay us taxes. Looking at her life, and then they gave him the so bankruptcy. She had three daughters, right? The okay. job that she was working, you have zero, you don't really have a job. Working. And they had a nice, by the way, nice, not really house. improving his, your really skills nice house that they lived in and grew up in. I don't think that anyone would be like, oh, they didn't. Okay, now they had a nice house, better than here, by the way, better than better than here. <laughs> Their house was fucking humongous, giant yard. They had a pool, you know, that good stuff. You know, they did well for themselves. They should be proud of what they built uh, there with their careers and their family because not everyone gets to provide like that for a family. And they did. They get to provide a really nice house and atmosphere and place for their family to grow up. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like I look back at that and I wonder how happy she was. I don't know. You know, it's it's funny because you see the the kids were. What if she was happy day, though? Being old and now, oh look at you! You're gonna be, you're gonna you're gonna start to sag. You're gonna be wrinkly. You're gonna do this and that. They all they they razzed her all day long about it. You gotta wonder if it actually hurt her. You know, like they, I mean, yeah, she's just brushing it off sarcastically. But how much of that did actually got to her? Maybe a lot of it did. Who knows? You know, you don't know. What? But anyway, why are you telling um, this story just to say who knows? I take I take a look at that. Okay. Why? This and was I like a ten minute long that. story now to, to you know to my life as i look at it and i look and i'm like well my life is insanely different than what what my godparents yeah were, were doing back in the 90s they actually had okay. something um and i look i kind of do and look kids. at kids like well let me look at my life now okay i live in a nice place i love where i live if i could help it i would like to never move i'm serious about that. why do we have to I save it every this once in a while it's perfect all right. Are there shortcomings? Of course there are. There's some things I like to improve and, and fix in the house or upgrade in the house. My backyard, I really don't like. I would like to change my backyard and upgrade that for the better. Okay. Um, there's things here that I would you like can to do change. that yourself. Huh? You need to I hire people house. to do that. I love the neighborhood. I love the fact that anything that I need is within a, a quick drive. I don't ever have since I've moved here in 2014. I've never driven on the highway. Wow, there I was lore about it. this. There's yeah, no he was, uh, he Everything got a spasm or something. I can even drive to Seattle right now. And he almost crashed. Within 45 minutes and not have to drive on a highway. Highway driving has been eliminated from my life. I don't that's have to his, do, that's deal his with that thing. bullshit. That that's his quirk. Anymore. He's quirky like that. Um, it's like a you know, passive debuff. Everything, the weather, you can't drive on the highway. Better than where can't I go on the from. highway tiles. No, absolutely not. There's problems with the weather and stuff. But man, I just have a lot of fun uh, with moderate weather and being able to enjoy Man, what, I, what moderate I moderate I weather is so oh fun my god, there's gonna be a ginormous snowstorm that snows me in or oh my god we're gonna have fucking giant hurricanes and shit just doesn't happen out here you know what i'm saying um but yeah like i look at my okay. life now and i'm like wow my family i have a loving wife my love of my life you know have you we, looked what's behind you quite Come a few on. years now we're we've been married for a couple of years well a few years a few years Jeez, time flies. Jesus Christ, I feel like we just got married in three years. Man, see what I mean about getting older? Time just goes by like this. Boop. Holy shit. But anyway, uh, I, I seriously don't know how I could be happier rewind. besides getting more time to spend with my family. That's about it. Because the time I get to spend with my family, I really enjoy. Uh, I wish we had more time because there's things we like to do. Like we keep saying, we'd like to go to the zoo. We would eventually this dude Seattle is obsessed with the zoo i don't know why that for crime obsessed with the zoo up their game to make it a nice touristy place again which i feel will happen it's going to come eventually they've fallen apart in the last two years but i really feel that they will get back on their feet dude eventually. has a zoo okay. fetish but anyway once that happens <laughs> he's like obsessed with there, the zoo right? and eventually we'd like to do other things together yeah we'd like to spend just a day around the house and not have to worry about running out and running errands and grocery shopping and busy work and bullshit and just have some time together, which we don't get. We don't. I One day off a week, that's not enough time to do that stuff, okay? But 
all of that essentially okay um <laughs> oh let's lean in manual me, somebody who's making life. fun of him i'm absolutely loving my life and i i say that i can tell say this to all of you all of you out there the 500 plus people watching live the people who'll be watching this on demand after even those people who want to make fun yeah. of me constantly i have something i really want to tell you and all i right. mean this every day of my life is the best day of my life it is because i've been through a lot of shit in my past that I feel was stressful, fucked up, not going anywhere. You know, I've been through bouts of depression. I've been through messed up things in my life. Times when I, I felt like I was in a dead end. Multiple times in my life, I felt like I was in a dead end. I wasn't going anywhere, and there was no way out. Um, I am loved. I am happy. For the most part, I'm safe. And the reason I say that is because no one's really safe. At any moment, things can flip on their head and all your safety <laughs> smashed sma sma into What? Sma it's, it's You're begging. Person, you're begging. You know, in life. Um, safe? Are there things that could be better? Yes. But every day I wake up, I'm like, wow. I woke up today genuinely excited for the day. I was like, I can't wait. I get to go on stream. I get to chill with all my viewers. I get to have a birthday cake, great food, great games, right? Later tonight, I get to spend time with my wife. This is great. This is a great day for me. I can't wait, you know? And I'll be honest with you, in the past, it wasn't like that. There were many times in my past where it was like, oh, well, just another day. It's not like that anymore. I absolutely love it, man. And that's if I'm 40 <laughs> years old and I'm supposed to be oh oh my hell, God. having a midlife crisis, I'm supposed to be feeling so bad about everything around. Oh, my God. I really pigeonholed myself into a, a dead end now and I can't get out. And I, things, obligations that I hate and all, everything is bad. No, <laughs> it's not the case. All I need to do is stick in there and I feel that over the next few years, all right, Things like this, my business, it will improve. Here no, on PSP Gaming, I no, we can make this grow. We no, can make this get better. We can make this increase in size. No, it no, seen that growth in you're the begging. You're if we begging. can consistently get that to continue to happen, <laughs> I think that we could do really well here. And it could how? Be how will this you happen? See what I was doing on Twitch, seriously. And it sucks because basically I Yo. really was hoping, huh? all right, that we could do something, for example. We um, could do something. Now we're involved. We're forced into it. Channel in time for my birthday, right? That would have been amazing. Oh, it didn't happen. It got debunked. Gaming and do a co-op celebration of my 40th birthday and 200,000 huh? subs. It didn't happen. But that's okay. There was still tons of growth. Still more growth than I've seen on this channel in five plus years. Things are going good in that regard. You know what I mean? Um, Just got to stick it out. I feel like if I stay the course, I don't give up. I stay positive. I do whatever I can to hang in there and keep putting out the content I love to make. And you guys keep supporting it. And we have great times together every day on stream. <laughs> brainwash, you know, brainwash, brainwash. brainwash. Scenes, things are going to go good. Things are eventually going to get to a point where maybe I can have some more time to spend with my family. Maybe I can maybe do some of those improvements to the house that I'd like to do. Fix some of the things that DSP, are broken. DSP, that's not going to happen. Come on, DSP. Really You're on like. the you know downward I mean? trend. I just got to tough it out. We're not really getting okay. there. I'm having a good time while I'm doing it. How are Again, you getting when I there? Say tough it out. All I mean is be patient. You just said you want to be the guy on level one. Thing. Especially in life when you said feel like, a lot like of your life two you've weeks been ago or something. For that payoff and it's still not here. Like when's the payoff, right? I'm not looking for a payoff. He's I'm trying to, to have wait, improvements what? here and there. That's all I need because I'm having a great life. Really, I'm having a really good. But life. you're you're telling people to keep supporting you for keep supporting your entire life for slight improvements every once in a while. DSP, what the fuck? How are you convincing people to support you like this? Life. And I, 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 I'm happy for that. I want to say thank you, obviously, to my family who make that Big possible family. behind the scenes. All three but of them. I want to say thank you to all of you, obviously, who are here live or watching on demand for making this happen as well. This, the fact that I'm 40 and happy is definitely has to do with the choices I've made in my life, but also has a lot to do with you guys being here and supporting the streams. And, and not only do I mean financially, because every time I say support, Idiots want to say it's just money, 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 money. Money's a big part of it. Not gonna money's lie. a big like part of it. In life. You need it money is. To get, to get by. Particularly, my finances have not been great. You guys know how messed up my life has been in the last 10 years with things that bad choices that I made, the bankruptcy, the back taxes, all the bullshit. You know all about that, okay? But it's not just about that, right? It's about having a good time, having people who genuinely come here and tell me, Phil, I love what you do. We have a great time together. There's meaning for me. I love interacting with you, the fun conversations we have, the things that are added to the quality of the content that I put out because of the interactions that we have. The engagement, the last few months, you guys liking the streams, liking the videos, leaving comments, those simple things that are free. Those things are meaningful. Hey, we transition as well. into begging. So it'd be so meaningful. Okay. 
And I want to say thanks for that. As much as you know, you'll always have the element of people out there who are jealous and upset okay. when you're doing well. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever shake that. Because if you haven't noticed, right, when if someone on the internet is down in the dumps, oh my God, I'm completely defeated. Everything's gone wrong for me. You get this this group of people who revel. Oh yeah. I yes. Know. Wow, yes. Yes. Who I don't know. Have no yes. personal attachment to. Maybe I should seek fucking professional help. Right. Right. But when you see someone like me, I'm like, hey, I'm having. I'm 40 and I'm happy. You're gonna okay. Get but you're happy. It's scamming they people, being manipulated. Stuff. They have to be. Don't pay hey, any heed to those fucking people. They will be here all oh, day on stream them. Okay. because they're so miserable. They can't do anything else. They can't find something better to do with their time because I'm they're so, so miserable. Yes. Watch miserable. Watch me be miserable. Don't eat this tangerine. Down. Don't let them try Watch to. This. I am so miserable right, right now. This is gonna be fuck disgusting. Them. Really? They need fuck to me. fucking fuck off. And you're mm. it's just the internet's an open place where anyone can go anywhere they the want. Worst. It's just not possible. But I'm gonna have a great time today. I know we are. I know we're gonna have an absolute, positively great time on stream today. I'm not gonna let these morons drag anything we do down today. Seriously, it's gonna be a good day, a solid. But this is already a segment dedicated to us. Come on. Of gaming, of food, of everything. This already that okay? kind of a stream. Let's keep it going. Very nice. <clears throat> All right. And by the way, I will say this in advance. Thank you to my moderation staff. Really. Thanks I mean, in advance, because today is gonna be a lot of shit hits, and I'm trying to manipulate people. Come on, go away. I went from Twitch back to youtube full-time moderating on youtube is no easy i'm gonna replay all, all the pop-ups that, way, shape, or form. that were silent on youtube is very annoying okay when he you shuts have up a lot of the tools and things that you should have we're gonna have YouTube plenty of time still has not implemented them although they promised them over six months ago they haven't done anything okay thank you to the mod staff who's here day in day out they're volunteers all right they volunteer their own time to help out and they are going to have a tremendous amount of work today with the trolls who are, you know we're going to try to come in here and derail. One million trolls. Head, I sent they're, they're half awesome. of them. They're awesome. Everybody people. else they help me out sent tremendously. I hope they understand everyone they could help. find. This content. And we will destroy Phil. I make it. You guys we will destroy it and him. It, and the mods clean it up. And that's an awesome like thing. Like cleaning up dead bodies. They're the cleanup crew. All right. Only Ladies ice coffee has to clean up dead that's trolls. That's the pre-stream podcast. It's time for shout-outs. Oh, that's it? Oh, now we're going to get one million right. shout-outs. One million. So we'll do shout-outs, and then we're going to order food, okay. and then we're going to get started. Okay, okay? perfect. Let's do shout-outs first. Okay. And by the way, thank you to anyone who becomes a member today. As you know, we have a member's goal of 400 members. We're trying to hit okay, it. Okay, we're trying to hit I it. I think we can hit it by the end of the month. 359 is the status. But he and doesn't update it, so it might so be more. And unprecedented. Probably me more. Reacting to a video about me and my life from five Actually, years I can ago, skip this. As well. I can skip this. <clears throat> Who's here today? Uzumaki did a super chat. Uz Uzumaki. Happy you want a birthday hug or a moo? More like a... Uh, Today's not some Valentine's top. Day. But happy V-Day, Phil. Wishing you 40 more so I can enjoy streams for as long as you're around. May God bless okay, you. Okay, I'm going to play the people that sent me super God. chats, but they didn't play because they were muted. I'm going to replay them now so you all get your message read. And a big ups to all of you. Thank you very much. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Like Linda, podcast, come get your damn man. He's wielding. I can diversify my content and split it between gaming and other things. Oh, he's going to diversify, older, okay. I can't game anymore, I'll have other things big going on. Black Mage. All right, we already started that diversification. Okay, we started okay. this. What's Sir the next one? Sai is it, is it has babe? done a super chat and says, Happy 40th, bro. Long live the king. Thank you very much to Sir Sai. Okay. Europe Gaming. Europe Gaming. Eight months in Big ups, Europe Gaming. That's actually technically you're starting your eighth month, so it counts as eight. Bust. Thank you, Europe. Guys, NARCS have inflated low self-esteem. Narcs, NARCS. Band this time. Big ups, Klaus, v that was yours. Did a super chat this morning. Thank you, V. Nathan Smith is here. His Yo, Nathan Smith, Happy birthday. the Happy birthday. legend. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. I don't know anything about Nathan okay, Smith. did a super chat. I don't know anything about any of his pages. This is crazy. I still remember the walkthrough of Indigo Prophecy, and I feel like that was just yesterday. You know that Indigo Prophecy playthrough? Even though it did get, like, kind of, I, how can I say? It got, like, a cult following, but it never it never got really the full viewership that I had gotten on any of my big playthroughs. Do you know why that happened? Because that was a playthrough that I had pre-recorded, which I did. Everything was pre-recorded back in the day. But I had pre-uploaded it to YouTube and scheduled it out to publish at a certain date. But back then, this is so long ago, that didn't work right on YouTube. When things published... 
they would show up on your channel page, but no one who subscribed to you would get a notification. So the the playthrough went live. It was supposed to be a special Halloween playthrough. Oh no, it was it a disaster no playthrough. It went live. So I had like no, <laughs> no views one knew. On it. And then by word of mouth, I people had no saying, views. You gotta watch those Indigo Prophecy playthroughs. It's really hey, good. it's gonna be the guy. From thousands of children, I'll be the guy. S H I M A T S U K A G. Why are you gonna read it like this? Twenty dollars super chat. I'm gonna have to kill this one too. claims to have a happy life when he's full of crap. I'm forty and doing better than him. Hey, big up, uh, Shimetsu Kage for the yeah, massive pull up. Uh, I'll be the guy style super Thank chat, you, man. Okay, big up. Ongoing viewership and support. It's great for Fat you to be forty Samurai and doing better than him. I've become a channel member. Thank you to Fat Samurai for the channel membership. Carlos Hernandez became a channel, channel member. Membership. Thank you, Carlos. Lord Shielgarak just did a super chat. So happy birthday, Philip Paul Burnell. Philip what game Paul. is first? Ghostwire Tokyo. We're completing Ghostwire first. Okay. All right. This so is this is gonna be so boring. Tips, which looks like there's okay. a significant amount. Of oh, significant through. amount of tips. The when way his like eyes open up for this wall, Ghostwire there's a Tokyo, significant amount. Ghostwire first. <laughs> Well, okay. it's your birthday, DSP. So, Come on. We switch over to tips, which looks like there's a significant amount this morning. Whoa. I really appreciate that, guys. When we get major progress with memberships, Lord and we can get a real full... I'm about to, the I'm about to be 42 and also losing my job so next week. I still we feel like I'm yeah, in a better right position it, than right? Phil. Good Lord. Hey, holy so, shit, why are you losing your job? Which, by the way, it's all glitched out. Shouldn't be losing we're, your okay, job, yeah, we Come on. Don't send me money if you're going to lose your job. Which is great. I think a lot of these were... Come on, dude. But yeah, we're at 361 and climbing. Don't do that. Take care of yourself. So let's get that, that comes that first. updated. I absolutely will be periodically checking on I this hope today. hope you get a Because now would be a good great job. day to get good progress. Okay, did another super chat. Says, Sorry, happy birthday, but dude, no more drunken playthroughs. Oh, I haven't done drunken playthroughs in a million years. Then, Since and there's Christmas. there's various reasons why. Come on. First reason is, you know, this is my job now. When I used to do the drunken stuff, it was not a job that I was planning on making money on. It was just me dicking around. Number two, I'm going to be honest. You know, you, you get drunk, you might accidentally Oops. get goaded into saying something. Oh, you might get goaded. happened before, and <laughs> I can't risk all of this. You know what I'm saying? As silly as it would be for me to do drink. He's going to have game. another uh, Schwartz and Burnell segment. Some asshole says something, I read it out. Like, oh, I didn't realize what I oh, said. No, no, oh, no, I didn't realize this. This was it, an accident. You know? It's just not worth it. Sadly, with the amount of trolls that I have having me on my toes all the time, I can't be fucking around with that kind of stuff. You know the what I mean? Of trolls. We're quick scoping from uh, here. Thank you, Case. He does Stiles. anything? I'm going to catch him like I caught support. him on Christmas when he was sleeping. And I put him on the super full screen. His fucking sleepy face. As he was drinking and eating food, playing Resident Evil and Skyrim. And he fell asleep on his own fucking stream. That is, by the way, during the day. And it was like 3 a.m. my time when I was watching it. This asshole. Much Rob. And we got the sex bots again. Today. We're gonna get some love to all over the screen. They're gonna me. bust all over the place. Mads. Stuff. And here's a good thing. I'm trying to do it, but from OBS, Even it's kind of hard. You don't like half the game. Life is tough sometimes. We're There's just gonna look at him. Come on. The king. There's still don't be other tempted. Games you probably will like. That's why I love being a variety streamer, man. Really. You can come back when the, when uh, I'm swinging to a game that you like. I probably will. Big up some mod that deleted it. Know what's going on? I can't fucking see an OBS. I'm not signed in. Okay. It's all Thank you, Rob, for the day. Zombie. Hey, it's Give Rob. Says, How and then zombie. Tomorrow so now we get Rob play. Zombie. You know, fucking nice. I love House of the Dead One. House of the Dead One, in my opinion, is one of, if not the best light gun shooter ever made for arcades. I liked it so much back in the day that I mastered it. I could actually beat the game on. Yo, one Romance one. Cat. Okay. That's how much I played. Sweet. I loved it that much. Um, Romance said, Midlife Crisis. It's a short game. It really is. So you could beat that game in like 25 minutes, if that. Um, with secrets and everything, it's a little bit longer than that. But. To buy a home version of it, just to play through it like once or twice, unless unless they have significantly this is now a drinking stream to buy a beer. I did. I, I'm I gonna really drink off camera. Just so you know, you know what I mean. Like you're gonna play through. That's in a, case that's we get crazy. You go Someone to goads me into saying play. something. That makes sense. It's a digestible experience. I don't know if it makes sense as a console. Warts and Burnell. Honest, oh my God! What have I done? I said it. House of the Dead One and Two. Collection. We're talking about House of the Dead okay. DSP. Carry yeah, on. Your so house is House of the, the Dead. Of on by the way you look. But this game, Not I bad. don't know if it's, had, if it's worth it, you know. I'm interested in it. Absolutely. You're not, not interested in it. In Come like on. 40, bucks or maybe 30 bucks on a game Yo, you'll, you'll be the guy. See it all and I agree with you. Like 20 minutes. I'll be the guy. Rampant okay. Bumsai just busted right. a $10 Rob on Wheels did another chat. 
Dollar fifty, in his opinion, is Star Wars, like nothing but games and Star Wars. Absolutely oh nothing. my god. Big up. Star Wars. Fuck WWE. He did learn nothing. He did learn I nothing. Big up, uh, Ramp and like uh, Bonsai. He's interested in Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Fuck Star Wars. WWE. Well, there you go. I think Take we, a we, sip. Rob would like me to play starting on Friday. Fucking Star Wars. Star Wars. I hate Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. I hate Star Wars now. That it's trendy to hate Star Wars. Well, and by the way, thank you for the lovely musical rendition that you did there. I can't believe how well you can sing. Uh, Harry Butthole. Oh, wow. Which all the crazy names are today. out in full He's force. Still happy birthday, dude. I haven't been around much, but I hope that all is well with you. Well, thank you, Harry. Uh, yes, things are going good for the most part. As they always say, there's always room for improvement. At the same time, I'm enjoying life. We're having a good time. Thank you for the very generous tip. Godzilla's giant dino dick. Tip me ten dollars. Says you, if you considered a new tip goal, where you strip naked if you get to five hundred. Yo, no, because I'm not a Yo. complete fucking. This idiot. is the the next gimmick I'm gonna do. But thank you for the tip. Project I'm gonna Zeno. eat these worms. I'm gonna be like the boogeyman from the wrestling. I'm gonna eat worms. Thomas McDonald. Wow. And I'm gonna eat to more worms than he did. Happy 40th birthday. Uh, Skittles. That, I'm gonna do that. Obviously, that's the biggest tip. Destroy of the day. DSP. And we get a massive contribution. That's great. And that jumps us all the way up to $82 in tips so far. Which means it's going to glasses time. And now let's do some horn blows. Your life is nothing. Thing always fucking falls. Thank God no more of this it's after terrible, today. terrible, bro. Tomorrow we go back to normal. No more of this shit falling all over me. Very nice. Thank you very much, Thomas McDonald, for the very generous tip. All right, big all up, right, Tom McDonald. I'm now. eating the first one. This one has a robust right. green Let's and white on. coloring. Ryudo right? Mastermind. Tip $4.20. Wow. Puts on the glasses. I'm going to put Happy this birthday, in my mouth, Phil. okay? I, love your content. I can't attend the whole mm. celebration, but I wish you the best. Wow. It's all good, man. Mm. That's why I'm happy you can be here whenever you can. Yeah. And you can always watch On Demand afterward because of the way that I split up my videos and upload them. It's easy to figure out what each segment was. Tarantula MS channel. 2018 is tipping me $10. Except happy everything birthday. is out Thank of order. Thank you so much, Tarantula. I don't have bubbles. I would. Appreciate it. I would that. if I had. Harry Butt holded another $10 tip and says the following. Um, You were around 30 when I started watching you. Your own reminiscing is making me do it now. As a young team back then, my life's totally different. But hey, it's nice that you're still doing your thing and I have time to keep up with it. it what's funny about that, Harry Butthole, if you take a look, it was actually Darziak who posted up a comparison picture on, on uh, Twitter the other day. A, an actual screen grab of me during a vlog in 2012 and an actual screen grab of me doing the pre-stream podcast today in 2022. And outside of the fact that my beard is completely gray down here... I look exactly the same. Uh, my, uh, shocking no. enough. Me, no, come on. The same. Come on. It's exactly the same. It's like I literally two different pictures. In the last decade, my hair was always bad. <laughs> my hairline was huh? bad a decade ago. It really was. And I'm looking at myself like, damn, my face looks the same. <laughs> I don't even look like Yeah, of course wrinkles. it does. I look like the same guy except my hair. This is, is how he looks. Now. Wait, because this makes him look so, prettier because my thing? stream is, is better. Thing? But I mean, look at this. Well, this is him. This is the, the raw fill. Also argue, damn, he looked old as shit when he was thirty. Come on. So I don't know what the argument really is. Okay, I'm way paler. That's the lighting. That's totally of the lighting. Of course it is. Right now I could change the, the camera lighting. It would and look, I would look like look way this. More yellow. The wow. Back in Connecticut Looks amazing. I would look way more know. yellow. That's the only difference. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's hilarious. Yeah, I didn't yeah. age much, but I looked bad to begin with, so it doesn't really matter, right? When you start off looking like a bloated dead fish, it doesn't really matter <laughs> if then you still look like a bloated dead fish, dead fish 10 years later. <laughs> okay, then. So they, so what tip was that? Yo, we got 100. That was Harry Butthole. Oh, he and forgot. He, he forgot so it. He dropped them all on the floor. Ahead, before I get ahead of myself. He dropped them all on the floor. Who is this 100 from? Who is this like? Uh, there's like two fifties. Which there's like a twenty five here. Who gave this? Which hat is fortieth birthday bag? Money bag segment. Would it be the cowboy hat? <laughs> Would it be a white hat? Calling out baller Would it Got be... no problems with baller alert. With everybody on baller alert. I'm trying to think of anybody else out there talking shit about me. Here we go. 
the fake hair hat. There we go. Fake hair, of course. Or we could do. Yo, we got more sex pops. Uh, it's getting popped. Oh shit. See, we did Pikachu a lot recently, so I kind of don't want to do Pikachu right away. But Bro, like I for real. You guys, oh, he doesn't want to do it right away. Through the stream, we'll do a hat swap. Where we'll a hat swap. Hats, okay. It's like a vest swap, but less sexy. What should I click, no you guys? Which hat is 40th birthday best? Cowboy, Viking, fake hair, Pikachu. Right, fuck it. One, two, three, or four. Come on. We'll you're do you're fuck it. deciding my vote. Cowboy, Viking, the fake hair hat. Come on, Pikachu you're brainwashing hat. me on in this start. segment. Okay. Okay. Atlas Telemon. Oh, the $10. legend. Happy He's birthday, back. Phil. Welcome to the 40s. I've been he here for a few back. years, and it's awesome. Oh, and the it's baited. will be royal. Long <laughs> it's baited. Talking about the 40s. Atlas. For the kind he probably words, remembers the previous 40s board. as well. Let's get that on the leaderboard. Last 40s was so much fun. I mean, the 1940s. This is happy birthday, Phil. Welcome to the 40s. Yeah. Club. Sounds like a lot of my viewers are actually in their 40s. Do you want to know the truth? I'm not surprised. Uh, then why do you have to explain to them how the YouTube government works? Because now I actually oh, oh, oh we're going to the YouTube Studio app. And everything. Getting you a playthrough. Go over to the analytics, and you go to the demographics. Okay of my audience what you'll find might actually shock you all right listen to this this is very interesting bro come on you told people to lie about their age on youtube specifically between the years you told them 17 years old that's it that's wow. it a lot of people people oh, lie about lie. their age no one percent of my audience is kids okay 24 percent right. of my audience is between the ages of 18 and 24 so young young adults okay a whopping 49% of my audience yeah. ranges from the ages of 25 to 34. That's huge. Okay. 18% of my audience, still a very sizable chunk, is between the ages of 35 to 44. Okay. Then 5% of my audience is from the ages of 45 to 54. And then as we go upwards in ages, like negligible 1%. Oh, again. that's not. That's so the, the shit Onision does. Come on. Me. Look, you guys, I'm not a predator. All the people who watch me are 18 plus. That's adults. how Onision talks. I put out adult content. Adult content, like yeah. Content, but it's adult content. I put out adult Absolutely content. No one oh, yeah, the those, squeezed banana. Uh, squeeze banana in my mouth. Those statistics, which, for clickbait purposes, here is the banana. I'm yet to eat it. Here it is. Look at it. <laughs> I like Atheist that. nightmare. You. I can shoot you with it. I can talk on it. Well, I should say both I people in the can squeeze it, but I'm not going to do that. And get in trouble. It's not that kind of a stream. Elski has tipped me $10. He says, happy birthday, Phil. I'm not on streams much these days, but I always catch up with your videos. And again, that's what it's all about. That's why I continue to put out the on-demand videos. Thank you, Elski, for just swinging by. And Big ups, Elski. Um, Darziak tipped me $52. Whoa, put on that vest cents. and that hat. That is currently the top Go tip for of the it. day. Let's Splash. Get on the leaderboard. <clears throat> Splash. From half court against like the Knicks, so it doesn't matter. And that's gonna j propel us to one hundred and ninety-eight dollars. <laughs> or against the Lakers, which definitely means there will also be. So a it really doesn't either, matter because you're gonna get to pick between a vest or a football jersey, and then you get to pick the color. Very right? nice. Let's I'm gonna pick. let you guys vote on the hat a little longer, so please keep voting. And oh, it's wow! It's neck and neck between Cowboy and Pikachu. We're right there between. Wow, like we're right there, the Cowboy I'm and Pikachu. I'm gonna go a tiny bit more to determine the first hat for the day. By the way, as I told you guys, what we'll likely do since it's a he's marathon, either gonna look dumb or he's gonna look marathon, stupid. We'll repull and switch things. Switch the hat. Switch whatever I'm wearing, whether it's a vest or, or a, a jersey. Okay. All right. Thank you, Darcy. Okay. Actually, that are you out of contributions? No, there are more. Somebody sent a hundred. Big Papa Pump tipped me two dollars. Thank you, Big Papa Pump. Somebody sent a hundred. Come on, We're, we we gotta get to it. Of videos. Looking forward to feasting. Big Papa and Pump. An awesome day. Thank you very much. Uh, Come on, pick up those tips. Pump Let's Pump. keep going. Two hundred dollars. Like a stripper that dropped all the tips. Gentlemen. And I was asking who is this from. I didn't even see this happen. I missed it. Oh yeah, you did see it happen. Come on. K Style 1998 with a one hundred dollar. Tip. You're gonna get clown mode? Oh my god. Your life is <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, K Styles. Thank for you. For the insanely Thank generous you. tips. Thank Actually, you. Been a, you really a deserve this. You hard. deserve this blow. You deserve this. <laughs> the largest tip I ever had, if I remember correctly. I would play the air horn if I still I'm had not it. Kidding. Is I it really obnoxious? Dollars. That was so many years ago. Um, and that's not something, that's a crazy, you know, exception. Uh, 
I can't yeah, believe we were saving the house. <laughs> it's insane. Thank you guys. Thank you, K Styles. Wow, thank you, K Styles. Hit, man. Wow. Thank you so much. So, with that, I'm going to lock it in. Yes, we'll do halfway through today's stream. That's a lot of pulls. Probably about yeah, to be feasting with the king or whatever. All right. Um, we'll do a switch. Wait, I had this, <laughs> this sound here I'll somewhere. Whatever I'm wearing. On so one of the clown boards. Okay. Cool. Lord Shio Garout just did a $10 tip. He says, Happy birthday, Philly Paul, Paul Dave, Dave King Burnell. None wow. of that makes any sense, but I appreciate it. Yeah, it does make Thank sense. It's all your meme names. Dave, Paul, Paul, Dave, Dave, King, Brunel. Right. Yeah, because you call yourself Whatever all you these say. things, except the things that the trolls call you. All right. Yeah, you know all about this. So. Oh, here's that sound. Now that it's super late. Almighty Lord Kevin Ra. is watching my stream For right now. Now I have to swing back to YouTube side Oh, we're swinging. We're swinging and we're swapping today. This, so swapping today. this so stream is getting suspicious very fast. But at some point, he's going to fall asleep again, so it's all right. Jeff. It's all right. We have this membership for nine months. It says, take this support. I do take that support, and I appreciate that support. And I, I really, really, I bathe in the support. Bad Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bold Jeff. Alien Boy 13 is in a super chat. Says, Happy birthday, Phil. I wish you the best. Thank you, Alien Boy. All right. That's a quick Here answer. Let's keep them coming. Come on. Are you going to see Sonic 2? I didn't see Sonic 1. Level 1? I, I, I get the feeling eventually I'll see these movies. I, I I went. Oh yeah, he didn't a see it. I mean, yeah. to completely not watch it. Yeah, you were never a movie Seriously. buff. You just this bought a bunch of movies. That you're, you're don't know anything about them anymore. I barely watch movies. Uh, what are you gonna do? But I I swear I will probably eventually get to them. I hope. I think. Dark I Side them. Chris. Okay. Send him twenty. Um. Thank you for the super chat. Big ups, Dark Sean Side Chris. Super chat. He's like Dark you. Side Phil and Chris Sean. Chan had thank a you baby. Your birthday wishes. You guys are freaking awesome. I guess. Let's get that up on the leaderboard. Thank you, Sean. All right, now we swing back. And we've got Dark Side Chris. Bro, he can't, he can't keep Mary up with the amount of money that's Mary, coming in. He can't Mary, keep Mary up with it. You, this is another you. thing he's backlogged on. Actually, he backlogs on anything. Thank you, Dark Side Chris, for the support and the, the nice work. Dark Side. Harry Butthole took another $10. Thank you, Harry Butthole. He says, regarding the age stats, I believe most of your fans are adults, but they keep in mind that most underage people say they're 18 on YouTube anyway. At least uh, that's what I did when I was underage. Of course. I mean... You'd have to be pretty I mean, it's his birthday. Come on. I'm just saying. If, if there was a time he would well, like, make a bunch of money for not doing anything, it's his birthday. Because on this day, he gets money just simply for existing. That's what makes him special. He started existing on this day. So he has to get a celebration in his honor. Because he exists. But because he's a narcissist, he has a week of hype before it. Thank you for the great content. You're welcome, Nico. And thank you for the support and the kind words. Big Papa Pump tipped me two dollars. We get you've impacted sip a lot of people's lives over the years. You actually helped me and others get through COVID lockdowns. I can't thank you enough. You know what? For this getting so through awesome. lockdown, Here's looking at DSP again. You guys don't understand how special this is because I'm sitting here with you guys, hundreds of people on the internet on my 40th birthday. This is pretty crazy. Come on, it's a pretty obscure, obscure bizarre thing. The last decade has been meaningful. That That's is pretty wild, especially if you're watching this stream. Good. This is thank crazier. You thank you, thank you, thank you. And by the way, like I said. Unlike most people who hit 40, like, oh, that's it. Over the uh, hill. I'm like, nah, this is the beginning. This is, this the, is beginning the beginning of the rest of my life that's going to be awesome. Seriously, this is the beginning of all the awesome stuff to yet to come. You know, I can't wait to see the games we're going to play, the, the fun we're going to have interacting, the shows, the, the fun we're going to have interacting. The, different stuff that the we're fun gonna we're going to have awesome. interacting. Thank you so much. This is like straight up just filler, filler brainwashing. The fun we're going to have interacting. Who talks like this to humans? Um, Man, okay. we're going to have a lot of fun interacting today. Jesus. It Who are still you talking to? You it still continues. Food, right? Oh, we're at 344. Oh, all right. Just did a super we're chat. moving it. Says, Happy day of birth. Hope you and your family enjoy. Thank you. Like I said, I pretty much had my day of enjoyment yesterday with, with Kat. And that was a really nice day to spend with her. You didn't I'm even get I got to top. celebrate Come yesterday on. with her and today with you. You should have got top in the vest. The vest okay. had glasses um, and top. It looks like the Pikachu hat's gonna win, man. The Pikachu hat. No, it's by one percent. What? We should go rig the poll with a one percent. Vote for. Uh, going. Jesus. I think the cowboy right, one is more time. like poetic, because today we is the cowboy's day. To order food. If, if not today, when is he gonna like wear said, the iconic hat? Barbecue. Oh, we're gonna order Let's food. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get this done. What are we so, gonna do? Here's the thing. I'll tell you right now. This dude's gonna order food. Absolutely, positively, one of the things that I want to do. From Hawaiian barbecue, Bro. I want to try something with spam. I know it sounds with weird spam. shit. All right. That they have a cuisine 
that's a considered gourmet cuisine and has spam in it. But I absolutely I have a question for you, so chat. When have there. you had a time when ordering food on the phone and looking at somebody order food on the phone was like, fun? You might have had a time like this. You are really stoned. It's actually it's very it's fun. Called? Okay, I retract my question, but you can still answer it. I'm not going to ban you or something. Unless you say something I don't like. Now we're completely zoning out. He opened, yeah, he clicked on the champion's they notification. Have spam musubi. <laughs> and Yo. they also have spam musubi with egg. Fantastic. Now, I don't know how Maybe we can see the reflection of champions on his, uh, in his glasses. We need to ask Kiwi Farms to do this. Oh, look, look, it's his glasses. He's looking at champions. It's gonna be a new made-up thing. Try for sure. Okay. But I love making I up shit, so it's, it's all right. See, I don't know how the egg comes into play. Last great thing we made up was that DSP also has a secret job that he's not telling anybody about. Try the original first without egg. Okay. Everyone's okay. Okay. Let's, okay, we're gonna add that. I'm definitely gonna get that. That sounds all right. good. Now, that's awesome. I want something. Yo, that's he got like almost 200 likes. Unique. Now, this I is the most positive day of his lead. life. Let's take a look. And also what happens to be the first day of the rest of his life. So, so it makes it a new beginning. He can use all this money and run to like Texas or something. Here's their most popular. This, like, Four hundred dollars. Of course, Loco <laughs> Moco. Now, can I be honest with all of you here? Loco Moco. I'm gonna read Loco what it Moco. Says. And I'm gonna two show it on screen to you packets. because served over he rice, doesn't want it. Two eggs and smothered in gravy, Loco style. Does it sound interesting? Yes. Does it sound like good? <laughs> good. They do other stuff. They do other stuff that I think may actually be more authentic. This is the loco moco. Told me the loco moco thing is kind of like a tourist thing. Oh, this thing. looks nice as fuck. Um, while if you actually get their slow, this is absolutely meats, devourable, like, wow, a thousand percent. That's more authentic to what they actually eat there. <clears throat> um, let me keep going. So they have okay, um, keep going. katsu loco. That's, they actually uh, have a slow cooked one. pork, and I forget what. Oh, they call it Kalua pork. All right. It's a slow cooker pork dish. Bro, he's gonna okay. read the they entire app, the entire place. I didn't even know that yakisoba was Hawaiian, Man. but I guess they have that. Um, then again, chicken katsu is Japanese style, but they do it there in Hawaii, their own twist on it, right? Well, we can but actually skip through. through this. So for beef, well, dish, let me go through. Spicy Shut terry up. chicken. Okay. They have katsu no, I can't really katsu skip a lot. But I've had that at other places. <laughs> Moshiko chicken. Which is chicken thighs marinated with a special sauce, deep fried. A popular Hawaiian dish, it says. Pineapple orange chicken. I don't know if that seems too authentic, right? Doesn't seem too Garlic authentic. Chicken, orange what do you chicken, mean, like? Curry. He's is he, is he trying to stereotype Hawaii to figure out what is authentic? Let's stereotype it. What is Hawaii okay. known for? Pork. Okay, so uh, their surfing. Pork is called Kalua pork. I don't know. And what it is? I don't is, know, you guys. I'm it's European. A slow, I don't know slow shit about Kalua Hawaii. pork, and then they have different uh, presentations. Sometimes you get it with cabbage. You can get it in that loco style, where they top, they serve it over rice, top it with two eggs, and they smother it in gravy. Wow. Okay. That sounds. He's having a, a fantasy right now, man. What is Chad gonna say about it? And the Karen pole says now. The Kalua pork would be Hawaiian barbecue. Lomi, lomi salmon. Thank you, Karen. I don't know if they have that. I'll look. There is seafood coming up. Huli huli chicken, teriyaki ribs, halfi. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna okay. make a song out I, of right. all of this. I'm absolutely getting the pork. 100. I want to try all the of this. Pork. Is That's going in a song. One of the more authentic things. I absolutely need to try the pork. That sounds good to me. How I get it, I don't know. What's up with that pole? Cabbage, just the pork, pork local. Nothing. Style. It's tied. Cowboy and Pikachu is tied. Now Cowboy is one percent ahead. Um, so here's their seafood. And there's Garlic 562 style, shrimp, votes bowl, of 561 Sadly, people watching. They have salmon. It's basically everybody watching who participated in the poll. That's an extremely positive there. stream. Suspiciously positive stream. Yeah, here's, see, they have that different mixes. The ultimate mix has Terry beef, the ultimate Colby mix. ribs, What about the penultimate mix? But that doesn't have the pork. Oh, I want one that has the pork, actually. You yeah, have the pork. I want one that has the pork. Let me take a look here. I got to look because they have different combos. They have one that's just, it's pork and chicken together. Maybe I'll get the pork and chicken combo. Bro. Bro. After this, oh, when, he, when he starts playing the, the game, we're going to play Jackbox hmm. side by side. Because he's going to play what? The, the most boring one, right? He's going to play Ghostwire Tokyo. They have pork and cops. And I have I to be here. Cots. I've had chicken cops I, a lot. Recently. I pledged I like my soul to be here. As we started ordering, I'm stuff kidding. I like it. It's actually pretty fun. Various katsu's from Come different on. Japanese places. Maybe he's gonna fall asleep again. Stay away from that because I kind of know what it is. Okay. I definitely want the pork. That sounds unique to me. So I got to get something with the pork for sure. Okay. 
You can play some music in the background. Riddell? Hmm. Oh, man. PSP, this come on. So, this food sounds so good, dude. Yeah, this food sounds so good, man. <laughs> this food, it sounds so good. Oh, by the way, it looks like the Pikachu hat one. At this point... Hey, the Pikachu yeah, hat one. Yeah, we're just going to go with the Pikachu hat. With 2%. Two guys, there will be all right. a second... I think the cowboy one was uh, was Karen, better, but Karen it's all right. Says, Pikachu hat looks, looks more Hawaiian stupid. Barbecue, but if you're just doing Hawaiian food and not specifically barbecue, it is one of the most delicious foods that we make. Oh wow! Look at whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa! This was extreme. Look at this. Barbecue, but if you're just doing Hawaiian the food, absence of hair. Barbecue. It is one of the most. Shut up, DSP. Turn around. Yo, what is happening here? Are we landing a, a private jet for the for the birthday party? Is it cleared for a private jet? Look at this. Wow. Do they like Pikachu in Hawaii? <laughs> Why would you do this? Baller alert. Is Pikachu part of uh, traditional Hawaiian culture? I'm just oh, kidding. yeah. Hide it. Hide it. Silly. Put something on top. Um, come on. By the way, I saw more tips come in. I will shout those out. Uh, let me order first, and then we will, I'll shout those out. Um. Oh, by the way. Now, are we going to have a vest or a jersey? Yeah. And now we look now great. it's time to vote oh shit, and i look great too i don't have any gimmick hats i just have my almost no hair which but that's how it is today Carol but i have lights is birthday yeah best would it be a best 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 uh jersey you or guys a jersey a or a jersey and then depending on what let's wins. get live with the terry chicken oh we're back I'll to reading honest, this i've had to be this I've is so fucking bizarre man boys. it's absolutely outstanding if you're not somebody who's not into this chicken. fucking weird shit and you happen to see this stream or i clickbait you into watching this stream because you saw the thumbnail and you were really confused and you saw that there was people watching this i can't explain this to you because there are so many layers to this it's just like a 40 year old a freshly 40 year old climaxes his birthday week into a birthday bash marathon that's how he calls it and is now ordering food live on stream while wearing glasses that people paid fifty dollars for and a hat that people paid a hundred dollars for and is about to wear a vest that people paid 150 for and he is also known for actually playing games but actually not because he's known for actually begging for money all the time and for being a weasel and low-key scamming people and high-key scamming people. And he also masturbated on a live stream. This is my explanation, I guess. But uh, you probably know. Why, why am I even talking about this? Uh, cat. Let's go back to ordering food. Wants to try. I have to find it. Where the hell did it go? Cat wants to try. Wait, cat wants to? I can find. Wait, what? what? I know it's on here. I just saw it. Yo, this is the the worst stream that's ever been. The worst. Here it is. Cat wants to try the poke bowl with tuna. Awesome. She's never had a poke, poke with bowl tuna. Before Sex in bots life. invading again. No, and I need to open OBS. She's dying and, to try like one. She's always thing. wanted to try one. The ban so here's an opportunity. But right? I also Why like not? the emotes. So they they make it like hot. It's cool. All right. We take a sip. So, so far, I got a Spam Musubi. We're going to try the pork. We're going to try the chicken. And we're going to have some uh, macaroni salad. Okay? Big old smack salad. Let me so see. So he figured it out? Uh, man. The thing is, everything. Bad. I don't want to add another thing that I'm not going to eat or finish. And it's expensive. You know what I mean? Uh, dude, you just got 340 fucking dollars. It's expensive. It's your special the birthday logo, celebration. The logo is expensive. Dude, it's fucking. It he's fucking being a skimp for his fucking birthday celebration that he only he is eating nobody else is eating this outside of him and cat it's not like all of us are here to eat and it's now it's expensive 344 dollars into this stream it's expensive how much is it get loco moco come on that's great do not get loco moco someone's yelling at me don't do that stop this Ma macaroni this salad. Stream. I love macaroni salad, so I hope that their macaroni salad is good. <laughs> can't eat it a lot. Macaroni salad, oh my god, it's so high in fat and calories, but I love it. It's delicious. Okay. Yeah, I think that might be just what we go with. That's a, I mean, that's going to be way more than enough food. The Spam, the Spam Masubi, and trying the pork, and trying the chicken, and trying the macaroni salad. I really... Bro, feel, somebody sent him a mega cringe like that's super enough. chat. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think I'm going to want any more food than that. Alright, I'm just so going to go with that.
Your stream is like a bonfire within a hostile open world. We can sit around, feel safe, and have a moment of respite. Happy birthday and thank you for the good times. This is a, a thing. He is now, his stream is like a bonfire in Dark Souls. When you lose your all your souls, you give away all your souls to him. All your souls. And you don't even get stronger, you just get more broke. I'm actually upping the tip. But this guy is, is happy, like the vendor is happy. <laughs> this was... Oh. Okay, Burnell? Burnell? Where is he? Alright, let's do it. What are we doing? Uh, I want to see him in a jersey, that's gonna be cringe as fuck. But it's still 50-50, man, how does he do that? So bizarre. All right. Okay. We're scheduled, so, uh, okay. We're gonna amazing. Go on the Let's play video guys. games. Thank you for helping. We're gonna us play video here. games today. I actually appreciate. Was it Karen who basically was telling me yeah, more, more legitimately? Uh, ups, Karen. You know, traditional for barbecue. I appreciate. Probably that. a sock, but it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, more shout outs. Jesus, this pre stream will never end. More shout outs. Um, Alice Telemont took me five dollars. You know what's mind blowing? My son was three when I started watching you play Street Fighter Four. Now he's almost sixteen. He's, and watching you play Elden Ring, he played you online in Super Turbo. Process that, yeah. Pretty crazy, huh? Oh, yeah, that's pretty crazy, dude. It, listen, when I was growing it's up, wild. no one knew that you would ever have an ability to like, share your wild. life with it's people insane. over the internet. Like, no one even knew what the internet was. You know, what a crazy thing. How how life has turned out. You never would have saw, thought of any of this stuff coming. Eternal Napalm tipped me $5. Happy birthday. 40 is a big milestone, and I hope you have a fun day. Thank you, Eternal Napalm. Appreciate that. It's good to see you here today. And Big Papa Pump to be a dollar fifty says two hundred likes during the pre-stream podcast. Today will be a great day. Did we? I have not even. Looked oh yeah, a massive amount of likes. Two hundred and seven. A single glance. We Man, this is uh, amazing. Two hundred seven likes and climbing. I'm really proud of this community. Podcast guys, thank you for all of your support. And now, oh my God, there's more YouTube contributions. Uh, <clears throat> there's more contributions. Kevin Bernstein is talking about with the podcast being on Spotify. I've never uploaded anything to Spotify. I don't even even visit. Somebody Spotify. else did so though. If there's anything there that's that says it's mine. It's, it's somebody a lie. else it's did. Sub Zero did a ten euro super chat saying your stream is like a bonfire. It, it, in a hostile online world, we could all sit down around it, feel safe, and have a moment of respite. Happy birthday and thank you for the respite? good times. That was nice. Is that how it's say. called? Seriously. Respite. My podcast, my streams, are the bonfire. In the middle. Oh yeah, a thousand game. percent. All relax together. That is awesome that you said that. I actually really appreciate that. By the way, this podcast is almost two hours long. I just noticed the camera's crooked. That's my high level of professionalism. <laughs> okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the vote for a vest or a jersey is hot and heated. It's one percent. No, two percent towards vest. Bro, I can't do this. All Fucking right. lag my whole So last shit. chance, if anyone has a I last minute turn on question, the jack box. something else that they want to chat it's probably about, now's your gonna chance. Because we're going to end the pre-stream in just a too minute unstable. here and actually jump into the conclusion of Ghostwire Tokyo. Now, I'm going to reiterate the order of events today. Ghostwire Tokyo will conclude. Probably only going to take about 90 minutes. Then we're going to do some Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Then it's time for the food, Feasting with the King. Then it's Elden Ring. Oh, feasting is going to be in the middle. That's, That's great. Order I'm playing the game. That's great. I'll change the stream appropriately to say what game I'm playing. I will tweet out when I begin playing each game so people will know when to join the stream. Okay? Okay. Derek says, what was the name of the, the Hawaiian restaurant? I'm not going to say Derek. I'm not... You have to understand. Derek is asking. There's a million people who fucking <laughs> Derek wants the dog. I'm not going to say restaurant. shit. shit. If I do, uh, they're going to call then, people then and say, begin. Phil right, is I'm actually doing, doing stuff. information. We want to destroy Phil. Oh, thank you. Pro destroy Phil. He says, happy birthday and hope for another uh, 40. Guts is here today. He says, happy birthday. Hope you, have, you treat yourself well. I mean, treat myself. Will be <laughs> Derek wants the dogs to the restaurant. Today. That's the <laughs> yeah, shut up, today. Derek. Get out of here. Excuse me. Ooh, oh, excuse wow, you're me. not excused. You're never excused, actually. Nim Duo says, big ups. I'll see you for Kirby tonight. Sounds good. And I will tweet when we go live with Kirby later tonight so you guys know. All right. Big Papa Pump just tipped me a dollar fifty. It says, uh, podcast, you mentioned you don't drink while gaming anymore. Will you still do the drinking Christmas event? Don't tell the trolls what restaurant. Exactly. Um, no, I, I do still do drink only during the Christmas event. 
But I still don't get drunk. I drink some, you know, some uh, eggnog. I list it. I have Egg -dag. cinnamon apple whiskey or whatever. But no, I don't. Uh, I'm not going to be drinking until I get sloshed or whatever. But yeah, Christmas is the exception. Yep. Hello, Spandall. He says, howdy. It's okay if you don't make it to the boss and Kirby tonight. The cost, the boss without spoilers is a massive All right, we're going to do that's what people told a me. variety so of stuff. The boss tonight. In fact, I would purposely say even when if this we get guy to the starts boss, playing games. that's where we'll end tonight's stream. Okay. When did I move from Twitch to YouTube? Last oh, year. Oh, no. Come on. No. 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 April, no. They basically were kicked me out of the partner program this is with the worst. zero justification. They tried to half-ass an explanation. And I said, that's great. Can you give me evidence of what you're accusing me of? And they never responded ever again because they knew legally they had nothing. They were assholes. They, they kicked me out. They kicked Wings of Redemption out. They kicked a ton of content creators out last year with no actual legal justification for some odd reason. I don't know what it was. Maybe there was some sponsor or something they were bringing in. And they felt that people who had high trolling rates basically were like bringing down the site. Who knows? But I did nothing wrong and they punished me for it. So I said, fuck them. And I left and I came back over here to YouTube. And I've been streaming here ever since. I think it was... I want to say it was late April, but it might have been early May when I started. I think it was early May when I full time started streaming here for good. full time streaming. What have you? I, I love the way this Aloha, phrase is a full time Aloha, streamer. Rilton. Okay. Hey, we go Black Mage. Yeah. The, TV says they pick and choose who to for exposing the policy. restaurant. Now yeah, we're gonna call the way, them. I'm gonna call them live, to and I'm gonna say you're doing this order. I want to cancel it. Don't do that. that that's dumb with how they still upheld their decision which is illegal yeah, bad <laughs> you can't do that it's not how so life's I can gonna sue work. them if i want i'm not going to because i don't have the time or means i'd rather just put out positive content over here on youtube and focus on the future rather than suing those who have done me wrong in the past no so, you're not gonna you sue know, anybody do whatever they want you're with literally your not gonna to sue anybody ever come on you're dsp really your mom made homemade sushi people. that's awesome derek no i never had oh that's never so had awesome sushi, derek I like sushi in general it is awesome big ups derek Thank you. We all wanted to hear this. No, Eternal Napalm, that's something else. He says, didn't they ban you and admit they banned you wrongly? Yes, that was another time. So they kicked me out of the That was another program, time. And then they said I had done something wrong. I said, okay, show me evidence of what you're saying because I didn't do it. And then they never provided any evidence and never responded ever again because they knew they had no evidence. They were owned. Yeah. That's what you do. You there was nothing they could say. When you basically did something wrong. Right? Yeah, with the Burger then King a month thing later, as well. They outright banned me from the site, claiming, well, not banned, but suspended, claiming I said a racist word that I never said. Uh, you did say it, though. They unbanned me immediately, and I said, I'm out of here. Why am I going to stick you around? You did say it. Stationary person. They obviously have no professionalism to their fucking business. They can go to hell. And I left. You said it, though. Mm -mm. You said it. You didn't mean no it, but you said, said it. Earlier, or actually, uh, different things. As I said earlier on this podcast, as you get older, you don't care about presence anymore. You just care about experiences. I had a really nice day yesterday with my wife. I'm planning on having a really good day here today with you guys. That's my birthday present. It'd be awesome. That's all I care about. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Big Papa Punk hit me a dollar fifty, and says Twitch is corrupt. They don't investigate. They just use automated systems. They don't have the honor of to phone up and apologize. He's I mean, telling you what DSP again, just if, told if you. Really, what they had said was true, and said Phil, you had done Super something positive. wrong. Okay, just show me the evidence. Seriously, There's cite no an evidence. example of something I did wrong, and I'll say, all right, whatever. They didn't. They never responded. They don't care. They 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 literally just do whatever they want. And YouTube feel like they can doesn't get away with care. It. Of course, then they got sued by Doctor Disrespect and lost a ton of money in a settlement because uh, they were they, wrong doing it to him. You, they so didn't say I they lost a ton of money. Pipeline of people. DSP, so you're fucking straight up misinforming so people. But I'm not gonna be. A we part read of that. that article here on the stream. Come on, this is okay. some bullshit. Can we stop talking about the bullshit drama? I really they said it ended. Not that they lost a bunch of money. Care about it. Twitch Nothing anymore. was disclosed, DSP. Come on. Site. Stop it's fucking lying. Shit. <clears throat> no, I'm not playing the Chrono Cross remake. Not playing the cool thing. Thank you, Derek. He says, happy 40th birthday. Thank you, Derek. You got to bake your birthday cake yesterday. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Protusum Zone said if members go for reaction, video falls short, but you get like 390 out of 400, will you extend the deadline? What's the point? The point of a goal is to hit the goal within the criteria. Right now, we're at 361. If people really want to see me react to that video like they told me they did for five fucking years since yeah, it came out. Yeah, but now it's, it's old. My honest take on it, my opinions. It's old now. More information about the things discussed in that oh, video. Oh, your honest take. You want, become a member. They don't not, really know you for being honest. If we don't hit the goal, there's no demand for it. And I can move on and say, well, I tried. I guess it was a vocal minority of people who were screaming all these years. And it wasn't actually something people wanted. 
It's like five years old. I hope you like the Hawaii. The last five years, like, he's did the, the, the most Hawaii scamming. Did. It's all stuff I've had. With like the bankruptcy and the Jasper and, and all so this I'm bullshit. Excited. The Hopefully DJ Runo and all the shit we watched today. No 672. We haven't decided between WWE or Star Wars yet. We're getting it. Oh, yeah. We're, okay. we're going to have a poll for this. Too. So right now, guys, the vest is, is leading the poll. So let's just go ahead and do it. Let's do now a poll for the type oh, of vest. Oh, come on. A vest? You're not even going to do a special jersey on your special stream. How is it special? We will do the original beige, the red, the gold, and denim. No, we're not doing platinum. It's hot today. It's actually hot warmer today. temperatures. The sun is beating on the office wall. I'm going to be in here all day long. I'm not wearing the heavy vest and sweating my balls off. It ain't oh. Okay. $358. Right, Can't even so, wear the, the vest people want. It is time. Are you stalling for tips? To end the pre-stream. It's one of the longest pre-streams I've ever done. But yeah, because it was bad, about, and Thank you, you counted a lot of tips. This I'm gonna it's like a, a stripper's birthday. We're going to jump into Ghostwire Tokyo and finish the game. I'm going to update the stream. I'm going to tweet it out so you guys know. All right? Um, and go from there. All okay. right, guys? Fair enough. Thank you. Let's end the pre-stream, and let's get going. Sweet. All right, let's get All going. Right. Let's switch over here. Switch over here. Get the camera. Oh, that, whoa. The webcam is way too big. Because I, I actually, I'm using the red today for the first time in a long time. And uh, it was at the default size. I have to resize that. Here we go. And then we have to resize the webcam. The good news is the balloon watch. made it. The balloon yeah, is definitely deflated it. here, but it made it. <laughs> it didn't blow up, so that's a positive. He's fixing up stuff on the fly, like me. Why will it not center? Sometimes it auto centers, and sometimes it fights me. Today it's gonna fight me. It's all good. We're still gonna have a good day. <laughs> okay, and now we got the leaderboard. All right, this was overall all right. a pretty boring pre-stream. Uh, two more quick pretty shout boring. outs. When it comes to pre-streams, it's pretty. pretty uh, Fox Rider. The super testing, Even though we had this cool tip, segment about the, the weird story with the aunt that ended up in, I don't know. Um, and the whole story was, I wonder if my aunt was the, happy that that one instance that I remember of her, that one specific time. The and then she was like, I don't know. They allow you to. For oh, some reason, sometimes gonna tip. the app is weird and doesn't let you do it, so I'll edit it. And sometimes it's ridiculous. They don't let you tip a lot. Sky high for no reason. doesn't make sense. So it's really, again, rule of thumb, you're trying to tip around 20 percent that's what i go for ant man did a super chat saying what happened to no breaks uh, i have to piss dude this is uh, what do you want me to do would you like me to hold in my piss for an hour and a half and sit here in pain as i try to beat oh. a video game is that what you would like Ant -Man? this stream is probably gonna be saying? pretty bad because i'm trying to do the thing i told you i was gonna do where, where we're gonna make the song during the break but this shit if i open it right now and it loads all the plugins it's gonna completely destroy this stream so instead, we're just going to have a typical reaction style stream. Okay. I'm not going to just sit here and watch him play this game the whole time. Plus, now he's going on a break. Going on break to piss, I guess. And we're going to go on YouTube and do some other shit, I guess. Uh, let's see what's what YouTube is about. Happening on that fucking website. Uh, let's go to the playlist uh, we stopped earlier with your selections of the worst dsp fucking moments dude and we have uh this one that it's dsp tries it crying over his delayed ps5 ridiculous okay so let's uh, start with this and basically continue where we stop and yeah this guy's gonna be back eventually as he always is never gonna go away and I also need to go to the bathroom, so I'm going to let this play, and I'll be back soon, I guess. I first, I want to see where it's going to start. Man needs to fire off a bust. Bro, man needs to fire off a bust. That's because he's 40, man. Come on. Has to go to the bathroom. He drank a lot of seltzer. It was a really big day of seltzer. Now, this is for the PlayStation lore when it was going to come, but then it was not going to come. But then he fucked up his payment details, and it came, but it came delayed. Or kind of like a day late. 
Well, we were about to find out. And this was voted as one of the worst DSP moments. Wow. Trash. All right, I'll real bad. A look. I'll keep an eye on it. What happened was I got that tip from Shook once. All right. And the tip said people are getting charged by Amazon for their PS5s. All right. So I said, okay, I'll check it. And all I do is I went to my Amazon account. All right. And I refreshed the page. Which it said still says arriving Thursday. It doesn't say anything about if I've gotten charged for it or not. I guess I, I don't know how I would even check that, honestly. Um, no, nothing happened with the PS5 right now. Hey, he's I actually back. So All right. He's so, actually back. I forgot my fucking controller. God damn. Oh my god. Where did you forget it? In the bathroom? Yeah. Uh, oh no, it was there. You know, it's probably charging. Is anything on the status? <sighs> so I'll just keep checking tonight. I don't know if they. Maybe they actually charged Step me for it. Step one. Now. I don't know Let how us check on. change the stats no, of the stream the to reflect right the now. proper information. Oh, of course. Ghostwire so, Tokyo, the super celebratory so, playthrough so, with Phil on his 40th so, birthday. That's how it's going. Maybe they Called. actually charge me for it now. All right. Game so, I had some shit planned for today, but it looks like it's probably not going to happen since everything causes the instability. Yeah. Including opening a new Microsoft Edge tab. So now we're gonna be on eggshells for the rest of the stream. Which means we can watch YouTube and shit. And DSP. But DSP is just gonna exist here this entire time. And eventually he's gonna feast, which is gonna be the best part. Because the feast is always great. Up right now, the conclusion of Ghostwire. Tokyo on stream. Join me for the... Okay, do we have to hear this? Spooky text to speech conclusion. speech to text actually speech to type let's chill while it all ends and we exercise what shibuya oh wow very fucking nice okay let's listen to the to the playstation thing and we're yeah, gonna go through as many of them as possible to recap this no. this amazing birthday this stupid and the kind of shit news. this guy is known for that link the DSP Gaming Live link doesn't fucking work. Oh my god, we're back to rambling to about this. Now this is such bullshit. My last Ghostwire stream from days and days ago. Bro, it doesn't matter. They know where to find you. Thing is so fucking stupid. They, they know where you are. They just don't really care. They broke the link over the weekend and never fixed oh. it. So now the live link links you Sometimes they care, super though. old stream. Completely stupid. So now I have the real link. There we go. Okay, we're putting in the real link. The and when he well. starts feasting, I'm gonna put this on a bigger camera so we can put, watch his face devour this food. It's Hawaiian food. Oh. Uh, why do you, why do you need the exact link? The SP is so easy to get. Like, I don't, I, I don't understand this at all. Okay, there we go. Post so it easy up. to do. So we're good to go. Now we're posted everywhere. What vest is he gonna wear? It's I okay. either gold or so denim. Tip from Mario oh. saying, "Will you play Super Mario Brothers 2 or Devil May Cry 2 for a stream sometime in the near future?" In the near okay, future, watch this. No. I'll be right back. Eventually, yes. If you mean uh, American Super Mario Brothers 2, I'd love to play that. I've never played it ever on the internet. If you mean Japanese Super Mario 2, we started it already, but didn't finish it. That was about a year ago. Your boy Lem just sent me ten dollars saying congrats on turning forty. I'm actually turning forty in a few months, and we're getting up there in age, man. But I want to wish you the best. Congratulations! Thank you, your boy Lem, for the support and the nice words. All right, it looks like Denim Vest is about to win. Let me just double check that, and then we'll get started. Okay. Yeah, Denim Vest it is. Cool. Let me get it. Denim Vest. And I'm going to up the fan because it's hot in here now because the sun is blasting on the wall. So I'm going to go to maximum blast fan to hopefully keep the air circulation going. Ant-Man is angry because I've got the two in his name. I don't care. <laughs> Just being honest, Ant-Man, I don't really care. You know, the more you complain... The less I'm gonna care. Plus, you're not the latest super chatter because we've got 
Uh, Ty is cut. Who did a super chat? Says, how much would we need to upgrade difficulty by one in Skyrim? Nothing, because I'm not doing that. Jared Walsh re-upped his membership for two months. Says, are you going to play Lego Star Wars? It's game of the year. I very well might. I'm very strongly considering it for the game on Friday. That I'll start up. And TX Shooter 50 did a super chat. Says, happy birthday. Wow, you're 40. Yes, I am, if you can believe it. If you oh, can no, believe it. Oh, no, I missed it. this. But I'm back. And now we can try this banana. Now in like a, a, a second or something. All right. You know? Let's do this. Let's boot Ghostwire. For those who don't know, we're in the midst of a mission because there was for those one who don't care. Story what about who, for side those who don't you care? had to do before you beat the game. Um, all the others, it basically said you could go back after all right. you beat the game. Let's eat this banana. Let's so make this hey, as lit as possible. The story, it must be important. So we're doing it right now. Right. And uh, uh, this makes me look like a skeleton, bro. What the I fuck? Be that long. I got the and placing all right. Go right into uh, so. the finale of the game, the final story mission. Okay. All right. All right. This is terrible. Derek says, I'm totally fine on you uh, not doing WWE and putting it on hold to play Lego oh, Star Wars. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. I know a lot Banana. of people want to see me do WWE, but Atheist I am just nightmare. Lego Star Wars hearing so many good things about it. Okay. This banana in particular, let me bump up the music. This banana in particular has a very specific yellow style complexion on its skin as you can see on this high quality edition camera this fucking asshole is interrupting my my prize it bro now this banana it's perfectly designed to fit in a human's hand in a, a monkey's hand also so it's multifunctional very robust banana why is there eggplant on my face Anyways, this banana, how it works, the top part, here you can see it's a little bit of uh, stick sticking out style design, and now this, you grab it and you twist it, and you destroy the banana, you imagine this is your biggest enemy, and you open up the banana, and then you eat the banana. Okay, I don't have to show you how you eat the banana. You know how you eat the banana. Okay, that's it with this segment. Big ups. You want me to explain to you how, how you eat a banana? Being maxed. Uh, well, as, as much as it can be maxed, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna fucking door. eat it. This is so, this is so yeah, stupid. Started walking back. Look. <laughs> this is so stupid. I would never think I would do this. This guy doesn't think he would be 40 and doing this. I didn't think I would be 25 and doing this, but I'm gonna fucking eat this banana. Fuck it. All right, we're gonna keep following this ghost. It's so fucking robust. Thank you, Tyrone. It's happy birthday. Cortuzum Zone says, do you remember how old you were when you started on YouTube? When I first started uploading, I was like 26, but I didn't start regularly uploading until I was like 27. Yeah, when I was 27, 2008, okay. I think, is when I first started regularly uploading my, my play YouTube videos. It's very fu Shout fucking good, though. It's, it's a very ripe banana. Says, For those of you who don't know, ripe is when a banana is good to eat. Series, even if it's not even a Mario game. You can eat the banana. And it's good for you. That's the funny part, is that even though it was Doki Doki Panic. It's a healthy meal. It, it stuck, and then it changed the, the whole course of Mario. Right? It really did. 250 likes and climbing. Thank you guys who liked the stream today. Oh my god, a million likes. That will help the stream I did this only for 100 um, likes, and I'm gonna eat the, the whole banana here. here this is gonna be a feasting, not just a prize. The last marathon we did, whatever the last marathon we did, it was a ridiculous amount of likes. <laughs> ridiculous oh, amount of likes. Up. What the frick? It disappeared. <laughs> Is it just me or did it disappear, right? The trail disappeared. I'm just trying to follow the trail. I don't want to fight all those monsters, but I wonder if it's scripted or is this, wait a minute. Bro, this is, this this is so her. fucking boring. Oh shit, I even see her. This it's is so her sitting here. Oh, uh, let's go on YouTube. Oh no. Uh, well, um, I guess we're fighting the enemy. Oh yeah, we we're, we're, we were watching this shit. Fuck this fucking gameplay. This shit sucks. I'm gonna level it down, but it's still gonna be here. 
I guess. Let's watch the PlayStation thing. Okay. I don't know how it works to check on that. Oh, so then he went on Twitter. Uh, okay, we're, we're continuing with the PlayStation story. And this guy's gonna be just sitting here. Because this shit is like, I'm not gonna watch him play Ghostwire fucking Tokyo. This shit is trash. Uh, so people were telling me that they're getting charged for their PS5s today. I checked my Amazon order and realized that I had, I'd want to swap payment method over to my bank debit card, which I did. The order updated and says it's being delivered on Monday instead of Thursday. Huh? He literally said a uh huh in the tweet. Very nice. Huh? This was what he, he was like. And I mean, it's kind of your fault. You changed your fucking details. What do you expect? That bad. I'm probably not getting my PlayStation 5 till Monday now. It looks like. And I didn't, you know, again, all I wanted to do was make sure that the payment was correct. And I was like, oh, I wanted to definitely bill to my debit card. Not with? to my PayPal card because there's no money in my PayPal account. I want to make sure that they don't bounce it, bounce it and say, huh? you know, there's no money. So it's they're not going to do it now. So I guess there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Well, anyway, I've got it. In, I've got the correct payment information in there now. Okay. Um, what? So it, when, it, when, it, when it does charge, it should be fine. But I don't know when it's coming now. According to this, it's arriving Monday. <sighs> well, what can you do, right? Oh my god, more tweets! Chargebacks are 100% to blame for this. It's the troll's fault. Okay. And I did the exact same thing with the Pulse 3D and that's getting delivered. Oh my god, all this fucking whining, DSP, who cares about all this bullshit on social media? He probably got like 20 likes on this. Like, this is useless attention, DSP, come on. People will go elsewhere to watch the launch coverage. Of course they're gonna tell you this, it's DSP. They're gonna tell you the thing that's gonna piss you off the most. Man, I'm gonna go watch somebody else and support somebody else who's a bigger streamer and give them a million dollars. Alrighty, good morning everybody. Good morning, how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing all right. Hope you're doing better than me. <laughs> oh no, I King of Suffering. PlayStation 5 along with many of you on a stream on September 16th, 2020. We were playing Yeah, this was super baby mode. Batman I remember Arkham, this. Uh, Arkham City. I remember this. This was stream. so embarrassing. And as we were playing it, I was provided with a link which people were saying, "This is the link to pre-order PS5. Go, go, go." So we all did it. When this happened, I had all of my default Amazon stuff set up, my default payment method, my everything set to defaults, okay? My default payment method for Amazon was my PayPal debit card. Last month, I started getting systematically hit with chargeback after chargeback after chargeback against my PayPal account. This screws up my PayPal account. It makes it so that sometimes I'm constantly in the red. It makes it that there's all kinds of disputes that are locked up. And essentially, it makes that PayPal account unusable. All right? It makes it that this thing is completely screwed up for a long time so what i ended up doing the last month is i stopped using that paypal account to pay for stuff <clears throat> if i did get any funds that were in it i would transfer them to my bank account and i started using my bank account to pay for everything i've been checking my playstation 5 pre-order daily a daily basis i've been checking this thing okay to make sure that it's in there it's secured it's locked it's working a um, daily vibe i want to be sure that i'm going to get this thing on delivery day so okay well, let me get the camera and, on this stream we're gonna have fun all day know, today I, come on everything's showing i don't want to be gone saying, i'm gonna yes, make you feel like you're alone still there every don't want to be alone looking at uh, you know what i mean on. i had the money for the playstation 5 in september do something to ready to go and i fucking really wish that amazon had charged me for this in september but they didn't a lot of other people did get charged in september from other businesses whether it's best buy target walmart okay. GameStop, they got charged, and therefore their PlayStation there 5 orders are basically okay, kind of locked in. Three, that didn't happen to me. So <clears> okay. My PS5 pre-order was locked and supposedly game. was going to work. All right. Cool. Last night, I'm sitting here on stream, and people say, hey, Phil, cool. uh, our Amazon pre-orders are starting to, to be billed now. Like, we're actually getting charged for the PlayStation 5. Can you check and see if yours is? Okay. Oh. All right, let me go check. So I looked to check, and I had not been billed yet. So I was like, okay, I'm not billed yet. 
fair enough. All right, Derek. Um, I'll see you later, man. Well, I'll see you later, Derek. I checked, and when I checked, I did it again. Um, I wanted to double check everything. I wanted to make sure. Wait, what? He was bitching about the game. Okay, here we got a highlight, and Derek is gone. I did it again. The game did the stupid thing again, where it activates my ability that I didn't do. Yeah, and before that, you had a buy Derek segment, which is great. I really appreciate those segments. Okay, part two. Sure, this order was good to go. That the shipping method was still marked as two-day shipping or, you know, as quickly, quickly shipping method. And when I looked at that, I said, oh, wow, wait a minute. I'm going to try and snipe uh, highlights from his stream, but I, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Malaysia, I was like, Some the of that billing shit is method that I've got that to, to pay for this PlayStation 5 is my PayPal debit card. So I checked this last night and I was like, oh, crap. This is wrong. This is, you know what I mean? This is not good. I need to change this because it says the PayPal debit card and there is not enough money in my PayPal account to pay for the PlayStation 5. I have to update this immediately. And when I did that, nothing, absolutely nothing happened at all to my 3D Pulse headset order. It still says arriving <laughs> tomorrow by 10 p.m. It'll be processed and shipped and everything's fine. Okay. So then I do it for the PlayStation 5 and it says your PlayStation 5 order is now going to arrive on Monday. What? What? Huh? what? Wait, what? Now, let's think about this. Okay, I didn't cancel my order. I didn't change the shipment method of my order. I just changed the payment method of my order. And it says now it's oh, no and longer it's all about on this. Thursday. This it's is the full Monday. segment, by the way. <clears throat> what? It's the best segment ever. And here's the real question. What? Why did it change it only for the PlayStation 5 and not for the Pulse headset? I did the same oh, thing bro. for both items. Right? I did. <clears throat> Overnight. And this is basically the whole thing. Uh, does it get more I mean, does it even make insane sense? at some point? Payment method in the system. I want to be sure my order processes properly. And it's like this, still the same shit. I skipped forward like five minutes. But it's next to worst case scenario. Where I went the worst out of my way case two scenario. months ago to pre-order this thing. As soon as I could, I had it locked in for months. Oh, no. And... I mean, it is a... It, it is like an unfortunate thing to happen, but... Could he bitch about it for as much? Probably not. Then what do we got next? I think there's only the the masturbation video that we got. Obviously, the the iconic fucking video. Let's get into this. The what is this? DSP archive. This is a pretty fancy intro. Is it made by a troll? I'm pretty sure this is a troll channel. DSP. Meanwhile, jumping on rooftops and falling and complaining. He he is kind of complaining today. Okay, there we go. There we see him. Is he? He's off camera here. Let's see if I can make this uh, a little bit be better so we can see the entirety of what he's doing. I think it, the video itself might zoom it at some point, but just go for it. Okay, this is his camera. It is on, as you know. And this is uh, one of the last things. Then I'm going to go over that community post and see what you guys voted. And then we're going to watch those. Then after that, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I had some shit planned, but everything I try and open destroys my stream. So I'm going to sit here in silence, drink beer, and eat jelly worms. And drink water. Uh, and I can maybe eat another banana. If I'm really desperate. For all the views and attention from thousands of children. Uh, now, speaking of thousands of children, let's... Um, Take a look at this suspicious video. Okay, DSP sitting. Because I never really paid attention to the whole thing. Okay, this is DSP. He just woke up. Look at this hair. This is like the... When he looks at the camera, does a little bit of a wink. It's obviously not like a premeditated masturbation. And it, it sounds weird even saying it. He bitching about something? No, he's putting up tips on the leaderboard. Ah, some Elden Ring. Lingles. Elden Ring. Okay, I hate this. And wait, we're, we're jerking it, but... Oh, this is all we can see. Hasn't started yet, but what is he even doing? This is, like, off, off, off screen. Okay, this is what we see. He's looking at some stuff. Because I'm interested at like the small things he's doing. 
that's interesting. What he's reacting to and what, what he's looking at it says a lot. What do we got? He's finding a good video. Yeah, that's what he was doing. That's what he was doing. We gotta find the right one. Come on, we can't just bust to like nothing. To PlayStation menu music. You can overtrain to bump this shit up. I hate the PlayStation menu music. Yeah, he's the real <laughs> one minute man. Real one. Take a sip of seltzer. Quotation marks. Man, this, like, him playing this game is, is so lame. Look at his face. He's just, like, sitting here being bored. But with the Pikachu hat on, it's even more ridiculous. And uh, I ate a fucking banana on the stream. Come on. And it takes him so long to actually find a video, though. And with this, the stream is actually live and music is playing. And he's looking for a video to jerk off to. This is on company time. I've never talked this extensively about somebody else masturbating, but now I will. We're looking at all the details. Look, we gotta find a proper video. Come on. Come on. I don't know how he likes it. Maybe he was looking at, at horses running in the wind. Like stock footage of a horse running on a beach with some shit. Being cat. Are we gonna get it started soon? Come on. Get to the bus. And yeah, this whole time looks like he's just looking for a video on, on his laptop. Okay. Okay, we still couldn't find it. Okay, now we're getting ready. Let's get real nice and comfortable. Now now is the best time for the sex bots to come in. Uh, hey, big ups uh, for 2k subs. It was pretty awesome. It is awesome, man. It feels amazing. Like the first day of the rest of my life. And now we're getting it started, alright. <laughs> Holy shit. Come on, DSP. How did he even let this happen? How did you let this happen? This should be everybody's, like, big nightmare. For, like, common, like, silly stuff that can happen. How did you really make this happen, bro? How ridiculous. Okay, and now he went to switch the video. Now we're not happy with this one. Doesn't make the bust. Now we're on the other video. All right, fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> and now we're gonna throw it back. <laughs> we're gonna throw it back. If I throw my head back like this, I'm gonna kill myself probably, but I'll try. Come on, DSP, let's go, let's go. Come on, hype, Chad, you need to hype him to bust. Come on, bust, bust, bust. No? Oh, we're gonna switch the video again? Come on, DSP, that's cheesing. Come on. <laughs> okay. No, we're going back, all the way back. <laughs> Come on, DSP. Bro, this if you saw this live, it will be epic. This is an epic thing to see live. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> Come on. Come on, let's go. Yeah. It's never not funny. It's never not funny. And the fact that it's DSP even makes it funnier. Because it's, it's like DSP. Who, who else can this happen to and throw his head back, back like this? I'm about to bust. Wow. Mechanics. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Right on time. And now we get the cameras on segment. <laughs> Big ups, your <yeah> boy. <laughs> oh, this was so good. Such a robust fucking video. And now, he's gone. He's probably cleaning up or being super confused. And it's like right in the moment. Like, man, the camera was on. They saw everything. But did they? Maybe they didn't see everything. Maybe nobody was looking. Maybe they opened a different tab. Anything is possible. In this moment, when he was thinking this, anything was possible. Maybe nobody even will know. Ever. The trolls, they didn't clip this. They couldn't have clipped this. Come on, nobody cares about this. 
this segment it's not even the stream yeah it was uh, the post not clarity hit him post not clarity you realize everything it's like one moment of time where you know everything about everything and he just found out everything in that one moment when he threw the head back that was the moment where he realized everything Okay, but now now we're sitting there being a little bit confused. I think at this point we're a lot confused. Very confused. Let's see him. Okay. No, he's still gone. He's gone for a long time. Because he's, I don't know, damage control or what? Oh, wait, what? Wait. 849? Yoki! <laughs> no, he was jerking off this whole time! And he went back to jerk off again! Yo, yeah, he was looking for a different video, and then I was confused because it was like two minutes of nothing! But now is the one. Now is the one. This is the one. This is so bizarre. <laughs> and we get the iconic, the iconic bust image. Iconic image. At this moment, he realized everything. Everything. And there was only one question in his mind. What about the camera? What happened with the camera? Huh? And then he was busted. Huh? Whoa! This was <laughs> such a cathartic moment. Now we're waiting. Oh, he took a sip, right. <laughs> he was just chilling there, wiping off. Ah, oh, bro, no, stop it. This is the nastiest motherfucker. Then <laughs> took a nice sip. <laughs> took a nice sip. I'm gonna take a nice sip too, in return. Bro, this guy is silly. Man. And then when he was back, I think it's when he was back he realized because i never really watched this in in this much detail i just watched the 30 seconds of, of him busting it now we're still cleaning are we cleaning are we on the phone i don't know this is such a bizarre fucking person hello and welcome uh oh this is the moment uh, but the camera was at what is up everyone Hello, hello, and welcome. Oh, Whoa. This is the moment. This is the moment. After the crunchiest snort in all recorded history, this was the moment. This is the moment that defined DSP. Not, not so much so the, the jerking off part, but when he realized it. Oh, this moment. This look. <laughs> this look will haunt him for the rest of humanity the camera's been on the whole time huh i don't even know even when this world turns into something like mad max somewhere in some ruins someone will find a photo of that face this is what they're gonna find at the end of the world this is gonna be the last photo oh and he got a 200 pound uh super chat by nathan smith you guys called it it was nathan smith big ups nathan sniff for the, the super mega super chat you gave to DSP. It's gonna improve his life a ton when it arrives in like two months. Now, what else we got? Oh, in case you weren't here in the beginning, this is the one we started with. I want to wake you up. I hate worthless humans. If you worked on this part of the game, you were a worthless human. Go kill yourself. There's more coming up. Go fucking kill yourself. There's more coming up. And make sure you do it in a way that doesn't hurt anyone else. There's more coming so up. A fucking bridge or something. Yes. And do it in the dead of night so no one tries <laughs> to save you. Because you don't deserve it. Phenomenal. Big ups. This is what we started with. Uh, let's go on the community poll. And decide uh, what is the next one. Based on what people ask. It's not a community poll, but you know what I mean. It's a community thing. We're going to the community thing. And, ah, oh, this probably didn't see this shit. Oh. Anyways, this should be better. Uh, let's see here. The worst moments in the history of time. 
Uh, the homeless dude, we got this. The 50, he just scammed, we got this. Uh, let's let's see what we got here by Manuel. People are not allowed to take a woman to the hospital. Oh yeah, the Liana thing. We're gonna watch the Liana hospital story again. Because it's always fun. It's a thing that's always fun. And if that's not fun, we can go to DSP and find out that he's not fun. So yeah. Uh, DSP Gaming, Liana Hospital. Let's go to the hospital, you guys. And it's gonna be this, because this one is great. But I don't know how straightforward this is. I think... Uh, let's watch the, the LDS Re one. That one is cool as fuck. It's like the best video. Emergency, emergency. Okay, so I go, to the, I go to the hospital, and I walk in to the front main area, because I don't know where to go. I don't know if they brought her to emergency. I don't know if she's been already, if she's going to be admitted to the hospital. I don't know what's going on, how serious this whole situation is. I have no idea, okay? Uh, Fly Eagles Fly, shout out to Fly Eagles Fly. Shout out to Fly Eagles Fly. Just subscribe to the channel, actually. Thank you, Fly Eagles Fly. I appreciate that. Um, so I walk into the hospital. There's an information desk. It's completely empty. There's no one sitting there. You can tell there's four chairs, no one there. I guess because it's Sunday, no one works at this hospital or whatever. So I'm looking around. I'm pacing back and forth. What do I do? Who do I talk to? Finally, I find a phone. It says, oh, oh, lift this phone for information. Okay. I pick up the phone. Hello, is this the, who is this? Can you help me? You know, my girlfriend, I think she's in the hospital somewhere. And they're like, oh, okay, what's her name? I give her the name. Like, okay, she's still over in emergency. So go this way and go to emergency. Okay. I'm going to derail this stream right now to shill. To shill at these gummy worms. Now, you buy these gummy worms, right? You buy them. And then in two years, you're going to be DMing me on Twitter and going to tell me, dude, these gummy worms, they fixed my life. Now I have one million bitches and I got a million dollars. This is why. This will fix your life. It will find, will, you know, it will do stuff for you. All right? No. They're pretty fucking good. Okay, let's go back to the video. Would have been nice if, you know, there was a fucking human working instead of me having to find a random phone that was hidden in this hallway. So, okay. I get out, I, I go through this lobby, I go to the emergency. So, again, I walk to emergency, now there's a line, and I'm like, well, these are people who are hurt, what do I do? So I get in line, but I'm looking around. I wait in line for like five minutes, and I realize to my left, way over here, on a tiny little sign, not even like a parent, a little, little sign, it says, visitor check-in. I'm like, wow, if only there was a big fucking sign so everyone would know where to go when they walk into this hospital instead of this little, tiny rinky-dink sign you can't even see from the front door. So if I get out of the line I'm in, I go over there, talk to a security guy, you know, kick makes a copy of my license, checks me in. He says, okay, she's down there. She's in room 28. I said, so what's the deal? He says, well, it says here, you know, she had a, another anxiety attack. Well, not another because they don't know that she's had them in the past. She says she had an anxiety attack. Um, apparently, they, you know, she's drugged and she's in this room awaiting uh, a doctor to kind of come, either come in or whatever. I guess a doctor coming, to, coming in to, to check her out. Or no, no, no. Actually, I take that back. He said, no, he did say that. He had told me there was a doctor that was checking her out or something like that. And I was like, okay. So I go, I walk through, I go all the way to the to the back of the emergency area where they've got her in a room. And I go in and she's conscious, but she's kind of loopy. You can tell <laughs> they did something. Drug she her shared she way too in, much. Like, nothing, you know, no way too much. Because like, oh. it's not even that she's anonymous. Everybody knows who Panda is. And they can imagine her being like drugged up and stuff. And it's just not a flattering look you want to give people of your girlfriend. You don't have to share this much. But for him, it was a super exciting story that, uh, again, it let him rant. So it's amazing. Oh, like loopy like this, right? It was loopy. Um, so, I, you know, they gave her a so you're okay, you didn't fall, you didn't hit your head or nothing, right? No, just, you know, she happens. It sucks because it happens every once in a while. And now this is the worst one she's ever had. So maybe that she has to go see, you know, her doctor and, and try to get some kind of thing to take care of it. Because the, the, the bottom line is with anxiety attacks, they suck. The reason that they suck is there's really no way to cure them okay um there's things you can do like for example you could try a certain kind of breathing or um if there's someone who's like constantly has mental issues and is having these problems they could go on an antidepressant but that's not the situation here the situation is every once in a while she just gets one and now it's like a tizzy you got to try to calm her down right um now in this case they drugged her so oops i i don't <laughs> 
I don't know if he really hated her back then or it's because she had already left. But the way that he talks about this instance of what happened is, is really ridiculous. Because he's really obviously pissed that he had to bother with any of this. So she got drugs, you know, she was woozy or whatever. So I sat she there with her drugged. and I, I'm not even kidding. We are sitting there waiting. Wait, I said, well, what are we waiting for? And she says, I guess they told me that there's going to be a counselor that's going to be coming in and talking to me about this and what happened and, or whatever to make sure I'm all right. And then, and, you know, I can't, I can't, we can't get any further help or diagnosis until this counselor comes in. Okay. All right. So we're sitting there and I look down and on her left, she's in, you know, she's on a hospital gurney or whatever, sitting there in the room. On her lap is a brochure. I said, what's this? I pick it up. Finance it. How to pay. Finance. Oh, no. Like, they wanted to scam him already. You're in the emergency already. room. Like, you're, they already gave you a way to pay the bill? And I'm looking <laughs> at it like, imagine if you were here and you had your arm chopped off and your arm is fucking splurting blood. Before they start suturing it, do they hand you the payment brochure first just to be sure you could fucking pay? I couldn't believe it. I was like, if that was me and I was sitting in an emergency room, I'd be fucking offended. That you were sitting in an emergency front room. Like that. Seriously, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here with this. I'm insulted that you hear me. Is there a crowdfunded individual? I can't pay right now. Yeah, payment. But yeah, these these hospital bills, I don't know. I mean, in the US, I, I assume it's crazy from what I, I know. And I don't know a lot. But yeah, the hospital bills can really like hurt you. So I'm, I'm not really surprised that he's making it to be this crazy. Fucking plan already. I mean, this is ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. Okay, I couldn't believe it. So we wait there. How long? No, let's see. How long did we wait? Let's see how people can take a guess. How long did we wait? Did we oh, that's not the first time that I've seen this video. I've watched it on stream like I think twice maybe, and then uh, I've watched it before a couple. Ten times. minutes? No. Did we wait? Twenty minutes? No. Did we wait thirty minutes? No. Did we wait forty minutes? No. Did we wait I think fundamentally his entire issue with this is not that he had to pay, but he had to go there and bother with all this bullshit and sit there when she's not even his girlfriend anymore. So that's how it's he sees it. Because that, that bridge is burned. I remember when I started watching DSP, it was 2010. I was 11 and just became a father. My child is now 12. Happy 40th, David. Wow, big ups. Big ups, that's pretty crazy, dude. I imagine. <laughs> big ups to you and the kid. Happy 40th to David. 50 minutes, uh, no. He's having an amazing time, you guys. Oh, wait, an hour, no. An hour goes by. He, no he can't... He, he can't uh, like he's backlogged on contributions. That's why there's no gameplay right now. One's come in, no nurse, no no counselor, no nothing. We're just coming. sitting there doing nothing, and we're like, well, what is this? Is are, are you know are, are we even aware or what's going on here? And you know, at this point, she was starting to get hungry because now it's like around the time that we would normally eat or whatever. And we're like, God, this is no good. Now we're gonna be we'll be starving or we have to. Oh, we're gonna going be on. starving so or whatever. Said, okay, let me leave and go what find someone. Need? So I leave the room and I walk down the hallway. Oh no! Like, when it comes to his feeding time, he get the animation is this and this is great and this is what I uh, what I like about this vortex is that it brings out the creative in people to show DSP that they're creative actually, and DSP's fans show him that they're not really creative by making him bad intros and bad layouts and bad fan art. On. We're wondering yeah. if your counselor comes These weird bits of obscure internet like uh culture, they're pretty funny. Whatever, because we're in the dark, we're just standing here, we're not even sure what's going on. And the girl looks And the more the more details you know, the funnier it gets. Looks at me like, like a very inside joke. And says, I don't know, and no one here knows anything. I was like, Wow! What great help, right? But she says, so go back to the room and press the call button. Then a nurse will show up and the nurse will be able to tell you what's going on. Okay. I couldn't believe it. I'm, I'm making it up. She actually said that to me. No one here knows anything. Okay. This is great. I know you're loving this story. I'm loving this story. Okay. I'm loving this story. <laughs> the so then, animation. I go back to They're the watching room. the bus. I tell Leanna, listen, you're going to have to it's buzz so great. to find out what the hell's going on here. So she buzzes. Oh, she has to bust? And we wait about five minutes. It wasn't too Why didn't you buzz? comes in. It was, was like drugged says, out, right? What's going What's wrong? What's going on? And Leanna says, well, no, she's so groggy. She can barely talk. She's like, oh, nothing. You know, I just want to know what's happening here. Is there, you know, Are we waiting for a counselor, a doctor, or whatever? And the woman looks at us with like a look of scorn, right? A look of scorn. She's like, you've only Sorry, been here like get an hour these, and a half. Uh, and we have other patients. And I'm like, taking over. what kind of fucking place is this? <laughs> Like, you're going to talk down to the, to the patient who's been waiting an hour and a half and no one's come in to tell her the status of what's going on. And she asks and you get angry. And I'm like, what the hell? So I said, listen, 
I said, we're both hungry. She needs food. She hasn't eaten today. We're so both the hungry. Says, okay, I'll go get you some food. So she leaves. She comes back with a turkey sandwich. It's like turkey on, on rye bread with a piece of lettuce and a piece of cheese and like a packet of mustard and a couple saltines and a... And a, a apple juice and like a little the apple juice looked like it was what like do you expect cup. them to have a burger an juice stored like that before and uh, a string cheese now liana hates string cheese and liana wasn't uh, super hungry for like a sandwich so she ate some saltines good she got something in her and she, there was water there to give her water she didn't want the apple juice so we gave her the apple juice or whatever all right um so now we wait again we're waiting and waiting so anyway oh i forgot to tell you before the nurse left she said the counselor is coming you just have to wait you have to wait because there's other people here i'm like wow Thanks. How long did we All wait right, for sorry, the counselor? What do you think? Did we wait an hour and a half? Oh, now he does this thing that I uh, that I said was obnoxious. Five minutes? No, okay, maybe we had two hours. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no longer than almost two Three hours? and a half fucking hours. <laughs> this is one of the greatest. Okay. This is so Waiting good. For the counselor to come into the room. This uh, this one frame is so good, and it still applies today, and it's even more melted today. The counselor was an elderly woman. You could tell she's probably in her sixties. White woman comes in with two pieces of paper okay she comes in hi how you doing are you in pain no that's good uh are you still you're still having anxiety no that's good okay uh they gave you some drugs right yeah okay that's why you're calm that's why you're woozy it's because you're on the drugs so here's two pieces of paper explaining what anxiety attacks are have you ever had an anxiety attack before and i'm like so they admitted her well, they admit her. They bring her into the, the emergency room. They administered a drug, and no one even asked her when she was brought in anything at all. They had no basic information whatsoever about this thing. She'd been sitting there for two and a half hours. She might have been having a life crippling anxiety attack where she's gonna fucking you know lose her mind and be mentally what? lose her lose her shit. Wait, this that, that doesn't really does that happen? Lose her mind, mentally lose her shit. DSP, what are you talking about? Did you ever have an anxiety attack before? She's like, yes. If they saw that, they would treat her immediately. Oh, uh, are they usually like? They gave her a medicine and then she was waiting. Like this? Well, you know, it I was just like for three hours. I guess they had, had something oh. more to do. Well, do you yeah. have a doctor? Yeah. A primary care physician? Yeah. Well, we recommend that you go see your doctor then. I'm like, but. Oh my God, are you fucking for real? Did you flip out? <laughs> did he keep flip yeah, out on the on the lady? So he did. You know there are. He's flipping ways. out on the stream, which is kind of more embarrassing because a lot more people are gonna see it, and apparently people are gonna make animations from it. That we can help with uh, with stuff like this. Primarily, what what it is is we recommend you don't take any drugs at all. You just wait it out. Okay. Now, obviously, just waiting it out doesn't work in the situation that Leanna was in to the point where they called the paramedics. The paramedics recommended drugging her. So this woman is obviously a fucking buffoon. Okay. <laughs> so then she said, she's obviously a fucking buffoon. So typically you should just wait it out. But, you know, there's other ways you could do if it's uh, something that happens all the time. He was raging like a 15 year old on this stream. I think it was like, like what, 37, 38? Then you could do antidepressants. Yo. And that's a long term medication. But since it doesn't happen all the time with you, usually we just have this what we call kind of an emergency pill emergency pill Where it's the plan b if you ever has a bat you have a bad attack you could just pop the pill almost like an epi pen it's like an emergency you pop the you pill allergic reaction <laughs> you pop yourself with that epi pen and it solves it, the it's like in call of duty when you like i don't know heal or something it's i don't the same know thing here. some game you have where a you problem stuff. pop the pill right and it'll cure, cure the problem or whatever um but obviously she goes but we don't recommend you do that all the time because as you can see you are tired and loopy and you don't want to be that all the time right and i'm like this is the most like stupid uh, what's the word i'm looking for patronizing woman i've ever heard in my life she's given zero useful information whatsoever and we waited two and a half fucking hours for her okay by the way i'm not done yet but i want to give a shout out to uh smart weirdo 95 <laughs> this is the best <laughs> this is the best part i've been watching since i was in middle school yeah, he derailed the whole story about this Thank bullshit you much, smart weirdo. That's very with the generic shout out awesome and obviously he is the cheerleader today for the stream okay okay a nice snore so, okay so she literally says Okay, well, I'm done. See you later. And she starts walking out the door. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going to happen now? Are we still staying? Are you going to get a doctor? What's going to happen here? And she says, oh, I guess I'll go talk to the doctor. And then she leaves. I'm like, 
<laughs> American healthcare, ladies and gentlemen. What a great system we have, right? You don't even pay your taxes. Guess how long that we well, waited. now he does. Guess how long that we waited, folks. Does. Um, oh, it's okay. About another 20 minutes, I would say. About another 20 minutes, we just sat around doing nothing. So now for a grand total, we've been in this place for almost three hours, okay? Almost three whole hours. Finally, who comes in the room? The doctor, right? The doctor comes in and says, oh, let's, you know, let's see. No, the nurse comes back in. The same nurse that gave us the sandwich. Oh, well, we had your blood pressure monitored this whole time. Your blood pressure looks fine. Everything looks good. She turns off all the machines. She says, okay, you can go. Wait, that's it? So you're not going to prescribe a medication? You're not actually going to do any tests? You're not going to do anything? That We just waited three hours. All you did is you gave her a pill, which you could have fucking done, and just left her somewhere. She was no reason for her to come to the emergency room whatsoever. Because they, they, they <laughs> you could have given her a pill and left her somewhere. What do you mean? What 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 do you mean? Pills, it's, it's not an in-game consumable. You don't just pop a pill and then you get your health back. They just leave her somewhere. You can actually help her in any way. Wait, besides just give her a pill. So we wasted. They did. They left her on the gurney. Over three hours. What? In this emergency. They did exactly that. Get, they gave her a pill and left her to sit there. And you, you're mad about this. That was it. We, that was it. And then we're, we're actually, we're like shocked. We're actually shocked that this is it. This is the whole treatment that we got. So we're walking towards the front of the, the hospital. And there's this area here that says, uh, if you are, uh, you know, being, uh, what's the word? Discharged. You have to stop here. So we stopped there, and the woman and she got, and she looks around the corner. She says, "Hi." She said, well, "Did the nurse give you paperwork that said what, what you're here for?" And we're like, "Yeah, here's the paperwork about anxiety." Okay, bye. See you later. That was it. So three hours in a hospital in an emergency room area. Nothing whatsoever useful was done whatsoever to Leanna. They the drug that they gave her to help her was hour or an hour earlier. That's American healthcare. Now, by the way, I guarantee you. I guarantee you, we don't know what the bill is because we don't have it yet. They're going to mail it, obviously. I guarantee you it's going to be like... And he's driving the, the BMW, I guarantee the you that bill going to fucking show up, and it's going to be anywhere between 500 to to 1000 bucks. I guarantee it. Because oh, she no. has insurance. She actually is... We have to hashtag because, save Panda. Uh, she's already under the plan of her, her mother. That's, yeah, that's was one of the things that Obamacare actually helped with, is that it allows people who are young enough to be covered up to the age of 26 under the health insurance plan of their parents. All right, so everything is chill. covered under her mother, but I guarantee... <laughs> I guarantee you, I guarantee you, we're going to get a giant bill in the mail for nothing, for a pill. Where they could have just handed her the pill and said $80. The bill just pill says whatever. pill. But instead, they had to bring her to the fucking hospital, and they did nothing. They literally did nothing to help her, and now she's going to get a giant bill. Oh, come on. So there you go. This is not isn't even my girlfriend story, anymore. Gentlemen? That's an amazing um, story, Phil. Isn't that great? I mean, it's just such a great American healthcare system, right? So now she's zonked out. She's sleeping, you know, in the room because of, you know, everything. She's still on the pit. The pills that made her all loopy or whatever. So, I mean, we did. On the way home, I stopped and we got food. We grabbed, like, chicken sandwiches and we just ate them and now she's sleeping. So, so that's what happened. Unbelievable. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. The thing so, is, I this was uh, the end of this, I guess. And then I wanted to find when DSP woke sleeping Leanna up. Because that was also a, a very low point. That was so low. Oh, come on. We're getting sex cams again. I, it's so hard to remove. Fucking OBS got me signed up. I guess we're going to be. Uh, the DSP. <laughs> the medical commentary over DSP. That was amazing. Uh, I love that. Leanna the detractor. We don't have this. Let's see. Leanna, wake up. I think it's here somewhere. Maybe he was playing. Uh... Oh, and this I've I've seen this. Hold on. It was okay. So it's not here. But this is a good video. I think I've watched this before. Oh yeah, this one. This is the clip. There it is. Yeah, I bet you've had enough of it. You got embarrassed in this one, and then the previous one, and the one before that. <laughs> she was restreaming the SP. Make sure shit. that. Uh... Leanna's awake. She's not been feeling too well. I want to make sure she's awake because she has to start making dinner. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Are you fucking kidding me? Did he just say his girlfriend's sick, but he's got to go wake her up to make sure she can cook his fat ass dinner? Holy shit. What an irredeemable piece of crap. Yeah, God, my girlfriend who sells her shitty fucking soap. 
to support my fat ass. Uh, she's real sick right now, but I better go make sure she's awake to cook me dinner. Wow, what a champion. Who doesn't want to be his girlfriend? You can hear him in the background. Yeah, wake up, bitch. I need my hot pockets. <laughs> okay. okay. Wow. Wow. Why is she he legit woke her up like this? This is ridiculous. DSP. And this is classic DSP. This is when he was uh, still with Panda. Uh, what else do we have? Wait, I just closed it. Okay, let's see the other ones. I'm gonna go destroy this Xbox. Give me a second. Uh, emergency room, war dog leader, we did this. Let me just delete some sex bots. Oh, the Jasper 2K. Jasper we didn't see. Jasper we didn't see. Yeah, I deleted. Oh, do I have to delete all of their fucking messages? No, they got eradicated. Big up, Susan. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jasper 2K. That's the classic scam. ESP Gaming Jasper uh, 2K. What is this? What? Not the baby. Why did this even come out? Was it this obscure? And now this shows up. I guess 2K triggers somebody. Somebody loves 2K games. A oh, fuck, bro. It's not DSP. Hmm? Um. Jasper scam. Uh, here it is. Yeah, there it is. There it is. It's, it's it's not very long either. Tyler, play the game. This controller is a piece of shit. Fuck shit, dicks, cocks, ass, ass. Yeah, this was a cool intro. Dicks, ass. Fuck oh, cocks, dicks, dicks, ass. <laughs> Bullshit. Oh. Bullshit. I'm telling you, this is gonna be a great thing. That's why I've been building. Oh, this is gonna be a great thing. Okay, we're on Jasper 2K. The story. You guys know it. If you don't, you will. Week. All right. So, I'm just gonna forewarn everyone. Cut that shit out. Because no one's going to be immune if you just keep repeating, oh, that's And, that's and we have about, like, what, six, seven more hours of streaming? So it's going to be fun. We're going to cover a lot of ground. Viewer requests, all kinds of shit. Except the shit that I initially promised, because now it doesn't play. So and you're a four-year-old life sucks. who repeats what dumb shit say because they want to downplay something that's very exciting, right? Okay, well, fuck off. And if you're going to keep repeating it, you're not going to be here anymore, okay? Six and a half hours later. All right, here's what we're gonna do, because we did it. All right, first of all, thank you all so very much. I'll be very honest with all of you. I didn't think we were gonna hit it today. I didn't at all. I did not think this was happening today. I thought that this was like a kind of a last ditch effort to, to help. And I thought whatever I get, I get, but I didn't think we were gonna hit it. This is like spectacular. Thank you guys, all right? I, now, let's see what happens. We may not even do any more Mario tonight. Thank God I saved the game. Um. Let's set this up for the big positive reveal, guys, okay? <laughs> the super oh. positive reveal. Now watch this. Shit. The stupid cat. I gotta get the camera the it's right It's not now. interesting in any way. We did it. You guys are gonna get to see what it is. Dude. Seriously. Oh, oh, he got toxic on somebody. Let's switch Fucking to live DSP. Not, no one's complaining to him. Okay, let's transition. Right, so David this. Reynolds, who actually did a super chat during that segment. Thank you. He says, probably 40th. I platinum Forbidden West. I straight swapped it for this okay. game. Is it real? It was raging at somebody. Okay. Lord Shigaroth, please shut up, dude. Seriously. Is Lord Shigaroth gonna get cut? Fucking sitting here bitching. Lean in, like, manual no cut. complaining but him. What did All he right, say? So David Reynolds, who actually did a super chat during that segment. Oh, wow. Lord Shigaroth got cut. Did he get more lean in? Mass me too. For the best. Getting out of control. So this is, by the way, the uh, only highlight so far. Yeah. At every little specifically help me with taxes. Wait, what? Let me put it this way, Jade. Your tip will help me with everything. Okay. In but fact, he's begging right now. now. Game. Not sure which. Why yet, is he begging now? Will it specifically help me with taxes? I don't know. My tax guys do are going to be working on my taxes and let me know what's going on with that. I I can't answer questions like that. And Shigaroth got banned. Every little bit helps in any way. Wow. Man, so thank you the guy's lame as fuck that. to get cut like this. You gotta be lame as fuck. So he was basically begging with like $430 in. Enough. 
great DSP. What is it now? Shigarath, goodbye and don't come back. I'm oh yeah, Shigarath, go goodbye, don't come Shigurath back. Helps in any way, man. So thank you for your tip. I appreciate that. Thank you for your tip. And now Shigarath go gets lean and manual cuck. All right, Lord Shigarath, goodbye and don't come back. I'm tired of it. Seriously, I'm a nice lean and manual. Just, you're gonna a nice lean and manual. Birthday. Get, out, get out of here, dude. If you're gonna troll me on my birthday, get out of here, dude. Ruining the birthday party. So this was it for live. Thanks somebody that brought up the DSP uh, band the pay pick. Now everything's gonna be much easier. Haha. <laughs> we go back to the other one. Now that we hated on the raw fill, now we're gonna hate on the past fill. But I hate on everybody. 1080p. Is that 1080p? They should yes, give Lord Shigaroth a pill. Okay. And just leave him somewhere, like for real. In Minecraft. All right. Let's get rid of. Let's or get rid Fortnite. of the patron shit. Let's get, get rid of the patron shit. We're about to show a cat. Twitter is good and oh yeah, send Twitter a tip is link good. is fine. Of course, All send right. a tip link with the HTTPS on it, so you don't forget your security. You guys ready? Uh, oh my god! What? People are like, yo! Oh my god! They're gonna have a heart attack. Look at this. They're gonna have a heart attack. Yeah. What is this burp? They're freaking out. Everyone's freaking out. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so let's see here. I'm trying to see how I want to do this. This big reveal. You guys ready for a big positive reveal? A big positive are. reveal. The clickbait for this moment. I clickbait really is. I guess I should record this there will be between for YouTube as well, because now people want to know. <clears throat> Let's record this for YouTube as well. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Bottle's about to fall over. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are my bitch. Thank you for the free money, dummy, and you can lick my balls. <laughs> This is going to help This me is fantastic. I love this. I love this quote. I should clip this quote. Big ups to Soma. And this quote. this month. Um it's and a great fucking quote. It's such a juicy quote. Hopefully, I don't know if it's good enough. And you can suck my butt. It'll definitely help me out to not be in massive the power in the past trip. Months. Okay, guys. So thank you to everyone who thank contributed you. today. But since we hit the goal, okay. enough with the suspense. Let's just get to Bad it. Enough. All right. If you guys want to give me a second here. Hello, Joya. Da, 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 da. Hey, Zoya is here. Let's see if we got some bait. Guys, I realize there's quite a lot of people coming to the stream wishing me happy birthday. I will do my best to say thank you to all of you. If I do forget any of you, please forgive me. Obviously, there's a lot of people here today. Obviously. Wish me happy birthday, so thank it's you. It's about as usual. Come on, 400 this people. Way. You can just look at chat and say thanks, everyone, for your kind wishes. I appreciate it. <laughs> and then rant about trolls and then do this. <laughs> this was actually the first stroke. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I got someone I'd like you to meet. Yeah, it's Jasper. Come on up here. Come on up here. Everybody come called here, this. Buddy. What? What? Come, on, come up here. You want me to pick you up? <laughs> someone who actually is not a new addition to the yeah, game. Yeah, five hours of someone chill. I'm going to, We're crossing uh, to five hours. Today, actually, we did you know, has been a, a part minute of ago. Our lives for quite Anyways. some time, in fact. Flashback. I'm not even well, actually, tired, you guys. Cat, if chat helped pay, I could go like a I mean, thousand maybe, hours. Like now we've decided we're definitely staying here in this house, so that's not really a concern. It would be more of a money thing, but a we, money I mean, cat really wants a cat, so just saying. In a flashback. All right, and it's funny because we've, with all the stuff that we've had to do, we've had to keep a lot of stuff private. Come on up here. Here he is. And he said it like five times Ladies before. Man, we can't. Like we wish we could. Our pet. We went to the shelter today and we just we looked at the kittens. We didn't actually get a kitten. We just looked at them. Playing with this. And one of those times he was telling you about this, they actually got the cat, but he just lied for no reason. He would just lie for no reason to make his stories seem more believable, I guess. Oh, here we go. Some, some weird shit. Here's our pet. Uh, here's our pet, Jasper. I hate Jasper so much, by the way. I don't hate him in the way like I want to hurt him. I don't want him to be hurt in any way. I just hate the idea of him. I hate the idea of this overpriced cat that brings nothing to anything at all. But is is marketed to you as something that is like a that is like a big selling point. Man, it makes the vibe here so much cooler that I know that a cat exists. It improves everything so much. When he talks about him like he's some weird like supernatural <laughs> yeah, cat that can perfect. do amazing things. <laughs> This is yeah. Jasper, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jasper. This is the, the face cat. to do when you spam uh, when you scam people out of like two thousand dollars. No shit. Basically, he's been a part of our lives for a long time. 
all right? In fact, before the wedding and everything this year, you know, a lot of people surmised, they were like, Phil, why is it that you needed to have a, a friend come by the house and kind of house it for you while you were in Connecticut to get married? There's your answer, okay? Um, we didn't want to leave him alone and we didn't have, we couldn't afford to pay to like put him up or anything like that. So we had a, a friend come by and kind of hang out with, uh, with Jasper uh, for an hour or two a day and feed him and everything while we were in Connecticut. And really, the truth of the matter is we wanted to kind of reveal him for a long time now, but with all the stuff that's been going on in our lives, personally, we just didn't, we wanted to wait for the right time, all right? And we just felt now is kind of the right time because I'm doing so many chill streams now that it made sense. Here, come on, come up here again, Jasper. Come up here. See, Jasper doesn't Jasper. know come on. that there's a camera here, so he doesn't know to look at you guys. Ah, yeah, play with that twist. And we got a bunch of toys and stuff that I could bring in here to play with him during the chill streams at night too, you know? So a lot of people, you're right, a lot of people did guess that a cat was the thing. The thing, a lot of people yeah, said, but oh, you it's said a new nobody cat, guess. It's a new cat. It's not. Jasper actually has been my, our cat for a while. Um, I don't think anybody guessed the down, the, the rabbit hole thing. I, I didn't see anybody guess it. Or him debunking troll videos. I don't think that idea was out there. Um, I haven't ben seen Boxer, that. Boxer Charity said, now that you have $1,000, you'll be free up overdrafts at least for a while. For now, what I'm going to do literally tonight, transfer all this to my bank account, and hopefully it'll take care of it until I get paid by Twitch. We'll see, okay? I just care about money. <laughs> I need money. This is nice. The money is always right. Um, That douche kid cheered. He said, the joke's on everyone. I don't see why the you joke think is the joke's on, on everyone. everyone. Yeah, it What's is. The joke? It was a positive reveal. It's something a that's going to affect our positively. Hey, buddy. Okay, this is this one. And there was a big uh, bald spot on his head, but that's how it works. That's how life works. Then we got, what, the Mexican dude giving him a hundred bucks for Metroid Dread. I couldn't find this. I looked for this. I couldn't find a clip of this. Uh, the voice messages he got on fans on Xbox Live. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. The friend request ridicule. Even though that was old Phil, he was a different person. But let's do that. A DSP gaming. Oops. I... And uh, this time, maybe the, the proper stuff is gonna come out. Gaming. Get out of here. Friend request, okay? There it is. And there are a lot of them. So let's just press on something and press to a random point. Right. Uh, when is he gonna uh, eat? He's gonna eat after the second uh, game. So this is the first game. And it's probably gonna be like two more hours until he actually puts food in his mouth. I uh, do not accept random. Oh, actually, until he puts food in his mouth? Probably three hours. I don't want to fill my entire friends list. With people I don't know. That would be pretty stupid. And uh, so I just want to give you an idea of what I pretty much come home to every day when I get home from work. Uh, because I think it's fucking hilarious. So this is going to be the first time I do this. We are going to do DSP's personal messages for the day. <laughs> I think we'll get a kick out of it. So let's take a look here. By the message way, the, the structure of his birthday stream is terrible. Uh, because he's going to start out with this and then play something boring. I forgot what it was. And then play Kirby. I think he's gonna start with this and Kirby. And then play Skyrim and finish off with Elden Ring. And in between, have breaks and eat food. And he was ordering food live on camera. It was terrible. One. I think next is Kirby. It's from a guy named Hobo Monkey. Hobo Monkey 3. And he sends me a voice okay. message. Let's see what he said. What and look, he say? did invite me to be his friend against you. what I've said on my page fan. and in my videos. But let's see. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, please, please put me on your friend list. Oh, Yo, this is a kid. He's gonna roast the kid? Yeah. Uh, if you think I can fix on my console, bye, bye, please. Uh, he what scheduled the, the order. Did he say? Besides begging it's, to be uh, on my it, friends It might list. be late. It might be cold. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Let me get rid of this. Let me give it some thought. Should I let him on? No, fuck you. Get off. Okay. Here's a guy, Louis A34. I like your YouTube videos. All right. Well, I appreciate the sentiment. Thank you for sending me that private message. And oh, look. He wants to be my friend, too. Oh, well, too bad. Because I told you I'm not accepting it. So fuck you. Oh, All right. Destroyed. Chunky Bob is and actually... Told him, fuck you. Uh, on my friends list, he's asking me if Afro Samurai last night was good. Uh, my answer is, I don't know yet. I haven't finished the game or gotten far enough to tell. Let's see, here's Applejacks35, another guy who doesn't fucking listen. Let's see what he has to say in his voice message. 
Dude, Dark Spadil. I saw your video. Dark Spadil. <laughs> hey, Dark Spadil. Is everyone that watches my videos a fucking 12 year old? Jesus. Yes. <laughs> that guy wasn't even 12. Wait for your balls to drop before you send me a PM. Oh, wow. Um, all right, fuck you. You don't That's get either end. Hey, now look at this. We have an intelligent person. But come on, guys. He, he might have been PM, depressed then. But he didn't send a friend of us. He used to do that a lot when he was depressed. Hey, Phil. I love your vids, and I was hoping you would like to play Left 4 Dead versus with me sometimes. Message back. Well, first of all, I'm sorry. I'm not going to message you back because I, if I do that, then I have to message everyone back. However, if you ever do catch me randomly online or you do randomly end up on my team and we have a good playthrough, I might actually add you. And just to show you guys, I'm not lying. Look, I have friends. I have 48 friends, but I know most of these people in real life. I don't want to add people that I don't know. So don't take Yo, offense if you, used to have if, you, know, you send me a friend. How many friends do you think he has on the PS5? Does he have like two friends on the PS5? You can probably look it up, but it's like, it's probably going to be private. And I don't accept it or I delete it. I'm just trying to fucking keep my friends list open for people I know. <laughs> There's plenty of people that I play with offline in the Street Fighter community that, uh, you know, I, I can't just accept everyone. You understand I've gotten hundreds, hundreds of friend requests over the past couple of months. So please just kind of chill out. You know, feel free to enjoy my videos. Feel free to chat it up on my YouTube channel. But uh, please do not send me friend requests. This is only the first of many times I'm going to do this. Just to humiliate the people that don't fucking listen and uh, basically just go ahead and this send me This is a terrible thing to do. Hey, he's reading Super Chats. Let's see his reaction. Good to see you here today. Nothing, just counting tips. Did he say something interesting? Because he's been saving for like 20 minutes. Into the spear cycle there. So let's save the game. We have to save the game. And let's do it. You didn't miss anything. Cool. Oh, nothing. Basically nothing. Which we happened. just did. Anyways, let's go okay. back to Pass. All right, I just had to 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 make this video now yeah. again Usually all I do is playthroughs and gameplay footage But I had to step outside the box today because I got a quite interesting personal message here So let's go into my messages And the name of the person that sent it to me is Alley cat 414 and the first thing I see says hey your voice on YouTube and Obviously it probably says YouTube so I said all right, let's open it up and see what it says for all my baby hey, girls. your Come voice on YouTube sounds two. sexy. Electric you want a pic of me naked? I'm Busting two electric big <laughs> It might be today if he if he eats uh, if the food is amazing. He might I bust am a hot blonde with double D. I am we also got 18, for the dog. so I'm legal. <laughs> what? Are you, you want kidding? a pic of me naked? I am a hot blonde with double D. This is the sex bots in chat. It never works. This shit never works. It's obviously it's a bot. Yes, I'm very stupid Lord enough to fall for this. And Lord Sheogarath got banned. Yeah, we saw this. He did get banned. He got lean. Because uh, he was trolling on Phil's birthday. This one's wrong. How dare you? Girls. Romance Cat. Beating yeah, Romance heart. Cat. Big ups. <laughs> Big ups Anonymous and Black Maid for your contribution. Lord Sheogarath got banned, man. Or him. Because he was strolling. Try to get... How dare you? People are hating on me on my birthday. Naked pictures of you. Because you're a hot blonde with double Ds. Wow. That's pretty forward of you. You would think that you would want to talk first before you send me pictures of your naked tits. Alright, how about this? If you can show up at my door in the next what? week... What? Then, uh, <laughs> He's calling to people to you show up to his door. door. With an ID proving that you're over 18 and you better goddamn be hot. Because if you're not, you better I'm kicking goddamn you down be my hot. front fucking porch. Wow, you're kicking down the porch. So anyway, used to be so tough back then. He got so many hoes. Please don't send me these ridiculous PMs. I'll just keep humiliating these people who do really stupid things. And by the way, if this really is a woman, she sent me a friend request as well. So, gee, I wonder what she was really trying to get out of this. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, so I've been away from my Xbox for a couple of days and, uh... I've got 49 personal messages. How much do you want to bet that most of them are friend requests? I mean, a lot of you have been requesting another friend request ridicule video. He's probably drunk it. as fuck in Let's this. Let's see what I got here. 49 <laughs> messages. Jesus Christ. Okay. He used to make this as a series back in the day. 
friend request Look how to long kill it this. Takes to All of this is like an hour so and ten long. long. Too much, Too much style since YouTube means fail long madness. Oh, well, let's think about this. Uh, fuck you. Okay. Wow, destroyed. Voice fuck message. you. Hold on, I gotta turn up my volume so we can hear the voice message, actually. Uh, probably the 50. Let's see. Play the voice. Okay. Oh, this is so slow. What? What? Hold on, play that again. <laughs> what? I have no you idea. You want to get this guy 85 said. minutes for survival mode. Uh, of course, he's talking about Left 4 Dead, and of course, he's an amazing fucking moron. No, wow, he's an amazing fucking moron. Are there any timestamps to this? Maybe there's some amazing Hold shit. Hold on, happened. let's see. Did he send me? Oh, he sent oh, me a friend request. This. Fuck. Oh my god, your video. Okay, and now let's delete both of them immediately without listening to any further. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. That sounded worse than the fucking nerd impression that Conan O'Brien does. Wow, the dude started saying, I like your videos. All right, I so like your videos, Will. I'm a fucking idiot. Look at his voice. Bored. Let's delete both. One. Hi, mate. I've been watching your vids on YouTube. Thanks for the tips. I this got a question. Is, Where did you get Butch so as a real. and see that alien spacecraft? Well, I've been hearing rumors of a DLC that you went over an alien spaceship called Mothership Zeta. Holy run-on sentence, Batman. Learn grammar, Yeah, dude. this was long as fuck. This guy just wants to be my friend, so he gets deleted. Why don't you <laughs> use capture card instead of camera? I've already explained this 7,000 fucking times. It's because then I'd have to actually use... So a professional microphone, I'd have to record the voiceovers, I'd have to actually do video editing on every fucking oh, yeah, video we that can I put do up. That. Considering I put up like 30 a fucking day, unless 30 you want to fucking a day. stay home and do that while I'm at work, I don't think 30 that's gonna videos a day. So shut your fucking face. Every day. Every day. 30 videos. Fighter, but will you ever do a multiplayer? No, I'm not gonna ever do a shitty Dragon Ball Z game, sorry. Dragon Ball Z game, sorry. How many of these losers have you answered yes to about friend requests in the seven to eight months? Zero. That's the honest answer. Zero. What is this one? Oh, here we go. Fat fucker, you don't read or listen to messages nice people send you, <laughs> even little kids that sound kind. So eat a dick, you 14-year-old sounding 40-year-old with no life or girlfriend. And oh. look, he's sponsored by Adidas. <laughs> he's sponsored <laughs> by Adidas? Shithead. Get off my phone. He's sponsored by Adidas? What was this like clap bag? This guy totally owned him fucking friends list he had no girlfriend back then and he called him out you have no girlfriend you have no bitches you 14 sounding 40 year old and then all he has to say is ah look he's sponsored by adidas black if you want <laughs> what a clap back was this and it's your video be on friends what come on he's getting ratioed in like xbox 360 friend requests get... <laughs> getting destroyed by random is. people <laughs> so it's listen this is listen really Listen, lag, lag city, city lol i guess i must have played him in a game it probably was lag city a lot of the marvel games we played were laggy oh the voice messages come on and on that new dlc there is a new weapon that looks like an alien rifle it looks like an upgrade from alien blaster just wanted to know if you knew more i haven't been following the dlcs at all i just hey, wait for people to tell me when they're out and i fucking download them and play them <laughs> this guy sent me two voice messages let's listen to okay, the first one okay let's listen first. to him. come on I and mean, that was a nice snort, but it was still a... Oh my god, your video... Oh, it's this okay, guy. Okay, now let's delete yeah, both of them guy. immediately let's without listening any further. Let's Holy go. shit. That what sounded worse than cry like a bitch when you... Fuck you, you motherfucker! Get the fuck off! Oh, he got offended. Wait, what? Okay, JJ Parker. JJ Parker. Dude, your YouTube channel is pretty cool, but you cry like a little bitch when you lose at Street Fighter. And he gets actual rage out of him. Dude, your YouTube channel this is, guy is so cool, silly. You cry like a bitch when you fuck you, you motherfucker. Get the fuck, fuck off. you. Get out of my like fucking this. stream. Get out of my recording of my it's screen. Happening outside of my house right now. Hold on. What is that noise? A bunch of fucking idiots. A bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> this is how you respond to somebody. He gets owned right, never mind. in, in this entire video. Everybody talks shit to him, and all, all he can uh, say is, ah, oh, fuck you. Right. Anyway, get out of here. Hello, Phil. I am Bloody Monk Merc, and well, I would very much appreciate Dark Side Phil if you accepted my friend's request. Bro, this is and way I... too long. That guy's really fucking loud. 
and I play almost 24 hours a day, but less. You play almost 24 hours a day? What the fuck's wrong with you? But less on the weekends. So real just, gamer. Just let you know. Uh, you know what? You know what? Nothing. Not even a one-liner. You know what? The fuck is happening Delete, outside. delete, delete. Like, deleting all these idiots. What is happening like, outside? Is there fucking an African nation outside of my house? Oh, wow. Is there? All right. Duncan! Wow, this was a I great part of this video. And your rock is amazing. Completely well, random. Keep making more Street Fighter 4 vids. I learn a lot from them. Thanks. Okay. Thank you for the message. You didn't send a friend request. I'm just deleting all African these fucking nation. idiots who did. Let's delete these idiots. Is there an African nation outside oh, my God. house? <laughs> What's this one from? Yo, bitch! From Black Scorpion 55. Oh no, there's gonna be hateful slurs in this, and the sex bots attack, and everything goes wrong. This is this is that time and I almost banned somebody I wasn't supposed to. But I deleted everything. Okay, everything is good again. You're a fucking faggot. Do you oh. think you're all cool spelled wrong? Calling everyone names? I'd beat the fuck out of you if I had the chance. Stupid white trash, get down on your knees yes, and lick my not, hairy God. balls, fat monkey bitch. Wow. Thank you very much for the comment. Much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you for the comment. I was wondering comment. if I should get Uncharted because I think you did a play. <laughs> this is how you do answer on the comment. Oh, bro. What else do we got? I guess those are it. The, the biggest ones I clicked through. What about this? Well, I am so sorry for how many bitches send you a friend request. I am not oh, going wow. to ask you to just send me a message. Uh, not a message, a, me a message, spelled wrong, to let me know you got this. P.S. I also only put friends I know onto my list for the same Ray Zone. Don't let it get to you. Dear Jam Like Dave, learn how to fucking type. Learn how to fucking type. These are terrible. These are terrible responses. Alright, uh, what's the next one? What do we have here? Emergency Room, War Dog Leader, we did both. The VR Chat, we did in the beginning king of suffering we did and paying his taxes uh that, i don't know how i'm gonna find this one that specific one from like two years ago uh colonel sanders with uh yelling boy i think i watched this last time esp gaming uh sanders all right the halloween special <laughs> wait, wait, I think this was a good video for it. DSP tries it, boy. <laughs> I think this one is great. Hello, everyone! Hello, How you everyone! Doing? <laughs> uh, hello! Uh, hi! I'm Colonel Sanders, oh, and I'm here disaster. to welcome you to the Halloween Marathon for 2020! 2020! Yeah. You ready for this, boy? I hope you're ready for Are this. Are you ready for this, boy? Subject. Take a Nashi Kiara. Good you lord, I don't know. I ain't from no Japan. I don't know how to say that shit. Thank you very much for the gifted sub, though. Frog Detective Chitty said, What's the reward for a $100 tip goal? It's that you're happy that I'm streaming in a costume and acting like a character, and you shut up. That's the reward. Oh, wow. Tyler, you I'm shut up is the this. reward. What? A What's the reward for a hundred? You shut up. Slave owner. Wow. I'm not no slave owner, Wait, boy. I'm a chicken. I'm not a slave owner, boy. I'm a chicken. Ah, wait. Sounds good. <laughs> it's Halloween, boy. Wow. What are you talking about, boy? boy. Come on, boy. Big black cat jump scare. Don't get me, boy. There's a bunch Don't of get me, about boy. It. <laughs> and his fucking mustache fell God, off. Gonna... His goatee fell off, like in real life. Ah, Look at wait. this. Sounds good. It's Halloween, boy. They it's Halloween, boy. boy. Come on, boy. Big black cat Look jump scare. Don't get me, boy. <laughs> This fucking this shit fell off. There's a bunch of dangly bodies behind you. Turn around, boy. Um, oh, there's some in there, boy. Coming for you. <laughs> Turn around, boy. Deadlocks, boy. Woohoo! Yeah. They're trying to get us with a chains, boy. All right, this is one of the funniest shit he's done. Like, actually done. I think it's one of the funniest shit he's done. And I'm uh, I'm pretty lit right now. Take a sip for uh, everybody out there. This is just beer, but I have a lot. Okay. Live. Because we have to give you an update. He's sitting on 330, 433 freedom bucks. And now he's fighting a boss. He's been fighting this boss for the last like 15 minutes. Uh, I think. Because I've been glancing at the second screen from, from yeah, point hey, to point. Hey boy. Take a sip boy. And let's go back to the Colonel Scamders. Well, 
that's two cores, is that enough? Shut up, boy. Doodle Dread says, the accents, uh, 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 the mannerisms are getting tiring. Doodle Dread, you know what's tiring? Yo ass, shut the hell up, boy. I ain't got time for your <laughs> shit. Well, let me tell you, boy. 1,000 bits, I appreciate that, boy. Where you think you living, boy? That, bye, boy? Bye, boy, you got food, you moron. I can slide a hand there, boy. That's right, boy. You're gonna grab your chicken nuggets when you're not looking, boy. What's it gonna be, boy? Hey, that's good, boy. Yeah, this is down such a good video. Oh, boy, boy, it's gonna be bang, 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 and we move on. Oh, ain't this gonna be boy, no boy, bang. boy, boy. Unleash the fries on these boys. There ain't no bobble, boy. What the hell is that? We ain't no juggalo, boy. <laughs> hey, he out of here, boy. Eating KFC with my brother, and he dressed up as Colonel Sanders. My Halloween has come full circle. That's right, boy. This is where the other boys left. His exit. This boy walks slow no matter what. Dude, Dread, you say I'm putting some effort into my act. Let me tell you something, boy. We're back to this boy. <laughs> he oh. did the whole stream like this, boy. boy I, <laughs> oh, everything was boy. There's no way I'm reading your name, boy. Everything anyway, let's is boy. Here down the road, shall we, boy? It's like you're playing fucking God of War. Everything is boy. All right, we're gonna be suing these boys, boy. We're gonna suing are you these boys. About, boy? <laughs> oh boy, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hell out of here, boy. Come on, boy. Oh boy. We need help, boy. Yeah. Come on up to the attic, boy. Sometimes oh, this is great. Them, boy. Oh boy, here come. Good dad, my southern intuition. I said, there's an item right there out in the hallway, boy. I turn around, there's an item. Look at that. Oh, oh wow. Boy. Oh boy, that's <laughs> okay. really gruesome. Some of these are, are funny. He I said, gotta give it to him. boy, and he this pierced is funny. him. That was my favorite scene so far of the game right there, boy. Take that shit, boy. <laughs> You're okay, boy. You're okay. Dude, he looks like a trigger happy son of a gun, this boy. Look at him. Oh boy. Oh boy, they did. They, they, but of course, I'm still doing an accent doll bat. This is our probably. Oh shit! Go oh, boy! Pissed you stabbed him in the head, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. KFC cooking, boy. Oh boy, here we go. Keep going. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that's the best way to learn, boy. He <laughs> he boy. Hunter oh, boy. I'm the right, most boy. skilled oh, Elden Ring oh. player in the world. Uh, I'm not so sure about that one. He says, I lose interest because I'm so good. That, yes, that's true. I've lost complete interest in the game. The game is just too easy for me. Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, you're boy. freaking nuts. Man, he said it like, what, 65 you're times? You're nuts, boy. So, ladies and gentlemen, what a playthrough. I certainly hope you enjoyed Little Hope. Uh, oh, first half was normal. And he did it the whole stream? He finished the whole game, the stream? Pretty cool. That's the first time he managed to do it. All right, we get some more. What is next? Halloween yelling boy. This was great. DJ Runo, we did. And then he realized it was an imposter. That was funny. Now, this is a long one, but it's by Ya Boy. So let's read it. Uh, this is the Bachelor of Business. Yeah, this is a lot for a single video. So I guess uh, for closure and bankruptcy. Maybe we can watch some bankruptcy stuff later on. Uh, laughing at a fan with speech impediment. I couldn't find this. I I looked for it earlier today, but I couldn't find this. Uh, now we get... What is this? Having his elderly parents fly out to do unpaid work. This was great. This was the, the DSP... Holy shit, how would I even know? DSP... Parent... Vlogs... Holy shit, how is this gonna come out? Aaron's Aftermath. Yeah, this is the first one. Wow, the algorithm is destroying it today. What's up, everyone? Oh, maximum DSP static. Here. Maximum and after terrible a audio. Long week of my parents visiting yeah. from the state of Connecticut and coming to the this state one, of This his, one, his dad fixed his fucking backyard. His dad. Washington. Who DSP has said that he also has a bad back and he's old. We have completed many different home it's not improvement like old, efforts. Not, not to do anything, but he shouldn't be doing this. I'd like to do a short video here showing some of these to you. First of all, this is Leanna's new office. Wow, Leanna's office. When I office. say new, that I mean, amazing. holy crap, does this place look different now that it is blue? I mean, it used to be this ugly, ugly shade of orange. And we had a sectional uh, piece of our couch downstairs that didn't fit in our living room that always kind of stayed chill. in the corner of her office that took up way too much room. Now it what looks is this so buzzing sound? much yes, better the fuck, and different. Man. She's got her desk set up nicely. She hasn't fully set everything up yet. She's yeah. actually working on setting up. It was just pressing record, then pressing record again, then uploading to YouTube. That was his whole fucking process. And this got 10,000 views. Office, Holy fuck. But and this is how he, he fucking made his career with this low fucking level bullshit. 
And it's not surprising that right now he's begging for tips with a Pikachu hat on, sitting in front of two f balloons that make a fort. The fan to get the nasty new paint smell not out surprising. of here. It's still going to be here for like a week and we're going to have to keep running it. Oh, and the but fan. it is nice what for what it hear. is, right? These, these new things she has here to store all of her gaming stuff and also her business stuff, which is excellent. She's got some nice succulent plants that my parents actually got for her to put into the office. And, uh, you know, it's a nice setup like overall. She's even got her brand new PC, which we had to buy right before my parents arrived because her old PC died and she needs it for her business. So had to get her one, and uh, you know she also does gameplay and stuff for her YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, this is the new office, night and day from what it used to look like. And now the sectional that we used to have in here, we now can fit in the nook because All right, and this I is went useless. through here one day. We took a whole day, and we basically threw out a ton of shit from the a previous owners. Shit. We took the two of us to they do had it so much ladder, unnecessary but we got stuff. All of the storage bins up in this upper level of storage. So now I can actually use stuff. And it's amazing because now we've got this workbench, right? This now is somewhere where Leanna can do some stuff with her soap making. We actually got some soap making ingredients and stuff up here. Down here, we've got her gardening stuff now, all kind of set up in these drawers or these uh, drawer, your drawer and, and your cabinet. I've actually finally, for the first time ever, I've got somewhere to put tools and stuff for the house. Was Leanna so known for do doing gardening? Kind of thing, I don't think she was. Stuff. I can actually use this stuff in the garage. I've lived here for two years and never been able to do it. All I like believe it. Bullshit. But in addition to that, yeah. this is stuff I'm we gotta get rid of. This is sure stuff left behind all of the previous owners. Paint cans with only a little bit of paint in them. Okay, let's go to the back. Hit it from the back. And then rebuild it. Oh, it's the green screen. Let's see some green screen lore. Can entire cans, unopened cans of white paint they left in here. So, whatever. But anyway, that's the kind of the paint slash chemical locker. And yeah, I mean, let's give you a, some perspective here. Now, how much space I now have in this garage wow. versus when I was doing the green screen stuff, I couldn't even move over here because this was all like from here to here was just piles of shit. And I didn't have time to clean it up myself. You know, a day that I take, to take off to do that, I don't work, I don't make money, I can't support the business, right? So having the time off this week was great. Of course, here's the green screen, which I haven't used since the middle of uh, 2015, and you know why, with all the false copyright shit and stuff that went against me. I still leave it here because actually it's gonna be more, it's gonna be more difficult if I take it down and then rebuild it than if I just leave it here. Oh, it's not hurting never anything. Rebuild it. These things- So he just left it until it completely got fucked up. Just like sitting like this. Incredible. Cause he didn't put this apart. So it was sitting like this the whole time. And then he threw it out at some point. Pretty difficult to build these uh, light boxes. It's not incredibly really difficult to build. DSP, so come on. Here. I mean, here, fingers crossed, right? YouTube is changing. Maybe by the end of this year, they won't be able to fucking false flag me for fucking. Oh yeah, copyright false flag. Who knows? Why right? are we talking about false anyway, flag? Come new on. Improved garage. All right, so the last thing I'd actually like to show you. I'm wow, not that transition. Too much noise, there was some editing there. There's a small dog that barks, and I don't want to get him barking. Yeah, what's up, right, right? Here, because I'm going out back. But uh, my parents helped us with the backyard. Take a look out here. So we actually had these plants already. They were already set up and growing here. But the problem was we had a ton of weeds that kept creeping through these stones that we have in the backyard here, and it was really annoying. And in addition, we had some stuff going on over here with weeding and all these plants. In fact, this, I didn't even know this because I usually don't come out here. It's more Leanna's thing. This shrub had overgrown into our exhaust. This is the exhaust for the fireplace. Now, right now, we're not using it. But if in the winter, if this thing was in there and we turned it on, the whole thing could have went on fire. My parents noticed that, thank God. So they came out here and they weeded and they also bought this really heavy duty uh, Roundup weed killer, which I didn't know what the good stuff killer. was. They got it, they sprayed everything, they showed me how to use it. They said, you know, come out here you know, a couple times during the summer and spray all that stuff and make sure it's all dead. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. In fact, already, look, they already sprayed and look, already there's sprouts, look. That's a freaking new one. They just sprayed. Yeah, compared to how he talks in the one. house, this is way too quiet. So probably a couple times a month, like, I'll be out here spraying. Yeah, yeah, if you're spraying. He didn't Pretty spray nice. this weed killer at all. Do you think he sprayed it? He didn't. Bought, 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 you know, a few cheap but now I'm just being a nitpicking asshole. But that's why I'm here. Come on. I need to nitpick everything. Things. And they were sitting out here. What was the brand of the weed killer? I think it's fake. There's no weed killer. He's lying. 
which is funny because it rains a lot here in Washington. They just happened to be here at a time when it was like hot and sunny uh, for a yeah. few days. So, so that was nice of them. They yeah, this backyard now it's like Mad Max. It's it's completely dead. But it's something else's fault. There was a big storm, or there was, I don't know, a rain of locusts or some shit, some random shit. A lot up. They helped us out. They taught me a lot of stuff about Pingley and his office, about guard. You know, the garden out here. We're not really garden, but uh, let's stuff drink out some here more. with the weed stuff. That I don't know. You know, because I used to live with them. They did all of that. And then, you know, when I lived in the condo in Connecticut, it didn't have a backyard. You know, I just had a back deck where I didn't have any of this. Back deck. So I didn't have the knowledge to really, you know, know any of that kind of stuff. And it was awesome that they spent the time to come out. And, you know, I took the time off of work to, to uh, all the time off of work with them and learn all of that. So it was a pretty awesome week. It was, so, uh, you know, yeah, his, his parents visited in 2016 to basically clean his house. And he did like minimal type shit because he can't lift anything and he can't do prolonged anything. And he burps and snorts and farts all the time. So he's ba barely even a human. So he was just kind of existing then. Overall, outside of that, the house is the same pretty much. Um, the only other thing that we actually did was my giant Blu-ray collection, right? The only other thing that we the did- The giant Blu-ray collection. Was that here in the living room? This is for uh, Ex Mortis Iceberg. You didn't know what the Blu-ray um, lore was about. Did, this is this one of the videos where you can see it. It's this. This is his giant Blu-ray collection. Because he had so much money at one point and wanted to be a fan of everything. He wanted to be a fan of video games, of movies, of everything. So he bought these tens and probably hundreds of Blu-rays of movies that he doesn't even like know shit about. And probably hasn't even watched. And he bought a bunch of statues and all that other shit. Giant Blu-ray collection, right? The only other thing that we did was that here in the living room, uh, I always at night, I always sit on this cushion of the sectional couch. Always. And I kind of spread my legs. This is where a Champions is played. This is how so you know. It's relaxing, right? But what happened was this cushion, after two years of doing that every day, got flat. You know, because I've been sitting on it every day. Of course it's going to get flat. So what we did, my dad and I rotated, we lifted this cushion up onto the stair here, got it out of the way, pushed it back, rotated them around, and I cleaned, cleaned all under the couch. And so now this cushion is actually what cushion was here, and it's never been used. I never sat there. I always sit here. So this cushion, I was like sitting on a brand new couch, which is pretty awesome. Um, so overall, it was a good visit. I was happy to see my parents. You know, got to catch up with them a little bit, talk with them a little bit about stuff going on back home with other relatives and stuff. And we went to dinner a lot of times. If you didn't check it out, it's, uh, if you check out my Instagram, which is Instagram.com forward slash they call me DSP, you can actually see <laughs> a lot fucking of Instagram. pictures that I put up there. Come on, DSP. Uh, of check out my Instagram. Stuff that we HTTPS in fact, in right now, forward later, slash www.instagram.com forward slash they call me DSP forward slash the king of hate forward slash instagram from my mom it's like find it here oh his instagram is still a thing today occasionally he uploads something leftover lasagna for us to make fun of giant it's very cringe more chunks frozen in the, in the refrigerator or the freezer that we're gonna thaw and eat later this month too Amazing. oh man it was a good it was a good visit i love when my mom visits because she always cooks too she cooks good stuff that oh I'm yeah <laughs> i love it when my mom visits because she cooks this guy, man, he can be like a, a human for a second. Man, I enjoy these people because they benefit me directly when they're around me. That's how. That's why I like them. Bro. Okay, this was this one. We we went over it, right? Uh, then what did we get? Now this was the last one. Unpaid work by parents. Rage quitting P P three. Persona three on easy. Oh yeah, this I I saw this. Uh, Persona. We rage quit, and this one is pretty popular. The final fucking boss. And people paid for this. Hold on, let's watch this shorter video. It's by David Davidson, I know it's gonna be good. Welcome to our happy space. Look, it's all self, man. Fuck. I want to. Hello, everyone, and welcome. 
Wow, this is a momentous occasion because not only are we about to begin the first Patrons' Choice playthrough of 2016, this game was nominated and voted on by patrons in the month of January and, and throughout February they were voting and it won the poll unanimously, like huge lead over the other games. So, I'm excited. Well, also, it's now my second Persona game ever. After last year, Persona 4 won a poll for Patrons' Choice and I tried it out. It was the very first Persona game I ever played. I liked the game so much, it ended up being a long, ongoing playthrough that lasted almost three months and actually ended up being my second longest playthrough ever. I've also been basically been told by everyone possible, play the game on easy because the game is cripplingly difficult if you don't, and I'm probably just going to rage a ton, and people actually want to see me finish the game rather than rage quit it. So I think I'm going to take the advice of my viewers and, uh, and go <laughs> He's along He's going to rage quit it on okay. easy. <laughs> this is great. And now for something completely different. The path of your choosing. Good, let me oh, fight here you. It's almost midnight. It's gonna nice be midnight and what is Sunday. this? Amazing. This is the finale. <laughs> I need your help! Oh good, heal the boss! Yeah. Oh my what the fuck? You got to be kidding! She just fully healed the boss. You, oh my fucking god. I gotta start over fighting this boss. Isn't that great? When do I get a turn? What the fuck? Oh. Headshot. Wow. Well, good thing I have Plume of Dusk. If this were a normal difficulty and I didn't have Plume of Dusk, I would quit the game. This isn't fair at all. How is this anyone's fault? <laughs> they completely cheated. This is complete and utter bullshit. Now we're fucked. I have to do this. Is gonna take another half hour at least to finish it. This is fucking stupid. I don't think the uh, Don Cleese this is This is dead. so fucking stupid. I think he's still alive. Six fucking he's thousand health back. I'm so pissed. Idiotic last boss fight. Complete stupidity. It's also a really chill music. Uh, <laughs> the fight was fun until that one part. I will charm your whole party. Oh, they all heal me. Fuck well, you. Thank all right, you. to attack again. I really have no commentary for this. It's just fucking a boring grind. I have no commentary for this. An incredibly boring grind I had to redo because the game is a fucking piece this of shit at the end here. Incredibly boring content. Yes. Doesn't seem to be doing that night shit anymore. It didn't do the Night Queen. Maybe it doesn't do it a second time. I've been fighting this boss for over an hour now, by the way. Over an hour. <laughs> Fucking die! Oh, here it comes! This is it! This is it! I was gonna die. Now I'm charmed! I'm charmed, which means he's gonna fucking. He's gonna fuck. I'm gonna heal him. I'm gonna heal him. I'm gonna heal him. I know it. And then I quit. Oh, no. If I heal him, I quit. I'm not kidding. I quit the game. I'm done. I'll tell you right now, if I heal him, I quit. Hey, can you hear me? He's doing it again! He's doing it again! He's doing it again! <laughs> oh my god, fuck this! This is insanity! I'm done. This is over. I'm and done. I was gonna quit. I'm not redoing it. I'm done. Damn, boy. Heal him. I'm done. You're I'm done. Quitting, it's, over. Boy. it's over. Why are you Goodbye. rage quitting, boy? I've also been basically been told by everyone possible play the game on easy. <laughs> play the game on easy. Come on. It's cripplingly difficult. It's cripplingly you know. difficult. And I'm probably just going to rage a ton. And people actually want to see me finish the game. Oh boy. Than no rage boy. Quit it. It's over. Yeah, he quit it. Come on. Turn off the system. That's not even three, turn off the game. That's the worst final boss Aggressive fight I've ever done down. in an RPG. That's not an exaggeration. That is the worst final boss fight I've ever done. Uh, and I'm not redoing it. So I don't care about the end of the game. I spent, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, over four months. Uh, and I'm not doing it again. That's a complete waste of time. That was 90 minutes of one boss fight. The worst design boss fight oh, I've ever no. done in a, so in a fucking RPG. Crime. I'm done. So the playthrough is over. I'm not playing this game again.
That is it. I'm not wasting any more time. I'm done. Come on, man. All that Patreon shit was... Oh my god, what a disaster. You rage quit the Spider-Man DLC. Come on, those are easy as fuck. What did he struggle on? Yeah. Is, was it okay. one of the cool ball challenges? Oh, it was basically nothing, bro. This guy's just bad at the game. Okay. It's not even like that hard, and he was not playing it on a hard difficulty. A very easy game. That's it. Fuck this. Oh, and it's he over. died. I'm done. What do you mean? Fuck this. What? I'm done. It's over. Fuck this game. Wow. Fuck the more baby rage. Spider Man DLCs, they're fucking absolutely god awful. I'm they're not. not wasting There's just more enemies. It's really not that fucking hard. Anyways. Oh, yeah. He rage quit Lego Star Wars. But with the Lego games, the one that I've played, they always have some bugs in them. They're annoying. Uh, Panda Lee details we saw this. Amnesia Rebirth. I looked for this very hard and I couldn't find it. The the breastfeeding. I couldn't find this at all. Now the 2K reveal, we covered this. Panda wedding. Uh well, let's see this, because I want to learn what happened then. Because then ESP also said he didn't want to go to the panda wedding because he was gonna get swatted or something. And he said it when he was addressing the SOK. Handily wedding. I don't know if that's gonna help. Uh, mm, Handily tribute video. Mrs. Panda. Engaged. Leanna the detractor. This is a video that pops up all the time. The worst of Pandali. Man, that's a hateful compilation. They hate this lady. Uh, I guess, yeah, that's it with this storyline. I can't find it. He built leg muscles by walking around on his house on his toes. The fuck did he do that? ESP. Uh, leg muscles. I don't know. This is probably not going to help. I used to work out. Let's see this used to work out. I'm interested by this. What talking about here? Infinite Fail says that I used to work out in my college years. I was jacked. That's actually You're a true statement. It's actually a true statement. I used to work out like for about two years. You also used to I was lifting it. weights heavily lifting to the point where I was taking heavily. the protein shakes, um, creatine shakes, and I was w lifting weights, you know, everything, bench press, they did squats. I was doing everything crazy. And I was jacked to the point where like people were, were like, oh shit, like Phil looks like he's ripped. Um, Phil looks like he's ripped. But then when I When did he stopped. look like he was ripped? Even in this photo, which is, this is a pretty badass Phil because he's right in the middle. It's like his moment. I'm doing it for various reasons. I've talked about them before. Well, I was, was doing it too much, ripped. and I almost Come had on. a fucking like me saying I'm blood ripped. vessel Come pop on. in my fucking head and end up in the hospital. That wasn't good. I'm not fucking ripped. Look at Sometimes my hands. Sometimes when I was younger, I would Come do on. things like to I'm the extreme, ripped. and that was the problem. I didn't know. I didn't know about sick. moderation back then. So for me, That's I'm gonna why work I'm out. I'm not gonna I'm just work out. I'm gonna fucking go crazy with every possible thing that I could do to work out and get jacked and shit. And it's funny because you know I haven't worked out in those photos. You're not flattering. I still, you know, you look at me about you know full my you can still see the muscles and stuff on my arm i'm still kind of you know i've got that on my body and i probably will have that for the rest of my life my dad used to be an actual bodybuilder and oh he, wow really now, he hasn't worked out in it like an actual years. bodybuilder that's some cool lore on uh, papa burnell but he's still you look at him he, an actual bodybuilder he looks buff you, you still retain some of that muscle even if you don't keep doing it for the rest of your life so that's good bow to the king this is a great shirt look at this bow to the king Imagine this guy, this human thumb, a human thumb, walks into a restaurant wearing this Bow to the King fucking t-shirt. <laughs> what is this fucking t-shirt? DSP. This is so embarrassing. <clears throat> and then this is all right. Why not? All right. This no, style. I didn't use Swag. This is terrible. This is a... <laughs> You're walking around with a, with a shirt with a logo on it that has his face on it that it says hate with capital letters hate bullshark <laughs> come on dsp why did you think this would be a good idea Your testosterone <laughs> hate and this is just like <laughs> this is iconic <laughs> this image is iconic that stuff wasn't popular back then i, I mean we're talking early 2000s back then the creatine was the bit the creatine was ever creatine's the new thing you gotta do creatine creatine they thought Creative. it was this fucking catchphrase and everyone had to do it. All right. 
All right, folks. So we get a bunch of very flattering photos of him. And yeah. they're all from like, imagine looking at him now nowadays. It's just like a, a flabby little thing. Look at him. You could just actually kind of look at him now. Look at him just sitting there. I say happy birthday to Migs. It's my birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to Migs. I'm, I'm getting confused. I'm getting older now, you know? What? Okay, We're I think this might be the confused. finale. Might be the finale, guys. Let's see. Hopefully the finale of the game. He might end this game here. Oh wow, so spoilers, I guess, for those who care. Uh, we do not care. Oh, this was this one. I used to work out. He didn't say anything about walking on his toes. But it was still pretty embarrassing. Subaru Man's Home Wrecker. This, I, I'm not gonna watch the whole Tevin video because it's like half an hour long. Dying Parents, we, we did this. Uh, DJ Runo. DJ Runo was a very popular one. Response to Rambo and Howard. Uh, this actually I, I, I'm interested in seeing. ESP, Rambo, Howard. It's pants. Now they respond to him and then he addresses everybody else. And this takes 20 minutes, I guess. You guys all love the freaking gaseous snake episode of Project 7. Gaseous snake. The whole thing was one big running fart joke. It was great. I actually just no. Yeah, maybe we can watch Project Seven because that one I think actually makes sense. I guess because it's like it's his birthday. We should watch something special. I think Project Seven is the most special out of all that stuff. I can run a poll in chat if you care, or watch it if you game. drop enough ones in chat, maybe we can just watch Project Seven. I don't know. Hey, he just by complete just randomness. I found a car. This is just the first game he's gonna be playing, so we're gonna have enough time. Randomness, it showed up in my release. Watch Project Seven and all these videos. Bullshit. I was like, "What the fuck?" And I watched it. I was like, "Wow, this episode is still great." I still stand by the fact that that show was good. And, uh, and at any point, we can actually jump to his stream and see what he's doing. And I'm gonna unmute him if there's any gold dust. Earlier, he banned uh, Lord Shigaroth guy, who was a cuck. And he got the cuck treatment, so uh, only thing I can say is, I guess. Cuck life, 100%. Live the life of the Live cuck. The life of the cuck. Why not? And he died the life of the cuck. You live by the cuck, die by the cuck. It would have gotten better That's and life. better the longer that it went on, because the ideas we had, like I said, the horror world, and then we had like the 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 fantasy kingdom with Zelda shit. I had a whole episode based around RPGs and Zelda that I had written in my head. That show would have been great, man. It would have been great, but sadly, you know, people weren't honest with me about what they were looking for out of it. That's the problem, you know. I was completely honest with everyone up front about everything. And what I was told about the people working on the show was a lie. They said they didn't want money. They said that they just were looking for popularity on YouTube. And so as long as I promoted their stuff and they got they got plugs during well, the show. This, they... that's, that's a thing that happens uh, sometimes, especially in like amateur projects like this, where you understate the work that you're about to do and then when you start working on it you realize the actual scope of what you have to take care of and it's a lot and at some point you actually want money but you don't want to go out of your way and tell dsp dsp i actually want money because then he's gonna say but you already said you know what buddy come on now you hate me that they didn't care about money or nothing like that i was like okay and then years later, they tell, uh, you know, years behind later. my back telling people, oh, Phil never offered us money and never paid us for Project 7. Like, yeah, you never asked for it. You told me up front you didn't want any. So it you basically possible lied to they me. scammed him. And then they basically lied made the him. whole show cancel because you didn't want to put in the work when you... Oh, they made the whole show cancel. They made Project 7 cancel. You get the popularity you wow. wanted on YouTube. That's your fault. That's not my fault. I promoted you just like you wanted. You wanted money, you should ask for it. You didn't. Yeah, he, he was supposed to lead the whole thing. He, he should have led everything and been there when they edited or gave him like very proper guidance how to do everything. Because the whole thing is kind of visionless as in it's a sketch thing from scene to scene. It's not really, there's not a lot to it. So I can see how they did it, but still he should have taken more, uh, should have been more enthusiastic. You told me you didn't want and taking the lead on all of that because it just seems like they, it was kind of like a school project thing where they're gonna say you're gonna edit you're gonna write this and we're gonna play this out and then they did and then it turned out bad 
and they should have been more organized this is so sad. for like a youtube series that potentially can get like hundreds of thousands of views and especially if you have a platform like that already because you know that was the thing that and some of the the project 7 stuff isn't that bad for its time like the the effects i mean and the editing of course the acting is not good i don't expect acting and dsp and the but most of the shit's not funny at all. It's pretty bad in general. I could have blown up. It's a bad thing, but it's a YouTube sketch from back in the day. Then great. It could end up being a really great series that had multiple seasons and shit. Oh, yeah. Could no. Have a partnership that no. ran years no, and no, years. No, but no, come on. It's DSP. Whatever. He never had this. They, there was not a point of his life where he had this that he's explaining. Like a partnership running for years and years that was super effective. Unless you talk about Cat. Again, it's just another case of me being honest and upfront with everyone and it everyone just being shady and fucking underhanded to me and not being honest and upfront with me, you know, and then shit blows up because of it. It's like, what can I do? I was being honest the whole time. Yeah, see, King of Hypocrisy did a 25-bit cheer and says, Howard said respect the fact asked you for money and when they didn't get it, they quit. 100% a lie. That's 100% false. When I first met with Respect the Pact about Project 7, they told me up front, and this is the God's honest truth. This epic music, I think that's from the game. We want money. We're not looking for money. What we want is to have our own YouTube presence and to have our own YouTube channels blow up. So what we would like to do is use Project 7 as a platform to show off our editing and filmmaking skills. People will come to our that's channel exactly what and watch said. our stuff and have our stuff blow up. So they were doing filmmaking, and if you remember at the same time, they were also doing let's playing like i was they were trying to do commentary over gameplay and they were trying to get attention doing that boy this is loud as fuck that's why i'm doing this and i promoted their stuff i constantly was giving them promotion sending people their way in the videos that always had the promotion and then all of a sudden after a four episode run i get told from them oh we're too busy to do the show anymore and things have changed in our lives and we decided that we we don't want to move forward with the show not once did they ever ask me for money whatsoever not once ever was i asked for money if they'd asked me for no. money i would have said okay if this is really what you want let's all sit down t together me rambo howard and you guys and let's figure it out and did let's he cash say out that? money wise what everyone's owed or whatever did he say that, that never happened let's sit down and talk did he say that and they never wanted that they never so wanted that anything I'm, that you've I'm heard to the really contrary sure. from howard is a blatant 100 percent fucking lie to make I'm me look bad because probably they lie. look bad because they are the ones who made the show end so they make shit up right to make me look bad get the fuck out of here that's the shit that gets me Oh, we have a nagging problem. We want money from Phil, but we don't ask him for it. But then years later, we'll make a video saying that we wanted it and he never gave it to us. And we asked and he said, no. So what? Fuck you. No, fuck you. you were a bitch. You didn't come to me like a man and say, all right, we changed our minds. We'd like money now. And now you're going to hold it against me years later and make me look bad. Fuck you. That's such pussy bullshit. That's like the complete opposite of how I am. If something, if I have a problem or something's wrong, I will always speak up, right? You make a and video about it on the internet. You don't fucking speak up. Go take care of the shit behind the scenes. You make a YouTube People video about it. Over the years, do shit like this. What? They never come to me, right? They never come to me and are honest with me. But then I'm the one at fault years later, right? The After one? the fact that the show fell apart, three years later, we're going to complain that we wanted money. No, you never said anything. I can't give you money. We can't sit down and be professional about it unless you are professional in which you weren't. So you can't hold that against me. Bro, and make he, negative videos he was avoiding all their texts behind the scenes. And then he literally moved across the country. Talking about me on the Internet and shit. When that never happened. What? It literally never happened. But let's just make shit up to make Phil look bad, right? Get the fuck out of here. You know? Seriously, Get it's so dumb. Here. This He talks about this anyway, for a long time. So let me add infinite here. You know oh, what? I will say this infinite. too. Say this. I will say this too. Um, say this. Say it. Go ahead, say it. You know, it's not like... For now? It's not like... Honestly, like I didn't want to continue Project 7. I did. I actually did. I was intending to continue it. Even without respect to the pact, I had intended. I had actually contacted two different people who were known as professional video editors. Oh, he contacted um, editors. And or like filmmakers who actually one of them okay. in Connecticut was someone who I had gone to high school with and ha was actually working, did like local commercials and stuff like that. And so they had some really good filmmaking experience. Now, were they top notch? No, but I wasn't looking for someone who was well, top, you don't notch need top to continue notch. Project Seven. Um, 
But I had continued on looking for someone to continue the project, and I was willing to pay them. Now, let me think about it. Why would I have gone around looking for people to hire to continue the show if I wasn't willing to pay someone to make the show? Uh, the reason I didn't is because I heard from John Rambo that basically Howard was not interested in continuing the show anymore. Oh, no. Because Howard was not. to understand. It's actually Howard, the one who's that bald. You know, Howard was personal friends with Respect the Pact. Since Respect the Pact wasn't happy with how things went with the show, then it turned Howard off to continuing the show, yada, yada, yada. So now I'm going to start the show. It's just going to be me and Rambo, and now half the cast is gone. You know what I mean? It wouldn't have made half any sense. That's where the whole thing I mean, come on. Howard wasn't that important to fucking Project 7. Howard was like a the, the third wheel this whole time. It was all about John Rambo's romance with DSP. Everybody was there for their romance kind of fell apart and howard was just kind of in the middle um, trying to steal dsp's boyfriend but you know it's hilarious how people will just make shit up years it later is to hilarious. Try to, you know it's like it's like i said it's the truth hilarious. of the whole fact the truth of the whole matter the truth of the right, fact is that the reason that in <laughs> the 2015 truth of the whole fact. that video that drama video was made about me with howard and rambo was because that was their way of basically saying we want nothing to do with Phil ever again. We're done with the whole YouTube thing being associated with Phil. Right now, Phil. there's a negative stigma with Phil. Keep in mind, 2015, that was the biggest negative year I ever had. Oh, that no, you I haven't seen swatted, shit, boy. DDoS attacked everything. DDoS okay. attack. Um, when he says it, DDoS, it makes it seem fa fancier and more damaging. It's not like DDoS. DDoS is not dangerous. DDoS is insane. And they saw the way things were going, and they basically were like, you know, he moved across the country. We're not gonna, we don't want to be involved with him anymore. So this is our way of doing it, rather than actually just saying to me, we don't want to be involved anymore, right? Because it was always a lingering issue. A lingering issue. Why does he not do anything with Rambo or Howard anymore, right? Why does he not do co-op with with Rambo? Why? What happened to Smart Guys? He had always promised it was coming Canceled. back. That Never was their back. way of Smart publicly guys. saying. We, we could have still done smart guys. Imagine if they do it now. That would be insane. And that would bring up that would bring him like a million likes and like 50,000 views if Rambo comes back even for one stream so they can do like a smart guys or something. It's going to be the the best shit ever. It's going to be the most positive thing that's ever happened to DSP. That would never happen. Come on. Not even like a reunion stream. Never. Nothing to do with Phil anymore. Because basically they left it in a way that there was no way that it would ever continue. Oh, the lines are open if Phil wants to talk to the us. Lines, yeah, right. but guess what? The lines were open for two fucking years since I moved and you guys never responded. So the lines have always been open. You're the ones who didn't respond, not me. So it wasn't me that was at fault. And you're acting like, oh, I never called you or nothing. I was the one initiating contact with them for two fucking years and they were the ones ignoring me. So no, everything that they said in that, that that regard was a complete and blatant fucking lie. And to me, when I see that video, that is them in a way that's not direct. Because once again, they never did anything direct negative to me because God forbid that they man up. But that's what? the way of them. Direct negative? What does that mean, direct negative? Saying we want nothing to do with... They should man up and do a direct negative. They should shoot up his house. Fill it all moving forward. Let's they make up a bunch of shit or twist a bunch negative. of shit to make him sound bad because everyone hates him now let's anyway on the internet. So let's make him look like the villain so everyone will believe it and we'll just be washing our hands of the whole situation and we never have to deal with him ever again. And you know what? Look what's happened. Literally, no one bugs them anymore. Nothing. It's all, they're completely washed. The cans are clean, right? And the so that's exactly clean. what the video did. Of course, at the expense of me you looking no bad, having to take more hits and looking bad publicly and all that shit. You know, it just gets to the point where it's like, come on. But you know what? It is what it is. That's the way they wanted it. That's it the way they it got is, it, dude. right? And it sucks because that was a friendship, Why especially with Rambo, that I felt. Especially was a, with Rambo. It was friendship that I never wanted to lose. And he actively well, chose to do you that. You didn't really try. You didn't try and keep it. You didn't try and do anything. I didn't want to lose it, you guys. It's not like losing your fucking keys. You didn't try and do anything. Not me. It was all not on me. him. He ignored me. He's the one who had the, the romance and never, never voiced them. There's some attention. And, you know, to go with the, about the way that he did it, to go about it that way, was him saying, fuck it, I never want to have anything to do with you again. Fuck it, I hate your choice. Phil. That's Their what choice. he said. Yeah, Rambo said, fuck you, Phil. I hate you. I wish I never met you and fell in love with you. I hate it. Okay. That's what Rambo said. Hey, we've been live for six hours. That's pretty crazy. Dude is still playing the first game. We're all starving. We're all waiting for the feast. I've been only eating tangerines and a banana all day. All day slay.
All right, I see negative trolls. So let's get rid of them. Negative trolls. Goodbye. Let's Goodbye. Get rid of them. A nice lean and chill. Here's nice someone who didn't even manual. purchase their subscription and got gifted it as being a troll. Goodbye. You're gone for good. <laughs> someone with a gifted sub is a troll. How dare they? <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Also ate gummy worms, which is not no, very I agree. nutritious. See, turns right. out. He says they made it's a move cutting fun. you out of, the, of anything to do with them because it was bad for them. I actually agree. That's actually what I think happened. I think what they saw was that since I moved from Connecticut to Washington, now keep in mind, this was years ago. Things is much different now. But they saw back then, right? They saw the negativity and shit that was happening to me. And they were like, oh, fuck. We don't want to get, we don't want to get swatted. We don't want to get fucking DDoS. We don't want to get doxxed constantly. We don't want to be part of all this negative shit that's happening to Phil. And let's face it, we're not doing anything with him anymore anyway. We want to be safe. Wait, so we're gonna wait, wash our hands. No, come on. Why would anybody swat John Rambo? He's like the nicest guy ever. Why would you want to fuck with John Rambo to fuck with DSP? That makes no sense. Why would you want to fucking dox Howard? Howard is like the least like offensive guy. Why would you want to target those people and not fucking DSP who's an asshole? Why? ...of him and make this video, you know, and say to the end of it. And I think that's what it was. They thought, I'm so much like other businesses who don't want to associate with me, that they would be cleaner and safer if they just basically said, let's end it like this by doing this video rather than talking to me about it. Right. And then me publicly saying to everyone, well, I had a conversation with Rambo and Howard and they decided that they don't want to be friends anymore because that's just going to cause more drama. Instead, do it that way. And boom, then it just cuts the cord. Right. Oh, and no. now, of course, I look like the villain again. Who I'm cares? the villain. I already look like the villain. So they did what they did. You know, they did what they did. It sucks. Oh, and there's uh, as <laughs> there's 10 more minutes. I think he almost completed the game. Let's uh, shoot back to his reality. And I think he's almost done. 435 positivity coins. And life is great. 300 likes. He hasn't had this much hype since the Elden Ring stream. This is insane hype. This is like when Elden Ring came out. Or Cyberpunk came out. Or Elden Ring. Uh, let's go back to him being the villain or something along those lines. Because uh, that damn beggar sure is. It sucks, but it's life. It I gotta deal with it and move on, right? Yeah, oh. so he's done with it. <laughs> Basically, but after Bob this, gonna be a break. <clears throat> and after this, gonna be more game. And Rambo after that, it's gonna be a break and, and maybe food. Look bad, especially a former good friend. I don't think either side's being completely honest. Uh, I, I'll be, I could say this. What I can say is this. I never said that stuff that was said, that they said was was wrong, was incorrect. What I said was they never told me. There's a oh, difference wow. between literally lying. I... <laughs> you never told me I was an asshole. This is some of the things that you kind of have to, they don't need to tell a grown ass man about common sense and common decency and shit like that. And offering to pay people that are doing a bunch of stuff. Literally 100% lying. Okay, versus, oh, this was an issue that always existed, but I never publicly talked about it with Phil. That's the difference. Yes, maybe there were always underlying issues, but you can't have that hold against someone if you don't tell them, right? If something someone does is annoying to you and you never tell them, how would they ever know? If someone is mistreating you constantly, but it's not like they're running and punching you in the face, which you would know is wrong, but if there's some kind of mistreatment that you feel is wrong, you have to tell them so they can remedy the situation. You can't hold it inside for fucking years and years and then magically ex ex understand that someone's gonna somehow magically know something's wrong. And that's what happened in this situation, was that people held in these negative feelings, right? They, they weren't happy with Project 7 because they wanted to get paid, but they never asked me for the money, and I was told up front they didn't want money. So how am I supposed to magically know four episodes in now that they want money? You know what I mean? And that's how, every, how it always was. I never, literally until I moved, I never had a negative experience with any of those guys. Yet and then I move, and then all this shit comes out magically. It's like, huh? It's like, it's almost like they were waiting. They didn't want to talk about it in person because they were afraid of the negative consequences because I was the YouTuber with the popularity that like I would turn it against them or something. Oh, they were greedy and they stopped Project 7 because they wanted money. No, it would have been the complete opposite. I was always up front. I mean, I mean, 
honestly, Rambo, I would be very surprised if he wasn't honest with you guys about, you know, how nice of a relationship we had friendly wise, but also business wise that I would pay him more in some cases than what he was owed for the, some of the work that he put in on my videos and stuff. I was always nice to them. Whenever we went on travel, I would pay for it up front. Like, that's what I mean. Like I was always as giving and, and generous as I possibly could fuck it fucking be whenever I was asked to be. So for them to come out years later and say that I was greedy and not generous is like, huh? Like what? You know, sorry that I didn't keep a voucher of all the shit that I ever <laughs> that was a massive I paid you guys to show uh -huh. the public to defend myself and shit. It's just so ridiculous, really. So fucking ridiculous, man. Let's flash forward to live. Sure. What's happening here? He is saving. And I think he is kind of done. Right. I think. That's it. All That's right, it. So ladies We're and done with the game. That is it for my playthrough of Ghost Warrior. Transition. Tokyo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely something different. A good injection of variety into my content at a time when a lot of games that I've been playing recently were incredibly similar. This one definitely stood out as something unique and different. All right. No, he finished the definitely game. He didn't rage the quit. Most, it's not a uh, quitable game. Riveting. Once you get about halfway through the game and you realize, oh, I've unlocked all the combat abilities. I'm, you know, now it's just kind of going through the motions of going through the city and killing enemies until we get to the end of the story at the same time i did like it um i definitely think it had a lot of room for improvement but i enjoyed it and i hope that you guys enjoyed the playthrough whether you watched it live on uh stream here or whether you watched it on demand or youtube or a combination of both and thank you to those who did stick with it and supported it i know a lot of people were disappointed and wanted me to play other stuff but for those who stuck around and helped me out thank you so much for that that is it for ghostwire tokyo Interested to see what Tango Gameware comes up with next. I don't think it'll be a sequel to this, to be quite frank. Okay, now he's gonna so stop well, the YouTube I recording. Something. I, I just and then he's gonna talk for a little uh, bit more. And then we have a break. Guys, thank you so much. All right, folks. So, the good news is we beat it, right? We did it. We beat it. <laughs> it's done. Stick a fork in it. Now, here's the deal. We have about an hour, all right? Roughly, give or take an hour until my food arrives. In fact, what I'd like to do here is check on that. Yeah, they're currently, uh, they're gonna start preparing the order soon. And so, with only oh, an, an hour. hour, all right, I don't think it makes sense for me to start up something that I know people want more of. So for example, why should I start up Elden Ring right now, only play it for an hour and then have to take a break to eat? I think what we should do is maybe do a little bit of Skyrim and just play it till the food arrives take the break, eat the food, do live feasting with the king, then do a nice big chunk of Elden Ring, and then a little bit of Kirby to end the day. I think that makes a lot more sense. I don't want to to only do, like, less than an hour of Elden Ring today, right? Bro, all the games you're playing are Sound good? just, like, worn By the out. Way, You've been playing them I'm just all the time. Here, and it looks These like are his I current a games. $50 tip hey, nice. from One Minute Man. One Minute Man. Happy birthday, Phil. Wag. Thank you so much to One Double Minute the Man. usual. Came in during the game Very play, nice. Really yeah. Checking. That gives us up to Big four, one, eight, one minute pay so pig. Lots more coming on the on the huh? birthday marathon today, guys. All right. So, thank you to one minute man. Christopher Black sent me an email. Said happy uh, happy birthday, bro. Live it up. Thank you. So many awesome birthday messages today. I really appreciate it, everybody. All right. I have a million emails to delete later. <sighs> Holy fuck. It's gonna take me two hours to go through all my emails later. Anyway. Wait, um, emails. All right. so I think that makes sense, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead. And Probably because of the console. tips. I'm not going anywhere, by the way. Um, oh, he's I'll not going to, anywhere. That's awesome. To, to use the restroom, but outside of that, uh, the the you know the marathon continues here. That's awesome. Turn this off for a second. Have it, have it just charge the headset for a, a little bit. The only he's going to be really begging tomorrow, the by the way. Charge today. <laughs> tomorrow is going to be I begging for taxes all day long with the headset. A thousand percent. See? Let's turn on the PS5. Like, you guys, I, I did my taxes, and it seems like, man, like, I have a lot more taxes than I thought I would this year, so I, I would really appreciate your help right now. Up over to the Xbox. Oh, man, I That's what's going to be tomorrow. Oh. Oh. What is happening to him? Oh, my God, I'm just stretched so bad. Oh, oh stretching, okay. Yeah. The oh grandpa God, segment. Be that stiff.
Burnell. Did he stroke out? No. Hello? Damn. By the way, the PS5 is extremely hot right now. I'm glad I'm turning it off for a break. It needs a break. It's super hot overheated, man. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this fucking... And this avatar. All right, so guys, here's the deal. What's the deal? Come back, Italian oh, my, man. My email just sent me a dollar fifty. Said happy birthday, Phil. Thank you, email. It's good to see you here today. Welcome, yes, welcome email. to the stream. You're just making it. So here's here's the plan. Let's take a quick five minute break. Five minutes, okay, everybody. During oh, you're an asshole. Break, I'm gonna use the Fuck restroom. Five minutes. I sub to. Fuck out of here. Um, and after this break, we're gonna continue on. And we're going to play roughly an hour of Skyrim while we wait for the food to arrive. As soon as the food arrives, we'll end Skyrim. This is just kind yeah, of a filler uh, part of the stream. The filler we'll part of the stream. With the king. When Feasting with the King is over, then we're going to do Elden Ring for about an hour, hour and a half. All right, yeah, shut the fuck up. Curb. Let's talk about Rambo and Howard, even though I'm kind of tired Anyway, of this. I think I'm done talking about this subject. Let's, uh, I it's think already, now is time two and a half years. for the oh, Project oh, 7 oh, Thon. Let's uh, watch all the Project game. Sevens. This Who is said, that kind of a spin. Uh, DSP. To change out that horrid turtleneck. And the if, of the course, everything is no uh, not glitchy as fuck. So. DSP Gaming. And Mozalas did a bunch of cheers. Said, Stop bringing up the negative past. All right, fine. Project uh, Seven. Let's Steve start from Powell. Episode One. Even though it had a it had a pilot, and then it's a very it's a very fucking bizarre thing. Cause there's like announcements, trailers. There's one of them of, of him looking like he's like 12 years old. This is in 2010. The big reveal. No, no, it's. And then it's, in the big reveal, it says last time. Like, what the fuck, DSP? We're catching up on something. What is this? Channel update, viral 2010 announcement video. Well, let's start from episode one because it says pilot. So for now you'll be forced to play Okay. Seven. I guess I should go into this knowing nothing. What Except there say? is the last time. Of course, in a pilot episode, you have what happened in last episode. In the pilot episode, we're like what eight seconds in, this already broken as fuck. And yeah, he did look like this. This this was DSP back then. This. It was basically Chris Chan energy. But there was some life in him and some soul. Hold what it. What did you just say? That's right, fool. You've fallen for my trap. This very game that scarred your soul will now end your internet celebrity. For good. What the? What the hell? <laughs> I can't. I get the door open. Fucking door won't open. Alright, fucking What's with the Dragon Age? Is this a sword? Why is it just sitting there? What's with this? Door. So bizarre. What the hell? I can't get this door open either. I think you'll find that all of the exits are sealed. And even if you did break through, they're all rigged to explode. <laughs> no! no! I love the Saw theme song. Whose name is John Cena. Actually, uh, here's my camera so we can see I'm eating chips. So we can have Man, this. I can't uh, believe I'm still playing the shitty game after all pseudo this. Pseudo-social experience. I'm eating chips and I'm drinking beer like a human being. DSP is not doing any of that. <laughs> Just eating fucking barbecue. Why you son of a wait a minute. You look different from the last time I saw you. Did you get a facelift? <laughs> Technology has really improved over the past two years. Finally, a reason to buy a damn connect. But what about you? Time hasn't been so kind, has it? Hey, this kind of looks cool. <laughs> this, uh, the effect well, What thing. do you expect, man? I've been here trapped in my condo for the past two years playing this game. And the I mean, audio is kind of good. I've been shave or shower, and I've been surviving on a diet of just goldfish. I lost 20 freaking pounds. That's right. And you'll never escape my clutches. <laughs> yeah, the iconic turn. <laughs> the iconic turn. Nice fucking waddle.
Phil hasn't uploaded anything to his YouTube channel in a long ass time. I gotta figure out what's going on. <laughs> I love John. I love John. Maybe that's why I sort of like these. Uh, when when John is there, I like I like his scenes. I love John a lot. He's great. Yes, yes. Who is this? Hey, what's up? It's Howard. Whom? Howard, you pompous ass. Hey, sex bot, yesterday. get out of here. Have you heard from Fucking Phil recently? Sex bot. I can't uh, ban him. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, spoke to him. Somebody really? When? Him. February seventeenth, two thousand ten. You do realize that's two years ago. Let's give him a call and see what's going on. <laughs> uh, hi, you are uh, enriched DSP, who uh, in no way has been trapped in his condo playing a shitty game for the past two years. Oh, shit. Uh, please leave a message after the beat. Beep. <laughs> what the hell was that? Something's going on. Meet me over at Phil's place in 15 minutes. John, don't you live in New York? How the hell did you get here so fast? Don't worry about it, Howard. I have my ways. What do you think's going on in there? I just hope he hasn't finally pulled a David Carradine. Let me know when to find out. Let's go. He's pulled the David Carradine. Wow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what a great yeah, joke. Pull the door open. <laughs> Implies that DSP jerked off way before he jerked off. So this was actually Rambo predicted DSP jerking off. Oh, All right, watch out. I'm gonna kick this door. With a David Carradine joke. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, that gym membership is really working out for you, huh? You shut up. Let's beat the fuck out of this door. All right. <clears throat> Whoa. What is this, some aperture science shit? It appears to be some sort of space anomaly. Possibly a wormhole. I mean, Project 7 has been coming true because now... Oh, he's back from break. What is he gonna say? Come on, Gout, man. Say something. Ban somebody. Okay, on continue. Oh, he's updating the fucking name. Can't spell. You're drunk from last night. Uh, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Yeah, uh, Project 7's been coming true because DSP is now locked in his home and he has to play shitty video games all the time. So Project 7 is true. John, what are you doing? <laughs> Asshole! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Four. Uh. So we are going up. Not a ton, but we are going up, and any progress is good pro- Where am I? Oh, I'm at Phil's house. Phil! <laughs> the way he's fucking sitting there, look at this. It's like a massive sausage. <laughs> a massive. <laughs> this is how he is nowadays, minus the enthusiasm. And all the statues in the background, it was like a million statues. Phil, Phil are you okay, Phil? What's wrong, All of Phil? the statues that ever came out, he got them. Wake up! Wake up, Phil! Wake up! <laughs> Wait a minute. I know what will work. A tip? Come on! Get up, here! On your heart, get set, go! Watch out for the bad bug! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Not again, you asshole. Wait, why was there a transition there? This is still the same scene. I knew that would work. <laughs> why were you stuck? Trans what? Stuck on a couch, though. Huh, you know, it's kind of funny. We transitioned at the reaction from the previous scene. Wow, very nice. Really shitty game for a long time. There's no time, though. Let's get the hell out of here. No time. It took you two damn years to get here, and now we're out of time. John, pull the rope. What'd you get me into here? Shitty writing, shitty actors, shitty catering. Rambo, what are you doing up there? Pull us out. What do I pay you for? Oh crap, I gotta go. <laughs> this is also amazing. And I gotta say, Howard was hamming it up the least. It was the least interesting to watch. But it doesn't have much of an on-screen present, like me. You guys gonna tell me what happened in there? I really don't know, man. I just remember playing this really shitty game for a long-ass time. A shitty game, huh? Was it Halo ODST? Silent Hill Homecoming? 
Modern Warfare 2. Super Turbo HD Remix. No, 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 no. It was... Final <laughs> Fantasy 7 is actually what I I think Project 7 is about. I got exactly what I Oh yeah, Howard didn't give a shit about this. Howard didn't care at all. Bullshit. Who the hell is this guy? You know him? Did he touch you? <sighs> Your career as a full-time gamer is at an end. Take that, bitches. What? That's bullshit. Howard, give me that controller. Phil, show me you can still play. That's right. Oh, he's gonna ass. play Dark Souls. They booted up Dark Souls. And... <laughs> Alright, now we're getting somewhere. I'm liking this. Okay. Are you gonna die? Yep. Wow. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Thanks, Kojima. It, it, it's true. No! Project he also did the no last turn. episode. Technically, it never started. Shut up! Has DSP really lost his game powers? Yeah, I don't know. Like, it, take technically, this is the pilot, but... Okay. Okay, episode two, what the bleep? And this one is very long, because the pilot was extremely successful. Last time on Project right, 7. SP. I've trapped you here, and you'll be like a real TV show. shitty game forever. <laughs> I remember playing this really shitty game for a long time. There's no time, though. Let's get the hell out of here. You think you've escaped? I got exactly what I wanted. DSP's gaming abilities. It's true! No! Oh no, they took they took the most valuable thing in the universe. DSP's gaming abilities. Can't believe it! This piece of shit really did steal my gaming abilities. Wait a minute, Phil. We all know that you weren't good at Dark Souls anyways. <laughs> Dickhead. Yeah, I don't believe this. Howard, do you have any other games? Hmm. I might have a few. Let's start off with the basics. We all played this when we were kids. Yeah, I think I beat this one when I was like five. Let's do it. All right, this one's a classic. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves Super Mario. All right, here I go. I'm going, I'm going. All right, that was just bad luck. It's okay. Let's just keep going here. All right. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time, guys. Got it. In 20 years yeah. I played this. Wow, he's on mission oh, yeah. one. Yeah. Here we go. Jumping, man. A little faster. On go mission jump. one. Go the whole time. Oh, jump. Jump. And this is going to be the gimmick that he's going to be on mission one the whole time. I'm, I'm telling you. Project 7 is is actually real. It's DSP's real life. This is the reboot is actually escalated into being his actual life. Why? Why? You don't have to go All right. Fast, I right? got this. Right. This is the last life. I All got right. this. Watch this. I'm just going to run right through just everything. Watch this. Okay. Jump. Come on, man. Phil. Look at that. Nothing's going to get in my way. Fast, Phil. Nothing's going to get in my way, Whoa. man. Fast, man. Slow, keep going, man. Slow it down, dude. Come on, man. Faster. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down, Phil. Come on. Don't do it. You did it. You did it. You're going. 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 you Hold right, dude. Come on, man. What the good? hell? It's a super fast headshot. Dude, Come on. It's got to... blast processing, man. Come on. Dude. It's got a blister on his foot or something. Come on, man. You can't even get through this yeah, fucking hold loop. Right. Hold right. Let's go, I'm man. Holding... What are you dude. doing? I'm holding right. What do you want me to do, man? Yeah, now we're cooking. It's like watching his stream, except there's two dudes next to him. <laughs> I guess. 16-bit Super FX chip. Super Nintendo. First 3D graphic. Got this. I got this. I got this. I know, you I got half. Here we go. Whenever I ask you, right. this what is he talking about? Sucks. I am interested in doing another indie marathon, but I guess we'll see. Oh, what indie happens. marathon. Okay, nothing. Darkness says Star was was please. You mean Star Wars? Yes. Maybe. Okay, get out of here. The barrel roll going. It's the key to Star Fox. Everyone knows it. Here we go. Oh, the, Dude, not no, a barrel roll. Not not a, there it is. Oh, barrel roll. Oh, not shit. to the crowd. He lost the wing. Ooh, Come on, man. Endangering the life of everyone around this flight. I don't know what you talking about. You're doing good. Oh God! <laughs> what are you fucking th wins, man? What are you doing? Keep him above you, man. Keep him above. Keep this thing's made of like paper mache. Look at it. It's fucking falling apart. Oh, Slippy's pissed right now. Slippy's a dick. No, he's not. Well, well, everyone on that flight died. You know what they call that? Epic fail. More barrel rolls needed. <sighs> All right, I may have something. All right, WWF. Hey, we got a WWF oh, game. Got this. That would be amazing. Who should I pick? I mean, Hogan or maybe Brett the Hitman Hart? No, 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 no. Woo! 
Ooh. Pick Hogan. Uh, basically, yeah, yeah, he did take the nights off so he can make a bunch of money today. Because of course, today is gonna be the day he's gonna make the most money. Today is all about DSP. It's DSP day. The job, brother. <laughs> all right. Of course. There's no Can't way lose. I can lose if Can't I pick lose. Hogan, right? I mean, yes. he's only the got the American, Hogan. The real deal. Man, this is all true. Now he's pulling Hogan's again. All of this is true in some way, in some shape. It's very like uh Boom, get poetic. There we go. Drop the leg on him. Uh, right right against the ropes. The ropes. Oh, He's right. Him. What punch him, brother. I'll punch your brother. Yeah, kick your All brother. Right, so far, so good. Wait a minute. What the hell? All right. Here we on. go, brother. Come on, brother. No, brother. Dude, what's wrong with that suit? Man, what is I don't wrong know what's with going you, on? Man. Don't show, worry. Show him the pythons, Phil. Don't worry, I'm Hogan. No one, no one. Hogan never does the job like John said. <laughs> no, do the job, brother. Here we go. Hogan. I'll run the ropes, brother. This is how you run the ropes. Oh! God. Saying brother after everything doesn't make you have a Hulk Hogan impression, brother. Punch me. You know what I mean, brother? Punch me, my. It's just kind of a thing that that it works like that, brother. Balls! <laughs> Come on, man. That's illegal. The ref's got to do something. Hook it up! Oh my God! Wait, Did you ran right off the ropes. Dude, you ran right into the turnbuckle, man. Right, I gotta get. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Uh, this guy's been kicking my ass. Over the chair. Come on! Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, God. Oh, oh shit! That's ridiculous. Hogan's Hustle loyalty, respect, on, brother. Oh, just lost more hair than a loser. <laughs> Come on, brother. Come on, brother. You can do yeah, it. this, oh, this sequence is kind of Come trash, on. though. Yeah, it's just like hit them yelling Damn. over games. Intentional bad gameplay of games. It's just a bad scene. This shouldn't have been five minutes long. And it keeps getting... Like, is this whole episode this? Just him being bad at games. Intentionally. And then being like, dude, there's nothing I could do. What? I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! The demon took away my- Whoa, oh, what? Phil? <laughs> <laughs> they can't hold him. They can't hold him. He's <laughs> such a man beast. Look at this look in his eyes. This is when he look when he sees uh Hollywood Hulk Hogan in uh champions on discount. Okay, hold on, hold on, we'll try another game. We'll try another game. Couldn't hold hold Battlefield 3. Battlefield fucking I'm gonna try this. Try this, try this. Saints Row. Man, I'm pushing, pushing buttons. Okay, this is a terrible thing. The montage is not bad though. And now we got this scene, which probably this one shot take quite a lot of time to set up. Like this, all this shit on top of it. Cause then they have to take him off and put him somewhere in the corner cause they need to shoot the next scene. And it's really obnoxious. So all of this probably took a long time to set up, especially with DSP involved. Probably was very obnoxious to make. Is it just kind of what it would be? Enough! Enough! I can't take this anymore! I can't take this shit no more, man. I know that there's one last game that I will never lose my skills in. What? Street Fighter 2. Of course, we're gonna have the stroke segment where look at how good I am at Street Fighter 2. Where I was fourth once. Actually, I was first, if you don't count those other people. Why? Racism. Boy. Brother. All right, Super Turbo. There's no way I can forget how to play this game. Let's do it. There's no yeah, way. Now he's gonna be bad at the game. This is gonna be a great Spoilers. Match. Now Howard is gonna annihilate him. And the joke is that Howard can only beat DSP when DSP's powers are taken away. Outside of that, Howard's a scrub. Oh my god, Howard destroyed him. Uh, can't believe it. I demand a rematch. Watch this. By the way, I'm, I'm eating another uh, banana. Man, Phil, I never beat you like that. Maybe there is something wrong with you. Come on, come on. Listen, guys, I found this dude outside. He's never played this game. And he's drinking pine salt. I think Phil they had to tell Howard to say that line. Howard, now say, now say like this. Say it, Phil. I never beat you like this before, man. Something must happen. And you know what this means? This means that I'm like really much better than you. And you can only beat me when my skills are d destroyed or stolen, erroneously. Okay. All right, buddy. Right over here. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Sit down. We go right. We'll leave this right here for you. All right, good luck. Have fun. 
We found some random guy. Who's this random guy? I completely forgot the plot to this, because they're just like, there's no plot. On oh, some some random guy off the street is beating the SP. That's that's the joke. It's a random guy off the street. And he destroyed the SP. Can't believe it! Oh and then yep. he died. He's dead. Why do you bring a homeless guy to my house? Listen. Just take his body, <laughs> drag it out to the street, okay? Hey, they're just my friend Phil. Okay, that's what we'll do. Dude, what about Phil, man? He's in really bad shape. I know, it's just worth the time he lost his YouTube channel. Then his man, I, I would love to clip this. Man, what about Phil, man? He's in really bad shape. To my house. Listen, dude, what about Phil, man? He's in really bad shape. I know, it's just worth the time he lost his... <laughs> hey, what's happening? Oh, it, it's laggy. His YouTube channel, then his Google account. This Blip TV channel. Listen, take care of the body. I'm gonna go talk to Phil. Alright. Listen, Phil. Oh yeah, he was trapped in, in, we'll in Howard's house. We've been through a lot before. Wait, yeah. We'll still do but what we're doing. What about the toys though? Did they go to Howard's house in the beginning of this episode? Because last episode was in DSP's house. With all the statues and shit. And now allegedly they're in Howard's house. Having fun playing games, we'll still do co-op and everything. Come on, DSP. Okay, you can go to Washington. Everything's gonna be okay. It, you don't man. have to no, pay taxes. It's over. There. I have to face the fact. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> go out with all those, with all those breasts, all this breast. Mommy milkers. Oh, what are you doing, man? John, I'm all washed up as a gamer. I'm gonna be a plumber. It's an honorable profession. I'm all washed no, no, no. up as a gamer. Up, Can't do that. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I'm gonna be a porn star. They get paid a lot more money. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? I'm sitting here, eating my banana, perfectly ethically, as you're supposed to. And then this happens. Why are they having a moment like this in a PG series? The you know what? I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah. Hurry up. Let's go. Mm. I got something to show you guys. Mm. Robo. I think Robot. I found a way for you to get your powers back. Take a look at this. Hello, Internet. So I went to the mall today and bought the new Bieber album. It's the new hotness. I also picked up a delicious it's the new hotness. Juice. I love that shit. The nectar of the gods. Bro, how much more cliched humor can you get? Hating on Justin Bieber and Twilight. Wow, this was uh, about as hip as you can get in like, what, 2000 whatever. In the year when this happened. Oh yeah. And I also still That was like a million years ago and he was a different person back then, so it doesn't count at all. all DSP it doesn't count twice. His gaming powers. Take that. And DSP meanwhile, by the way, every time I look at my TV, because I have him on the TV because he's that important. Every time I look at it, he's reading some weird book in Skyrim. He's just reading some fucking random books. To find a way to break it. This is, by the way, the filler gameplay, because the food is on the way. Eventually, it's going to be here, and the actual content is going to start. Like, seven and a half hours into this stream. And I don't know how much into his, his stream is like, what, four hours? And he took only one break, which is kind of impressive for DSP. I think it was just one break. Oh, yeah. Mom, shut up! I told you I'm down here filming. No, I don't want a sandwich, goddammit! So anyway, uh, yeah. DSP will never get his gaming powers back, because he'll never find out that I hid them in seven different gaming worlds. <laughs> Man, why is this guy so angry? <laughs> we'll take a look at his shitty channel. He only has like five subscribers, and all he's got on there are Let's Plays of Dark so Souls and Minecraft. Great. He's shitting on his a random person with five AD. subs. John Rambo presents the blowjob. Uh, the blowjob. Who do you think he's... wrote this joke, the blowjob? A random, like, why would the, the blowjob? What is this joke? <laughs> what is this? Balls. John Rambo presents the blowjob. <laughs> I wish uh, he would give me one. <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. Well, that actually sounds like a good one. I'm sure That's what the SP was like. It was at, at peak, peak grease, by the way. It was so greasy back then. But at least the lighting is okay. It makes him look human. Who's this? What's up, Howard? 
Oh look, it's Andre from youtube.com slash respect the pack. Come on in. What's up guys? This was probably one of the, the best written moments in the whole show because they broke the fourth wall and it was actually impressive and kind of interesting. Because a guy walks in and then Howard looks directly into the camera, which kind of catches you by surprise. It's a good thing. It's a, it's a funny thing. Let me get you up to speed on what's going on. Now you're up to speed. But this, this Howard transition undoes everything good that I said about him. This is just so cringe, this transition. Now what's going on? I've been to the game world hundreds of times. I'm a special effects artist. Check this out. What the hell? Holy shit, it's a freaking Goomba. It looks delicious. Let's barbecue it. Get wow, back. it's real. It looks so real, you guys. It Get looks your real. Own Goomba. Doesn't it? You guys want to go there or what? Looks like we have no choice. One chat if it looks real. Get over there then. <laughs> Two in chat if it looks fake. Oh, Three in chat if uh, panic. Right, that's what I want to hear. Hey. I think he's going to take his pants off. And again, why is it always a gay thing with DSP? All his jokes are about him being gay. And John Rambo the blowjob. And he already tried to make Rambo suck his dick earlier. Now he's taking off his pants again. And this is all in this same episode. It's like the reused jokes. Just kidding. Get back here. Get Damn back here. Stand still. Wow. It's like Jumanji except bad. <laughs> what is this, the shitty Matrix? Hmm, no, it actually kind of looks like a stage select screen. I think we could pick where we want to go. Let's go to Hooters. Um, uh, let's try this one. Doesn't want to go to Hooters. Because you can't make gay happened. jokes there. I don't know, I wanted titties and wings. Where is this dump? Bro, I want titties and wings too. <laughs> I want to watch porn and, and watch a wing stream right now. <laughs> We're gonna bust on camera. We're gonna watch wings play, um, what is it? Elden Ring again. No! Will they ever reclaim DSP's gaming powers? Will John Rambo eat a Bro, ending this on a no every time is uh, is kind of obnoxious. Uh, okay, episode three, get gashes. And this for this, I'm gonna go get some fucking <laughs> extra things that are legal here to participate in. So I'll, I'll be right fucking back. Cause this, I, I can't watch this, but I'm gonna play this so you guys can watch. Come on, it's not like a DSP screen. Now watch the the recap. It's very important. Oh yeah, DSP will never get the his gaseous powers back because he'll ne Remember, everything that I do on my stream is legal where I am, okay? And I'm not gonna show any of it. Never find out that I hid them in seven different gaming worlds. You guys wanna go there or what? Looks like we have no choice. Um, uh, let's try this one. No! Hold on, hold on. He's talking about something. What is he talking Comedy about? Or any of the aspects that would make it a Saints Row game except for the repetitive gameplay. Oh, we're talking about Saints Row DS because he was like paused and just sitting there. And I was like, okay, this guy is ranting about, I don't know, getting fucking DDoS attacked or some shit. But no, he's just sitting there meandering. Good game, huh, Jay? Dude, there's no other new abilities. Kind of irked me. I wish that there were Can't more. Can't you say like, this while playing Skyrim? Like Come on, it's Skyrim. And the fact that the enemies kind of bro get out of here for the most part so low effort no oh. Girl. i want to make a, a a help that goes on for an hour it's just like an hour of this <laughs> and it just never ends it's just one like help for, for like an hour i'm gonna make this i'm gonna dedicate all my skill that i got to make this an endless help <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, that new Saints Row looks like ass. That shit is like, I don't even know what they were thinking. Oh no, they've been kidnapped. Hey, I was gonna go somewhere. Okay, I'll be right back. What's going on? I'm blind and someone's touching me. Dude, that's me and we're blindfolded. Ooh, John, your hands are so soft. What kind of moisturizer do you use? Ah, shut up, I hear someone coming.
Not even in our world for ten minutes and you've already been captured. Pathetic. Today, any asshole thinks he can spend sixty dollars and be a hero. But now, not only do we have DSP's gaming powers, we have DSP himself. Maybe we'll sell him off to a children's birthday party. That's his fan base anyway. Laugh. Uh, uh, That's uh. enough. And he brought these two idiots with him. Well, this idiot's gonna kick your ass. Just Yo, I for real, I walked out and I left you watching Skyrim with Project 7 audio. This is a terrible stream. I'm sorry for this. Okay, we're back on your uh, thing that you were watching. But at least you heard this, right? You don't need to rewatch this. There's actually nothing to watch. It's just like one shot. Okay, this guy walks in the room. Okay, I, I guess we should re-watch this again. It's like 30 seconds. That was real fast anyways. Not even in our world for 10 minutes. Yeah, you've already been it. captured. This, this guy Pathetic. actually was the star of the show. He was the only actor that, that participated in this. And it was... Uh, he was he was pretty good. I like him. Today, any asshole thinks he can spend sixty dollars and be a hero. He has that perfect thing for like a YouTube sketch, where you know it's of course it's hammy and it's cheesy and it's it's this, but then he adds like a layer of production value where it's kind of believable. But so now... yeah, shout out to this guy. Did they give him any credit? No, John and Rambo in respect the pack. This guy didn't get anything. Oh, maybe he got in the end, maybe in the credits. Probably he did. Come on. They can't just not put him in. Not only do we have DSP's gaming powers, the we have DSP's DSP himself. Powers. Maybe we'll sell him off to a children's birthday party. We That's did it. We, we're, we have DSP's gaming powers. Now we have anything. Now we can activate the nuclear devices we also have that we stole from uh, DSP's house. And with his gaming powers, we can conquer the world. Base anyway. We have DSP's gaming powers. Laugh! Uh, uh, That's uh. enough. And he brought these two idiots with him. Well, this idiot's gonna kick your ass. You just called yourself an idiot. Touche, John. Touche. What? I'll take something from each of you. <laughs> it's like a nostalgia critic dialogue. We're just so forced and unnatural. Oh. Wait, is this OJ? The joke's on you. This I OJ? lost my virginity. I've heard about OJ. What? I don't know who OJ is. To your mother. You slept with Big Boss? He doesn't look like OJ. Uh, now I'll take something from Angry Joe's OJ looks like an OJ. That guy I can look at and I'm like, yeah, he looks like OJ. You, that I know you've never Even lost. Even though his name is Joe. Your uh, hat. Joe. Oh, you better not in Bison. I have Marcy, I'm back. Jesus, hat. First. Hey, Meerkat, I'm part of the silent majority big ups. <laughs> yeah, big ups silent majority. Uh, I don't look up like uh, the, the stream numbers and stuff, but every once in a while when I open a new tab, I see how many people there are here. So big ups everybody to participate in this long chill of course a lot of people are gonna be in and out today all day but we're doing a lot of stuff not as much as i wanted to do but my laptop is having a, a great time as always but in the future probably next marathon is gonna be amazing but yeah big ups everybody so far we hit 2000 subs today which is incredible at this channel only since like september so that's pretty crazy especially doing dsp shit so thanks everybody i told you lex luther Fuck him. Hey, th this didn't work. Let's see what uh, Pretty Boy Howard over there has. Pretty Boy Howard. I got two yellow thingies and a heart pop. Two yellow things. Yes, Come on, you couldn't... Wait, wait, you couldn't think of a joke? Two yellow thingies. Come on, you couldn't think of a joke what's gonna be in Howard's pocket? Because they didn't give him any character. Because Howard, we're supposed to know him for Coward. Well, I don't know who fucking Howard is. Give him some character in the show. Make him... Give him some quirk. I don't know. I don't know. So this joke now is gonna make sense if you give him something. You give him some character. Now somebody can pull out something of his pocket that makes sense and makes you go, Hey, Howard would have this and that's funny. And now I don't know what Howard Two would have. Two yellow thingies and a heart Two pop. yellow thingies and a heart pop. Well, how is this giving him any kind of anything? It's just like a, a quick gag. Yes, yeah. yes, Ocelot. Just get back here. Put it in my office. I gotta go. We're going to leave you here alone, despite all military training and technique. You, sir. Turn off the security cameras. What? 
Just don't question me. Do it. And uh, leave okay, the women's this cash. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is funny, okay? Because it's like, obvious. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. Now we get into the, the actual meat of this uh, of this episode, which is the that? gas. I don't know, but... Gaseous snake. Uh, I think he shit himself on the way out. <laughs> oh, oh, get out of here. He shit himself. <laughs> Finally, the plans of the Patriots are coming to fruition. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, lolly, lolly. Yes, this also Do you really have makes them? no sense. Uh, yes, yeah, hustle it. Wow, that fast? Damn, looks like it's gonna be a short three episode run. Oh well, more time for me to play Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, you play Dark Souls. Gashus, hold them there and make sure they don't escape. I'll be right there. Yes, Ocelot. Finally, the will of the Sons of the Patriot Shadow Alliance Liberty will finally- Whatever. Fine. Ugh. Of all the snake clones I could have gotten, I get this functional retard. Yo, hateful slurs. Oh, 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 this guy's fucking anal spray is so disgusting. Anal spray, oh, yo. And he wrote this. He also wrote this. The scent of this guy's anal spray is disgusting. This is a thing he wrote on paper and then was like, Dude, I'm gonna act this out in a scene, and everyone's gonna laugh. And maybe everybody laughed. I don't know. Maybe it's just me who's not laughing. Probably I should be laughing. Ha ha ha. Not act, it's act, act. It's actually starting to dissolve Ooh. the ropes. It's, it's gonna dissolve the ropes. This guy's fart. Ah! Wow. I gotta give him credit that... It, was this actual slow-mo or just like fake slow-mo? Oh shit. Guys, okay, excuse me. Get out of here. Bad guys, let's get out of here. What is that noise? Shit. <laughs> he was so slow to get to the gun, and now we have a fight scene. Whoa. Dude, you just killed a man in cold blood. And this was a so good what? shot. It was like well animated. The muzzle shot. flash was fun. You lost your game powers, though. Interactive, no, chill. Know. These modern shooters today, they all have auto aim. Even a child could do it. That's true, yeah. yeah. Hello? Howard, are you there? Hey, Andre, where? Howard! Howard! Oh yeah, this prop was expensive, but it, but it looks what? bad. Fuck! That's the we thing, got... he could he could have got like a, a gun that looks like a, a better thing for like $20, but he got this thing that looks expensive as fuck, and it looks bad, bad. as a prop. They should have used normal Reception guns. Out here. What did you get us into? Because like the guns they got, they look into a like gaming shit. world. I've been searching on my end, and it seems that the source of DSP's gaming power is Obviously, coming from they weren't, called they weren't going snake. for cinematic. I'm detecting heavy guard activity around you. Can you defend yourselves? Don't worry. I think we can work Okay, this out. looks cool. All right. And this was also expensive as fuck. To you, this is hell. To me, it's home. Killing's as easy as breathing. Gaseous. Gaseous. I'm cool for you! Coming for you, Hogan, and this is a great pose. And an even better montage. <laughs> DSP moving in this man, this guy is so stiff. This guy is so stiff. Must be from that car accident years ago. He's so stiff, look at this. And, and the scene is amazing. And I know it's supposed to be quote unquote funny, but come on, this guy walks in the room, continues to, to, to just walk straight, and then DSP is just sitting there behind him with a smirk. Then dude turns around, DSP is walking slowly, like he's, I don't know, the Undertaker or something, and then the stiffest kick. <laughs> so lame. Bro. And by the way, I would like to uh, direct your attention to DSP stream, in which he's still reading a book. The West, which makes no sense at all. My team has been slain. He's I reading fucking books. This is that stream. This is what's happening there. Wow. Wow, nice. <laughs> In the nice juicy DSP face. You didn't wash your hands! Oh no, he kills him on the toilet. 
But wait, he was just sitting on the toilet and the lid was put down. Come on, you don't care about detail like this. It's like bare minimum detail. You didn't wash your hands! Yeah, his pants are on, he's just like sitting, sitting on the lid. And Rambo is just spraying randomly. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh wow, this oh, guy Harry actually Bush. shot the SP. Fucking scrotum sack. Hey buddy. Gary Bush and Last scrotum stand, sack. Motherfucker. Wait, what? Last, Last stand. Oh wow, this is sucks, bro. Guys, wait up! <laughs> so where the hell's gas? This is the just don't Ooh, think about it segment. The disgusting fecal Ooh. fragrance. This wow, one. disgusting fecal fragrance. This guy is like he has an amazing way with uh, with words when it comes to like shit. He's just so gifted <laughs> when it comes to talking about fecal fragrances and other kinds of uh, stuff. The fecal fragrance. You're one handsome son of a bitch, you know that? Wait, what? Yeah. You talking to Phil? What the fuck? Hey, big up Slugu. I don't here. know why this doesn't pop up. Boys, let's go fuck gashes. Let's go fuck gashes. You dare to defy the patriots, the sons of liberty, the la la Bro, fucking the la is sleeping again. Hideo Kojima? Well, now Hideo Kojima's plan is fully realized. Prepare to meet the bowels of my rectum. This is... Metal that Rear! Was my rectum. Metal Rear! Wow, this was what the whole joke was about. This is what the whole joke was about. Metal Rear Solid. Uh, big ups to Ludwig World Order for $15 Super Chat. Big ups. I don't know why it doesn't want to pop up. Maybe it will at some point. It's uh, just bizarre like that. I like how nobody has any character motivations other than to either hurt or help Phil. Just a massive ego stroke. Also, poo poo pee pee. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing is like nobody else has any kind of character or anything to do or any purpose outside of, of being DSP's friend and trying to kill him or trying to save him and his gaming skills. It's all about him and all these side characters, they just have nothing to him. Oh, of course this guy, this guy has a lot to him because he's all about farts. Ice the fucker. In references to Metal Gear Solid because that's, that's how life works. <laughs> what the fuck? Shit. Dead Bro, this, this is wild. Oh my god, this is it. I should have left you to die. How do we stop him if we can't even hurt him? Screw that! How does he deal with the smell? Wait, he's yeah. he's paused again. What is happening with him? We're 24 dirty, so we got about another half an hour. Oh, we got another half an hour. This is, by the way, the worst Skyrim gameplay he's ever had. The worst. Secrets the mask. Oh no, no! Stop it, gaseous snake. Oh, I have an idea. What? Andre, you're gonna fart now? There's a can under the kitchen sink. Can you send it to us? Okay, Andre, get to it, dude. Come on. All right, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, they're gonna spray him with the thing that destroys smell. And that's oh, how he's gonna die. Whoa, and, and DSP gets to punch guys, him out because he's down. DSP. All right, you piece of shit. Guys, hold Tell me where my game is. You're gonna shoot his are. dick? I'll never betray the Patriots. I legit don't I remember anything that happens in this. Like, actually anything. Betray him, but never betray this. <laughs> ah! Where are they? Tell me, piece of crap. You asked where are they? they? Ah! All right, you asshole. I'm gonna give you one last chance to tell me where my gaming powers are. What's it gonna be? <laughs> tell me where my gaming powers are. Guys, that's it. Grab his legs. Grab his legs, dude. I'm gonna I shoot him with the balls. You gotta shoot him with the asshole. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What the fuck, DSP? Ah, shit, he died. The I'm fuck, DSP? I'm gonna figure out where my powers are. Mm. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, I actually oh. forgot this happened. This is so badly written. Took something from me also. This makes the nostalgic critic look like fucking... Steven Spielberg. Wait, Steven Spielberg is the director, bro. Come on. 
This is a fucking writer. Let's say Tarantino. Come on. He's mainstream. Philip Tarantino. And instead of a foot fetish, he has a scat fetish. <laughs> Reservoir Pigs. That's what he directed and wrote. Okay, let's go to the next level. Are we, are we gonna get a, a no at the end of this episode as well? Oh, this hasn't ended yet. All right, I got you guys back to the state select screen just in time. Thank God we got out of here. Well, we're back here again. <laughs> hey, Andre. Yeah? What you think I forgot about that Goomba? Ooh, money! No, wait! Where are we now? I don't know. What the hell's that? Yo, they're outside. This is the best. And there's oh. when the when the CGI starts. Yeah, it ends on a no. All of it ends on a no. It's just so boring. Let's try something new. Come on. They don't have a lot of like original interesting jokes. All kind of just jokes you see before. What the hell's that? Dude, what the fuck is that? Let's see the turn. Yeah. And then Howard just like looking the wrong way. I never understood this. Because Howard was just sitting both of them. Oh no, actually just DSP's looking at the camera. But Howard is looking at a illogical place, I guess. I don't know, it's it's just weird. No! Dude, what's wrong? Dude, what the fuck is that? Relax, bro. It's a freaking turtle. Doesn't look like any turtle I've ever seen. I know what that is. That's a Koopa fucking Troopa. A Koopa Troopa. Wow. Watch this. A big of uh, the blanket dive for the super chat. This whole show was basically just one big ego stroke for DSP. Look at him being a badass, beating everybody up with his noodle arms. <laughs> this is the last time he, he lived his actual like power fantasy. Outside of that, it was just trash. I don't know why the pop-up's not popping up. I wish the PTS would read this. I remember it happening like this. Ah, what do you expect? He just jumped out a fucking turtle. I could do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I guess might be Streamlabs today. That was fun. What's up with you guys? Yeah, where the hell are we it's now? It's me! Oh, you are a yeah. Hello! Oh, so sorry to startle you. I, I just want to welcome you to the Retro Kingdom. I never heard of this place before. Uh, is it near the Jersey Shore? Not as such, no. But uh, we do have a fire-breathing dragon we call a Snooky. Now, our kingdom, it is famous for its Shy Guy Massage Parlors and its Goomba Brothels. So, oh how God, can I help you guys? Oh, no thanks, buddy. I don't think we need your kind of help. Oh, come on, you can trust me. I've saved this kingdom many times from hostile reptile takeovers. I'm a the national hero. All right, Bro, guys, huddle up. This guy, this guy didn't get paid at all to be in this, huh? He didn't get paid at all. What the hell do we think? This is what you're trying to tell me, that this greasy fuck didn't pay this guy to embarrass himself the way he is. Well, he's an obese Italian stereotype wow. with a red hat. You might be able to trust him. It's an Hold obese on. Italian stereotype. Is this DSP? Let me see if Andre knows anything. Bill? Andre. Hello, Andre. Can you hear me? Oh, that won't ah. work here. We are limited to simple 1980s technology. <laughs> All right, I guess we're just going to have to trust this guy. Listen, some dickhead named Deathface stole all of my gaming powers. We're here to get them and get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here? Why so soon? I'm still wanting my Retroland happy ending. Ah, oh, come on, man. No, no. First to your power, then to your pleasure. Hey, you, it's not even sunset. Now go back home and get to me my coins before I send you out to walk the streets three times tonight. <laughs> anyway, come along this way, everyone, this way. All right, now we get the Mario level. This has uh, super CGI on it. It has a lot of CGI, actually. So yeah, they probably took him a long time to put in. Right, 
the DSP. Your gaming oh no, it didn't. Right inside it didn't barely can. have anything. Please. This trash can, okay. are you kidding me? Oh, no, stick your face into the can. Stick your face Deep. into the can. Deeper. Right. Deeper into the can, yes. Oh, oh shit. What? Jesus, what the fuck was that, man? You know how these weeds they sprout up everywhere. Come on, I've got a better idea. It's this way, this way. Bro, this episode is ass. The farther in they get, the worse they are. It's like the first two were kind of okay. Look at DSP. I think I see your gaming power. It's right across the street there. Really? All right. Well. Oh, no need to look. There's very little traffic in the Retro Kingdom. I don't know about that. The Retro Kingdom. Look right over there. He should be the king then, though. He's the king of retro. Oh, no, okay, okay, it's your turn. Let's go. Whoa, whoa wait a minute. Hey, Chef Boyardee. Crosswalk right there. Let's go use it. Okay, everybody. Now look, if you just follow this here trail of pellets, I'm sure your powers will be right there at the end. Uh, Alright, it better work this time, alright? Of all right? course! Better work, of course it's gonna work. Mmm, candies! Hey, now is the CGI. There's the CGI. Oh, holy shit, it's a ghost! Grandma? Is that you? The channel awesome stuff, the channel awesome stuff at least is like long as fuck. It's like a three hour long movie. Because it, this is like 10 minute episodes and they're still drawn out and boring as fuck. But channel awesome has its own problems by, by himself. Watch this. <laughs> oh really? A Rambo shirt is taped open so it doesn't cover up the logo. So he can promote his channel. Oh yeah. Come on. Did he, did he even put links to their channel in the description? Why not? No! It, oh my god, it's just DSP shit. DSP Gaming, they call me DSP on Facebook and Facebook fan page and Twitter. Just plugs for DSP. Nobody else was, was plugged here. Nobody who he wanted to give exposure to was giving any kind of exposure in these links where it's really easy and convenient for people to click on them and go and subscribe to their channels. How are you paying people an exposure when you don't even do this? Come on, you need to make it easy for people. That's what it's included. Get ready to suck. Suck them. Oh, suck them. Suck, 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 suck. Hey man, what exactly are you trying to pull here, buddy? That's a DSP I'm clip. Sorry, Suck I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I admit it. Up until now, I've been a huge jerk. Even worse than that beast is throwing a Donkey Kong. But please, just give me one more chance. One, one up, but that's all I ask. Well, all right, listen here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I fin no, he finished Ghostwire because he stopped playing it and said it's the end. So I think he did finish it, but I didn't see the ending itself. Screw we just it. saw the end of the that segment. This again? I'm gonna shove your plunger right up where the sun don't shine. Mamma mia! Guys, tie him up. Who was a tough guy though? Okay, buddy. Where are my guys, damn powers tie him at? up? Where are my damn powers at, dude? Huh? Adios, paisanos. <laughs> and they got scammed again. <laughs> Does. I had it with this fucking guy. We just look for your powers ourselves. Well, which way? In the 2D world, there's only one. Now, way after he plays Skyrim, he is D feasting with the King's special birthday edition. And it's gonna melt your brains because it's gonna be amazing. But for now, we're watching Project Fucking 7 because uh, life has been good. I'm in tough. I mean, I love my life. It's been tough. Your life. Hell! Man.
got the, the volume a little bit lower for this one because it's bad. Look, Phil. There's your powers. There's your powers, Phil. Not so fast, the DSP. Death Face has paid me many a coins to ensure that you die before ever getting your powers back. Now you are finished. Oh, I'll get this fireball thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about this. But oh, did they get sunburned on this? Probably. Oh, man. Now what do we do? Oh, we're just sitting in a field. Yo, Holy it's a Luigi. Shit. Mario, Who is this? I am a sick and a tired. How about you? Wait, is this I Rambo? I know, love. You're a stupid dog. Adventures. And I never get Yeah, this Rambo, because he can barely... Restrain himself from laughing. Of course, it's Rambo. Find out that you come to my home and you fuck up my wife. No, I, I fuck you. Oh, and Rambo is a cuck. Mario, you fucking asshole! I fuck you. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. I fuck you. Not bad. Some good work right there. I'm enjoying myself watching this. Very well done. Yes. I like what I'm seeing right now. All right. I mean, this is really bizarre, I but. Like what I'm seeing. You're a sick, twisted what is happening? He's a promising young man, right there. Oh. He's, going, he's going places in this world. All right, so I guess they beat the level, and they get to get Phil's gaming skills, which is something everybody's been looking for for decades. Thank you, brave heroes. After that obese plumber killed the benevolent Turtle King of Retroland, he became a harsh tyrant. Forcing us into lives of indentured servitude, prostitution, and debauchery. We have awaited independence from his oppression for many years, and it was your involvement that made this all possible. You will forever be lost. Do you guys get it why this is really funny? Because Super Mario, a guy who is known to be good, is actually bad in this world. And also, yeah, the fucking. The, the, why are they T posing? Please be sure to ask. Um, uh, okay, guys. What the fuck? Again, someone else is taking a credit. I'm gonna go kill myself. Fucking this shit. All right, Andre, beam us out. Beam us out, Andre. Uh, birthday bash so far has been yeah. terrible. Like legit terrible. Didn't watch any of the Ghostwire gameplay. It's trash. In the Skyrim again. If you look, if you direct your attention to Phil's stream, you would see that it's terrible, and he's reading I mean, books again. Way. At least another 40 years of content. Thank you for everything all the way down from your sexy pajama time. And he's reading uh, appreciative uh, stuff. People love him today, guys. It's amazing. It's like, it's like this his day. He's reading course. fucking books all stream. Yeah, Waiting for his food to know, come. Kind of yeah, 536. A lot of money, dude. It's his birthday. Well, here we are again. Guys, are you okay? It's Phil's you. day today. Of course, he's gonna make the most money he's made all year. Because wow. today, out of all the days, today is factually, literally about him. Because he got his birthday today. This is why. Out of all the other days, because on Christmas he didn't make a lot, because it was everybody's celebration, everybody's thing. But today is his day. So freaking hungry. Ooh. That's a knife. I want some steak. Uh, I don't think that's a steak knife, dude. Oh, how the hell are we? And he had this really dumb cringe segment during the, the podcast. Well, it was like him giving advice as a 40 year old. Did you think I would make it here? Uh, with like what i'm doing right now no i didn't even think so wow you never know what's gonna happen in life man ah, you, cut that out. you know it's just the generic bullshit dsp rant really nothing of value that happened no no and the way they made it fucking day for a night is the worst Okay, DSP is done with Skyrim. Sometimes it takes forever. It came really quick today. Oh, so, and the food is there. Here's what we're going to do. What are we going to do? Please give Break. me like five minutes. I'm going to head of downstairs. Ah, I'm going to grab the food, get, get it all ready, get a drink and everything, get myself set up here. All right, and when I come back, it's going to be right. live. 
So you know what it's gonna be after this feasting with the king. So he he's got five minutes, I guess. Let's watch some more projects out. And yeah, next episode is gonna be next episode. Will the masked maniac eviscerate our heroes? The masked. And wait, what is what is the next one? Retro Tango is there? There's no more. There is no more Project Seven. No more Project Seven. This is the last one, unless there is, but it's not in this fucking. It's not in this playlist, which is ridiculous. What are you talking about? Let's just actually make the webcam widescreen. Okay, get out of here. Come on, you have food to take. Shush. Go away. Chew. Go away. What else? All this right. is this Project so, Seven. We finished in like I what return. half an hour. In just a couple minutes. It was lame as Feasting fuck. with the King Hawaiian Barbecue Edition. It should oh, be and this terrible jacket. Get the fuck out of here. Right after the break. Of course, Where'd the hat go? Break, I will again post up on Twitter, post up on the page. Here's what else do we have? What's going down? No more Project 7. Holy crap. All right, guys. Thank you. Quick commercial break. Commercial so break. When I return is Feasting with the King. All righty. Gay reveal Rambo Howard. Fire Emblem. Oh, this is super long. <laughs> Suffering. Oh, no, we're listening to music. Get out of here. Fucking stupid ass music. Uh, what do we have here in this recommendation playlist for the worst DSP moment? Uh, the Arnold thing. Yeah, we watched this way in the beginning. Waking Liana up. We watched this. Untitled Goose Game watched this. Worthless Humans. This was the first thing I ever watched today. It was amazing. Persona 3, we watched this. Uh, it's been tough. Let's see that it's been tough. Because now it's it's exactly time for this. ESP Gaming Prize. Because this is what happened. And I, I love the name of this video. DSP cries on stream for 30 seconds, then eats two Whoppers. It's one of my favorite name videos. Uh, but I want to... I think, yeah, I think I can I can take this, uh, this, this one. And there's some white guy playing a woodwind instrument, and he's going. <laughs> this is great. Man, he's really into it. <laughs> Here's Phil. Hey. All right. So what I'd like to do right now is read you this nice message that I got. Okay, that's gonna be sad as fuck, everybody. Just okay. prepare your this tissues. Is message that this is gonna be so sad. It blew me away when I got it. It blew him away, by the way. A positive message. It actually made me tear up a bit. Um, every once in a while, someone sends me a nice message like this, and uh, it blows me away. And I saved it purposely because I felt this is like a really nice time to show. Not you know, like I said, the hundred best streak. There was viral popularity behind it. Now. Admittedly, I don't think viral the popularity is popular what does that even mean? Meaning there are people out there who like what I do so much they legitimately want to see this continue and now I feel like this is the right time to read this, okay? So I'm not gonna tell you guys the name of the person I'm not or anything like that. I'm just gonna read you their message, okay? They said the first playthrough that I ever watched of yours was your co-op playthrough of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time reshelled way back when in 2009 Back then I was just 11 years old and now I'm actually 22 I've been a fan ever since. While I don't have as much time to watch your videos on YouTube or catch your streams on Twitch anymore, I do my best to still support and pop in whenever I can. The reason that I'm sending you this email is very simple. I hope this is an okay way of reaching you. Of course it was. It's to say thank you. The last decade you've provided me with so many laughs and those laughs have gotten me through some of the toughest times of my young life. I was an avid user of your original King of Hate forums way back in 2010. Uh, and actually I met my now lifelong best friend in the forum chat who I still talk to on a nearly daily basis to this very day oh my God. Um, it's been tough. without you that connection would never have been made I would never have met her so absolutely I must thank you for that as well and I know she would be thankful as well you've also been a huge motivational inspiration over the past decade with all of the unwarranted garbage and harassment that you've been subjected to on a daily basis, you've never given up. A full decade later, through all the turmoil, you're still here doing what you love and that's incredibly commendable. You taught me that no matter what, you can't ever give up. 
You can't give in, and you certainly can't let anyone or any group of trolls force you to quit something. Thank you for this lesson. I'm also happy for you that you've been able to find love with Kat, and I'm glad that you two are able to wed and you're doing well, and I wish you both the absolute best moving forward. I apologize not having much more to offer you than a few kind words, and I feel compelled to reach out to you and to say thank you. Whether you realize it or not, you've made huge waves in the world, and many of them are positive ones. The internet focuses, or excuse me, the internet loves to focus on negativity, but you've actually done great things. You've pioneered trends that now dominate YouTube, and that's something you should forever wear as a badge of honor, whether the majority of people choose to recognize that or not. We've all made mistakes, and none of us are perfect. But if no one else has ever told you this, despite all, you're a good man, Phil. I appreciate you in every second of your life you've shared with us via YouTube, Twitch, etc. over the past decade. Rest assured, there are people in the world who know of your name and recognize that you're not a villain, and that so many people attempt to make you out to be. I'll always be a fan, I'll always respect you, you not and what villain. you've done, and what you'll, 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 you'll always be a legend in the world of entertainment to me. He's that Keep asshole, as not a villain. What is a villain? Sure at the end of the day that you're happy, <laughs> love and appreciate you, man. Take care. Freaking villain. Oh, this made me cure up. And the reason that I read that to you guys is because I want... I just want you guys to understand want that, you guys that to understand. the world to me when I get a message like that. <laughs> like, it's been tough. It's tough. You know, my life has been tough. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't take this shit no more, man. Shut up! Just can't take this shit no more, man. Oh, yo, what? No, no, this is not even a funny meme. Obnoxious. All the shit that happened to me. And all the stress. Hey, we're back. All right, let's feast, you guys. Enough crying and bitching and complaining. Let's feast like real uh, professionals. Nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Well, he's nervous. Uh, We're eating we Hawaiian barbecue. Of this show. Wait, the camera's on. What the fuck? I Hello? guess we're gonna see how this goes. Okay. I gotta turn it off. All right, now a couple now. things. Uh, First of all, not appropriate, yes. Yes. Thank you to everyone who contributed so far today. If you do you, contributions during this feasting with the king, I swear to you, I will give you shout outs. But I'm gonna be eating, so please be aware. I will be eating. I will not be able to actively update the leaderboard if I'm eating food, okay? Please understand that. Uh, let me go ahead and let me send out the tweet and send out the post so that people know that we're now doing... Oh, we're going to send a fucking tweet. Yeah, I'm going to drink. Turning the camera so you guys can see it. I'm a real adult. Oh, he's sending that tweet because the views dropped. Because now it's like 357. That's nothing for him. He's going to do a special segment. He needs Copy. to beg. Copy. He needs to okay. get all the people to come. Okay. Come on, this shit is expensive. Even though he already got over 500 bucks. We need to beg some more. We need to beg endlessly. Yeah, he's he's not narrating this one. Hello everyone, we are having fun at the birthday bash, and now I will eat Hawaiian BBQ. Please okay. swing by and support if you can. Support Post has there. been great. Today, it's my here. birthday in 2010. There we go. When I was fired from my job, Keep in mind, after this, I had nothing to do. Thank you to the Brick Boy one, uh, for a super chat. He says, happy birthday, Phil. Thank you, Brick Boy. Yeah, so we're going to do this. You should stop. After this, we're going to swap saying, over just say to the Elden Ring. For the birthday. You guys are going to vote thanks. on a new hat and a type of, uh, I'm going to say baseball jersey. Football jersey for, baseball me for the jersey. second half of the marathon. All right? Ready? Here we go. Let's get started. Here goes Brick Boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Feasting with the King. Special birthday edition. Oh, I need to set up my feasting camp. Birthday. April 6th, 2022. And I'm about to try out a cuisine that I've never had these dishes before. I have had food from this kind of cuisine before, but never these specific, you know, meals. It yeah. is Hawaiian barbecue. Okay, we're, Hawaiian we're getting is interesting big to me because here. Hawaiian barbecue combines things that I've seen in other cultures to do their own unique spin and twist. All right. Um, we're going to see today firsthand about some of this food. I ordered three things. Spam musubi, 
in a combination platter that had their special like like barbecue style chicken, which like they called Terry chicken, and also their pork. And I forget exactly what the pork is called. And by the way, where's my phone? Apparently I left it downstairs. I guess we're just gonna have to eat and go back to the phone later because it's not here. Um, yeah, <laughs> oh, no, fuck it's over your there. Phone. Hold on. Come on. Because I wanted to actually that. look up exactly the name of, the, of what I what I ordered. Let's see. I want to see exactly what the name of it is. Um. No, I wanted to look at the order, not the fucking store. Come on. Okay, it's called. Okay, we got Beast Cam up it's and not running. Show me, seriously. Hold on. It's gonna be a pain in my ass. Okay. Zooming in hard, directly the into that scalp. Pork is pork. K A L U A. It's supposed to be a slow smoke. We're gonna be enhancing pork. massively. Sm slow smoke. It's gonna be pork. the enhanced right. stream. Okay. Otherwise, and I have nothing else to do. I just have to sit here. Called. It's gonna be massive. Terry Chicken. Boneless chicken thigh marinated overnight in a signature barbecue sauce. That's what okay. it's supposed to be. Okay. I say supposed to be because we're gonna see exactly what I got. I don't know if it's. Did you get the wrong I don't know thing. Know actually what I was supposed to get. Are you for but real? I, did, I ordered a combo. That's Yo, to why does everything always happen with, with this chicken. guy? That is okay. wrong. And every I ordered every time something a wrong portion happens. Portion of spam musubi. Now I don't even know what spam musubi is. I just know that it's some kind of a thing made with rice and spam. Yes, actual ham spammed in the can. Okay. Not okay. So, ladies and gentlemen. What is it? We're gonna try this out. I got my napkins at the ready. Let me show you the food first. Of got all. my napkins at I the ready. I know you guys want to see it. By the way, side of macaroni salad. This is what they gave me. This is okay. a side of macaroni salad. This was, I think, like three or four dollars. Oh, Damn, legit? Look how small it is. Man, this dude got scammed. That's not even like a portion. Look at this. This is tiny as fuck. I'm gonna be honest. I'm disappointed with the amount. If it tastes good, great. Yeah, you got that scammed, so greasy man. Small. You got For scammed. A side of macaroni salad, in my opinion. That okay. side of fucking anyway. macaroni salad. It takes like two dollars to make. Spam musubi. Not even two dollars. Uh, with two dollars, you can make a lot more than this. Okay. That apparently. Is spam musubi. Well, okay, that was $5. This. $5. That looks to me wow. like a piece of ham. Bro, stop bitching about it. You got like $500. Like a seaweed wrap around it. <laughs> you got wrapped a bunch of money today. Plastic. Stop bitching about it. Okay. Yeah, this looks like shit. What the fuck? Karen says, yes, it's a piece of spam on top of sticky rice with a seaweed wrap. Yeah. Okay. This is like bad. Okay. He's going to hate this. I mean, He's going to hate this. Good. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna think this is terrible. It smells very He's the most actually. pretentious asshole in so the world. He's this. gonna despise yeah, this. For this. Spam and seaweed five and dollars. rice. For spam musubi. <laughs> gonna have a baby tantrum. Uh, I didn't very I don't even strong know how this is fucking moly. That is really acceptable. Strong. strong seaweed scent. Okay. That's cause somebody sparked up some seaweed. So here it is out of the plastic wrap all right <laughs> this is such a scam it's very thick very it like thick and dense but it's all rice like it's a piece of ham on top of rice uh bro this guy like, so no, i don't think there's Come any on. marination or anything this, to it. this is terrible why would you buy this honestly and he right? didn't look it up he didn't look it up like beforehand to see uh, what it what to expect Ah. Redemption Games says he loves well, when, seaweed. When you want to be surprised, sometimes you're you're unfortunately okay. surprised, badly surprised, negatively I guess surprised. We're gonna just dive right the fuck in, right? Yeah, dive My in. My first bite, there's no way I'm getting any seaweed out of it. I'm just gonna get ham and rice, right? Bro, get some like uh, okay. utensils or something. Oh, he's gonna eat it like this. Okay. A way to, like stab it. This is the shittiest. Stab it. Can I stab it? And lift it up? No, the fork no. won't even stay in. This I is a plastic is fork, fork. dark side fill. A uh, plastic fucking fork. Like this. Are you an right. alien? Go All get right. a real fork. Spam musubi. Going in. Disgusting. He's gonna hate this. He's gonna taste dry with only spam and plain rice. That 
That is weird. Oh, it's weird. That is weird. It is not necessarily bad. But just weird. But man, that is weird. So it's what very do you mean? salty, Come of on. course. Spam is salty ham. Right? That's why it's called the spam. Seaweed. The S is for I think it actually salty. tastes pretty good. And the pan I is actually for like the taste of the seaweed the itself. The rice, you know, rice is delicious, but you know, rice, rice is delicious. Not seasoned rice is nothing special. There's no yeah, sauce. it's just plain rice and spam. It's weird. weird. Let me take another bite. It looks like he's repulsed by this. <laughs> Fuck this! I'm lighting up. I want to get a bite with seaweed because I want. I knew I was gonna get no seaweed in that bite there. Come on, go for it. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> this is the saddest 40th so the birthday I've ever been to. Um, the saddest one. You know, Matter of fact, it might be the saddest birthday smell, period. Why? Dude just plays video games and time. devours. That serves a miso soup. And in the miso soup are pieces of actual seaweed. So I'm used to the flavor of the seaweed, and it's good. Like, I actually like the seaweed a lot. In this, I do. I actually think that the seaweed is good. However, as a dish, I'm going to be honest, this is pretty underwhelming. Um, literally, the, the you know, the rice is almost flavorless. Like, rice is, plain rice is almost flavorless. The spam, all you can taste is saltiness because it's All spam. you can taste it's is the salt. High quality. Ham. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you, you know, ordered this. It's the super salty preservative filled <laughs> spam in a can with a piece of seaweed on it. So, yeah, this is what you ordered. This is what it says in the menu. Really? You want to know what, what did you this, expect? This makes me want miso soup with good seaweed, fresh seaweed in it. That's actually what this makes me want because the seaweed tastes good. But outside of that, I don't really think there's anything to it. Hold the sea. And all the way. The. Do we have to cure I'll the snacks? Honest, it's, it's, it just is. It's not bad. I don't hate it. But it I just don't is. like it either. It's just kind of, eh. I wish that there was another dish that focused in more on seaweed than this. Why didn't you, know you order saying? seaweed? Or maybe this is like in a different pre pre preparation. But I bro, this, this is like the, the third most do, important element of this. So The rice and the spam is more important. And he I wants it to have more seaweed. That. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just what? think it's kind of, meh. I probably wouldn't order it again. It's $5 for that. Yeah. I probably wouldn't order that again. Mega scam. Okay. Now, before we get... You should ask for your money back. This shit is bad. Meats. Oh, we're going to go to the two meats. I'm going to try a little meats. bit of the macaroni salad and see if the macaroni salad is any good. Okay. Oh, it smells tangy. Oh, it's it smells salad. tangy. How? What did this tangy smell? That's what it looks like. Macaroni salad. That's what it looks salad, like. Right? Going in. No, don't eat it off camera. Come on, I can't get you there with my camera. Oh, you fucking asshole. Here's my camera. Mm. Get in the shot right now. Come on, DSP. You're going off script. Mm. You're supposed to jerk off now. It's a really script. creamy macaroni creamy. salad. It smells Very tangy. Heavy on the cream flavor. Not much tanginess. I thought there would be more like vinegar taste to it. Almost tanginess, no. bro. Not it's much tanginess, but it smelled creamy, tangy. Creamy. What is tangy in your world, DSP? Salad. Probably incredibly high in fat and calories. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I would probably say the reason okay. they give you so little in a side, look how small it is, is because it's so heavy in mayo, it's probably incredibly bad for you. So if you eat a lot of it, you probably, you know, you're killing yourself, right? Yeah, this is not a so lot. So that might be why they the didn't give you a so lot. Small. Come on, you're not like gonna crazy. die from this. <laughs> okay. Had much worse. And by the way, thank you, everyone. I see people are coming in wishing me happy birthday. Like I said, I'm gonna be responding after I eat. I gotta focus. Just on the respond show right now. now Just say thank you, everybody, um, for I wishing me happy Blue birthday. And you're like, oh, Phil's not reacting. I'm, I'm eating. What? Okay, this, this is the, what we're doing right now. Bro, okay. just say thanks. Just so say now, thanks, everybody, for your good wishes and shit. The combo platter that's supposed to have the Terry chicken as well as the Kahlua pork. 
All right. All right, let's get to it. Now, as I open this up, all right, I see two things. You're gonna and spill it all over the place. Please show it to the camera and spill it. That would be incredible. All over the place. That would be great. Come on, DSP. what it looks like before I comment and taste it, all right? So take a look at what I got, okay? Two okay. balls of rice. Okay. Chicken on the left, pork on the right. All right, now immediately, it smells good, but I have a comment to make. You got any sauce? In the description of the food, it said that the, this chicken was supposed to be thigh meat marinated in barbecue sauce overnight okay is Do you it not see something missing do you see a single hint that there is barbecue sauce on that meat at all but they I cooked see it dry chicken well right? they cooked it it was marinated and overnight and i'm just reading it what? right off the menu that's what it said when i ordered it it said it was supposed to have their their sauce on it and i it's don't marinate it it doesn't have it on it any kind of sauce on that chicken now yes, maybe dude. i'm wrong you are wrong, okay, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was I'll marinated it. in it. It just sure doesn't look like it at all. Overnight. It like what do you think chicken. happened? I'll be honest. If you look at the chicken, <laughs> that looks like. The, the does same he think they marinated it, it when it was cooked? At any Japanese place you order from, it's the same kind of chicken breast that's somehow marinated. You know what I mean? It doesn't, and, and there's no sauce. Did really you confuses that me sometimes. Put it in teriyaki sauce. That would be teriyaki chicken at a rest at a Japanese restaurant. That does not look like any kind of special chicken to me in any way, shape, that's or form. That's special chicken. And that's supposed to be. I want this to be special. Hawaiian barbecue chicken, teri chicken, it's called. Bro, you haven't even right? had to I eat it yet. I don't think that's correct. I don't think, I think that's correct. Just being honest. I Yo, you didn't eat the food yet. It, but that looks to me like that's going to be incredibly bland. Okay. Yo, you didn't even eat now, it yet. He's giving you a review already. Like they screwed it up. Pulled pork to me. Absolutely. Everybody screws like him up all the time. No, but if you read the description, what I ordered, it actually said it was supposed to have a smoke flavor to it. It was a smoked pork, and it does smell like smoky. Oh flavor. yeah, fuck yeah. Okay. All right. Is the food still hot? It's warm. It's not hot. It's warm. But you can use delivery. It's never. You're talking warm. about it so long. <laughs> Just fucking eat the food already. Okay. Now, I'm gonna try certain things first. All right. Let's go with the, the, with the first, same the shitty plastic like pork. Just get a real correct. pork, DSP. And it looks like it, you know, it has that smoke flavor. It's not so a I'm valid playthrough if you don't don't get a real pork. pork. Kalua okay. pork. Let's go. Going in. Okay. Going in raw. Wow. Reacting like it's changing his life right now. What is it? Spicy, tangy, robust? He's like in a manic state right now. It's it's just panic. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what is that happening to him? What? It's amazing! This blew his mind. Wow! I thought that was going to be dry. That wasn't dry in the least. That is moist. That is moist? absolutely full of flavor. There's smokiness. There's savoriness. Saltiness. There, of course, they leave a little bit of fat in it. So you can taste a little <laughs> bit of that. It was so prejudiced, though. insanely good. That is deceptively looks bad and tastes amazing. Another bite immediately. I'm not waiting. Mmm. Mmm, so robust. Mmm. Moist, robust, flavorful, mm -hmm. spicy, everything. All the words. Wow. I am incredibly pleased with that pork. That pork is amazing. That might be the best pork I've ever had when it comes to like a pulled pork. I've had many different kinds of pork. Wow. This is what this stream is going to be Typically remembered from. American the best barbecue. pork ever. They would slather that shit in, in sauce. There was no way they would ever give you pork like that. In, Amer in, in you know, typical comfort food, American style food. That thing would be doused in some kind of a barbecue sauce. But that is crazy good. I am incredibly pleased and surprised with the flavor of that. I am. I'm gonna eat a lot more of it, but first let me cleanse my palate by having a little bit of white cleanse rice. Cleanse the palate with some chicken. rice. Mm. Palate cleanser, because he's a elite food reviewer. Mm. 
Okay. Now, let's try the chicken, which does not, I'll be honest, that does not look good to me. That looks plain and flavorless. <laughs> the chicken blew his mind. That tastes nothing like I expected. That tastes nothing like I expected at all. <laughs> That's good. It's not okay. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. One other piece. I've never seen have such reactions. Uh, I've never seen a person have such reactions for this. Not even Nick. Big man Nick. Big Nick. Mmm. <laughs> this is so good. I'm I'm watching a man that's like wow. his DNA is changing live. He is now part Hawaiian from this food. It was so good. No, seriously. His like, entire life changed. Nah, I was fooled and I was bamboozled. bamboozled. This does not just look at this. Visually, when you look at that, doesn't it look bland? Doesn't it? <laughs> that couldn't be further from the yes, truth, man. Bill. It's good. So first of all, it's not dry. I've had teriyaki chicken that looks like this. You bite into it, it's dry, even though it's slathered in sauce. This is moist. This is okay, moist. I'm about to mm. burst. Have oh, this pops up. I don't this know. Stream. Oh, now. I, I can have one on you right now. It doesn't have to be after the stream. Here I am. It's big absolutely big moist. Big lunar guardian for super through and chat. through. Every chew, every bite, every chew is moist. So the flavor, oh. mm, it's completely moist. unique. It's a moist beer. It doesn't yep. taste like barbecue at all. In any way. They definitely marinated it in some way. I'm looking at my lips, I'm tasting more of it. I have no idea what they did to that. Maybe a little <laughs> bit of What did they do to that? Not, sweet, a little bit of smoky, smokiness. But... It's not. Bro, this. What is this guy talking about? Boring flavor. But it's through the entire piece of chicken. <laughs> yeah, it was marinated. Marinated chicken. You know, the chicken got the flavor from the marinade. Mmm. The mad feel. No, it's not teriyaki at all. It's not teriyaki. No, at sure. All. But it's not. It's like Hawaiian. I don't have teriyaki, right? I don't know what it is, but it's effing good. It's definitely not the best chicken I've ever had, but that looks dry and bland. Well, the pork and was bad, the best. And it's incredibly full of flavor. It's delicious. Wow, dude! I went from thinking this was gonna be another bust for feasting. It was gonna be another bust. One eighty. <laughs> it was gonna be a bust. Oh my lord, I'm about to buzz. Mmm, and it tastes different. They do. Mmm, the pork is smoky and salty and savory. The chicken is more sweet and has some different kind of flavor that I just can't put my finger on. <laughs> In the lip smacks, man. This it's guy good. is all over the place. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> so. So unique. Both the Kahlua pork and the Terry chicken is effing good. Seriously, I like this a lot. This is good. The macaroni salad, it's not bad. It's very creamy. For me, when I eat macaroni salad, I do prefer... Um, <laughs> this profile shot, though, the, the curves all over the place. Bro. Bro. Macaroni salad that has more of a tartness to it. What the fuck? Jeez. What the fuck am I even doing? It's still good. But... <laughs> what? I definitely wish it had more to it. It just seems so simplistic. 
Give me anything else in there. Some some Lord have mercy, some pepper to bust. Or the pieces lip of peppers. make me regret or having anything. hearing. Just not just cream, cream, cream. All I taste is creaminess. <laughs> the lip smacks, okay. man. They never All stop. Right. I'm gonna go back to the spam musubi. It is so bad. Uh, Big O's black mage for the super chat. Wow. What just happened? Oh no, DSP. I might just finish this now, get it done. Bro, this is like, this is like a drunk guy at an after party. And it's like somebody's filming him. A drunk guy eating like a burrito or something, or some Taco Bell or some shit that you would get after a party. It's just like a drunk guy. It tastes, it tastes exactly like that. It's nothing more. It doesn't necessarily go together. Not <laughs> this all robust all. eating. It, I don't see we. Just shit falling out. It's just like a monster in a movie devouring. Just pieces coming out. Oh, we're sniping chat. What is chat saying about this? Are they happy? There's oh, some leftovers. Of spam. Just eat it by itself. Oh, yeah. Spam so that salty. shit. So salty. It's not good for Seriously, you. Seriously, all you taste is it. Salt. I eat it. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on. Oh, that was so salty. Stop smacking. Come oh. on. This is so gross. Oh, 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 <laughs> damn. Man, so salty. Like I said, I was seriously expecting that to have other stuff with it. There is a version of it. You can have it with egg. So I guess they add either an egg on top or somewhere in the mix there, there's an egg. And I, maybe that, that would taste a little better, actually, because maybe that would actually have more variety to it. You know what I mean? Like, to me, this is the equivalent of taking a piece of toast, one strip of bacon, and a piece of lettuce. Bacon, bacon masubi, right? What? It's three basic ingredients. Lord they don't really go together. Bust. I and you just God slap them together and you eat it. And okay, I taste all three. Big Bro, deal. this is like... I, uh, it made me question why I'm even here in the first place. Look how much rice is this left. this is Hold like... On. Like, what Look the fuck is rice. this? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, everybody, take a screenshot of this and show it to somebody. Just randomly. And ask them, what do you think is happening in this? What do you think is happening? Look at this photo. Look at this photograph. What do you think is happening in this? Nobody can guess. Giant cake of rice left over. Like, you would think that with that much rice, there would have been a bigger piece of spam on top, but no, it's a very thin what? slice of spam put on top of it. And like I said, the, the seaweed doesn't even cover the whole thing. I didn't even get enough seaweed to eat with the thing. It ran out, right? Bro, you need to smoke so some seaweed. I don't know. Like that's a weird one to me. I I am kind of stumped. Stumped. I am. You go. Whoop. You're done. That was five bucks. That was Maybe five it's just bucks. more expensive here than it's supposed to be, right? Because that doesn't. Oh, that's seem not to a me positive like one. Crazy. You know what I mean? Like that's the. I mean that shit with the spam. The yeah, that was bad. But you asked McDonald's. for spam. Actually, I'd say the single cheeseburger at McDonald's has more to it. Was just spam right, and some rice good stuff and some seaweed, All right. like a, a very tiny bit. Good stuff. Let's go back to the good stuff. This stuff is so good, man. Back to this pork. Kalua pork. All right. That is heavenly. Heavenly. Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. I wonder which part of the pig this is. Right? Is it the which shoulder? Which part? Is it the rump? What is it? I don't they know. cook like this and it comes out so amazing. Mmm. Man. It stands to reason, okay? Because some people are saying in the chat, 
I would eat that, but with sauce, right? This, if you put sauce in this, you would actually make it worse. Seriously, it would be worse. You what? would diminish the smoky and savory flavor. The smoky and savory. They slow this guy's just like into this bro, meat. This, I, I hate this because it's just a dude just like grunting and eating and lip smacking, but he just puts all these words to make it seem like so much more than it is. No, DSP, you don't know shit about this. You don't know shit. Just eat your fucking food. I cooked this for a long time. And count they your fucking tips. Come on. on and he's talking about sauce and robustness of flavor, and you're going to take away from smokiness. Like, just fucking eat this and, and go back Blue to playing games. Typically pork and shoulder. complaining about getting gassy okay. or something. Like, you know he's going to get gassy from Gunches, this. I didn't he's going to start else. burping. I didn't get anything else. Nothing else. Do you else. see how much food is here? How much do you want me to eat? <laughs> I'm, dude, do you see the numbers behind me? They don't say 15. They say 40. Blech. How much do you think I can eat and not get sick and, and not hurt myself? Are you crazy? Yeah. Dude, relax, Guts. Holy shit, dude. What else did you want me to get? Yeah. Chicken. Terry Chicken. He has to announce it like he's like, I don't know. Like he's trying to what teach somebody how to eat food. I, I don't know. It tastes good, man. <laughs> he has to announce it every time. Here, pork. I am eating this. Nom, nom, nom. Mm. Max, max, max. Oh, Derek that left a stuff. long time ago. Derek I, left I like four chicken, hours I ago. I would say the pork edges out the chicken. Because Derek's not going to wash this trash. Because this That's chicken, the style to, of chicken definitely looks follow. like teriyaki chicken from another place. It doesn't taste like that. But it's definitely the same kind of cut. While the pork is completely unique with how it tastes. Seriously. Unique pork. Mmm. Mmm. He didn't announce this one. Mmm. I love it. I just here all day eating this. I'm not gonna finish it. There's no way I can. It's too much protein. It becomes uh, king of prominence for getting off work. It's just in time. We've been building up for this. He no, played two games for this. Poke bowl, which is pieces of ahi tuna, uh, crab, like a crab, you know, what do they call it? Cooked pulled crab or whatever. And it's some kind of like a, a seaweed and other thing mix over rice. He I put it right in the fridge. I just looked at it. It said, that looks like it's correct. I put it right in the fridge. I have no idea if she's gonna like it or not. She likes sushi. But sushi is a combination of things all together. Like when you get a piece of sushi. Bro, everybody two, knows you got, you're going to order some more food today. Come on, you got like 500 bucks. Or another ingredient. You're going to get like 600 by the end of the stream. Maybe like an avocado or some and kind probably of, all the tips he hasn't read yet. Like other thing. You got a sauce. You got Come on, you can order right some more food if he doesn't, if he doesn't okay like it. Bowl, isn't it? Hey, right? bring up Derek. <laughs> yes, I did I say Derek. I never Bowl, so I don't know. I thought you left, man. There was a fake Derek earlier in chat. It looked correct, but I don't know if it's a uh, There was a fake Rambo, a fake Howard. There was a fake Christian some time ago. I banned a fake Fred once because he was just getting obnoxious. Those gimmick accounts, they're funny if they're actually funny. Yes. We're having Most of the time, they're not funny. Just, it's just like, hello, I am Fred from the SOK. And I am coming back. Yes, we're having cake. Last, last thing on this marathon stream. We're finishing this. Oh, yeah, we're, we're having cake. Come on. Leave some room for cake. We're going to do some Kirby to finish the night, and then at the very tail and end of the night, bots. we'll have cake. I'm too lazy to open will, a new uh, tab, you know, like, for like, real. You know not to click on their stream. links, so, like, What's whatever. hilarious about this is the rice. The rice from the musubi is stuck on my thumb and won't come off. Because uh, I had to eat it with my fingers. There's no way to pick that up or, or, or bro, to you're, pick it up. Bro, you're an actual, like. with, like, a fork and knife. Okay. The rice is completely caked on my thumb. Oh my Why fucking god, my DSP. Ah. DSP, this finger all was all over the place. But Okay. I'm sorry yeah. you won't be here for the cake, yeah. Junko. Yeah. The cake is amazing. I'll be here for the cake, Junko. The cake is amazing. The cake amazing is seriously effing good. <laughs> Where do you see it? Likely the best cake I'll ever have. Up to this point. Does this make me want to go to Hawaii? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I heard that the real what? advantage of Hawaiian cooking is a slow roasting process that takes a long ass time, i.e. a luau. This for all my At a luau, girls. typically Thanks what they do is they take a pig or, you know, Homie. put it on a, know on a spit. people are so mean. Don't ban the sex spots. They do good Pitch. work. Winky yeah, I know. I, I, I leave them just for right Derek. There, right? and of course, That's exactly why I leave the sex you know, spots. marinating. 
And big up to Derek for the dog. And shit. That sounds amazing to me. But how do you replicate I'm that? looking out for my right? my baby girls. My cult man. How in the hell would you replicate that ever? I don't know. And we're talking about the, the Hawaiian cooking process. I hope you're enjoying this discussion. Guts, I just told you what we This is a discussion we're like having, by the way. That spam musubi. This is how he's going to say it at the daily of, wrap. Uh, we had a, a lot of amazing discussions. But she'll eat later because she's not home. Oh, no. JS says, can we sing happy birthday to you when you get the cake? Sure, I won't hear it. But you can just do whatever you want. What? Yeah, I'm going to play a birthday song. Come on. You can sing happy birthday to me in the nude. I wouldn't even know. That's the magic. In the game. nude? <laughs> yeah. Let's eat some more. Mm. Metro Boomin' eat some more. This is seriously incredibly good. There's no way I'm finishing it. I'll probably have another few bites to adjourn okay. the episode. Um adjourn the episode with some eating that, just in case she doesn't like the poke ball i think she will like the taste of this meat i think she will like the taste of this meat i'm gonna i'm gonna crop this uh clip this i think she'll like the taste of this meat it's gonna melt in her mouth man this this dark thank you tomorrow the the dark me a happy skin party. of the chicken or whatever he said it earlier huh mm. how is this like this what the fuck messed up my whole thing i seriously don't want to stop eating the meat and and also this is getting clipped obviously but this is a lot of protein. i still i can't stop eating the meat dsp and quite honestly the chicken's fine but this pork i can't eat a ton of pork right, because of my medical conditions so. that i have i can't because medical conditions That's right, the 27 medical conditions that i have what 27 You just tuned in. What am I eating? Terry chicken and Yo, what a the little fuck? pork from a, okay, a Hawaiian talk. barbecue place. No sauce. What? Insanely good. With no sauce. Bro, my whole shit fucked you know up what? for no reason. Not to say that this is healthy. It's definitely not. But the fact that there's no sauce on this... This is way healthier than standard American barbecue of any kind. I'm just coming to a, a, a realization here. This slow cooked meat with absolutely no slathered sauce on there is just base calories from the protein. You're not adding on a million extra calories of the sugar and everything oh, this sucks. from the sauce. I'm sorry for this. This, one's for this all is my baby way girls. better than Cat American standard stuffed. barbecue. It really she is. She may be a vegan now with all this meat wow. she ate at my house. Just, it just dawned on me. Face. How different. So what the, face. <laughs> what the fuck, Tyrone? Why is no, this captain? I'm healthy. sorry for this. This right here. This is terrible for you. Bullshit. This is really bad. Yeah, this is some bullshit. What the fuck? Absolutely not. This is really, really terrible. Awful. Artery clogging right here. It's good. <laughs> it's very good. But not very good for you. It's funny because probably a year or two ago, I saw one of those really stupid articles online. All right, we're websites back. trying to get clickbait, and it was like breakthrough dietitian report states the one thing that if you want to be healthy. You should not put into your cooking, but most this people This dude do. is ranting about fucking clickbait. I said, I'm going to... Yeah, those articles, this. they're not made by people, DSP. I know exactly DSP. what it is. I'm not stupid. I know, I know you exactly are stupid, what it's going to say when I click on this article, but I'm going to click on it anyway just for the sake of that they're going to act like it's something special. I click on it, it says mayonnaise. No shit, you fucking idiots. Of course mayonnaise. Full of fat. Full of calories. Full of everything bad. That you don't need to pump it to your arteries. Of course, mayonnaise. You have to make an article about it and act like it was news. Mayonnaise. So stupid. Why are you ranting about it? It's not even real people that wrote, <laughs> that, wrote that article. They just do it for SEO. Come on. BSP, if you knew oh. anyway, how dumb you actually were. I pretty good. I, I like other ones better, though. I do. 
I do feel that that's way better. Now I need to do his um, color correction right again. It would be way better if there was something else in it. Give it some pepper. Give it some pieces of peppers in it for a kick of flavor. Give it hell. You know what I mean? Like I like a little tanginess. A little tanginess. In my macaroni salad, there is no tanginess. Uh, what makes bland, tanginess though? Kind of creaminess. If you like mayonnaise, bland you're gonna love that macaroni salad. But I, I, I want it a little. I like a little more. Okay, I'll have a few more pieces and then we'll adjourn. No, I'm eating for half an hour. It's still moist, by the way. It hasn't reduced in moisture since I've been eating for a half an hour. It's still good. Wow, that's mm -hmm. insane, dude. All right. A little bit more of this, this uh, pork. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. How is the smokiness? JS, that is correct. He just said. What is correct? Seems like dietitians, scientists, everyone, doctors change their mind on eggs every five years. He's absolutely right. <laughs> what did Tyrone say earlier? Cat is already Since stuffed. I started following you may be a vegan on now. food. Because I'm getting older and I'm He's trying to get a little bit meat, you guys. What's good, what's bad. Uh, Eggs are the most infamously flip flopped uh, topic in food discussion. Oh, DSPY, we're going to talk about Some this. Some people have the impression that eggs are absolutely good for you no matter what. Doesn't matter if you leave the yolks in, you take the yolks out. It's all good. Like, what about cholesterol? They'll argue that's good cholesterol. That's the cholesterol your body can process properly. It doesn't hurt you. Other people are on the. Oh. If you're gonna have eggs, you should just have egg whites. Cut out all that yolk and cholesterol. And on top of that, the natural eggs, oh God, they're so bad for you. You should be eating the processed liquefied egg white, low everything, you know, everything removed. <laughs> Bro, now none of this shit pops up. Yes, what the fuck? of course. As we all know, all those creatures out there that obese. eat eggs you know, for millions of years, they're all grossly obese rolling around dead with cholesterol in their veins. No, this is like everything else, okay? Because registered dietitian for the dollar if tip. If you eat eggs, pro tip. And you sit ask on has less fucking ass, not a hundred calories with each like leg. If you're a Dude. fat person like me, okay, I'm not overly fat, but I am overweight, not gross overweight, thank God. Um, okay. And now that I have the big four row behind me, just let me let me guys know. I got some stuff in the works that I'm going to have to start doing exercise. I can't be 40 years old and not exercising regularly. It's, just, it's going to catch oh, up. Oh, exercise art. Already. It's so starting. Hopefully this year. Super exciting. If things keep going, a certain plan, I should be doing something about that. Okay? Some rice what are you going to do, Diaz? Anyway. Come on. Exercise stream? Is he ex going to exercise for tips? Hundred, a $200 to, dollar uh, goal. Is him doing, I don't know. Eggs. Right? Push ups, if you crunches. Just sit there and eat them. Power loading what. protein and cholesterol into your body. The fuck is he talking about? And you about? sit around doing nothing. It was Black Mage for the Super Chat. Lip yes, smack, lip smack, you. lip smack. Yes, you will gain weight. Yes, you will get sick. And yes, you'll eventually die. Pretty common sense. People just don't have that anymore. All right? Now, it's all about moderation, it's about balancing with your diet exercise and it's about comparison so for example if i have a choice between bro eggs why are you acting like you're 65 mayonnaise, the eggs are better for you and now this pops up i don't have any idea what's happening right but big ups for everybody that just is, memberships again, got renewed Gee, what's better the insane the container full of insanely fat ridden gelatinous cream or a couple of fresh eggs that i fry up and eat what's better for you Gee, i wonder which could possibly be better for you right you know <sighs> anyway, I'm going to have one or two more pieces of each, and that's going to call it a day for Feasting with the King. I love it. The chicken is good. Pork is good. Bam Musubi is, a, is weird. Way overpriced. Okay. Yes, mayo uses egg, but adds in tons of other ingredients that make it unhealthy. Correct. That is correct. Someone actually thinks just because mayo uses egg that it's exactly the same as egg. Right? Genius. Genius level. 
Mm. Well, they're not eating on a live stream for money, so... Lord okay. have mercy, I'm about to bust. Where does gin consumption no fit into the me. health plan? Uh, it, it rounds all the, the rough edges. It drinks just Ooh, a little bit, just to good. down the food. I love it the makes it easier. Of those meats. I love the flavor of both of those meats. All right, and then I think I'll just finish off my macaroni salad, and that's Come it. Come on, stop eating. That's Excuse enough. Me. You're gonna really eat cake it. later. Come I on. I thought it was good, except for this the was spam soup, which girl. was confusing. Hey, dudes, I don't really I need understand that. Just again, that, if that my is P90X goal. Dollar food in Hawaii. Fifty to hundred dollars. Oh, I'm doing something real quick. Just slap it <laughs> together. Pieces DSP. Of meat, a piece of spam from the cam, some rice, crush and it together. Oh, okay, I ate it. I'm done. That was a dollar on the dollar menu. That makes sense to me. That's the ultimate cheap food. Get a quick meal in you. You're out of here. That, that that for five dollars. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> okay. No, we haven't even had a cake yet. No cake yet. Karen says it is. That is dollar menu Hawaiian food. Hmm. Makes sense then. Then I understand it completely. And I, I actually support that as dollar menu food. Makes sense. <laughs> Delicious. Okay. Now you also might be wondering, why didn't I get Loco Moco? Let's address the elephant in the room. Before there's a hundred comments on the video, Phil should have tried Loco Moco. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a hundred comments. On what is Loco Moco? I'll explain. It's two hamburger patties, supposed to be like a, a house recipe that they make of their own. Don't know if any recipe does that or not. Any restaurant does it. It's supposed to be like handmade burger meat. Okay, two patties grilled, put down. Then there's supposed to be eggs on top of it. Two fried eggs. It's like sunny side up, I guess. Maybe sunny, or maybe over easy. I'm not sure. Those get put on top of the, the burger patties. By and the way, I'm going to eat a tangerine. Gravy. This one's for all my and baby girls. Over all of I see your comments, the ladies. Way, They're making me smile. Rice. I'm lurking. That's I'm local stalking local. when you leak. Okay, I've never had it before. Yes, mm. it was on the menu of this place. Mm. <clears throat> but number one, I'm listening. I'm reading it. I'm like, mm. does that sound like anything you've never had mm. before? Burger it meat, sucks. fried eggs, some gravy, and rice? That sounds as pl as plebeian and boring as a piece of spam on top of a bed of rice with a piece of seaweed tied around. You know what I'm saying? Like it does it again. It's reminding me like this is like dollar menu food. You know what I'm saying? The local mogo at this restaurant was nineteen dollars. I said I am not spending nineteen dollars. If it was like nineteen dollar Fortnite card, who wants I'm not it? Spending nineteen dollars on that. Well, we're gonna Karen play this now. The tastiest things we make, we make the best burgers in the country, hands down. Really, you think so? Man, is it worth twenty dollars? Would that be worth twenty dollars to you, Karen? Because since you seem to know a lot about uh, Hawaiian cuisine, okay. Hey, nineteen dollar Fortnite card. Who I was wants on the it? Getting it but then I was like, and yes, price, man. I'm giving that it away. <laughs> Remember, share, 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 and trolls don't get blocked. Okay. Oh, Cornisha also. $19 Cornisha Fortnite also card. Who wants it? Cornisha seems to know a lot. <laughs> well, Karen says I live here, so I would actually get it for $20. I'm not saying okay. I wouldn't have liked it. It just, I feel like I've had it before. I've card. had burgers. I've had fried eggs. I've had gravy. Yes, There's nothing I'm special there at all. Not even away. seasoning, right? I mean, sure, maybe the burger seasoning, the burger patties are seasoned well. But I'm just like, I had the feeling I knew exactly what it was going to be. You know what I mean? Same thing with the Musubi. I love having two layouts so I can pull up a random shit on, way. in the background. Maybe there's a seasoning or a marinade on the Spam. Maybe the rice is different. Maybe the seaweed. No, it's as basic as can possibly be. Just this is done. Bite. Okay, I, I taste three things. Great. You know, it's nothing special. This one's for all my. Oh, there you go. Karen says no. No way for twenty dollars. Eight to twelve. Karen didn't mind the fat content when but it was on here's her what face. Happened. Joking, or am I? Whenever you take a cuisine <laughs> from its native place, I didn't mind the fat okay? content. And you the fat content from that place. Of styro. And you move it somewhere it doesn't normally belong, and you plop it down. It now becomes a gourmet premium food, no matter what, because you say, "Oh, it's exotic. It's different." So all of a sudden, the price goes. 
Boo, right? That's what happened. So here we are. Oh, let's eat. Locomoco. Sounds good. It should be $10 to $12. It's 20 here. You know, it's the same thing. I'm, it might, He's it still well bitching be, about like, the Locomoco. And I watched a bunch of stupid of memes like, in the background. Drive things away. You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't, I don't okay, understand that mentality. Uh, two burgers. Eggs. No bun. Just two burger, eggs, gravy, rice. $20. I don't know about that. That's like... That's not even as it's not even as the same ingredients as if you bought two burgers at like a gourmet burger place and they don't charge that much, you know. <laughs> anyway, a few quick shout outs of people who did actually contribute and stuff during the episode. Let's do the quick shout out. Come on, so let's got, go. Kevin Burns in the super chat talking about Nick Avocado. No one cares. Oh, Jenny Nick Biden Avocado. Nobody says, cares. No one cares. <laughs> Parker Tuesday did a super chat talking about pubes. No one cares. No you one cares. These out Cause the you're episode. an asshole. Gender Bender did you're an super asshole. chat with something stupid. No one cares. No one cares. Super chat. Look at this has more fucking bitch ass. Camera goes haywire and Elden Ring. You're a legend. He did another super chat. He says, "Is love to pop?" Out no one cares. Daddy. DSP. Dude celebrating his birthday, raking in the fucking money. No one cares about what you say. <laughs> Embarrassment. There was a tip from Super Bat Cat. Um, Super Bat Cat did a seventeen dollar and seventy seven cent tip. Fortnite says, Happy B Day. I don't think that has seventeen dollar oh, Fortnite. Don't think, about, uh, don't think of it as getting older. Just aging like a fine wine. <clears throat> no, no, no. Aging like a fine glass of you milk. Mean like a wine that's meant to be guzzled down and imbibed and just digested in someone's guts. So. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I want to think about it that way. I prefer if you guys watched my content and enjoyed it with me and interacted with me, didn't eat me and drink me alive. I think we have some weird comparisons. I'm just joking, by the way. I know what you're saying. Anyway, guys, that is Feasting with the King. Yo, we made it. Hawaiian barbecue edition. Wow, the we made it. Pork, the the same chicken is terrible. Deceptively not good looking. Both tasted outstanding. The macaroni salad was just okay for me. I wasn't in love with it because I wish it had something else, other flavor to it. That Spam Musubi is incredibly confusing to me. It does not seem like it's much at all of anything good. At the same time, if it were like a dollar menu style food, it would make sense. The fact that they charge so much more for it here doesn't make sense, but maybe it makes sense somewhere where it's inexpensive. So as for the barbecue portion, I say two thumbs up. I seriously thumbs be up. like, it's great. I really like that, that barbecue. I would like to try more because they have beef spare ribs and, and they even have shrimp i forgot they actually have shrimp that they supposedly do a barbecue style as well that sounds like it could be really good to me so i'm pleased i'm full it filled me and i'm raring to go for more gameplay i'm actually Amazing. gonna grab myself a gameplay so now we have to watch downstairs, come oh, okay. back up brush my teeth quick big break big Ring. break this is gonna be a 20 minute I'm ready. break i hope you guys are too all right so yeah get out of here you guys yeah, thank man. you for watching feasting with the king whether you watched it live on stream or maybe you watched it on demand on YouTube, if you did, thanks. Hope that you're liking the content and leaving comments. If you are enjoying it, that helps the channel. And uh, until next time, whenever that may be, because I have no idea. Hope you enjoy. All right, the let's get lit. Awesome. All right, everybody. Let's swap back over. Let's swap let's back over. Get set up for Elden Ring. What are we gonna watch next? There's uh, a lot of time to kill. There's two more games to go. So this like what three hours more? Holy fuck. Okay. It's a V6. Driving in the Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck. They just suck in my dick. Driving in the Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck. They just suck in my dick.
domestic and all. I'm not afraid of Wendy one and on Bob. I'm not afraid of Wendy one and on Bob. George George spit on haters like a jet ski. Crack their head like a Pepsi. Crack their head like a Pepsi. The best bees motherfuckers out here can get epilepsy. Crack their head like a Pepsi. Driving a Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck. They just suck in my dick. Driving a Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck. They just suck in my dick. Driving a Mustang. Driving a Mustang. It's a V6. Driving a Mustang. Driving a Mustang. It's a V6. All right. Next one. The next topic we're gonna cover today. What is he still talking about? He's Don't still here. The ring. Sound good? Oh yeah, Short no. Short break. It won't be super lengthy. Thank you all for your support so far. All right, shut the fuck up. Okay, next thing we're gonna cover today. What more iconic in recent history than the bank leaks? Let's talk about bank leaks. Let's talk about champions. Let's talk about jam damage. Let's talk about polls. Let's talk about 1651 robot ladies with robot voices. And yeah, let's get to it. This is a Soma Julius Cruz video. Big ups for this. And we're gonna get as far as we can, I guess. And yeah, that's it. All right, let's let's get to it. Yeah, let's play the game. This controller's a piece of shit. Fuck shit, dicks, Talk, cocks, talks, ass, ass dicks, Fuck balls. Cocks, dicks, ass. Give us some ass. more tangerines. Oh wait, Bullshit. I don't have a camera. Oh my god. One. All right, Tangerine time. I'm this gay, one's I'm for. Gay, uh... Because they're losers. They have no. <laughs> this one is. Uh... I'm gonna eat it. Constantly, and they try to use mm. every little. Piece Amazing. Tidbit of nonsense and spin it into a huge thing to prove a crazy conspiracy. It's just it's nutty thinking. It's the same people who think that COVID is a fucking hoax. It's the same people. It's not the same people to though. Donald Trump and storm the Capitol. It's the it's same. Not the same people though. People. Okay. It's the same kind of people. No, not really. of what you're saying. There's no difference between them. They're all this fucking same. Th that's what I mean. Like they're not. They're actually nuts. No normal people would ever entertain or believe that shit. That's inc incredibly non nutty thinking. The way that they do this shit. And now our feature presentation. Whoa, Jesus Christ! It scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, look at this. Look at all this damage. That's a lot of damage. Bruh. Now this is not... Is this the PayPal? Oh my god, look at this. It's the iTunes one. On November 30th, 2020. 2,193 in one day on iTunes. So you know this was champions a thousand percent. This is so bad. So much damage. Yeah, we got DoorDash and they, the mad, the mad people at the Kiwi Farms. They managed to put all this together and point exactly where he went and how much money he spent. And you can track all this bullshit. What is Shari's? Is this a restaurant or some shit? Then DoorDash. Then more DoorDash. DoorDash. Target. Oh my god. Phil. Phil. And this is his whole bullshit falls apart with this. It's like he's begging for, for bills every day. And yeah, all these insane charts. This is a piece of piece work. This is amazing. 21% on champions. It's this ridiculous. Ridiculous. Bro. What? $3,000 on Champions just a month ago. <laughs> A couple of months ago. The month before is five thousand. And I, it's like legit. It, this is the most DSP thing. This is the most DSP thing. Cause like this, is the guy who played games for like fifteen years straight for the internet, and still hasn't learned how predatory those games are and how there's no point. <laughs> 
and he's out there in all these videos we're gonna watch the gacha king video after this oh my god that video is juicy and robust he explains to you all all of his schemes all of them how everything works and how he buys the itunes gift cards and everything and it's just impossible to question that it's him it's impossible it's like it, it's so obvious all right you got the point for this pretty good in terms of no trolling hopefully you talked about everything you needed to uh pretty much yeah listen here's the deal it's this simple I'm a loser. People constantly want to bring up shit on the stream that has nothing to do with the stream. They want to derail the stream and cause drama. They want to try to bring up personal shit that has nothing to do with my gameplay. And I, I'm not doing that. If at any time I choose to bring up something outside of the realm of what's going on on the stream, something personal from my life or whatever, I will do so. If I feel it's appropriate, if I feel it's not derailing to the content I'm putting out, and if I feel that it's safe for myself or my family to bring up stuff like that. What you guys need to know is that sadly, there is a lot of shit that happens to me outside of these streams. But bro, because hold on. What we need to know apparently is every time you need help. And then when we question what the money goes to, then you get salty. And then he gets exposed. And he's still in denial to this day because he managed to, to twist it into him being the victim of identity theft For sure. and all this other bullshit. And now he's acting like he's working with the FBI on it. There's a lot of people out there that don't like me for various reasons. I am an evil, dirty, heinous scammer who steals money from little children. There's Don't a lot of people that are out to children. get me and out to hate on me in any way possible, whether it's truthful or not, whether it's legal or not. They're out to hurt me and my family. Okay, I don't talk about it on the streams because what does that help? It wasn't it doesn't help anything. Yeah, we got sex bots up in here. Right? So Lit. stuff happens, fucked up stuff. I'm not gonna bring it up on the streams. Why would I do that? <laughs> but these people are determined to do that. We're determined to ruin Phil's content. We're determined to we want to ruin the I'm stream, ruin his life, ruin, ruin everything. Phil's well, no, I'm not playing that game. I'm just not. I'm you not doing playing it. That so that's game, why, though. you know, I came to Phil's streams today expecting drama. There's You're been playing zero a drama different game. Because Champions. I'm not I'm not like that. I'm never have been, never will be. There's one reason why I'm on this stream right now with you guys. It's this is the only reason. Make money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money, money, money. I love video games and I love chilling with you. And you guys tell me me doing this has value. <laughs> no. That's all that matters to me. Literally nothing else matters. All the white noise of the morons of the world trying to cause problems and everything. I don't fucking care. I'm, I'm here to have a good time with you guys, period. Bro, so I hope how? you guys understand that. We it doesn't did, matter how? what they say or do. I'm not going anywhere. I ban the bots. It doesn't matter Just what take some time. stuff they do to me and my family, what shit they make up, what shit they, you know, they do to try to, to ruin destroy everything. destroy Phil's family every day. I try to ruin my whole fucking life. It ain't happening. I'm still going to be here streaming for you guys every day. I hope you guys understand that. Okay? Fair enough? He's gonna push through all the bullshit and if you don't know anything about negativity. the drama, that's a good thing. Seriously, you don't need to go down the bowels of the fucking internet to see the shit. Yeah, they need to. They doing. need to question you everything because you're full of shit, up. DSP. Come on. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Uh, wrong Doogie or Dougie to the Super Chat saying, can I tweet new rules about the stream because they feel that they can't say anything without getting in trouble unless they ask about dinner. Uh, it's not true at all. Just don't be an asshole. Yeah, just like, ask about you're dinner. Just an annoying, obnoxious, ask about dinner. overbearing distracting asshole that this, that you're fine so that's why 99.9% .9 of people here are fine really I mean it like you notice no one else is complaining or afraid of anything right no one no, no one. one just you no one. toxify just you. it this right. is like cold behavior man this is such cold behavior hey nobody else has a problem but you Hey, wrong doogie you're out of here now you're an asshole you're out of here I mean, you're an you're asshole just a wow. fucking, you're a waste of life you're what did he say we're here having a good time on the stream you're here to bring us all down and try to bring us into your toilet of shit and we don't want to go there i'm just gonna okay flash to current dsp who is setting oh, up to play a game honest. with a jersey oh, on let's okay. make fun of this jersey um, for a bit as for a hat look we at him will do look a poll silly for as fuck right now a second hat for the stream okay I him out a little bit. here he is the so gout man right now and we're doing a poll. This is how he looks. It's uh, chat humorous. Is Elden best. Which hat is Elden best? The real life Dumas helmet. The real life Dumas helmet. That's how the he calls it. This is hat. such a stupid way to call anything. Yo, sex bots, get out of here. Like, legit. 
I'm mm -hmm. putting my foot down and killing everyone. Go. Oh, big ups, big ups, mod. Now, for I'm going to me. also update everything to state we're about to start Elden Ring. Jasper Cat, it sounds like she's coming in. Are you going to go see her? Jasper's in here. He's been here the whole time I was eating, by the way. Yeah. You didn't know oh, he was there the whole time he ate? <clears throat> All right. I was, uh, he, Jasper was lurking and stalking. He didn't get any food, unfortunately. Because Jasper is on that Elden Ring. bougie cat oh. food. Oh, there she is, buddy. <laughs> go ahead, go see. Oh, there he goes. He's running off. There we go. Wow, look at him with this jersey. It's the 86. Okay. What does 86 so, stand for? I changed it to say Elden Ring. Now I need to tweet. Okay, oh, now we need to tweet. Why does he have to do that every time? Uh -huh. It's so obnoxious. Copy. Copy. <clears throat> okay, paste. Here we go. This is such a boomer. Couldn't you tweet when you were in the bathroom or whatever? I don't know. Tweet somewhere else. Why now? Uh, he takes this shit way too seriously. Like like this. And, and at the same time, it's not even serious enough. He takes it too seriously, but not serious enough. To like up his work ethic. But he takes it serious enough to post these like five tweets a day. What, what did he just tweet? Okay, let's go and, and pop it open and actually check it out. Tweet that. Tweet that. Over here. And post that. Got okay, what, what just got posted? Okay. And I have the double view. And now we're ready to get started. Let me grab the controller. There he is, the guy. What did he just grab post? Headset. Wow, look at all this spam. I'm excellent. One, two, three, four. Since he, since he started spamming. Since he started streaming. Segment. We're now swapping over to Elden Ring Super on my Mag birthday marathon stream. And birthday is with a capital letter because it's somebody's name, I guess. If you saw help. Join me for more progress I mean, I a, a in the capital city. In on the subject. I wouldn't know. I don't know. How about 80 something hours in? So. And this Here Elden Ring, I, I don't think anybody cares about his Elden Ring <laughs> shit. All right. Uh, what helmet he's going to wear? Probably the real life dumbass shit. I'm going to vote cowboy because it's iconic. He needs to wear the cowboy hat for, for his 40th birthday. Come on. Just makes sense. I'm going to hit the flush on you, so I don't have to talk to you anymore. Band, 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 band. 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 Alex sent me oh. $1.50. He says, Phil, I just joined the stream. I've been seeing something in the chat about new rules. The only rule is don't derail the stream. Earlier There's today, more to people were derailing the, the stream monstrously with a bunch of stupid bullshit. So I finally called them out on it, and they didn't like that. They're like, oh. Oh, I can just do whatever I want. Oh, oh. This is a day. Eee. The what? I said, the oh, what? you gotta, you know, act like a human. Stop derailing the stream. Eee. Bro. 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 Eee. No, no, Phil. <laughs> I'm going to end the stream. Oh. No, I'm going to hold until the end. Come on. Well, too bad. It's not even that hard. I'm just watching the SP. It's not that hard. Piano Stan says, why do I get triggered by trolls? Because wings and braces. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Here's the deal, real Here's quick, the deal. Since, since people want to derail the stream. If you embrace trolls, it just creates more of it. You understand that, right? Like if you make your, oh man, I can really benefit, I can really profit off of the actions of trolls, right? Yeah, you can. Then you become someone who literally just pulls stunts and does stupid shit okay. for money. All right? Well, you do that, though. I actually am a content creator who likes what he does. Oh, I yeah, like okay. video games. Right. They've been my hobby my whole life. Oh. <coughs> shit, sorry. Uh... By the way, there's also a, a different video I want to watch later. It's a good one. I like interacting with the live audience and having a good social time with you guys. I really do. That was about his Discord leaks and how sh he was shitting on Wings. It's really funny. He was shitting on Wings on Discord, like sneak dissing him. It wasn't even sneak dissing. I don't do this for the paycheck. <laughs> what is he still talking about, by the way? He's still not playing the game. What are you talking about, Gelp, man? Just want to... Okay. To Waz Good, who just became a channel member. Oh yeah, this is bullshit. Meandering. <laughs> you serious? I did this for years before I could even. Yo, it's my favorite clip. It. Since I became a full-time streamer, I've actually found way more meaning in what I do than in anything else I've done in my entire Man, so life. I really, meaning. really mean that. Every other job was just a job for money. This I genuinely love doing. 
Man, who doesn't love playing fucking video games? Shut the fuck up. Things has You're not like said what? multiple times he does not like what he does. He's doing it for a fucking paycheck. So what does he do to get by? He embraces the trolls. All right. I'm not going to ruin the quality of what I'm doing by embracing that kind of disgusting, toxic behavior. Bro, we don't need to derail it with a bunch of bullshit. Fuck those idiots. Ban them. Move on. You don't have to waste time talking about it, gabbing about it. You know, fuck them. Have a good time. Enjoy, you know, the interaction with my, my, uh, you know, my, my viewers here and have a good one, right? So, no worries. Everything's good. See, and here we go again. See, Piano Stan is one of these people. He's so up his own ass in what? believing nonsense, okay, <laughs> that he doesn't understand that someone could actually like me, uh, actually have hey, a good morning, Pastor who likes Remote. him and wants the morning. to be, be hanging out with him like and legit having a good time. You're, You're literally, cheating. you've circle jerked yourself so hard that your wow. dick came off all right I mean, really you have actually like completely I, okay. brainwashed yourself i admit now, do you not understand i, that. I just did that, that. i was on. have a following of people who like what i do and i like what i do it's actually hard to believe it's really hard to believe and that's okay you and it's not about you can be one of them no there are fundamental issues with this and the way he runs his business that is predatory to actual stupid people who give him money this is what I have a problem with. It's not that I just want to leave him to do his little shitty streams and stuff, which I have no problem with. There are millions of shitty streams that exist that I don't give a shit about. There's just this one shitty stream that I care about. Because I think it's actually toxic and, and it sucks. And it's also fun to look at uh, at how bad it is. Like me, but you have to understand that there are people who do. All right? I, I don't you, understand. You, you stay that. over there with your really group of weirdos. That. I, I don't understand people like DSP. I understand people haven't realized they don't like DSP yet. Eventually they do. They they all do. And they've always been. That's why he's on level one. Everybody. Eventually they do. They can give him the benefit of the doubt a million times. But eventually they will. It's just hey, a thing that normal happens. fucking people alone. All right, you stay over there in the tinfoil hats, the fucking Kool-Aid, your weirdo the Kool -Aid, of course. shit that no one likes because you're fucking... The memes that no one likes. You have your own weirdo... Who, who is no one? ...community, and you still leave the normal people alone. People who have normal the lives... normal no people. ...normal interactions with people. How is this normal? How are any of these interactions normal? He's reading a stream chat. This is not a normal interaction. He's not talking to a person. We don't just sit on the internet meaning all fucking normal. day because we're losers. We like to actually have fun. All right, leave us out of your bullshit. Your little weirdo lives go fucking to your fringes of the internet you know your kiwi farts areas or whatever the fuck you want to go farts and areas. Each other off. we don't care about wow. you really and i mean that like we normal people don't care about we you. normal you people. can have a, a existence over there and not leave very us convincing this because you are ranting at a camera right now that's not very normal is it and what i'm doing is not very normal because i'm just talking in headphones on my laptop so this is not normal at all. I should go and talk to some human in person, just like DSP should. So nobody is actually normal. Actually. I want to have a good time with my viewing audience. If you want to go fuck with someone and have them care about you, go talk to Wings, go talk to fucking Review Tech, the guys who play into that shit, go. Wait, do I want Wings to care about me? They're there. That's what, what they thrive off of, the drama and the trolling. Go to them. You're not going to get that here. You're never going to get that on my streams. Yeah, you get... You talk about trolls way more than than actually those people, not not way more, but uh, as much. All right. About yeah. as much. Come You're on. You're in the wrong place. That's what you. Yeah, like. the feasting is done. Feasting is done. No more feasting. Oh, actually, they there is gonna be cake later. For. So Take there the will be you know, feasting. Unfortunately, you're just wasting your time. There you go, Nate the Great just, just did a super chase. There's definitely a difference between me and those other kinds of content creators. You know, they're constantly miserable. You can tell. And I'm not like oh, that. Oh, yeah, I'm they're not... constantly I, miserable. You know, I like what I'm doing, man. I like what I'm doing, man. That's why I'm giving you the high-pitched voice. I love it. I absolutely am enjoying myself. Uh, Big Papa Phil to me $4.20. If these Phil. no life loser trolls are ridiculous, who's more of a lol cow? A guy who's putting out a... Actually, for the next video, I, I really like it. And I'm going to leave it on and go make myself a coffee and something to eat. And then I'll be back. But don't worry. It's a good video. So it's going to keep you occupied. Product people enjoy entertaining support. Without me pausing it all the time and, and saying something like this that doesn't matter. Dedicate the time of day to microanalyze some guy they'll never know just to be negative. Exactly. Microanalyze well, I'm some guy. Bro, this is the shit that I don't fucking understand understand why is it so hard to believe right people watch tv shows all the time and they know a bunch of shit about tv shows right they know a bunch of shit about the office and breaking bad and game of thrones why is it that bad to know a bunch of shit about this show 
of this fucking guy who is always on camera and he always uploads his footage and it's free on the internet for you to take and edit and upload your own rendition or your own fucking memes and you, your own bullshit. Why is it so hard to believe? Why is it so hard to understand? I don't fucking get it. This is such a basic fucking concept. He's not like, we're not sitting here actually being obsessed with him. It's just a TV show that you can't just like, you can't look away from. Because it's funny. Having fun, having a good time with my legit audience. So but these bizarre. people are so up their own ass, they literally don't It's believe. like, I wish I could talk about a bunch of shows, but I can't talk about them on YouTube. I can't watch them live like I would like to. Eve, that there's a real audience. And this is a show that I like, that I know a lot ab about. Of course, I'm going to watch it and talk about it. Just like they don't believe. And it's a show that goes live. That's the fun thing also, because it, it goes live. The thing that's live all the time. That I was ever good at Street Fighter. They don't believe any positive thing that ever comes out of anything I've done because they are in their own cultish weirdo world. And that's okay. Go exist cultish, in your weirdo, weirdo world that's world. parallel to ours. This is the real world parallel here on my world. streams. The real world here says the, the narcissistic guy. The, the guy who actually factually lives in a different reality and is still in denial. You could go live wow. in the weirdo streams and the stay weirdo away from us, streams. Okay? <laughs> there you go. Uh, By the way, now Piano Stan just proved that he's a troll and just got permanent. He proved that he's a troll. He got annihilated. Right. Now, this is him uh, addressing the bank leaks vaguely, but the leaks themselves, I just don't want to be looking at numbers all, all that much. Uh, there was a great video by Based Oslo. And I made this wrong. Uh, about the Discord leaks, which was really funny, actually. And it's here somewhere. Uh, I think, oh yeah, this, this, this one was fantastic. I'm gonna go make myself a coffee, you just enjoy this thing, and then I'll be back and continue watching it. So, it, it's very nicely uh, structured, so yeah, right. it's gonna be alright. These are the eyes of a psychopath. Hello, and welcome to James Lesser's Express Line. <laughs> what is this? This isn't right. Hold on, boys. <laughs> Right, I'll be right back. Now that's more like it. I like nuclear weapons. Shalom, boys and Derek's. It's the dark side of the internet's favorite shit, Lord Oslo. And uh, it's been a minute. DSP tried it 2020, has turned into an over edited, overproduced shit post, over chronicalizing one of the most exceptional years on the dark side of the internet. Here's a bunch of clips from the shit post without context. Thank you, Michael. This is, I'm doing a great job. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you saying that. I'm doing my best. Try not to cry. <laughs> Try not to cry about not getting a PS5 at launch. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The very first time, it's the DualSense control. Oh, uh, that's the DualSense controller. Oh, great. <laughs> well, I scratched the side of my PlayStation 5. I actually did. You in full return, man. Oh, shit. Cut the ID of the asshole. Oh, 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 oh. Content ID, no money for yo. <laughs> oh my god. You guys have done nothing but complain. Like, literally, since the moment I booted the moment I booted this game six hours ago, all people do on the stream chat is complain about the game. They hate it. It looks bad. It plays bad. It's not fun. Now, I'm sorry, but it goes hand in hand. Like, there's been games that I've played that aren't great, but we have fun because we interact. It seems like when I play this game, people don't want to. They just want to complain about the game and why. Bug snacks, bug snacks, bug snacks, bug snacks, bug snacks, bug snacks. Oh yeah! Come on! All right, everyone, shut the fuck up about being timed out. I'm playing a game on stream. How the fuck would I know why Beautiful Butterfly got timed out for like a week? How the fuck would I know? Am I psychic? Was I here every moment when everyone got timed out? Shut up! I know, maybe it's your butt, it's your friend. Oh well, I'm playing a fucking game. Let me play a game on my stream and take your little petty squabbles to the mods or elsewhere. Or if you have a brain in your head, email me at darksidephilahotmail.com. The method to get unbanned forever and stop bothering me on my stream. Okay. I was gonna make him a nice shrimp platter. I just want Darkside Phil to come play video games with me and eat shrimp off my belly. Dip his shrimpies in my belly button full of cocktail sauce. Is that too much to ask? You already asked that. 
Damn. You already asked that. Damn it. Damn it. Let's... Did you tell him about the shrimp? It's bombing. <laughs> Damn it. It's not taking off the shrimp. The shrimp bomb. Dude. Is it? It's a good. It's a good bit. No, it's not. I knew you were gonna play this angle. You you need some new bits, man. What bit? You do this every time. Okay. I knew you were gonna put. Yeah, dark side fills my body. Look, I want to eat shrimp with him. Lobster. All right, down. I'm back. Wait, I I think I watched this on stream. Oh, but this was uh, okay. It's a recap from the thing. Okay. <laughs> we haven't even started the cool video. This is great. I think I was pretty fast. <laughs> Oh! I got a coffee. I got another oh. banana. So yeah, shit is it's gonna been get a extreme. while since the last DSP the third shit banana goes. for today. As I don't such, know if I, I have can to handle address it. a few things. Yes, I'm aware that this Linkara bit is dated as shit, but fuck you. I'm also aware that DSP is pretty fucking boring. I'll cover something if something is funny. Now, most of you Derek's are cool and have patiently been awaiting the video. Yo, super special announcement. He put on the real life Dumas hat. Too, this isn't far so enough. Now he looks this like is this. Before we climbed up the the uh, dragon, but you already, we already know. climbed up the dragon. So it's I think like it's the this. capital rampart. This is the I state of this it. stream. Anyways, let's go back. Yep, this is it. Okay. However, there is one person out there, fucking Timmy has not been patient with me. So I'm taking time out of this shit post to talk about it. So let me just say this one more time as crystal fucking clear for you, Timmy. Dark side fill shit posts have no set schedule. They're this done when they're on, done uh, and will be released Just when iconic. they're done. In Power case you've been Rangers stuck under your fat segment. mom with a really good book, I have been pretty busy the last couple months. I attended Straight Pride, Rainforest, DashCon 2.0, this Fuck time yeah, Dash double Con. the ball pits, various KKK rallies. Bro, this new, the new internet historian video is just amazing. There's an action scene in it, which is like fucking good, man. I also attended my 7th grade gym Area teacher's divorce video. and funeral. That was Fuck a weird yeah. 72 hours for Mr. Kowalski. Not to hey, mention ups, my Mr. other K. hobbies of luring elderly people into my basement, starting turf wars with the local homeless on, The lure is easy. Judging Joseph Stalin lookalike contests, getting blocked by Mighty D on Twitter, and... <laughs> Legit? What? A string of murders taking place in Applebee's bathrooms across the state of Pennsylvania. Oh, no, come so on. So when will the next DSP shit post that's, be done? That's illegal. When it's fucking done. Asking me when it will be done won't make it come out sooner. I have warned you all before. I am a fucking idiot who edits these videos by screaming and throwing rocks at my computer like a goddamn caveman. But let's all forget that shit for a minute because we're in a brand new year. The Wondertastic Year of 2020 what was that oh it's not as good oh okay besides all that autism how's been our favorite twitch streamer dark side filled the lol cow what is this a pig man oh! <sighs> what's funny is you know i like interacting with my chat everyone knows that don't lie to us when everyone in the chat is either going to be derailing the stream not talking about Hello. the game the golden isle looked almost Oh my god, I'm trying to go up here, Don't stupid! Stop by the view, Phoenix. You're nearly there. Got to beat the oh my camp. god, this game. Now, as I was saying, it's everyone knows I like to talk so in my chat. Know, like, when the chat is either derailing the stream, not talking about the game, or all they're talking about is, oh look, Phil's got chargebacks. Oh, Phil didn't hit the, the tip skull. Phil, Phil won't talk to us, even though what you're talking about is stuff that has nothing to do with the stream. It's negative stuff, it's detractor stuff, it's this stuff you guys know. I'm not going to talk about on my streams. Then you claim I don't interact with you. No, it's because you're purposely trying to get me to talk about stuff that derails the stream and gets the you know who. The you know who. You can't even know. Say I'm their talk name. About that shit on my stream. <laughs> you know who? What the fuck do you think? I'm not talking. I just want to jump into combat tonight. I just want to. I want to vent my rage at a bunch of bullshit that happened earlier today with chargebacks on this game. I'm just kill vent my rage and go and knife. Oh, that's no fun. You want to help me out right now because things have been going shitty recently with charge racks in particular today were really bad. Uh, excuse me. My entire early stream was completely... The Why the long stream? Uh, it's a marathon. Come on. It's the guy's birthday. We got to honor him, of course. And also because uh, I, I legit don't know. Don't ask me at this point. I'm beginning to question myself. Gated. And it's like I didn't <laughs> even stream earlier today, which sucks ass. 
If you want to help out with that, please tip me tonight. I really need the help this week. Oh, and we can have a begging segment now. Right on top now. of that, the chargebacks just made it even worse. Okay, so please tip if you can. This is probably the most DSP that I've ever watched Basically, within a day. I, I, I but no, the last stream was like 12 hours. And then I got ninety dollars oh, yeah. chargebacks. So I made ten bucks today. Not the most. You know, on that first stream, pretty stupid. Corey, no, it's not for nothing. I have fun. The thing is, I have fun regardless. That's a lie. I always have a good time with you guys. That's not what's up for debate here. Oh, having fun on the stream is not what's up for debate. This is just my job, you know. <clears throat> How long ago were the chargebacks from? Two of them were from November. One of them was from September and had actually been disputed like a month and a half ago and was in limbo for a million years. And then finally, it was dis it was basically oh against you. So I had two that just outright were found against so me. So this one number one is chargebacks. This is the first so thing we talked about. Plus fees and, shit and, it ended up and then we get into, $90. oh my god, the okay. second vest streak. Uh, so thanks guys you remember today. this. There was a second vest streak after the first one collapsed. This is very curious. Negative, like, the curious case of the second vest streak. Dollars in tips now. now this shocks me. Yeah, this from those shocks. fucking chargebacks that I told you about. Yo, so, this coffee got me the light look, back. I'm, just curious I'm, I'm feeling human again. I remembered so why I'm here, you guys, to, to have fun, Inter interact, and have a meaningful conversation or whatever. No money, by the way. Or some Seriously, bullshit. I made zero dollars on the stream. Oops. Yes, as of with that Alex. tip, I'm finally out of the red. So now, anyone who tips me today, I'll finally make some money. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Money. This Seriously. is so good. That's how bad those stupid chargebacks are. Here we I are. I mean, yeah, sitting here watching know, DSP is not hard. A stream. Uh, I'm actually pretty and now chill. If I make any uh, I've I'll had a great day so far. That's so, yeah. how, how annoying this shit is. And I really need your help this week with tips. And big. now, you know, if I just wish the DSP stream terrible. was funnier. Thank you very much, Elusive. Today's stream was kind of just dry as fuck. And the, the feasting was also not very very robust. I'm curious, it's hard to know which chargebacks to dispute since you're getting some of them fake stolen credit cards, maybe legitimate victims. Here's the thing. The, the 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 end goal is to not have to dispute a chargeback at all. That's the end goal. To never dispute a chargeback. To identify when there's going to be a fake tip up front and either completely block it from happening scan or for identify fake it tips. and immediately refund it. Because when you have a chargeback, you run a dispute, scan. It's a it's a crapshoot. You have no clue if you're ever gonna win. You don't know, especially when it's a You missed the devour. Someone's Come on, rewind the stream. Number. And you just I was zooming in on his face like, and everything. It was real fun. Here's when I did a shout out, etc. Then usually you win. Except it was kind of this guy fun. is not doing that. It's a it's <laughs> stealing credit cards. Because I mean, we 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 watched Project Seven before that. Come on, this couldn't be better than Project Seven. That's theft and that's that's crime. You don't like it? Call it cop. So I, I, <clears throat> it's few and far between that I'll ever win a chargeback like that. So I need to identify them when they happen. The Bro, enough about fucking chargebacks. Well, I received a tip from someone, but it's completely unregistered. Fucking sleazy asshole. So it's probably not real. <laughs> probably Jared not real. Bradford. Oh, yeah, this was the point. There was a, at some point, oh my god, this fucking sex boss. Do I have it open in a tab? I have it. I'm going to delete you immediately. Delete it. How does that fucking feel? You don't even get to show up on the screen with your stupid ass love emotes. Trying to make me horny and shit. Uh, at some point... He was getting actual fake tips to come through like Streamlabs or whatever he was using. And they were popping up and he was like, man, I, this is like a thousand. This is like a hundred. And yeah, in the end, they were all fake. They weren't coming through and he had to put everything on lockdown and shit. It was real funny. Is there a Jared Bradford here? I seriously doubt it. It looks, it looks, it looks bad because it looks like it was done through a credit card. So it's probably fake. Yeah, there's no Jared Bradford. <laughs> that, here, right? That's no. sped up sip. The sped up sip was good. All great. right, I refund it. Mm. All right. And uh, yeah, now that you're saying Chad Jasper did that, this makes me think Jasper did that is one of the one of the only DSP highlights that I can ever think of, like an actual stream highlight, when Jasper jumped on screen and made that that jump scare happen, and then DSP started screaming, Jasper did that, Jasper did that. This was like the only single highlight I can ever think. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry, guys, but I, as I said, I can't accept these tips from unverified accounts. And it was. Oh no! Let's skip to the next drama. This big bitch boy. Scumbags and mental cases on the internet still, still support, support me. Now I knew the vest autism was going to continue into 2021, but to dig up the streak. In star room, just cheer and say, I think there's a mistake on the leaderboard. You don't have a vest. A vest goal nine out of a hundred. What? 
Tips goal. What? Zero what? out of a hundred. Vest streak nine. Where do you see an error? Did I miss? What did I mistype? That's all correct. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Unless it's supposed to be a joke, which isn't funny. I don't even understand it. And yeah, it was a nine died. factorial. Ten the had no, that exclamation here, mark for no reason. I'm not hitting the vest streak. There's no one tipping. <laughs> it's uh, not gonna happen. No one's gonna tip here. Yeah, it lost the magic yeah, after it died know, once. There's no reason for you to be here. Uh, like there's well, no point the tips call hit it's not gonna get hit it's over and he was too dumb to figure out a different fucking scheme and of course nowadays he's killing it with a three-tier tip skull which is like the scams keep getting more elaborate i love it now it's hats and vests and all the scams and it's all based on him making more money short-lived but give the money well, anyway it was a good week so Tip oh my god dollar. i can't believe it just kidding nothing i was kidding <laughs> How is that funny? Oh, now it keep fake having a tip. Ending. Like anybody would be like super excited. Oh my God, Dark Side Phil got a tip. You guys, I'm gonna go tell my friends that I don't have because I'm watching DSP unironically. Societies did 100 videos, 700 people watching. Imagine if everyone gave 30 cents, fun streak while it lasts. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is. thing is half the people here are not here. This is what you should never do is look at something and be like, wow, imagine if all these people gave me money. Then you would never be satisfied because that shit can never happen. Which is not shocking. It wasn't a long streak or anything, anyway. Uh, that is it. The best streak officially has ended. Congratulations. Officially ended. You're a failure. <laughs> In this great picture. The part where we throw I love it. Back and laugh. Ready? Ready! Come on, put that clip of uh, Jonah Jameson. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh yeah, they have a uh, Charlemagne the God clip. That's a that's run. a nice one. It lasts from Monday that. till freaking uh, Friday, so not bad. All right. If it ever if it ever picks up again, what I'll probably do is see if I get like a like if it hits like five or something, then I'll start calling it out again. Oh yeah, at some point he he wanted to do some insane scams, and he was trying to stack up the vest streak. So if in one day he got like five hundred dollars, that would be five vest streak entries right so yeah he wanted to do this to just inflate the numbers so it could ba get back up to like respectable numbers um yeah that dude was crazy for now that is officially the end oh of... it was just like he's so creatively bankrupt and you're given this like cash cow like the vest streak come on just come up with something to follow up on it the streak that and was it just flopped oh my god let's just do the streak again it's not special. It's like the Undertaker. It's like if he had the the big streak and then lost to some scrub like Brock Lesnar. Unfortunately, thank God this did not happen in real life. And then he rebooted the vest streak. Man, the Undertaker won for the third straight time on WrestleMania. This is so insane. Nobody would be fucking hyped. Right? Uh oh! Retard alert! Retard alert, class! The second streak ever. Beautiful. A masterpiece of fucking failure. Rehashing a gimmick from last year only to let it die quicker. Psst, Phil, maybe this time just let the streak stay fucking dead. I wonder if we get any new vests this year. My fingers are crossed for denim or leather. Dirk also started doing this thing where if he got $200, he would put on two vests. This is an atrocity. This is an insult to the entire <laughs> vest process. I, I am, Look at no, I am appalled and disgusted. One way, there's only one way to solve this. There's only one oh, way to solve yeah. this. All oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah. The double vest. Uh, <laughs> super obscure lore. The double vest. Write this down. This is at the bottom of the iceberg. DSP used to wear two vests as a gimmick because this is how desperate he was. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. All right. We've solved it. Problem solved. It only happens once. In a lifetime. Killing Only once in a less. lifetime. Later that same evening. Every every time I raise two hundred dollars <laughs> in tips, I'll do a double vest. How about oh, that? Oh yeah. That's dumb. Hey, if DSP ever gives up on streaming, at least he could be a half-ass kabuki actor. Yeah, I am the Lord of Hate. I am followed everywhere by fans More like, and uh, rolls of gout boot. I am I the shogun of gout, gout, gout and gout. the master of e-begging. They gout, call gout, me. Gout, gout, gout. 
dark side Phil. While editing this video, Phil had his 39th birthday. I got two things to say. One, we got the denim vest. And those of are some course. pretty Oh, he got the denim vest today in the first part. Decorations right there. So... Yeah, the decorations are much worse today. Fucking and much less right robust. Now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, recently I've noticed that there's a meme going around. There's a meme Indian going genes. around. What? What? Who fucking cares? I don't really understand the meme. All right. Uh, you look ridiculous. That's, that's it's the because meme, Phil's a streamer, not a formal job, not a job you got to dress up for. It's a job where you can basically wear anything. Fuck yeah. We should go restream these ladies. It's going to be way more fun. I need to convince everybody to, to just for us to just go and look at ladies like this. And just this is going to be the whole stream. I can shit on them if you want. I'm gonna comment stuff about them. But then it's gonna be mean. It's not mean about DSP because nobody feels bad about DSP. With Within reason. So what does Phil usually wear to stream? Usually it's either his sweaties or his jeans. You're hitting on with these the young women. of the garments always being thrown into question. Like, dude, Point is, on. they're not traditional Just got work pants. Watching Much DSP. to many trolls' chagrin. <laughs> but what I thought I would do today is I would present to you An authentic pair of dark side fill denim jeans that I wear when I go outside the house. Wait, somebody's trolling him in a Anti, super chat. Let's uh, see if, if he's gonna respond. He hates the chat, saying that I'm um, the best Elden Ring player ever, except for camera issues, not responding controls, and poor character design. I'd be unstoppable. Very nice, gender bender. You're totally Very nice, not, gender uh, bender. You're totally serious in everything you say. To totally not a sneak this. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to this. <laughs> but you see, I managed to snipe this highlight. To be fair, Phil did show this off on an Ask the King. So what the fuck else was he gonna do? Answer the same 10 or 20 questions from the wheelchairs. This is the actual one of the four pairs of jeans that I own. Nobody gives a shit. And I've brought them to you okay, here live sex on bots are getting stream sniped to reveal to you the secrets of jeans. <laughs> Where do people get these dumb memes from? The internet? Is This is a meme. Jeans, I own this them, This is a bitch. meme. Okay. Why this is, is the this meme. A meme. <laughs> I don't understand it. He's like that. That uh, he's like that meme of the the dude pointing at everything and asking, "Is this a meme?" Pointing at the butterfly. Cause you're a meme. You a meme? silly fucking. Everything is a meme about him. Cause he is a meme, and he he got the meme touch. Everybody he, everything he touches turns into a meme. John Rambo turned into a meme. The Rambo feet. They say we're gay boys. We're gonna make love to each other tonight. Goose. Uh, Are they? I have no idea. I've owned these jeans probably no exaggeration probably for about eight or nine years, cause I don't wear them and go do do, do construction work and shit. I wear them out once a week on my day out, so they don't get me. Off. His and day I out, and now it's his day off. So within a year, this maybe gets a it's dozen wears. Day out. Wow. So I own. Day out jeans. sounds like you're in prison. Here they well, are. This Logan, is one of, like I said, a four pairs, actually three expected. pairs, similar to this. And one pair's kind of like a backup pair that are older. That I don't really like. Hey, big ups, J Horse five hundred eight for the sub. Almost forty year old man got a pair of jeans that are just a little too uncomfortable. My fucking heart bleeds. What? They're not boot cut. I don't know what they are. They don't even say on them. Like here, easy? What the hell does easy mean? Easy fit? Easy fit jeans? I don't know. It means here they, they are. I don't know. Jeans. It's easy to put them on DSP. Maybe if you're right. fat, it's going to be easier to put them on or some shit. Has now passed, and now you can all the genus you know, put segment. That segment and put it up on your fucking streams about stupid shit. There you go. You got <laughs> Has the dark side of the he's so been pissed. so fucking he's barren so that jeans I, I, are I a think comedic highlight? One of the Has things that nothing. he's most pissed about is how dependent he is on trolls to actually exist. Because come on, if people weren't making fun of him daily, he would not be relevant at all. Legit. Nothing else of note happened. And he, he hates this. He knows this and he hates this. Discord leaks. What the fuck are you talking about? Discord oh yeah, leaks. Discord leaks. Year. Let's let's get it clapping. Let's get the cheeks clapping. There's some messages that I think are really funny in this, especially oh, shitting on wings. Another Discord and that leaked. Ho ho ho! The plot, unlike Dave's hair, is thickened. Like, yeah, literally Dave's nothing happened, it was just like stupid gone. shit. Just in a nutshell. 
Uh, and it all started when longtime mod Anonymous went rogue. But why did he go rogue? Okay, it's you now know most who. Most people on the dark side of the internet know who PW Dubs is. Yes, Robot Wizard is true. Last year, PW Dubs ruined WrestleMania for me by spoiling one of the main events. While oh no, tomorrow. how dare you? This is like the, the biggest sin. But I was going to watch it after he sin. told the, the results, and I was incredibly angry at him. Yes. You are a sad, strange little man. Oh, Snow Carl had chosen. Why, why is PW Dubs banned? How is Immortals going? PW Dubs is banned because he's repeatedly been violating the rules again recently. I'm not even going to detail about it, but he, like, in the past week, he violated the rules, like, three times. And I guess mods are being lenient with him about it. And they just kept doing it, so I don't know what to say. Like, you know, you can only be lenient so much. Getting baited by a snow <clears throat> curl, of course. I like As the per guy, usual. You have, to you have to abide by the rules. You can't just ignore the fucking rules and think you're above them. And he just kept violating them. So. But if you're a pay pig, you can violate yeah, them. That's okay. You, you just have to be a pay pig. Stream, you know what I'm saying? It's okay. <laughs> You didn't Everybody do anything. knows. You sat there and complained all night, so that's what happens. Wow. Although you did not, excuse me, that was disgusting. Although Bob you did is. not ruin the game like PW Dubs. So since you didn't ruin the game like PW Dubs. Yeah, PW Dubs gets the. Well, stuff. some fucking how, probably using autistic voodoo black magic, DSP the ended up bamboozling him into sending his ID. Information yeah. included full name, date of birth, partial address, height, eye color, issue date, etc. <laughs> now it'd be just one. This is wild, and I love this video. We're gonna watch more of Based Oslo's videos because right now I need somebody to to just like talk, so I don't talk. One thing, if you Phil got I mean. the information and kept it under, and his I can just ass. laugh over this and pause it and say irrelevant stuff. Beanie, but he fucking didn't. He ended up sharing it on his Discord. It's gonna what be the, the next four hours of the stream. What the hell is wrong with you? There's yeah, he sent him a fucking the ID, a driver's license, and dude posted it on the Discord. In the banned words, by the way, the banned words get a load of this. Pig roach. Pig roach. What do we have? Uh, oh, yeah, we have a bunch of variations of the N word. And this is DSP posting it as a message. Look at how fucking funny this is. Pig roach. So for him, pig roach has the same impact as the N bomb. Wow. Wow. And this DSP posting it, it's so fucking funny. There's more exceptionalism from the server, but we're gonna- Yeah, look at- there's- there's more of this. What do we got here? We got Care Flip, 1488. She was underage. Stop begging. Stop begging. <laughs> Stop begging is the banned word. Uh, date a 17-year-old. Ebeg, beggar, Liana. Ebeggar, DSP get a job. My boy Tyrone. At dark side, Phil get a job, jack off, jerked off. Okay, amazing. We're gonna get Band to that fucking later. words. There's gonna be more. Of course there are. It's all of them. Fapped in. Then we got uh some like super racist stuff. Then we got pi pay pig, pay pigs, pig roach with all caps like it's MF Dune. Uh, uh begathon. Begathon, e begging, <laughs> Be bega, but spelled like a B E G G U H. This is bega, which is, I guess, what? Somebody called him like this ever? Why is this banned? More what reasons we got? why Anonymous went rogue. And that's it, I guess. But yeah, so he knows all of these words are, are how we call them. And of course, he's gonna know. He's been called these words for so many years. Of course, he's gonna know. And let's uh, keep going. Bringing along whales is the next sin. What? Phil stringing along whales? <laughs> Never. Does this guy look like the type <laughs> of dude who would string people? Oh yeah, look. Hold on. Uh, what is happening here? Hold okay, on. this is nothing. Dangle mod ship in front of wheelchairs. Never. Never. He's, he's an honest guy. Remember, boys? Come on. Dem demanding private chat logs. Oh, yeah, this, this one is great. Has Phil's neediness and desperation levels gone so low that he's forever stuck on... Hold on, hold on. He asked for, like, chat logs from Anonymous. Uh, so Anonymous says, all I know 
I know what happened. I did not tell them about the King Michael Association. I have no fucking idea what this means. What exactly did you tell Only Ice Coffee? I will gladly send you our entire unaltered logs. Okay, I have them from his side, so this will prove you're truthful. And that's all I will need to know that you've been honest, which I believe. I think that PW Dubs has been full of shit, and I think that there is one particular person orchestrating all of this. Holy shit, this is so fucking ridiculous, man. And this dude was like sitting there behind the scenes texting these fucking morons. And asking them for chat logs. It's like 40 year old dude. Crazy girl. It, 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 it's, it's just like ridiculous. Friend mode. Makes you wonder if he's like oh that with his God. wife. Okie dokie. Cue the Lifetime original movie music. This story in itself has a bit of a timeline. October 2017, Anonymous has made a mod. He was removed from the mod team because a troll got under his skin making fun of his sexuality. The troll Whoa. went further in making fun of the fact that Anonymous was molested as a child. Dude even called him a pedophile. That's pretty fucked up, even for my shitlord sensibilities. But the question is, did Phil step up and defend his mod? Fuck no, he did not. I am shocked. Shocked. ESP would never well, do that. I'm not that shocked. It only took a couple emails for Phil to throw not even a mouse under the bus. Getting fucked over Plus, like that probably gave him not even anyway, a motive so, yeah. to play the long game. Get fucking Frank here. Underwood style. Go change his fucking diaper. You know wow. Did I neglect to mention that this is all posted onto the farms? Because it was posted onto the farms. Of course With it was. With an infinite link to the Discord? Show me the money. Well, well, of course, they, they disable this. For everything. Anani Mouse has videos of himself going through the Discord server. Cool boy extraordinaire, Mr. Huff Stuff. Picked out the gold tier gold dust. Links to everything will be in the description down below. Now let's get into some absolute fucking retardation. Phil crying to his wife about the band. Oh, yeah? Being oh, yeah? Yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm going to go through all of these because I am the guy on level the gold minus tier one. Gold oh, stop it with the fucking sex bots. Come on. We gotta fucking give you the lean in every time. It's not fair at this point. You should know better. Uh, why doesn't DSP get sex bot? Because he probably set up his fucking filters. I should I should try and do this. Full dust. Links to everything will be in the description down below. Now let's get into some okay. videos of himself. Oh yeah, the absolute the the fucking tism. retardation. Phil. Okay. First of all, okay, I just told my wife what's going on. My wife, lol. I can just add you, whatever. Is YouTube going to be the permanent streaming channel now? Things are not looking good for Twitch at this point. You can blanket ban me over and over with zero evidence of any wrongdoing. This means my channel can be taken down easily. I'd hoped we were good after last time, but this one is even worse. Just wait until I give the details on this stream. Crying okay. to his wife about the bans. Being scared about getting sued. Wait, what? I wish I had a surplus. We have two spots open for regular emotes. Uh, I'd be happy to get tons more to choose from. Uh, as it is, people are being threatened by Superhound. Superhound retarded, by the way. Uh, it, it really is a shame that so many people are hindered by th this one guy. I wish there was something we could do once and for all. I do wonder the outcome had this guy just kept targeting detractors like in the beginning. I could have gotten sued and okay fucking pussy oh. I could have gotten sued oh my god what is this oh holy fuck he's like he's explaining himself about the champions line app bullshit and he's lying in the discord oh my god so FYI this new stupid hater meme is the dumbest yet Someone made an account on a chat app called Line with my name and the phone number that was docked six years ago, I guess. And they're now saying it's more proof that I play mobile games. Yeah, you need to verify the number. That's why the number works. That's why people ask you for your phone number so they can send you the code and verify it. Come on, DSP. This is some bullshit that I don't know who you're trying to fool with this. And then he keeps going to say... Uh, they're now saying it's more proof that I play mobile games. They haven't yet produced any evidence that it's me outside of the login and phone number. Phone number is verified. That's all they need. Me, it indicates he used it. And I haven't even explained how this proves anything outside of stuff 
Like, people who play mobile games use the Line app. Come on, BSP. The Line meme, ridiculous. I didn't know this was a fucking thing. Thing, but okay. Apparently, Anani Mouse is the one to blame for the Penne Points gambling autism, which has been a fun little bubble in and of itself. A badonkadonk ton of only iced coffee talk. Eternal Napalm is a rat. DSP shares emails. Very cool. You boys know it's even cooler. Mods turning on each other. Imagine that. Discord mods turning on each other. Phil is under the dumbass impression that Twitter impressions actually matter. DSP won't do the Sonic hat anymore because he thinks it makes him look like Chris Chan. No, Phil. But all this? Ah, it doesn't even fit. It doesn't fit. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? <laughs> Happy oh, Halloween. No. How's it going? Oh. Here I am. On Dino Island, I'm ready to eat some fruits. <laughs> I'm ready to play the some iconic, games. Uh, Are you guys ready? Yo, she's yes, soon. I'm here with my little my iconic pump. <laughs> but... Okay. Uh... Because I've been engulfed Halloween this year. The internet works. Everything is bought and paid for with other people's money. Dead brother guy also gets a name drop along with other characters on the dark side of the internet. Wait, what? Hold on. There's... The Too internet much. works. Everything is bought and paid for with other people's money. Dead brother. Okay, what? That's the fake dead brother guy. Wait, what? Are you legit? Man, Anonymous guy is like a, a legit fucking retard, man. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? On SOK, dude's like, what? The fuck is he talking about? Bro. Other guy also Ridiculous. gets a name drop along with other. Uh, this, this is not a lot. Do you really think that I would have granted bankruptcy if there were tens of thousands of dollars of inexplicable transactions on my financial statements? They're not Ill inexplicable, DSP. You lied about them. Like, this is the, the fucking lamest guy, man. You lied about them. They're not inexplicable. Characters on the... And it's like, that's the shit that people text him and actually believe the bullshit he says. Which is like the, the easiest fucking bullshit to call out. Dark side of the internet. And then people are talking about mimology, actively lies about me. Oh my god, this guy is such a fucking asshole. He's so stupid. But wait, there's more. Oh yeah. And, oh yeah, we're talking about wings. We're talking about wings. Here it is. Here it is. But wait, there's more. Okay, Jesus, the chat log. Good to see you, Infinite55. He's still in his chat right now talking about how he can play Rainbow because he gets no donations and is always team killed. Uh, what DSP says is so he plays games nobody cares about anymore and gets no donations. That sounds like a direct correlation. Try time to branch out or die. Not, not much else to it. That's what DSP said. And then Jesus hates games, plays them 10 years for a living. Then again, he's still huge, right? So he can't even get another job otherwise. Otherwise, I love what I do. Thank God. Super happy with how things have been this year. Wow, the sneak disser, man. The, the little pussy boy. Such a clown. And now what, what do we have about this? Rainbow, I get team killed. Anything else, I get 180 to 250 viewers and no donations. He's the kind of guy who plays every game on the hardest difficulty like he has something to prove. And then DSP says, why is he complaining about this? He's saying he no longer has an audience. That means it's time to move on from streaming. Wow. He's actually saying that he can only play Rainbow on stream to get donations, but he hates it because he gets team killed in the game. And I don't know what what DSP says here because it's just getting oh no no troll protection. That's what they said. The fallout from this was the usual DSP deflection tactics. Silly. 
All right, guys. Sorry for the derailment. Yeah, it's just like the cheapest deflection tactics. The cheapest fucking shit. This guy is so trash. Like, literally nothing happened. It was just stupid shit. Literally just nothing Just in a happened. nutshell. Uh, Anonymous Mouse basically is an idiot. And he basically... Basically, he's an idiot. Basically, he's trying to, to make conspir more conspiracy bullshit up. Uh, that has nothing to do with anything. Really? He's the, he's now basically demoted. He's gone. Uh, he's not going to be involved with the streams anymore. He's going to go out there and try to say negative shit about me. He's being a jerk. I don't know what else to say. It sucks because he was a nice guy, we, you know, who basically we all trust. Just a nice guy, all, though. I he mean, was wearing a diaper. My... Can, a, can a guy who wears a diaper just casually be a nice guy? I don't think so. The rest of my moderators, as well as you guys. I think the he, he's kind of sus. That's what I think. That was sus. Wow, that was quiet as fuck. So underwhelming. That was sus. Okay, fuck this. Works, right? We all trusted this guy to be a someone who we could trust with moderation and stuff like that. And, we all uh, trusted no. this guy to be Absolutely someone we not. Can he trust. basically just tried to flip it to try to get some kind of internet notoriety or something for himself. Yeah, when in reality, notoriety. he hasn't done anything. Like he he acts like he did some kind of a big negative thing. By yeah, it was kind of nothing, but moderators, which yeah, I've told you guys. I mean, the, the the thing is that that chat was cringe, and it exposed DSP to be exactly what I mean. Everybody knew he was already, but it was funny. Kind of the the wing shit was funny, and some of those other other messages they're kind of funny, but like a massive leak, it's not. It's really not. Guys, for the longest time, yes, me and my moderators talk behind the scenes about things like. Things going on on stream, people trying to get unbanned. Nothing inflammatory, nothing controversial at all. Seriously, nothing. It's a big nothing. So I'm looking at this. The, the thing is that now, basically, we're, we have to just basically set up a new way to communicate behind the scenes, aren't me and the moderation team. Okay, it's so you're going to make a new Discord. What We have to set up a new fucking method. It's like this dude is, is fighting in a war and somebody destroyed his infrastructure. No, you're going to make a new Discord server, DSP. You fucking idiot, why are you making it seem so complicated? It's all part of the tactic. He needs to make it seem a certain way. It has to be a certain way. We gave the information publicly of how we were talking behind the scenes and now we got people spamming shit. Um, which is really stupid. <laughs> it's really fucking stupid. You know what, boys? This was pretty fun. Can't wait to do this again when the next server leaks out. I, told, I already told you guys about this. I said this is not allowed. And every one of you just broke the, the rules. Another Everyone day, another the celebrity law. fucks up, and DSP's got to throw his two cents into the mix. This oh, time, what the happened Game Grumps now? did something oh, stupid. The game oh, boy, what you know those grumps. It? What did Aaron Hansen did do this something time? Racist? Oh, that's not good. How's douchebag Phil gonna glass house his way into this one? Uh, attention, content creators. Please stop fucking your fans. Oh, God, we went this angle, what? Phil. Oh. DSP, what? Oh boy, talk Bro. about glass houses. This is Phil's fucking glass mansion. Stop grooming, using them by getting your rocks off, by abusing your position of personal popularity for personal gain. Dirk, this is Twitter. This isn't fucking Taxi Driver. Be grateful you have them. <laughs> taxi They're Driver. People too. Now who's gonna take that statement seriously, Phil? Especially after the Discord leaks, you fucking idiot. Then we hey, gotta swing in the Uncle Ben reference. Because Phil's a lot like Still Doug picking. Walker. He can't do anything without it's cramming in like some Doug fucking Walker. stupid pop pop culture the moment if somebody ever compares you to doug walker you just fucking run and you check into like rehab or something the moment somebody says you have a lot in common with doug walker is the moment you should just like spam the the help uh sound effect yeah both panda and cat were fans both of them were fans reference I wonder what's happening in the other timelines. Hello, boys. It's Oslo. I talk about Doug Walker, so you don't fucking have to. And it looks like Donnie Dupre uploaded another fucking video. A review on the shitty Terminator movie. Oh, no. No, not that one. My name is Marcus Wright. No, not that one. And you're my father. That one. This episode brought to you by HelloFresh. Dog Walker is getting fucking sponsorship still delivered to your amazing. doorstep every week. Oh, what the fuck is that? That's terrifying. 
I don't like that at Why all. is Doug Walker bad? Because he is cringy and doesn't have talent. And he got the opportunity to do what he wanted to do with Demo Reel and his shitty um, kickstarted uh, quiz show. And they both miserably failed. And they are known as terrible pieces of internet culture. Um, we, I remember the bum from like 10 years here, okay? ago. This is the most pointless, soulless, desperate re-sequel boot to ever come out of this franchise. It won over a few critics. So it's like modern Doug Walker. All right, in we're, we're doing it, boys. We're making these jokes. Five million production budget. Not even memorable as a so bad it's good movie. It's just bad. Even the worst Terminator so it's like has suburban some nights. interesting. I can rely on the charm of Arnold. But all of that but is Arnold neutered like so genitalia from Terminator and Salvation. It's the one I hate the most. I want Arnold to do good see things. I want Arnold to do a bodybuilding movie. Right. This is Where he has to like help the Genesis. rookie bodybuilder be a badass. That'd be sick. Terminator fans were told the amount of people that died. Let me guess, three billion? Three billion people died. Goddamn Groundhog Day repeats less than this series. It's continuity. The they gotta keep the number. In this number future. His name also a good number. John three Connor. billion's a lot. Oh, good people care you. when three billion die. Look at the crimson chin on like this dude. Along with kind Holy of shit eyes, snacks. But... Jai Courtney tells John how awesome he is at not being evil. I want you to know, Kyle, if there was another way, I would have taken it. He just recaps the movie. Oh, and if you're not laughing, you're ass also, off. Yeah, I mean, uh, Doug Walker is, is like far better than DSP, obviously. Terminator really Terminator. close to the camera. He knows oh, some God. stuff, and he's gotten better throughout the years. Even though he's still delusional about his talent, because there isn't a lot, he's doing his thing, and it, it works, even though much less than it used to, but it works. We Pull back, like, two to three feet, Doug. We please. take back our world! Today! We celebrate our Independent Judgment Day! Take one movie, take so another movie, the opening put of it together. Actually isn't too bad. You know how that real, could actually work? Good. Hold on, we're pausing this stupid shit. You know how that joke could actually work? You take a movie like His Girl Friday, and the movie Friday. His Girl Friday. The girl could be Chris Tucker. Never mind. Okay, this is hard. Joke writing's hard. Leave me alone. The original Arnold is confronted by old Arnold, old Noel, as nobody says, and he gets. Oh, this is like that Ang Lee movie with Will Smith, Jenna, Jenna. I I don't know if if Doug Walker is necessarily a bad person. I don't really know him for being like this much of an asshole, even though some people complain about him in the the whole like drama that was going on up there, because there's so much fucking drama happening with this. There was a ton of people involved and shit. So, anyways. I don't know if he's a terrible ac asshole. Jimmy Man was like so Jimmy Man. Man. That's what it's called oh, now, too. Jimmy Man. I don't know particularly of stuff that he's done. Or a really lame callback. <clears throat> I mean, you did a really lame by callback. Sarah Connor, played this time by the Amelia fucking Clark. bum. Yeah, there's a reason Cameron cut that from the original. Glad you're trying to break. What's not broken? How do they explain? As he does an awkward smile. Okay, this was fun. Okay, we're back to Phil. Yeah, there's more. Nothing happening. Oh. Oh, this is an alternative time. Let's see what's the next Hello. Thing. Welcome to my Let's Play channel. Today we're oh. playing The Binding of Isaac Repentance. We will be playing as Isaac today. He is Fuck the only yeah. character I... Let's see what else. Now, the 2020 butthole cut I watched is Halloween 2020. Oh, this was with the boy. This the was with a boy. All right, let's go. And, and this video is two and a half hours long. So holy shit, this video can get me through the whole stream. I can even have a nap and let this video play. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. But and Ken Voy Martins. If you want to see your band, or maybe Salem's band. Salem, what are you doing? Nothing. You're in a chat room again pretending to be a woman, aren't you? I like the attention. Featuring the next shit post. Leave it in the comments down below. This is Halloween, 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 Halloween. It's actually not Halloween anymore. I missed Halloween by two weeks-ish. I didn't account for the editing, so it's really like a month. Sorry about that. Wait, it's always been fucking cringe. Always. Yeah. It's the dark side of the internet's favorite hey. shit, Lord Oslo. Hope everybody had a safe and happy Halloween. And before we see how the biggest loser on Twitch spent his Halloween, today is October 1st, 2020. 
And you know what that means? Go, 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 go. It's so trash. It means today is endless start trash of the month long Halloween festivities endless here on my streams. Trash. How very spook sighting. Every year for the month of October, I celebrate the spooky. The ooky. Does he also celebrate the snorty? <laughs> the wet snort. The Man, these there's some of these snorts that I'm never gonna get tired of. It's just like a random filthy snort. All those cool things that we do during Halloween, right? This whole month will be full of festive Halloween decor. Starting today, we made some changes to the stream. All right, I'm going to show you guys in a moment. So there's going to be some cool Halloween decorations on cam all month long. Wow. There Wetness, the robustness, flavorness. That's actually the second snore of the spoopy season, but who's keeping track? But anyway. Yes, Halloween decor all month long. Okay, by the way, a special. Okay. In addition, the overlay is going to change to orange. I'm going to eat another banana. Color. We always do that. Orange you have to see me try Halloween it, though. And I'm just going to try it. Okay, new banana. Halloween animations. I say new, but they're the same ones. <laughs> the same ones we've used for years. Banana. So they're not going new, Phil. Well, they're seasonal. So, mm. ladies and gentlemen, before we get started Roll with anything buff. serious, I would like to show you my Halloween decor for this year. <clears throat> okay, I don't know if the lighting is good right now. If not, we can increase it. But anyway, let me show you what we got. You guys ready? All right. Here we are. <laughs> well, well, this is not centered. It doesn't matter, though. Uh, the Halloween decor for 2020. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of stuff behind me. I will agree. There is a lot of shit behind Phil. Does it look like a lot of familiar stuff and things you can buy at Party City for a couple bucks? Yeah, but low effort's better than nothing. Um, A lot of stuff. Okay, very different because I have more room this year than ever before. Okay, this didn't pop up. Big ups uh, for super chat. We, I was on uh, we, we're still I blaming the love scene for a fucking screen, problem, dude. Right now, when you're even when I open a new room, tab, it, right? it completely lagged my, my whole shit. I don't know why. I was planning right. on doing a lot year, more things, but I was really limited and constrained by this bullshit. So going through it, we've got the return of some familiar friends up here. We got Potion, the Halloween cat. Okay. We got Bone Meal the Skeleton, who's actually, he's waving, and he's ready to give a high five when something awesome happens in a game, okay? We've got the Nameless Ghost over here. You may not recognize this guy, but he may look familiar. It's actually hard to see now that I'm actually looking at it, all right? So this is a Flameless Skull Candle. And you may say, but wait a minute, that looks familiar, but that's not exactly what we were expecting. You're right. Last year, I had a flameless skull candle that was black. <clears throat> and if you remember, my parents had gifted it to me uh, and said, here, here's some Halloween decorations. Maybe you could use it on your streams or whatever. So I didn't. You guys really liked having that skull in the background all last year. But if you remember, it was on my love seat and we had all kinds of problems with the skull topping over on the love seat and everything um, <laughs> constantly. Remember sometimes I would play and it would roll onto me and stuff, which was pretty funny. Um, so I told my parents all last year about that. And they were like, wow, you really like that skull candle, huh? So they bought me another one. So you had a gay old time with the first skull candle. So mommy and daddy Bernalio gave you another one. Amazing. Bernalio. Amazing. 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 This time they bought me a white skull candle. So I said, what the hell? I'll put the white one on stream this year. So there it is. <clears throat> now that when I'm looking now, I'm, re I'm realizing you can't really see the flames in the eyes. It just kind of glows. <laughs> It just kind of glows. Um, and I don't think there's much I could do about that. I gotta put down Bone Meal's uh, foot here. There's not much I could really do about that. I didn't know that it would look like that on camera. Because the goober who does this for a fucking job doesn't test his own setup. Big ups, retard. But when I turned it on. Um, but anyway, yeah, I know. It looks, it looks like a giant egg. Yeah, because the way it lights up, I guess the camera catches the light in a certain way. And it can't discern the flames from the skull. But anyway, there it is. And then we've got... A snake on top of the skull. It's funny the snake oh is Oh my rubber. god, this is amazing. It's full of bro. sand. It's kind of weird when you just crush it. Okay, Should... let's skip through this. Restream. What is gonna happen in this restream? Something gonna happen? Happy Halloween, everyone. I hope everyone is in a good mood and I hope everyone is, is in for some silly festive fun today. 
really festive one. Wow, this is coming up. Today's going to oh, wait, was this the, the, the Colonel Sanders one? Of silliness. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh I'm yeah, it was, I boy. you to my Halloween 2020 spooktacular. Well, kill me! Do it! Kill me! Kill me! Today, we're going to be playing a variety of games, including some horror-themed games and some not horror-themed games, but some good fun stuff that's all pretty much in line with uh, the Halloween festivities here. Okay? Pretty good stuff. Um, I'm excited for today. Also, today I will be in costume. And I, in reality, I'm not in costume yet. It's funny because some people are like, oh, the pre-stream, the art doesn't fit the camera perfectly so we can see you through the side of the pre-stream and we've seen oh, your costume. No, I'm not Phil, even in costume no. yet. I can't even see you. It <laughs> so what are you talking fit. about? I'm not even in a costume yet. Um, Bro, this one, before... when, when the camera was off for the pre-stream, this was like the laziest he's ever been because all he had to do is just sit there and fuck around. He could have been on his phone like 90% of the time for all I know. Because he always sounds distracted and always leaning left, right. Where you boys ask, I was dressed forwards. up for Halloween. I was a disappointment Badness. to my parents, obviously. Moving on. Man, whew. it's going to be a fun day. Let me tell you, it's going to be a fun day. With the variety what of disappointment to my parents. Well, Alive my parents gonna to love me regardless Holy of making shit, stupid videos on the internet. Original concept. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dark Side Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good edit. Oh doing. my god, this is a Alive good fucking DSP edit. Tries it today. Holy shit, what an original concept. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dark Side Phil. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice cut. Cut to devouring. We've never done a live fucking DSP tries it for an event. Welcome to a new episode of DSP tries but it. This is more a than a tries celebration. It. The best of all celebration. I hate the, the gimmicks. Fuck this is gonna be good stuff. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited for a fun. No, day. I like gimmicks. I don't know about but you boys, this but I'm excited suck. for a spooktacular trash fire fueled by a man's laziness, ego, and just the need to be the fucking worst. The first game we're playing today is the Dark Pictures Anthology Little Hope. Yesterday we played this for about three and a half hours. I really like the game, okay? And we are not at the end of it yet. You know, from what I'm estimating, we're probably about maybe two thirds through it. So we've probably got about another one to two hours of Little Hope um, on the stream to finish up. So we're actually gonna finish up a horror game right here on the Halloween Marathon, which is really cool, okay? Gosh, Hopefully this asshole is going to be done by the time I reach 12 done, hours. Because then, then after 12 over. hours, YouTube's not going to save the stream. So if I stream for to a new game. 13 hours, YouTube's not going to save the last one or some, some shit like that. Now, they're fucking ass. The new games that I would like to play next would either be Team Fortress 2, but it's not really Team Fortress 2, it's Scream Fortress 2. Oh, is did, did he end up playing Phil? this? Really trying to pass Scream Fortress off as a new thing when it's been around for over a decade plus? Because they have Halloween festivities going on in the game. Um, And by the way, I will tell you a little bit later on in this pre-stream about my horror myself, my own horror story, trying to get my PC working and running Team Fortress 2. Oh my god, the okay. horror Here's the story. Plot twist, boys. Dave is a fucking idiot. Can't yep. even optimize, let alone update his PC to save his goddamn life. Because running a game from 2007 is so just... Optimize. He can't even optimize his life. He can't optimize anything about his life. And ironically, this is what his job used to be. This is the irony. He's like layers and layers of irony. And at the core is just like nothing. Fucking hard. It's just gout. Hard for Phil. Um, <clears throat> just uric acid. He's made out of piss. So entirely. Yes, that'll be either Team Fortress Two next or Five Nights. What is he doing? He's giving shout outs or something? Let's just uh, give like a quick, quick flash to reality. Someone's reality. Hey, buddy, another day on the sphere. Thank you very much, DC. Okay, basically nothing. Oh, it was a haiku. Okay, it's it's a haiku. Okay. Fear. You buddy. Who did he? Isn't it? Okay, it's a haiku. Let's let's take a look. Let's go back. To hey, the, the sex box sure back. Get out of here. Get out. Get. Get. DC made a haiku, did he? Big ups for the ban. Uh, just scam. God, DC it's Godric. Okay. Happy birthday, haiku. Happy birthday, Phil. Hope your birthday is very good. Good for you, buddy. Duh. 
Wow, this is Good straight up I dumb at this line. point. I... Happy birthday, Phil. It's your birthday. Good for you, buddy. Wow. To Freddy's sister location. All right, the I think it's pretty much is that the latest. And this five dude nights played Freddy's Five game? Nights at Freddy's. Would it well. kill the guy who does this for a living to do just a yeah. little bit of fucking research? He doesn't need to be a fucking expert. Just a little bit of research. Do a little internet studying. See what you can find out about the game before you play it. And it's it's obviously it was on console. That's why you know I was like, okay, good. I can get this and <laughs> not to fuck around with the people see even more okay because everybody knows fucking with your outdated pc is the scariest part of halloween then i have a special surprise planned for you guys okay a special surprise wow. Whoa, nobody gives a shit what was the special the surprise special though surprise. i it's forgot there's a special surprise i have planned for you guys and don't I look forgot. at me to fucking ruin the surprise for you boys. That would ruin the magic, even though most of you already fucking know. And then to, to end what today's is it though? I Halloween forgot. marathon. I, I watched so much DSP today, man. Through all of these eras in a bizarre variety of terrible clips. I'm going to start Dino Iconic Crisis. Clips. Now, this is a game that I played, if I remember correctly. Oh, I remember. I watched Tevin's stream of this. He, this asshole was playing Dino fucking Crisis, man. Was so boring. Was so boring. Wow, this is been... Okay, Audrey. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Oh, the dead Dino Crisis. Crisis. Gaming okay. pro tip. Always have some kind of nice cleaner. Oh, what's this? Whoa, look at this. They Whoa. came out of nowhere. You're extinct. Make your choice. Is that Wesker? It looks like the same intro from freaking Resident Evil. It does. It's the intro for Resident Evil 1. So this happened during the, the big rage, all the rage of the Jurassic Park craze. Okay, wait, wait so- This game's probably so popular. Oh boy. This is from 2016. Yeah, this from 2016. If you wear the, the Deadpool outfit. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Okay. The Omen King is the main boss of the capital? Oh, that. Oh, and he's, he's, uh, he's looking around for a hand Ah, saved by friend. the door. Ha ha ha. I had done a variety Halloween stream, and you guys had asked for Dino Crisis, and I played, I think I only played it for about an hour, okay? And then I just never played it again. But since then, people actually have been asking year after year for Dino Crisis. Now, the thing is, the playthrough's so old, like I played it 40 some years ago, and I only played it for like an hour. I think we're just gonna start over, okay? And just kinda do a, maybe a two hour chunk of Dino Crisis at the end of this marathon stream, basically until I get tired. So we're gonna end your cute little marathon by rehashing half a decade old content. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, and then uh, and that'll be the end of the stream. Now for the I second mean, half. Just just look at today's stream. This is like the weirdest lineup of games. He started with Ghostwire Tokyo, where he was at the end of the game. He finished the game. Then he was reading books in Skyrim for like an hour. Then he ate food live on camera. And now he's playing Elden Ring, and then he's playing Kirby after this, and then he's eating cake. Oh, the Halloween stream. Oh so yeah, great pacing. Jasper great pacing. will be allowed. He's already back to his normal amount of viewers. About to enter the office. And right it's, now the not... birthday festivities have kind of dried up. It's like five hundred seventy dollars. Come on, you guys. Because Cat step home. up. But later on, Cat's going to work later tonight. So when she goes to work. I'll open up the office door. He's terrible uh, at just like making a, a good lineup for his stream. And booming voice throughout the house won't bother. And pacing oh. out your stream. And, uh, and then Gaffer so will be able to join us for the second half of the stream. So if you guys want to see him later today, he'll be here. Okay. Oh, wowzers. We get to see the only likable thing in the Burnell household. Now, a few things. Okay. First of all, in regards to things like, oh, what about reward tiers? Uh... For, for tips what are they? Will you still be putting on the vest? Will you be putting on the gunner glasses? Well, let's just wait. Let just let me put it this way. I'm not going to spoil because obviously there's been no reveal of anything yet, but you will have your answers. All right. Once I put on my costume <laughs> to what will be possible and will not be possible. You'll have your answers. All right. So because people, people have been asking, oh, we'll fill up a special Halloween vest. <laughs> And we'll, we'll Phil have this, we'll Phil have that. All right, you'll have your answers later. Okay, I'm not gonna spoil Colonel anything. Sanders, that's, but... the, that's the actual <laughs> spoiler. Um, you'll see, okay? Um, 
And then I don't think that we'll have to really be talking about it much longer after that. It'll just be, okay, I get it. Okay? Um, I can't really answer the questions until you see the costume. You know what I mean? So, I don't want to spoil it. Then why don't you cut the pre-stream short and play Halloween now? Moral of the story, stop wasting your audience's fucking we time. We can't. We need to waste their time. <clears throat> he just revels in the attention, man. Like, when he's getting eyes on him, it's just like, he can't help himself but talking. Because the more he talks, the more attention he gets exclusively on himself. No game, no nothing. And he th thrives on this. I think you guys will be uh, pleased. I hope. Last few years, you guys have seemed to like the costume. Remember, last year I was Yoshi. Remember? Oh! Who liked Happy this? Halloween, Everybody made everyone. fun of this. What being the bad. fuck is that? Here I am. On oh, you guys Dino like the Island. Concept. I'm ready to eat some fruits. <laughs> I'm ready to play some games. Are you guys ready? Yes, I'm here with my little, my little hump. The <laughs> <laughs> little hump. And I am yeah, here yeah, to play yeah, spooky yeah, theme yeah. Game games with it's all of you all day time. long. I hope that you're yeah. very excited. I can't really see you too well all over my Getting nose. Many industrial amounts of gold left. <laughs> <laughs> and the year before that, I was Bob Ross. Man, Bob Ross, Bob Ross, this Tevin stream is immortal. This the Bob Ross Tevin stream. When Cat left, and then the, the second half of that stream was Tevin's fault. This was iconic piece of internet content. Yes! Iconic. Hello, my children, and welcome to my Halloween stream for 2018. Many unbearable hours later. Um, it's Actually, later on in the stream, for like maybe when he starts playing the next game we can do an interactive segment where we're gonna make a playlist of the most iconic detractor videos and we're gonna see who's gonna make it to like the the, the big ones we know the emergency room one from crimson king is gonna be there the one of the tevin streams on on the sok is gonna be there all of that shit that is iconic the secret limited video one of them is gonna be there and and stuff like that i'm gonna look at chat and we're gonna decide together who goes in that playlist because today like watching so much of this we we should know what is good fault um and you guys really seem to like those costumes here before that i was Ezio. see that because that looks like him in a pose i am Ezio auditore ladies and gentlemen yes uh this was at least this looks sort of like he spent some money on it so the last three years, I've had very elaborate costumes. And you guys really have seemed to like the fact that I, I did elaborate costumes. Because there was one year, a few years ago, I did like Deadpool and I went El Cheapo. El Cheapo Whoa. Deadpool. I think I just figured something out. <laughs> Polish Ezio. What? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> yeah, me. It really sucks. <laughs> me. This sucks more than anything that has ever sucked before. And you guys are like, wow, that's terrible. I hate this costume. And then one year I was a Did they also snort? I'm an adult virgin. And oh, yeah. The, the Ghostbuster one was kind of the most elaborate one. And it was fleshed out and kind of looked okay. It was a thing that I, that I would expect the streamer to wear. Cool, except really you couldn't show the props. Like the... the, 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 the I'm not the, muted. No, I'm not muted, what right? What do you call it? The uh, proton pack? This. Come on, Boomer Dave. You fucking got this one. You couldn't really show it on the stream because, you know, you can't wear it and sit down the and Boomer play Dave. Games, bulky, you know? Um, so I had it, but it was really like kind of off screen. All you saw was me kind of in a jumpsuit and it wasn't very special. Also that year was kind of disappointing because we had determined that you guys wanted me to play the new Fatal Frame game that had been released on the Wii U. And after playing it for like an hour, people were like bored. All right, hello everybody. Welcome, it is October yet again. We are mere weeks away. Actually, it's only about, what, 11, 12 days away from the night when children dress up like hideous creatures, go into the streets, and steal candy from adults who, you know, are struggling. They're working hard jobs, multiple jobs, most of them, this horrible economy. And they're expected to go out and just, just buy candy to give away to these, these, these spoiled brats who dress up like ghosts and goblins. It's absolutely ridiculous, this whole practice we call Halloween. And I was like, well, damn, this is what I plan to do all day. That's why we do a variety of games now, by the way. It was that year, many years ago, by the way. It was like five plus years ago. 
it was that year that we determined, damn, we just got to do variety of stuff from now on because if I don't do a variety of stuff, people will get bored with the marathon. When we do play Scream Fortress 2, it's going to be a little annoying because I have to move all my equipment over to the PC. Pussy with a cup of the vagina. Including the webcam, the microphone, and everything. So it's oh, yeah, moving to the PC was so annoying. Those about. streams when oh he used God, to stream on the PC the and um, on, the, on, on a console, that's the most annoying stream. It's just, you know, a pain in the ass to move shit over and then move it back. Hey, yo, Philbert, I got a half decent idea for you. Why not have a minimum skeleton setup at the PC? So All right, this is getting a derailment. Uh, somebody in his actually sent him a super chat to watch the banana song video and relearn it. And he's probably not going to acknowledge him. To but, sell uh, allies. Yeah. It gradually restores a large And this dude is called Squeeze PC. Banana. Watch the banana song video and relearn it, please. No, he's not going to do that. Come on. I'm shitting on him right now. It's not gonna watch my fucking video. Stop asking a stupid question. Instead of moving over all your shit, you just turn things on there. Could save you the headache and you and your audience's time. Just saying. After today, the Halloween stuff gets retired. All right. So there's two Halloween emotes there's that everyone's been there. using this month. Um, those Halloween emotes will be retired uh, overnight. But tomorrow we will have a new emo to celebrate the month of November, and it's very pertinent to the stuff that I'm going to be doing in November. I'm not going to spoil. Oh! But I'm sitting on this. I don't think we have enough. Oh, oh fuck! Can you tell I'm a little beat? I've been streaming all day. This is honestly why I'm very oh, happy. Oh really, DSP? Kirby. <laughs> I can't be ending with Elden You've Ring today. Been streaming all day, huh? I need eighty thousand. Uh, there's no way I'm going to have enough. I'm gonna pop Come all on, these. Read and that, I'm gonna be like, read that I super chat. Myself. I don't have enough. Tell him you're not gonna do it, so he can get over it. New emo for a bit. I reckon it's probably got something to do with the next gen consoles, because that's all Phil can think about nowadays. That and chargebacks. Side note: We'll talk about the chargeback saga once it's fucking over. Every time I sit down to do a shit post about it, new interesting stuff happens. So we'll see how that saga of the anime pans out when it's all fucking over. It's actually a pretty sweet emote that someone made. I'm not going to spoil. Pretty sweet emote someone made to kind of celebrate all the fun stuff we're going to be doing in November. And I'm going to be adding that as of tomorrow. And everything else is getting goddamn old yellered. Very exciting stuff. In addition, as of tomorrow, I'm going to set up new subscriber goals for the month of November. The subscriber goal will be based on the With reward the of a Christmas marathon. Right. Bitch, Wait, we're not did, even... Did he talk about the banana song? He said he doesn't want it? No? All right. No. It looks like this is the buff, Steve. Quit. Right? Okay. I need 80,000. I don't think we have enough. Happy Randy no. Kirby. Didn't say you shit. You know what's I funny? Think. We haven't figured this out yet. The Divine As Bridge. I'm going to set up new subscriber goals for the month of November. The subscriber goal will be based on the reward of a Christmas marathon. Bitch, we're not even through Thanksgiving yet. Don't you dare fucking sleep on Thanksgiving. I'm sorry to break it to you, me from the past, but we're long past Thanksgiving already. In the holiday tier list, Thanksgiving, pretty high up there. Where I dress up in multiple Christmas attires, right? Like a silly, silly Christmas sweaters and the like. I'll be drinking during the day. I always do this during the Christmas. Oh, I'll event. be drinking. This is so high. Like Last that. Christmas, he drank. He yeah, fell asleep. Yeah, the whole drinking on stream thing never goes well for you. Um, so I apologize. I certainly <laughs> yeah, didn't. this. Uh, <laughs> this was so sad. I'm sorry. I was drinking. Everything made me so much more depressed. Drink the entire stream. Um, oh no. Honestly, I'll be honest with you guys. Like, with the stuff that's been going on in my life recently and everything, I don't think I should be drinking on stream. Um, it, it, you know, I, I actually started to feel down on myself and stuff while I was drinking. I was like, man, this is not a good idea. Um, and be playing a variety of games. Hopefully some, some maybe Christmas themed stuff. If not, the good news here, all right, is that in the next month. I mean, of course he's not going to listen to the banana song. It's by Lil Piggy. You think he's going to open a Lil Piggy song on his stream? It's never going to happen. We've got such a variety of games coming out. Some dude just sent him money to, to tell him that. This is R. Some of those games would be prime games Aww. to play during the Christmas event. Like, I'm saying Call of Duty. Call of Duty alone is going to have Warzone. 
Fucking war zone springs. Man, they are so bad. I hate them with like a passion. Well, nothing I could do. <laughs> nothing I could, nothing I could do. do there. Oh, yeah, no, gas mask too. Yeah. Bastard had a gas mask. Leave game, yes. Oh. All right. Well, that is it for that piece of shit. I'm yeah, sorry that I really downloaded Warzone. it, honestly, because it really wasn't a very good Battle Royale, which is the Battle Royale, <laughs> multiplayer, and zombies. <laughs> this was the last time he played it before this. And, uh, man, I'm going to play Warzone. It's so fun. Just Call of Duty alone could add, like, three different things I could do during the game. Yeah, Warzone. I could do so know, much. Man, that's three things you can bitch about and pull random excuses out of your ass. I can't wait. And it's actually seen by the way he's gonna play a boss uh you guys want to watch him play the boss here the beta at being least more god and the beta were both pretty entertaining right whoa 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 pump the brakes there big guy i know it's right. raven so all right let's uh, let's see him fight the boss real quick just real quick is he gonna die a million times is the actual question or he probably saw somebody fight him like of course it's dsp he saw a bunch of people Oh, he already got him halfway yeah. killed. Okay, yeah, he got him destroyed. It's, uh, it's literally a one-shot. <laughs> absolutely violated him. Oh no, now he gets to his final phase or something. And killed, that's it. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. On the again. first try, what a gamer moment. On the first try, on the birthday. This is how you do play video games. And stream them. And accidentally masturbate on stream. 100,000 runes. Bleh. Awesome. Destruction. Now we get to go back and watch the actual fun video and not look at DSP gameplay. Where a Treyarch running this Call of Duty train. Let's just wait though. till post launch and see if Activision pulls any funny shit. Besides making the games fucking huge. Seriously, go fuck yourself, Activision. But of course, there'll be other stuff as well. Like what? Day drinking while playing Call of Duty. So, that's gonna be what we're gonna be working towards. I'm uh, I'm doing well. Yeah, right? it's been a long stream, but it's fun. And uh, the the Halloween decorations will not be behind me. Those are gonna go away. Yeah, the Halloween decorations are gonna get sent to the fucking shadow realm. <laughs> By the way, no, let's go back on live. Let's go back live. I love this face. He's giving me all of this face right now. The, 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 this face is so good. This face, it's all over the place. Madara's Gotch has never seen such captivating gameplay. The game. Look at this, this smug face. This is how he was for like 15 seconds straight. His nose completely drops to his chin. <laughs> I love DSP, man. I love this. Look at this. It's just a dude sitting there playing, playing fucking Elden Ring. Big 40 behind him with a, the worst hat in a football jersey thing. I love Elden. Or is it a baseball jersey? It's a jersey. It's a thing. Shall be met. Uh, yeah, it's almost 4 a.m. here. Uh, that's all right. I'm gonna sleep tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Medora's got. Anyway, I guess he's not talking anymore. That's his I body. guess we destroyed him. That's his body. <laughs> All right, let's focus on the actual stuff. Um, until next. We're talking meeting. about Halloween 2020. This is the actual video that we're on. Um, but after Thanksgiving, directly after Thanksgiving, which is the end of the third week of November. I'll be setting up for Christmas. Damn, Filbert's caught the holiday greed super early this year. And then the I holiday greed. All Christmas decorations. I'm going to be using the same kind of setup I used for Halloween. In the biggest uh, aqua teal. So you're going to What's have up? you know stuff all around me, behind me, for Christmas this year, which will be pretty festive and nice. I'm excited for it. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. I really hope that Cookie the you Christmas destroyed dog that boss comes back. First time. So, good stuff. Uh, I prefer today nice. if you could tip me. <laughs> If you could tip me today, that would help me more than anything else. It really would. And wait, wait, goes. he's complaining about it now. People call, calling him out that he's over-leveled. Now, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. People in chat are saying that tower. my playthrough is invalid. Of West Altis. What the Hold fuck on, is shut up. People are calling him out. They're saying, DSP, this is not broken. You're over leveled. We had a piece of the Elden Ring. Because it's not. It's not. Effect. I have to go. And then two more to kill. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, Hilarious. I guess he's dead because he's not talking anymore. That's. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's it. But he, he was getting called out anyway. Uh, yeah. I was desperate side Phil coming on just a little too strong and I would appreciate anyone who does tip me today um, and can help me out in that regard now when we switch games today there may be more breaks than usual because usually I only, I'm only playing one game per stream today I'm going to be playing five games per, uh, per this stream plus a DSP tries it you know it's really brave of you Phil to do all that work because that's a lot Playing video games and eating fast food pretty fucking brave of you, dude So understand there may be some breaks in there um You know in particularly when it comes time for DSP tries it I have to go out of my house and go buy the stuff for it You know man DSP is sitting forever bitch on the struggle bus Um, and by the way that has to be before my wife goes to work My wife is going to work around. I think she has to go to work at 6 today so uh, it's fine because I'll be hungry way before there. I'll probably be hungry. Usually I eat dinner between four and five p.m. So I'm sure I'll be hungry around then. I'll probably bro, be dead. so we're gonna have to take. Bro, his chat is violating him because he's like massively over leveled apparently. Because I don't play this game. Eventually I will, but I don't play it at the moment. Uh, he's level 114, I guess, and now everybody is complaining. DSP, why are you over over leveled? You gonna mention it? A tree. DSP, this playthrough is now invalid. On his birthday. Are impenetrable. Uh, Stop destroying him. Tree. On his birthday, that's not Burns fair. That he's not gonna mention anything because of DSP. Oh, but he's sniping them in chat. He's looking at him right now. The Elden Lord is to pass the he's looking at him right now. Okay. Look at this. Lean in manual. Serves Check chat. In that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of Rome, in the valid play far above the clouds, come on delete them right now upon the snowy mountain why not of the giant come on it's your birthday uh, that's the excuse I can set there's the more lots more Bleh. and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord Look, sniping Chad, what are they saying? You're He's right. not over level. Back from Purgatory says, that's crazy. Phil didn't have to dodge a single attack at the boss. You notice what happened? I missed most of it. I jumped around it. I just jumped around. Oh, this is the guy you read? Face. I completely destroyed This him. is the guy you read, but not all the people saying you're over leveled. And your playthrough is the invalid, made which the is map. the funniest shit for me. I don't give a shit about his playthrough or being valid or invalid. But the fact that these people are sitting in his chat calling him out like this is real funny. Break. Is this the only guy that this happens to? This is the only guy. For me to go get the food. And maybe like wings. For DSP tries it around that. And now we're, we go back to so the, the DSP thing. DSP tries it and then we can continue on the with the marathon. Halloween okay. 2020. That's what's playing right now. Pretty exciting. All right. It's not really all that exciting, but uh, whatever you say, bud. Um. So the only other thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, every once in a while people ask me, Phil, why don't you play games on PC? <laughs> Because the platform genuinely scares you, that or you refuse to learn anything new. Or maintain slash take care of your shit. Take your pick on why Phil doesn't play PC games. Phil, I don't understand. You have a PC. PCs are great for gaming. Why don't you play games on your PC? Yeah, why not? Because oh, man. can't set it up. Let me tell you. <laughs> I, I put, don't play games on PC because... I hate PC. I'm just completely biased against PC for some odd reason. I hate it. I hate people who play games on PC. I am just a very biased, <laughs> idiotic individual, right? Yes, you are. There's no legitimately good reason why I would ever be against playing games on PC. Ever. <laughs> All right. So here's the truth of the matter. I used to actually be heavily in the PC. And here we go again, boys. Grandpa no, side that's Phil not giving true. us another that's flexing not... story from the good old that's days. That's not true. All right. In the 2000s, I used to build custom PCs for myself. No, you did Buy all the components online. No. Motherboards, RAM, graphics RAM, card, processor. Dedicated RAM. All that shit. And I would build them myself. 
I built probably four different PCs no, you're that were a liar. pretty high-end PCs over the course of the You're a liar, Phil. I don't believe you. I used to network the PCs in my parents' home. Why the hell did you put Mommy and Daddy Bernelio through that nerd shit? They already got to put up with their son being a massive disappointment. And, and here they you were, were getting divorced at the time. Land park. They were getting, like, pseudo-divorce. I guess. Parties. Why did the video stop? Okay. And I used to have my friends come over, and we would play games like, uh um unreal tournament one and two over a network we would jump online together and play in the same party together all right what no fucking quake <laughs> yeah, he's the original alien where he's a fucking alien super fun i enjoy and he runs on the unreal engine because he's fucking unreal as a hobby and as a or the cry engine way to gain and now he you cry and moan every time you have to use it for content feels bad man back then okay but Admittedly, it was expensive because if you wanted the high-end components, the best stuff, it was pretty pricey. And it was risky because whenever you build a PC, there's high potential for something to not work right, to go wrong. There's a lot of troubleshooting involved. And to a good majority of people, that's part of the fun. Essentially, the reason that I don't like PC gaming in the modern era is because, because I'm a content creator. Too much that's uh, pretty fucking stupid, but I'll let you that, explain. That is pretty the stupid. The tis floor is yours. If I were just doing this for myself and I were just playing games for myself, I probably wouldn't care if every once in a while I go to boot up my PC and a game doesn't work properly yeah, but on it. Big ups, uh, PC guys that like this so I'm gonna troubleshoot now. But the thing is, I'm a content creator. I'm gonna be here and for a while. And a pretty shit fantastic so, yeah. one at that. It is what it is. But please continue. All right. Every day I turn on a stream for you guys, a worldwide audience of hundreds. A world hundreds. Sometimes. An audience sometimes of hundreds. Less. I thought right? it was thousands of children. Eighty well, percent of the time, we're in the low hundreds. Unless there's a pretty exciting saga in the anime going down, or if a pretty hyped game is being played, those are the only two reasons why Phil really ever breaks a thousand. But typically, yeah, <clears throat> I need it is it is like to that have something that's consistent. It's how life works. AKA retard proof, and that actually works, right? Every day when I turn on my console, I'd say ninety-eight times out of a hundred, because there uh, is not that really very small percentile of failure rate. But ninety-eight times out of a hundred. My console works so, so i can play a game on my ps4 my xbox one hell to this day i can today we'll be playing a game on ps3 and that shit still works and that stuff's old as hell and it still works right that says something for the consistency of a game console and again not to say the game consoles don't have issues my god the xbox 360 was a a perfect case for how game consoles can be just as frustrating if not more frustrating than a pc because if your xbox 360 red reigns you're fucked you can't just open it up and replace a component you're fucked that console is shot you have to either send it in for professional repair or buy a new one right so the point i'm making here is it's all about consistency and when I game on a console, I usually get consistency. I can boot up my console and trust that every day my equipment will work. And albeit outside of a few caveats here or there where there is an issue. And uh, I can't beer, I drank about on. half a liter, not a lot. Quickly. Not I can lot. stream every day. I don't want to no get problem, too crazy, right? guys. Oakley Doakley, boys. Moral it's of the story. Get not only is DSP too thick for skinny jeans, he's also too thick to work a PC. Fair enough, right? By the way, I see a lot of people are contributing today. I am going to give shout outs. Don't worry. We're going to have a nice big shout out segment here. I appreciate all you guys nice contributing to the Halloween segment. event. Thank you for that. Today's shout out segment was massive because he was like, it was like he dropped the tips on the floor and he was picking them up. It's like, is this your 20? Is this your 50? So anyway, the reason I'm bringing all this up, first of all, my but of course, today it's his birthday. What is happening? We're done with Elden Ring. I'll be back tomorrow. It's I mean, think about what you want me to do starting tomorrow. Fair enough. Yeah, Good segment go of the, show, the, the marathon for sure. Be great. We made great progress, which I knew we would. That was pleasing, and I hope that you guys enjoy. Thanks. Awesome. Okay. Now. All right, guys. Uh, let's take about a five-minute break. Five-minute break. Right. Get out and of here. And then we're going to play Kirby. I can actually shut this down now. We're going to play Kirby after this break. I just want to see and how my wife's doing. She came back. home Fuck right that. about the time when I was starting up with Elden Ring, and I'm curious if she liked the food and everything. I don't know if she did. Um, And then we're going to have about an hour of Kirby. And then at the end of the hour of Kirby, we're going to have cake, and that's the end of the stream. So awesome. we still have hour about another Kirby. hour of gameplay, and then okay, we have Okay, an hour is not that bad. This just keeps going. All right. We're not even done. Thank you all. We're not even take done. A brief break. The I'll cake eating Kirby. segment is going to take, cake. like, Thanks. 30 minutes. So I'll be here about 6 a.m., which is fine. Just watch some more videos like this, like the one we 
for watching anyways let the souls out. out nope not this uh, i think i found nope. a problem there not Philbert. The my pc out. i bought i want to say it was in 2015 but the more i think about it i actually think i bought this pc in the late summer of 2014 because if i remember correctly when i moved here i tried using my existing pc <clears throat> and it was working for the capturing and streaming i wanted to do but then all of a sudden it had issues where it wasn't turning on properly anymore and i knew when you have issues like that i was like that's bad i need to do something quickly and drastically because i can't not have a pc that won't turn on you know i gotta do something so at that point i got a pre-built pc and of course everyone made fun of me hey man there's nothing wrong with a pre-built pc i got my pc pre-built it can play games decently and edit all this fucking cringe. Moral of the story, pre-builds aren't such a bad thing. Even though I went by all the guidelines that all my viewers and fans were telling me to use to buy a pre-built PC, I bought exactly the specs that I was told to get. I was it told up, again. It, it's everybody else's responsibility, and this is why he's such an entitled bitch, because everything is everybody else's responsibility. This dude can't even buy a PC and be responsible for his purchase. It's some dude in chat that told him what to get saying that i bought a lemon i, I did you, you were saying that i bought a lemon i did nothing wrong nothing wrong i did everything, I did everything correct, correct which is hilarious because this is what everyone does they it's just hilarious fucking, you know po prod and poke at me and make fun of me instead of actually you know of course actually be you know kind of along for the ride with me that is being part of the ride, ride you fucking dumbass ride is bumpy um, as fuck the pc is great by the way and the reason i say that is it's been running consistently at this point now for about six plus years yikes and outside of maybe one or two glitches here along the way, it's consistently worked. I've played some games on it, not a lot, but I've played some games on it every once in a while. You know, a Halloween event, people want to see a horror game on PC or something, and we do it, and it works, okay? You can't really complain about it, but the moment the littlest thing goes wrong, you're going to start bitching until the cows come home. So I can't really complain, it's just that the problem that I, I can't I really, really I can't really complain, but I'm going to start complaining is on one PC. I don't have a dual PC setup. I, do most PC? people have dual why PC do you need setups? A dual I'm not a PC fucking setup. expert. I just got the one. Then again, I don't see why you need to. You then again, I'm also not the PCs. sharpest katana in the weave shop. I've never been able to afford a high end dual PC. I've never been. Yo, get the fuck out of here. Setup. I've never been a f be able to afford a bunch of shitty statues. Which costs more than dual PC setup. I mean, just keep begging, amigo. Anything's possible on the dark side of the internet. So because of that, I can't capture and, and stream from one PC and play play the, uh, the the game on the other. You know what I mean? Like having one PC bear the load of the game, and the other PC bear the load of the capturing and streaming. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. So why am I talking about all of this? Because you have nothing better to talk about on your daily video diary. Because. I wanted to play, well, you guys nominated Scream Fortress 2. All right, Scream Fortress. Yeah, the Raspberry doesn't count Fortress as a PC. I wouldn't say that's a PC. So I don't have a two PC setup because that's just like a mini computer. Two. Can do anything. Scream Fortress 2, which is the Halloween event that they do every year in Team Fortress 2 on PC. I oh, can record Scream. gameplay on the Raspberry. Scream pie. Fortress happens on Halloween. I, can, See, but I, I thought it happened on fucking like, Kwanzaa. I'm gonna record so, like uh, I Nintendo really like games. Team Fortress 2. Most people do. Shit, I like Team Fortress 2. Whatever. Uh, yeah, Team Fortress 2 is I certainly cool. haven't played the game in a million years, but I played it when it was part of the orange box over a decade ago. But it's like his, his complaints are weird because with OBS, you can record and stream pretty much at exactly the same time. And he's doing it now. Uh, apparently he needs a PC to do it, even though he's doing it. I don't fucking know. He's just so complicated. Everything he makes everything so much co more complicated. And we're getting attacked by two different sex bots at the same time. Wow. Wow. There were two different ones because I saw one of them got banned immediately, and then the other one posted a message where it's like, "Wait, what? You were a second one. This is coordinated effort." <laughs> effort i'm gonna try and set up the bot for next time so they they don't get all right through. this is my very first game a uh, real game that i'm playing on my new pc Sentry going up. is that as much as you can do i'm moving this it's Oops, phenomenal no. this is from 2011. updated and it updated it to 2018. 
So what's hilarious is the auto, the, the driver update, the automatic driver update. Wait, what? Only updated it to a graphics driver from like two and a half years ago instead of four years okay. ago. Okay. But at least I guess an update is an update. All right. But then I went to boot the game, Team Fortress 2. And both of my screens went to a black screen, which is weird because I have dual monitor set up and the game's only supposed to show up on one monitor. And stayed locked at a black screen. Didn't work at all. I said, okay, well, that's not good. I couldn't even get out of the game. I tried, you know, alt-tabbing, control-alt-deleting, nothing. Couldn't yeah, get this shit sometimes it. sucks for the PC. The game. So I had to manually restart like this via my PC, you know, tower. Has a restart button on it. And once it restarted, which, quite frankly, I'm glad I restarted it anyway because it gives a nice fresh take on everything today, right? It refreshes everything in the system memory. <clears throat> uh, it just gives a nice I fresh take. Again, and it worked. Okay? Now, this does not mean that when I go to play the game later, that we're not going to have issues. How do you know that you're going to have issues in the future? Are you a goddamn time traveler? Or are you just prepping the wheelchair armada for the worst case scenario? Uh, Either way, I didn't know I just relax have a little bit. Today. All right. There I think it might be because I have two rate, screens right now. Issues with a lot of I don't know. When I have one but screen, there are no the issues. Wrong. I can even play fucking Dark Souls. And right now I can't even open a different tab. I don't know why. I don't know why it's possible having a second screen to, to kill everything like this. So at the very least, and this is the I'll only be difference. Able to play Team Fortress 2 today, but when I capture it and stream it, it may look like duty. All right, and I apologize I if it looks it like duty. duty. I'm a mature adult with a business degree, but I will do my best. I'm going to be playing it in 1080p, <laughs> and I'm going to try to capture it and stream, you know, native. And oh, we'll the 100% the CPU. I think this is for uh, Rage. I think this one he he booted up rage for the first time he wanted to do like a i forgot how it's called a benchmark it runs good I and it was terrible like team fortress 2 a lot and now i haven't played it in so many years that i'm probably gonna enjoy I'm probably when he tried to yeah he tried to suck. update it through device manager get out of here we'll get the fucking app to update it from you usually we'll get the nvidia app you fucking suck at games so it's not gonna be some big m night yeah, shamalama ding dong twist but he i updates his driver through test like the variety manager. of classes in the game <clears throat> i always found it super fun you know you got the heavy who's a machine gun with a tank with a lot of hp but then you got the freaking soldier who doesn't have a lot of hp but he's a fucking rocket launcher you could do uh you know this the the, uh, the scout i just i just like the variety of gameplay every once in a while popping over to the to the the sniper you know it's good stuff i really always liked team fortress 2 so it should be exciting to play it today for the first time in many many years in fact the, the steam told me the last time i booted it was 2014. i actually find that hard to believe bro why are we talking about this i'm gonna i don't know do you oh yeah we we get to kfc okay we're starting i think it's here somewhere all right kentucky fried bill that you are You guys this year voted on categories of Halloween costume for me to wear, all right? And the categories were as follows. Uh, yeah, his Video chat is character. going like Spurg mode. They're, they're, they're going Spurg mode for some reason. Kevin Bernstein and Devin Bernstein are having sort of an exchange about their race and being Jewish. So I guess we just look away from that. Very funny. You ignore that fucking toxicity. Classic Hollywood horror, monster, slasher killer, etc. Pop culture icon, <clears throat> comic book character, or wild card, where basically I would just try to find something um, myself. Kind of just going by my own guideline. No Wait, guideline does he have a thousand right, dislikes on this stream? This is not possible. Month on this. All right. How many and people would come I through to this far and wide. It's not possible. You're lying. And finally, I determined what my costume would You're be. A liar. You guys voted. Oh yeah, it does actually. Wow. Get a load of this. Something from Shut up, DSP. Get a load of this. 1000 dislikes on this. Wow. And his views dropped a lot cuz he's taking a big break. This is a big break here. It's what is this? Like 10 minutes? 15 minutes? You should get this shit started. Come on, it's a marathon. People are not going to sit around for a marathon. You got to be here. What is this? 610 likes. Wow, this is cringe, man. Come on. It's not a very positive birthday. From pop culture. It's the most toxic fucking birthday in life. All right. Most toxic and birthday. There's many. I mean, that's huge. Thousand that's like a more. giant amount of stuff that could be covered, right? No 
Oh shit. You know, it's hard to talk from behind this, this crazy thick mask I'm wearing. It's very difficult to speak. So I hope you guys understand. Today is going to be challenging for me. Oh yeah, well then I can't wait to see it. Fun for you, challenging for me. That's your life in a nutshell, bud. Feels bad, man. Okay. Oh, rip. All right. Are you guys ready? Not really. Okay, come on, the reveal it. We already Halloween know. Costume reveal. We're watching from the future. Yeah. Come on. Hello, Whoa. everyone. Hello, boy. Oakley Dokley, boys. That's going to be it for me. Uh, this is going to be another shit post. Thank you Hello, so much boy. Again for watching. Cyberbullying is always encouraged. Get in here, boy. On my Twitter at Based Oslo. Be safe, make good choices. All right, boys, I'm sorry. I can't leave you hanging like that, especially with Colonel Loser here. Look at this Kentucky Fried Fuckwad. I guess this is the weirdest interpretation of you are what you eat. How you doing? How you doing, boy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello. Uh, hi, I'm Colonel. Sanders and I'm here to welcome you to the Halloween Marathon for 2020. Oh, somebody kill me, please. Yee-hoo. You ready for this, boy? I hope you're ready for this. There's something wrong with my mustache. It looks like uh, something's a little crooked here. Something's happening. I don't know. Yeah, almost like an inept. Drunk Jackal just busted yeah, big a ups being the guy, dude. 51 cents super chat. Big ups, big ups for you endurance in this marathon. A weaker man would log into Minecraft with this much DSP exposure. I mean, it's watching DSP. Man, well. baby, put it. And there is, uh, especially right now, I'm clinging on to people that that make watching DSP easy. So uh, this is how I'm surviving. Or something. Hmm. Uh, what is he doing here in the raw part of the stream? Oh, non Elden Ring overlay. Non Elden Ring overlay. Big ups, Jack O'Lear. Let's get the webcam thank in there. Sixteen fifty one. So the I'll be the guy. Going on. The overlay is on the level overlay is not big one. Enough. I streamed myself masturbating. There we go. Now it fits. Okay, cool. And then we roll this up. By the way, I'm not wearing that Elden Ring hat anymore. It's bothering. I took it off. Why? And I looked you got at the paid mirror. to wear it. That thing, it leaves freaking marks all over my forehead, too. What? <laughs> it's so crazy of a hat. What? So, for the conclusion. I'm gonna wear this. An hour of me in a Viking hat looking like an asshole. There you go. <laughs> okay. You, you still got a thousand dislikes, though. Guys, we've exceeded 600 likes on today's marathon. Oh, yeah, stream. talk about the dislikes. But he can't see him if he doesn't have. $500 in tips. Thank you all so very much. Wait, One he... more hour of Kirby and then cake. In fact, again, let me change the. He said the total the number of super chats. He doesn't so usually do that, aware. huh? He said we have over four hundred dollars in super chats. Doesn't usually say that. Mm. And and we're bragging about likes with one thousand dislikes. Man, all the trolls came out today. I send them. And, uh, and I don't know who else was streaming today. Probably everybody. There it is. They all and send them to dislike this. Kirby and the Forgotten. And Land. they all showed up. And it was a great time. And this is where we are. We're about to play Kirby, and we, we're we not even eating cake anytime soon. It's like in an hour. <clears throat> eating cake in an hour. And I'm not even going to eat any cake. I don't know why I'm still sitting here. I'm not going to eat any of that fucking cake. The, that custom style cake that his wife made. I'm just going to hear about how amazing it is. And how his mom's cake tastes better. What are you doing, DSP? What the fuck? Copy that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, can he see his dislikes? Probably. Probably. Probably somewhere. Without the, the extension that I have, probably. Paste this. But I can see them easily, and there are a lot of them. Got it. All right. 1.1. 1. 1. So, yeah, it's pretty toxic stream. <clears throat> and it's like, I don't know, if you're a random guy, Look you show up, you get confused. You probably don't see the dislikes, but maybe you do. Which is cool. I'm going to put the glasses back on now because I can actually okay, wear the, put on glasses, the glasses. Again, put on the toilet seat. Let's get this party started. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> put on my own horns. Wow, this is such a fun moment. I'm going to put it in All a right. compilation. DSP now, best moment. It's going to be just uh, this clip. Further contributions and to then a masturbation video. Yes. 
Mr. Clean had become a member. I think I had called. I'm that gonna. Out you know what? Kevin did I'm gonna make like a five-hour-long video of of DSP the masturbation thing, but only when he's he's like jerking off and then leans in to change the video. And and the changing of the video is gonna loop, so he's never actually gonna bust. He's just gonna change videos for like five hours, and in the end, he's gonna bust. Or or maybe I'm gonna uh, crop it in the end, so he doesn't even get the bust. The video just cuts off. It's like gunshot fade to black. That would be insane. That would be like uh, the biggest tease ever. While I play, totally the game to do that. Uh, and I will shout out once again for any contributions or anything that comes in. And then after Kirby's on it for an hour, then we're going to be doing the birthday Okay, cake. an hour. And then the conclusion. Put on the clock. Put an hour on All the right. clock. Okay, let's go back watching that. Derek, uh, you are the not stuff the only we actually one. like watching. A lot of people have been loving the Kirby streams. Really it's makes you game. think. Hmm. Anyway, we'll go. <laughs> Let's watch this, boy. <laughs> Halloween 2020, Cameras boy. Love, but that's okay. 2020. Properly for when I start playing games. Ladies and gentlemen, usually you find me in the kitchen cooking chicken, but today, something special for you. The kitchen cooking chicken. Just kill chicken. me. I'm gonna be here on stream all day long playing spooky style scary games with you. Hey, holiday, boy. Special holiday event. Halloween 2020, everybody. Going oh, up shit. Uh, so. Fair warning. That's gonna happen a lot. I'll do my best. There may be a few difficulties along the way. Uh, maybe I need to get some extra grease from the kitchen to fix my attachments, but it should be a fun event. <laughs> It should be a fun event regardless. I mean, we got you dressed up as the spokesperson for Kentucky Fried Gout. It can only go up from here. Even if my mustache ain't exactly right. Holy shit. People are going nuts, of course. How you doing? People are going nuts. Oh, yeah. I reckon the wheelchair armada is <laughs> just eating this one up. Hope you guys like the costume. Hell no. To the no, no, no. no. Hell, Hell to the no. The no. Hell no. no. No, 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 no. Oh, you can't really see the hair. No, we can see it. That was a karaoke the camera, segment. But once I get to actual gameplay, you will see there will be a fix properly. This mustache is... Hell to the no. Not staying on correctly. And that's okay, I guess. And not much I can do about it. You got to make do with what you... Oh, there you go. That's a little better, actually. You got to make do with what you got in life. That's what my pappy always told me. That's why I made the original recipe. 14 special herbs and spices. I don't even know if that's correct. Sometimes I forget. Come on. <laughs> Come on, baby. I just want out. Going through Dino Crisis. By the way, later today, we will be playing Dino Crisis right here on the Halloween Marathon event. All right? So, it's going to be great. And by the way... Hey, Derek is back uh, in DSP's chat. Hey, DSP Gaming. I've never had Spam Musubi. Spam is salty, but it's really good with instant noodles and a fried egg. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Derek. I just put out on a deal. Thank you, Derek. Really basis at my restaurant, but whatever I'm eating. Thank you, Derek. Man, it's gonna have a lot to live up to. To compare, I tell you, man. Ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh -wee boy. I don't believe that, but we have to it's wait. It's like and a Red see. Dead so Redemption the meantime, character. I'm have that my you end up killing. Card face down. Violently. All right. So, oh, oh I'm, uh, I'm just fantasizing uh, here. Come on. So, oh. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Oh, I got a little itch on my Kevin, Kevin Flash 2. Kevin is complaining. It's Super Chat didn't get listed on the leaderboard. Okay. Just decided to update you on this. Chin, Very important. This. Very important. It's my chin's itching a little bit today. Um, uh, so. Welcome, everyone, to the Halloween stream. How fucking stupid are you? <laughs> Bro, Derek keeps going. Now he says, DSP Gaming, I never had Spam Musubi before. My mom cooks the Spam on both sides and adds flavor when you have instant noodles with a great broth. Fucking thank you, Derek. Wow, and he never stops, man. This is why DSP treats him like this. He never stops with yeah, the tism. And Kevin earlier. I don't know if we actually got a 4 0. Besides Whoa. Game Tracker. Oh, uh, what? Oh, DSP, get the fuck out of here. Counting tips. Again, counting tips. He just started playing this game. He's gonna play this for an hour, and we're still sitting here counting tips. 
and let's play the game on this uh, side I of the universe. Halloween 2020. I'm trying to play a spooky style scaring game. OBS is fighting me. Give me repeated errors here on my stream. I can't believe this. Tall Nation. <laughs> Great acting. This is a bunch of bullshit. Straight from the, the Project 7 book of acting. John Rambo taught him how to act like this. Actually, Howard taught him how to act like this. All right, we got to save these colleagues. Actually, Gaseous Snake taught him how to act like this. Everybody. A true master. You're going you're to help me here? We're going to save of these colleagues. Of this craft. Of here on Halloween today. Oh, that's not. Little Hope Museum, $7.99. Oh, shit. Seven ninety nine is the price of my and new Derek working Derek keeps combo. going. Derek keeps going. I love spam, but never had spam musubi before. I've had spam in instant noodles and a sandwich. So that's. A, I think they uh they be be infringing <laughs> on my ideas. I'm gonna have to sue them for trademark. I hate fucking cringe. It's disgusting. <laughs> it gives me a headache. What, what side was Kentucky on during the Civil War? I think Stonewall wouldn't appreciate you calling him a friend. Let me tell you something. I wasn't alive during the Civil War. So I don't know what the hell you talking about, boy. You don't boy. need to be alive during a war to know when it happened. <laughs> oh, what? I think that's what the nerds call history. I make chicken I and I save then. college kids from spooky scares. All right? I ain't here to talk about no Civil Oh, Lordy. Look at that. The man be compressed by the stones. That's a new way to make chicken tenders, I bet. If anybody cares, Kentucky was part of the Confederacy. <laughs> Hell. What a dumbass. Hell. Well, detective Chitty said, what's the reward for a $100 tip goal? It's that you're happy that I'm streaming in a costume and acting like a character and you shut and you up. Shut up. Yeah, and you shut up. What am I talking <laughs> I watched this earlier. This is amazing. What is the reward? Is that you shut the fuck up? That's the Probably reward. Authentic viewer cheer. <laughs> shut up, boy. <laughs> I don't think the beard Who's sticks very well. I don't know what you're talking about. Did he play about. WWE 2K22 yet? Uh, no, he's not playing this today at all. He's not playing this at all today. This is the last game he's playing is Kirby. And he's playing it right now. This is what we get to, to close off the day. And then we're gonna eat cake. And then we, we clock out and we go home. And that's it. Big up synonymous for the dollar. Beard? It's my hair. It's my real face. Then why does it keep falling off? Interact. Interact, interact. You bastard. Turn around, you fucker. Interact, you bastard. Look at those the mannequin. Look at the dangly bodies. There's a bunch of dangly bodies behind you. Turn around, boy. Turn around, look up. Put your flashlight over there. Walk toward. Inspect, motherfucker. There you go. Oakley Doakley. We're going to hear Phil say boy a lot. So let's get this out of the way real quick. Oh, boy. 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 You think on that, boy. Who, boy? Here we go. Boy. Can't see, can't goddamn see nothing out here. Thicker than a goddamn mashed potatoes. How is that funny? But Where are we going? I don't know. I can't see. Sh Wait. The fuck? Look, I can't see nothing. What's happening? The fuck is going on? What the hell? If you what lads are wondering, yes, the southern accent's gonna continue, and yes, it's gonna get worse. Yeah, I guess you're right. I gotta turn around again. The. <laughs> this was amazing. All right, let's keep going. All right, we're gonna have another feasting segment. I'm about to finish this banana live. At least not yet. Across the internet. This one's for everybody still watching. Maybe that dead Amy come out of there trying to get us with a chain. Uh, there's no camera on this one. Oh, there is. Here it is. Snap. This is the camera. This is the what's left of the banana, and I will devour this on camera for the world to see. I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. <laughs> Doodle Dread says the accents mm, and, and the mannerisms are getting tiring. I agree. Mm. Doodle Dread, you know what's tiring? Yo ass, shut the hell up, boy. Yeah. I got a game to play. I'm mm. listening to your that nonsense. Rob on wheels. Did a thousand bit cheer. Yeah. I just realized this might be an unfortunate comparison, but you sound like Foghorn Leghorn. Boy, Foghorn Leghorn sounds like me. He's supposed to, based on me, his character infringement, and I sued Warner Brothers so many it times over big Fox Home Lake Home. Let me tell you, boy. Why do you think you don't see those Looney Tunes on TV? Wait, no oops. Right? That's what I thought. I own those motherfuckers. Wings got me unprepared and totally encapsulated how I feel about everything. I just can't take this shit no more, man. I don't know what's happening anymore.
Why did I eat this in front of the camera? I could have just eaten it just Man, for myself. Man, tries to be somebody he's <laughs> not. The delusions of grandeur uh, get even higher than they usually are. This one's for all my baby girls. Look, there's a window. I've never seen one at all before. For free. Oh, what? Oh, big ups. It's Tyrone again. Cat devoured my banana for free. Big ups, Tyrone. For a long time. Oh, yeah. And that's 10 bucks you owe me. Don't you giving it up for free, dude. Because she has a job. Fair enough. Ha ha, boy, you got fooled, you moron. Ha ha. Wow. You good old southern slot of hand there, boy. You moron. Look in the mirror, bro. Okay, what's left? Oh, let's do the DSP tries it. Because this Boys. gameplay, there's nothing fun. Nothing fun. Oh, what's this? Phil left the comments on? That is when the afternoon went from good to great. It is Halloween 2020. And for this event, first of all, I was expecting <laughs> to do it a lot earlier. I was in line for over 30 minutes to get the food for today's DSP tries. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were going to do the DSP tries it dressed up as Colonel Sanders. Damn it. Mind you, Derek, that impression was fucking awful. But it would have been really funny to watch him get that yeah, white what suit the fuck? fucking destroyed. This is so ridiculous. He, can't yeah. life. he didn't do it with the suit. That would be incredible. 17 cars in line. And now, I think he's gonna eat cake with the with the Viking hat on and, and with the jersey, the way that he's doing it right now. At 3.30 p.m. I guess he's gonna eat cake like that. Car? Also, 3 p.m. is like a late lunch for all types of folk. So I reckon DSP's just doing the usual thing of bitching just to bitch. Figure that one out. I have no idea. You're what? an idiot! But today, today we're doing something special because it's a holiday. We're doing a taste test head-to-head -head challenge all right i've done these before and we're doing it again because why come up with new so ideas when you can just rehash old ones two items from wendy's that are currently available on the wendy's menu right like now incredible amounts wow. of foods that he's that consumed you can't even imagine how much food this guy consumes Fun. okay between the horrible southern accent it's just like it's not even like a chicken dies and it it, it goes for some purpose it goes to dsp bro he lost the DSP. And earlier, and now eating Wendy's. That's the, the you ultimate You boys making the same connection I am. It's worse than being banned. Automobile wreck. I, after this video, I'm going to have a little segment of listening to, to like, uh, Liquid Richard so I can wake up. I'm I guess we can saying, listen to Mustang. We've again. never seen Phil well, and Jordy the in the same video. room. But that's just a theory. A gay theory. What are the yeah. items? There's two chicken sandwiches on the menu right now at Wendy's that are new offerings that I'm curious to see which is better. There is the jalapeno, bacon jalapeno chicken sandwich. Wow, this is and so cool. And then there is the pub chicken sandwich. Wow, this is okay. so much cooler. Okay. The pub chicken sandwich is wow. $7.29. Is that good? Yeah, that's the that's cost of like, the space, whole, a whole combo meal anywhere else. Seven dollars and twenty nine cents. The bacon jalapeno sandwich I think is six dollars and eighty nine cents. Oh, so it's expensive. So price wise, okay. these sandwiches are almost equivalent, and they are very effing expensive. First off, Philbert, you can fucking swear on your lame internet re review show. Also, in the grand scheme of things, seven bucks isn't that bad. On the price of your side, yeah. But hey, the world keeps on turning and the treasury prints new money every day. Like I'm shocked. I was shocked at the price because typically it's maybe like five, six dollars tops for a sandwich at, at a fast food place. Are you really gonna fucking cry over a two dollar difference? Bitch side fucking Phil, I tell you what. 7.29 for a effing sandwich. Does he think like mommy Bernelio's watching? And that's oh, why, why he's not swearing. Why is he complaining God. about it Holy so much? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute. We... And he, he complained about it today as well, being expensive. You could say shit, but not. Like, bro, you literally sitting on $600 right now. It's expensive. Fuck? What's wrong with fuck? Fuck such he a wants fuck. wants to have more to spend on polls. Man, I wonder how it's going to rock it. Because if you go on WWChampions.com, uh, I think, and it opens and it loads fine and it doesn't crash my stream. I think we can actually find him. Yeah, up here you write down from the rafters. And now uh, a mystery person pops up. And this happens to be a guy that I know. And his name is Phil. Wow, he has the beast Brock Lesnar. This is insane. Has so many superstars. Man, these superstars are like 
Amazing. I'm so jealous of this. What is this? Faction name. He's in a faction. Look at all these points they've made. Millions of points. Hundreds of millions of points. And he's a co-leader. Man, that's an accomplishment. That is something. He has almost 5,000 feud wins, which is like, you gotta be godlike in this game to do this. You can't simply be like a scrub. And then we got a bunch of like, in the last year, he has a bunch of top 10 finishes, which is kind of being a scrub. If you're gonna wail on this game, then wail out. Not stop being a little bitch. What is this? Uh, what do we got here? And the last one was the Woman's Wrath. Which is, he kind of stopped participating in these. Because they ended on, um, uh, what is this? Something, something 2021. Because I'm not sure if this is a December or a June. Anyways, this one, it ended. And after this, he's still been playing, obviously. Uh, 1,526 days consecutive login. Last updated two days ago, but this is, uh, this doesn't mean he's been last here two days ago. It's just how much this page updates. And last active yesterday. So he's gonna clap some cheeks today as well. Every fucking day. For 1500 days. He's a slave to this game. Roster size 369. Days played. Time playing is 1800 days. And 4 million roster talent. Man, that would mean so much to me if anybody gave a fuck about this game. It would mean a lot if anybody gave a fuck about this. Where to fucking say? Phil, you make me angry, Phil! Let's open up the first sandwich and see what it is. Here Let's get into it, the first one. From Halloween 2020. Again. It's greasy. <laughs> it is, it's greasy. That's something we're used to on the dark side of the internet. We got napkins right over here. Smells good. So this is the pub chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Okay, home style uh, chicken breast, which means it's just it's breaded, but it's not spicy. I believe this has pickles on it. Let's open it and take a look and see what's actually in it. We got pickles. We've got fried onions. We got bacon. Their their standard applewood smoked bacon. We've got what I believe is a Munster cheese slice on it. And then I think this is supposed to be the beer batter chicken sauce, okay? And all that is on a pretzel bun, which I like the Wendy's pretzel buns. They're pretty unique compared to other fast food. Wow, this is so exciting, this. Okay. Um, all right, enough of this. Let's so, uh, okay. let's listen to Gotcha, actually. Let's listen to Gotcha. Uh, and then I'm going to find some I other video to watch, right? Year. This is just a, a minute and a half long. I actually do play some mobile games. I do. Well. All right. The ones that I play are free to play and or incredibly uh, what do we have here? Like Gatekeeping here here Elden Ring players. Oh, yeah. We saw this. This is gotcha. ridiculous. Ridiculous. What is a, like a DSP? Gotcha. Like a shit post type of thing. Uh, let's see, maybe some more of these. These are cool. I'm, I'm stupid. WWE game plays like a candy crush. Moving gems around. Breaking color gem. Again, it's pay to win. Oh, let's Before end the vestry. The this is the one. You can the higher change will get the better characters, etc., etc. All right. Got me that gotcha. I love it. Gotcha. 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 Begging for fucking chips and shit. Gotcha. 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 Thanks for the money, dumbass. How does that make any sense? Super Cup. That was a mobile game I played like. All right. Uh, let's see this. DSP tries at ending the vest streak. Cause I love me some vest streak. Today we didn't talk about the vest streak a lot, and I we covered a lot today. Like a lot, a lot. I'm gonna be writing it's timestamps so for the next like, six days. To yesterday, often used as a meme on our side, of the dark of side of the again. internet. But what happens when the meme becomes real? We found out when the vest streak up and fucking died. When the meme becomes eyes. real. Now the hundred dollar typical question is, where do we go from here? Quite frankly, I don't know. But just like the cast of High School Musical.
We're all in this together. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! You're still on mission one. You're still on mission Shalom, one. Shalom, boys and Derek's the dark side of the internet's favorite shit, Lord Oslo. And uh, I was working on other the shit. shit Lord. Episode four of Games wow. Journalism Bottom Pack. Scat, scat, done. scat. I've just started editing DSP 54. I'm still recording the special Realms Deep episode of Games Journalism Bottom Text. And I'm still trying to figure out the postal video. Point I've tried to make, I've been a busy beaver. So if I'm dropping all of that to giggle at the dark side, you know this shit gonna be yeah, good. Yeah, festivals the were a, died a thing. The finale that stream was of Paper Mario and the while. Origami King. It's a little and poetic. I, there was two festivals, right? The Three festivals? 100, 150, 200, right? Or maybe 100 and 200. I don't fucking know. I just know it was cringe as fuck. Thank you very much. Whether you watched on YouTube fuck. or you watched on stream, I appreciate it. Thank you guys very, very much. And uh, two thumbs up. Thank you for your support. See you next time. Okay. <laughs> And that right there is YouTube mode getting switched off. Buckle up, boys. All right, so let's close that out, guys. So thank you guys. I'm sorry I can't go back and read a million cheers now because people were cheering during the final boss. What do you want me to do? Like, I couldn't derail and talk about off-topic shit when I'm trying to finish the game in a limited amount of time. Ah, the oh, no, no shekel on, salt is already creeping shit. in. This is going to be good. Um, Ninstar rune cheer. Dynamite Hedy's plot is that Smiley's an on. I don't care. I'm not going to read this giant paragraph. Oh, Ninstar, Ninstar rune. Yeah, he was either a low-key troll or really, really dumb. It's one of those. Why am I toxic? Sambuka 2020 took me five dollars. Sick. Sorry, I got timed out, Phil. All right, I don't know why you got timed out. But thank I don't you know. I'm just making kid. a wild. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the stream. Does that mean what I uh -oh. think it means? I can't go late. I wasn't kidding. Like I'm done. The game is over, and it looks like the vest streak's over. You want to run that by me again? And it looks like the vest streak's over. Yeah, the vest streak was over. Yeah, Man, when the vest streak ended, he was uh oh holy shit, I clicked back. He was posting on on fucking Twitter. He was shit posting on Twitter about man, the trolls are gonna be so fucking happy today. It's so crazy. Man, I hope to get to eat some cake soon. So, I don't know why people were, like, the people were holding tips or whatever tonight. Withholding tips. This is my favorite DSP meme. Withholding tips. The man is so entitled that when you don't send him a tip and he expects you to, he's gonna say you're withholding it. Because there was a lot of support tonight. The best it was DSP meme. subs and cheers. So, I don't know where, you know, why people did that, but that's gonna be, this is it. This is literally the end of the stream. I told you guys I couldn't go late I told tonight. You guys. So this vest streak is about to end. Any unless we get a, 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 a tip right now at the very tail end of the stream. Nice. And there's no time for a vest. The stream is over. So unless we get something right now, this is it. This is the end of the vest streak. And I guess what we'll have to do is on Wednesday, uh, when I come back from my day off, <clears throat> um, we'll have to talk Wednesday morning about what do you guys want. Do you want the, to, to reset the vest streak to zero? This sucks because we're right Reset now, to zero. What else are we going to do? Weekend. We no, been let's reset edges. it to 15 for no reason. We would have been at 280. Yeah, of course we're going to reset it to zero. It ended. It would have been less than two weeks and we would have had a vest celebration. And now it looks like the whole fucking thing ends because of because I'm sick, you know? No, it ended because no one wanted to give you money. It ended because you bled the wheelchair armada dry. But Man, if, if he had any ideas, it would be so great. And I've said this before. Because he would introduce some new change that that he came up with and then it's gonna work and everybody's gonna praise him because it's the one time he had an idea oh you guys i had this idea where i'm gonna do this thing and then it works out because none of this is his idea the best thing is tevin's idea because he made fun of it and then somebody talk uh asked dsp to put it on and then it became a thing if he's decent at one thing it's shifting the blame to everything else but himself which is fucking bullshit. But of course, when other people give the ideas, they also have all the responsibility. Even though you actually don't have any responsibility watching a DSP stream. You don't have any. So it's actually all of his responsibility. He just deflects it on everybody else. 
That really pisses me off because it ends because I was sick, you know? But it is what it is, I guess. You missed two days of work, bud. $400 of dress up money. World's gonna keep going, amigo. All right, so guys, thank you for over five, at this point, almost six months of the vest streak. It was much appreciated. Uh, the support that you gave me during that time period, it sucks that it ends like this, especially with the, everything that happened this past fucking weekend. And now I'm way behind on everything. <laughs> this really sucks, okay, you know? I was, in a, I was in a good position, and because I got sick, it, I <laughs> fucked everything up. And I'm sorry for that, because now I kind of feel like I'm, I'm to blame for the vestry ending, because it wasn't because the support didn't come, it was because me getting sick threw everything, it fucked everything up this weekend. You know, you only made $18 and that is why the vest streak ended. Feels bad, man. And now people probably didn't even come out to the streams today because they didn't know what was going on because I've been sick and everything. So I'm sorry for that. Okay. Uh, but it is what it is. This is it. So this is it. And you're blaming it on you being sick. Pathetic. Uh, what we'll do is on Wednesday morning, we'll talk about the future so the wednesday pre-stream is where we're gonna cook up the next scam i got you filbert like do you guys want me to we got we got we're gonna have to go to zero right if we're gonna start it over it has to go back to zero correct because that's how a streak works um and i we go want to you because the thing is so much is with the vest the, we know you got your freaking uh emotes of the vest right We've got animations with the vest. Everything is, you know, based off the vest streak. Oh, come on, Everything Dave. Are we forgetting the about the sweet vest merchandise? An empire of vests. Wait, what? The the vest merch? Well, this is not terrible, I guess. It's a design. The best merch on the dark side of the internet. The dress-up t-shirts. Best the merch? Vest over, it, I don't know you know, how to proceed. You're an idiot. Do we want to do something different? What the hell are you going to do? Wear some goofy ass glasses? Put on different jerseys? Yes, yes, yes. He's wearing it right now. Right now he's wearing it. Yes. Right now. Hey, the, the camera's on. Big ups. Uh, look at him. He's sitting there being chill and interactive. What is he even saying? Uh, somebody I think was impersonating Derek in chat or something, or he was dissing somebody. Didn't waddle the obtain. Oh yeah, the, they're fake Derek's in chat. <laughs> la, 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 la. Fake Derek's are destroying the stream, annihilating the stream, violating the stream. The fake Derek's. But when they come to my stream, it's fun. Hide your cap. And the the fake Rambo and Howard. There was so many fake. A tip school. <laughs> I mean, today. it wouldn't be the first time. Maybe you can hide your wife behind a tip school. Anything's possible on the dark side of the internet. Right? Do we want to do something completely different or not? I don't know. Really, Dave? This is your sinking ship. The wheelchair armada is looking to you to lead. But you're not. You're doing your usual. Acting like a bitch. It but this is it. There's no holding out. Why people are holding out hope? It's oh, Guys, it's over. The vest streak is over. This is it. It's the end of the stream. It's all over, and yet you're still running around like a chicken with its head cut off. I told you guys I couldn't stay late. I told you guys, go home. It's over. It's over. You know. You only said it's one over. thing, bud. And besides, Phil, it doesn't take that long to upload a video. I'm sorry, because I was told that this game was only going to be done with about an hour, and it went two hours. It took the whole stream, which is fine, but people were waiting for like a Q&A segment or Fall Guys, and it didn't happen. Because again, it seems like every single time someone tells me how long the end of a game is going to be, they're always wrong. It never fails. Every time I'm told you're going to finish a game early, it goes to the end of the stream. Like, every fucking time. <laughs> Seriously, every fucking time. Dude's oh, weirdly placing all of his anger and frustration <laughs> into not making his $100 into the game. Oh, so yeah, fucking legit. fucking weird. Legit. Didn't say it was anyone's fault. Now that you it's not of course. nobody's yeah, fault. It's our you fault, just right? said people are withholding tips. You said it in the beginning of the segment. I don't know if people are withholding tips. What is this supposed to mean? Yeah, his chat is going crazy. What is happening? He's banning somebody uh -huh. right now. Everything is destroyed. No, not really. He just got us. The world bad. design reminds me of Sonic 06. The not trolls the are seething anyway. right now for sure. Though. I'm sure they okay. are. I'm really pissed off right now. I, I don't know what to do. I should probably eat another banana to calm down. I'm so angry right now. Phil is making a lot of money on his birthday. Man.
It was I, I just told angry. you it's my fault. Okay. Uh, because I was sick. I got sick because I'm a human. I'm a fallible human. I mean, you got sick because you didn't take care of your gamer shit. I got sick. It fucked up the entire weekend. World's smallest violin. So now I'm behind two days of How much of money you got? In, yeah. in total, about a thousand. Let's say. Because he said earlier he got like 400 in super chats and he got 600 in tips. So yeah, about a thousand. Fucking chargebacks. No, I still have tonight, tangerines. Weekends, and now I have plenty of tangerines. And it does. It worries me because this was something that was really positive and fun. Bro, it's just the dress up streak ending. The world's going to keep turning. And there's more money to be made. And I was like, man, now maybe I can afford the content. Phil made enough money from the dress up scheme, YouTube, Patreon, Twitch's bitch subs and cheers. <laughs> yeah. What I'm trying to make. He can afford. He was dipping in everything. For the new consoles. Everything. So don't be buying the baby back bullshit he's selling. Hygienic streamer tips says I'm partly to blame because I wasn't around earlier to give you a personal hygiene tip. No. To be fair, it would have helped you out. It, the problem is the fucking everything fell apart in regards to my setup this year because this I is not the longest stream ever. Shit, you know? The Christmas stream was over 12 hours long. Previous years, I never used the same headphones three plus years in a row. Never. I was alternating headphones out. So because of that, there wasn't big amounts of bacteria growing in the fucking headphones. Oh my you god, know? we're talking about um, bacteria now. Because he's stalling for tips. There's a lot of things that are <laughs> And happening. it's a pity party, I'm getting older. Come on, you guys, stop withholding. And he's looking at chat like this. Factor. Is this working? Well, I, I hope it's working. <clears throat> you got, working? got sick it because work. you didn't take care of your shit. Your Did shit, not including work. yourself. You fucking idiot. What we'll do is on Wednesday, we'll we'll talk. Wednesday morning. We'll talk. That right there is going to be one board exceptional meeting. Pre Emergency board meeting on Wednesday to figure out what's going to happen in the future. Stream. Uh, on the future of these streams is in your hand. Set it? Or what do we do? It's on the because line. Freaking six vests. We have vest emotes. Six we have vests. vest animation. You know, the vest celebration, which you guys seem to have liked doing. Doubt. So I don't know if you guys just want me to drop the whole thing. Because the thing is... Uh, I World told you guys, when it ends, it ends. I never thought that it would continue as long as it did. And I said, when it ends, it I ends, think it's it over. Ends. What is happening in this chat? There's, the uh, is there a fake there? It's not, not, that, not right now. You put so much time into your vest events, the merch, the emotes, and all the other but vest it's like, it's actually, bullshit. It's really hard to figure out what's the fake Derek, because it's like the real Derek. It's like, it's really, it, it, it's Derek. So when there's the fake Derek, it's really hard to spot. What about That's your why they're the best? That's why they're the best, because they're really bizarre. Coat rack. Are you going to tell me and the Giggle Boys that the coat rack is for nothing? Yeah, the coat we're rack. Get, uh, stream I don't think after we're going to get of hitting the tips goal anymore. I don't. I'm serious. <laughs> I really don't feel it's going if to This motherfucker got so comfortable at, at getting this money every single stream. Happen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think people will be like, well, that was it. It was a run or whatever, right? We in the biz call that a saga, Filbert. And now it's and now it's over. So it was a saga uh, I really do feel that it's over. So <clears throat> I guess we'll have to see on, on uh, Wednesday morning. All right. Well, shit, at least you put in the good old community college. Try there, bud. All right, guys, that's it. I'm ending the stream. Have a good night. Uh, okay. Tomorrow, I'll be I'm off. I'm ending the stream, you guys. Shit. Okay. And I'm I'll ending it right now. With I'm ending Avengers it. I'm ending Avengers. And a night stream of Tony Hawk. I'm ending it. Uh, Thursdays is uh, the continuation of the final episode, actually, of Tell Me Why. Um, and we're going to have all kinds of stuff this week, including Street Fighter and continuing with those playthroughs. It looks like we'll probably have some Fall Guys. We'll probably have the return, maybe, of Fire Emblem. I don't know. Definitely, I'm this is it, you guys. I'm ending the stream. By the way, this is my entire schedule for the rest of my life. I'm going to do some Batman this week, too. So it's going to be a mix <laughs> coming up when I come back from my break. Okay, guys? Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right, all. Okay. That's it. Okay. There's no tip. People are okay. me tips. There's no tips okay. coming. If people, there tip people are saying there's tips. <laughs> it's coming. They all would have already happened, guys. Come on. You can do some weird uh, subtraction. You can subtract money from the next stream. Okay. That's it. The Why not? The ended tonight. Ratchet, From the Ratchet. next stream. So, so the next stream you start in the in, in debt. Dirty old. And you twat. have to make up money. Assholes tied in a knot. Hooray! Lizard shit. Fuck. All right, guys. All right. Thank all right. you. Have a good night. I will right. see you all um on Wednesday. <laughs>
Hygienic streamer tips. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you about what planned meals for this whole week. In fact, I can't even answer that because we don't have. That's what I'm doing tonight. I'm planning meals with my wife tonight. How exciting! Yeah, big thumb. Start with you. I told you Paper Mario was shit. He killed the streak. No, I don't big think Paper thumb. Mario killed the streak. I think me being sick killed the streak. This whole chat is completely derailed. Really Nobody is talking about this game. I don't even know why he's playing See where it. The game had insane potential and went it's just like wrong. he's talking about it, but people in chat are talking about Derek in like Sonic, uh, Sonic 06. And it's just like super confusing. And they're talking about Seattle. I, I have no idea what's happening. This Space like really bizarre Ranger right now. Blueprint. That is awesome. All right, okay. We're gonna eat cake Edward eventually. Releases. I know and that for sure. People would have come to check out the new releases. The Gallic man not gonna not skip the, his cake. Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys. That's it. Have a good night. Have a good day tomorrow, and I'll see you all on Wednesday uh, when we figure out what the hell. All we're right. Do. How long uh, was this stall? It was like five minutes. That's just the end of it. We don't care about it anymore. <laughs> You know okay i don't know you already said this we're actually gonna buy the consoles and buy oh the my consoles. god he's like some dude is cheering about a console this guy can't read the room not just man me. he's talking about consoles and the dude's best streak ended his life is on the line there have for previous gens you were just talking about what? console what i don't know what that even means i don't know dude i'm here for tips <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Thank you for the show. Oh, cheer. we're stalling. All right, guys. Have All a good right, night. Guys. I'll see you on Wednesday. <clears throat> Lean in manual, vest streak, and. Oh, he was lurking in his chat and then posting on Twitter. He posted on Twitter. I, I sure hope this is in the video. Well, I don't know why you guys are still here, but. Uh, we could ask you the same question, Phil. That's it. I'm going to delete it. So it was a two. It ended at 276. Hey, wait, he was. The stream was still live, by the way. Nice. Well, yeah. Well, technically, it wasn't really 276 streams because we did some doubles yesterday, but that's it. Ah, you got greedy and now you're paying for it. Feels bad, man. Zero. Zero, guys. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bitch! Yo, this was loud as hell. Got me that hell gotcha! Yeah. Had to make it official. All right. I'll have to see you guys Wednesday. Like I said, you guys think about what you want to do. Uh, you should too, because, you know, you're the fucking streamer and all that jazz. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> you guys figure out the off, direction of my streams Wednesday, going forward. All right. It? Or do we want to <laughs> think of something different? I don't know what you guys want to do up to you but it is officially over <clears throat> all right good night how long has he been playing kirby for and that right there boys how the vest oh, streak no, ended it's like what 40 you know, minutes say, let's, let's 38 the minutes oh okay so there's I'll at least go, okay i'll go look very more. quickly i'll go i know exactly what it would be it would be in my front okay. closet if i still have it I don't oh this I great video i'll be right back with the whimsical check, music man the beginning of something amazing it's like a new relationship, a relationship with a vest that some no, dude sorry, on the guys, internet I, I wears. I couldn't find the vest. <laughs> but they get a lot of money. I couldn't find the vest. Ah, I, don't know, I don't know where it yeah. was. <laughs> it was right there in the closet. It was sitting right there in the closet. I was like, oh my God, I seriously haven't looked at that thing since I moved here. I've never worn this. I just, it's in the closet. instructions <laughs> In an incredibly sad moment. I'm actually tearing up right now. That's why the camera is off. I'm actually crying. I'm, I'm both crying and I'm also incredibly enraged because DSP was like making money or some shit. Hey, big ups uh, Almighty Bri for the membership. Almighty Bri is now indoctrinated in the cult of chill. Big ups and sip the Kool-Aid. Some of Baller, baller alert. Some of it's just Really dumb, but I, oh, and she was eating with it? This is great. I don't know why this clip is in it. Wow, the disgusting eating. <laughs> this, wow. Wow. That's a shot. That's the money shot. <laughs> uh.
uh, in, in a little pity party segment. That's great. That's just great. Screaming for help internally. <laughs> Bro. Amazing. Is this whole thing an edit like this? Oh no, he, he goes to Twitter soon. But now, first, we need to lay the vest to rest. The vest streak ending hurt more than when uh, Leanna left. And she was probably cheating on him. Oh, now we get a vest. Wow, look at this. What is this video? This is, look at this mega reaction, reactionception. Hey, big ups uh, Harry Otter Gaming for the indoctrination in the membership. You know what I mean? Gaming is now indoctrinated in the cult of Look at this. It, it's him in a little window looking at himself reacting to the vest. There's two leaderboards. There's three DSPs. Wow. I'm not that kind of a streamer. I don't do reaction videos. <laughs> and of course, this photo. <laughs> oh, no. No. Vest, <laughs> vest in peace. <laughs> Help! Got me that gotcha. Later that night. Oh, this is a great well, video. It finally happened. I beat Paper Mario the Origami King on stream. But sadly, all the vest streak ended today. Lots of cheers and subs. But for some reason, Tipping wasn't even close to hitting the goal. So we all need to think about what to do when of course, I Of nothing wrong with Wednesday. reaction videos. I'm the doing them right now. You, Dave. you got a lot of bits I'm reacting subs, to this so hard. Money. It isn't all bad. Some options. Reset the vest streak to zero and start over since my streams are so invested in the vest. Invested in the vest. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm skeptical that we'll be hitting the tips goal consistently since we just ended it tonight. Oh, come on, Filbert. Where's the optimism? You know what I always say? Anything's possible on the dark side of the internet. Another option would be a new kind of streak. Already, people were asking for the jerseys. That the jerseys? That I mentioned here on Twitter the other night. So, we have a lot to think about. Be sure to share your thoughts here. And we'll talk about it at Wednesday. Boarding. I'm reckoning that Dark's gonna throw everything at the wall and just hoping to God that one thing fucking sticks. What really sucks about this is that I feel I failed you guys getting sick. We had full momentum <laughs> with the best streak. Then I got I feel sick like for I two failed days, you guys. And it almost immediately ends. There's not much I could do about it now. And I'm sorry it happened. I know many really liked the positivity with Complain the about the trolls already. And the trolls we'll complained to it was it great. From the haters that oh, they yeah, the finally haters. won. The haters finally won. The haters finally won. The haters won. The moment you saw wearing a vest as some kind of a victory on your fucking side. And now this is why he looks like this right now. He looks like this. This is fucking stream and everybody in chat is talking about Derek. Just hit me another five dollars. Oh, but he's raking in the money, so like nobody cares. It. Nobody okay. cares. Complete apathy about everything. We're wearing all the clothes, put everything on, all the tricks are busted out. Let us just rake in the tard bucks. <laughs> and everybody in chat is talking about Derek. Like they actually are. Oh my god. Oh, let's go back to uh the fucking vest. Because the streak's over. Try are we done playing the game? It is Okay. Okay. Wow, so that's hard. He says basically you have to do a whole bunch of secret stuff once you do it. You oh, yeah, you have to do a lot of stuff. Not Trust me, boys, they've been around the dark side of the internet long enough to know that nobody's a winner. But at least we're not the biggest loser on the dark side of the internet. Which, of course, isn't true. My streams aren't going anywhere. 
but the timing is definitely bad, considering I just lost two days of income due to this stupid ear infection, and now it looks like my future income may see a dip because the streak has ended, but I remain hopeful that I'll be able to afford the new consoles. Yes, with all of your incomes combined, you should be able to buy the new plastic toy boxes. We'll just have to see what happens. We'll talk on Wednesday. Some ideas for my return stream on Wednesday? Since the vest streak is now Ooh, over, please vote to let me it. know hey, what you stuff. think. Idea for new edition. Hey, the jerseys uh, instead of the vests. I yeah, the tiered reward similar to the gunner glasses. Don't oh, I love it. Still, we're, we're just brainstorming with scams on Twitter. Some idiot on Twitter pitched still a thought board. <laughs> okay, I think I really like this so idea. Yeah. Gives incentives for lower tips, as there's a reward much <laughs> earlier, and an yes. incentive to tip above the goal for something Yes, new. it's great. Oh. It's great. This is the new. This is the new scam, basically. But now we got 150. But and it's not a jersey, because yeah, that would make sense. A hat. What? Phenomenal, and it worked out you guys. It was amazing in the end. Everything was great and it was fantastic And it worked out. <laughs> it was the festival, but this one is way too long John Rambo and Howard respond to DSP This I don't want to do this right now. We're gonna get all up in our feelings right now Let's see of oh, these shit posts. They're great uh, Let's see what else we got the the suspension saga this one he got suspended for making fun of somebody. I think that was it, right? Uh, there should be timestamps on this. They're not. But let's see. Maybe. 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 For sponsorship, he could work all these things behind the scenes. Okay. Correct, because he has the business and personal skills to maintain those relationships. So he can still keep making money. I think they call that diversifying your income. I think they teach you that at the special needs summer camp you attended called Business. Hold on, what is happening here? He gets suspended for something though. When he harassed somebody, that was funny as shit. Uh, there's some tweets here, cause this is a two hour video. I'm not gonna watch all of this now. Okay. I don't know what this is. You know what I mean? I like, I if I had gotten a notice and said, here's what was claimed, I don't even know what was claimed. Oh, this all is right. some, some copyright bullshit. These are the most boring, cause it's just like copyright. That shit sucks anyways. Uh, interviewed, <laughs> getting interviewed and hitting what? The 50 streak. Uh, let's see the getting interviewed one. The hottest banter, the last shit post came from Wingus, Dingus, and Eat Shit for Life. If you would like to see your banter, for maybe life. Uncle's oh, banter, shout out Eat Shit for Life. Feature in the next shit post and leave it in the comments down the below. Lifestyle. Also, thank you so Advice. much for over a thousand subscribers. <laughs> you boys are the best. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. So it would seem. Fuck yeah. Let's go. What's up, boys? It's a I don't think it was the Bluebeard thing. Lord Oslo, and let's just get back to it. As you guys remember from a this couple was talking about ago, copyright DSP's private mod Discord had some leaks come out, and from these leaks came more evidence that the WWE Champions account is Yeah, Dave's. it's here. And on most of the screenshots for the WWE Champions account, it shows that the account is part of a faction going by uselessness. I swear to God, the dark side of the internet just writes the fucking jokes. If you look up uselessness in the dictionary, you're going to see a picture of Phil Burnell right there. Any whore, he's in the faction yep. he's and in it's the faction. colorized picture too he's in the faction oh snap he's not in the faction anymore oops Let's start right out hey what happened well i guess our time has come to an end dsp has left our faction oh no what happened what her was confronted about it down. and denied it was him to get us wow. here he was confronted about it and still denied that it was him and was told either to leave or be kicked out he left. I find it very entertaining <laughs> that on the streams he acts like a tough guy, but when Streamlabs that little webcams off, we find out how much of a huge fucking pussy he is. Running away with his little piggy tail betwixt his fucking legs. He got destroyed by a champion's guild. Eggs. Quick public service announcement Ridiculous. for your friends at Uselessness. Today we kicked out one of our co-leaders. 
Holy shit snacks, which one of those dumbasses gave Phil any power? They Call Me DSP is the name of a very prominent Twitch streamer who has an army of trolls who spent all of their time trying to ruin his life. Our DSP claims it's purely <laughs> coincidental that he has the exact life, same guys. username as his Twitter handle, and they have gone out of their way to prove many times it's him. Anyways, long story shorter, they have for months been trying to get into this server and target him. Every champion's official tweet replies now mention or have memes of DSP. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually great. This is great. They started banning those from point uh, from some point because because they saw it was stocks of that. And I do agree, this guy is a dumbass. Last night, they stepped it up a gear and got a hold of another player's personal information. Stu, big ups to Stu, and posted it on their trolling website. Pictures of his fiance, his date of birth, you name it in order to get to DSP. We believe wherever he ends up, they'll do the same. On their site, they already have posted pictures of Xena's faction info and the rules on their Discord. He is a good player with a very open wallet, but just be warned of what will come with it. He's fuck. A good player with a very open wallet. I love this. And this is the best shout out he's ever got, probably. I don't think he's ever got a, a better shout out than this. The end of this, like DSP is some cursed treasure in a pirate novel. Oral the story, Dark is the fifth horseman of the apocalypse. But instead of like having like disease and famine and death follow you in your wake, it's just autism. And wherever he goes using the name DSP, this stigma is gonna be around him. There are gonna be people that are gonna wanna fuck with him. However, I feel like there's an easy way for Phil to avoid all this. It's simply creating a sock account and blending into the Wrestle Wrestle Champions community. But of course, we're dealing with the but biggest of course, dipshit in gaming. The, cloud. the story's not over yet, boys. He can't just be in he can't just be nobody. That's the thing. Joe Taco 13 Judy says, who are the placeholders? Oh, oh place I know holders? it's the hottest new WWE Champions faction. And it's got one <laughs> member. It's got one member. It's leader. They oh, call yeah. me DSP. Lonely. The placeholders. I'm Mr. Lonely. I have nobody. I love that DSP basically went, I'm gonna make my own WWE faction, but this Three. one's gonna have blackjack and hookers. But minus the blackjack and the hookers and add a whole lot of sadness into the mix. And it doesn't seem like you need to be in a faction to participate in the contests. So I don't understand why DSP just doesn't roll solo. Instead, he's dragging around an empty clubhouse. I don't know what the hell that means. Oh, I don't know what that means, man. His eyes pop out of his skull. Who are the placeholders? You mean in regards to this game? What? Uh, placeholders? Huh? Oof, that doesn't bode well. Usually when Phil throws down a lot of I don't know cards, it means shit's usually true. Examples, the foreclosure, the bankruptcy, the cat, the other cat. Why do I get? Why do I guess? It's another fucking meme of some sort that I just don't understand, right? But that's all I got on the Wrestle Wrestle account for now. We just gotta keep waiting until shit develops. Whether that develops into questions or answers, only time will tell. Now I'm toxic, so I'm fucked. So Phil hit the big 5-0 when it came to the vest streak. Oh yeah. Uh, this video is about the interview though, so let's get to, to that one. I guess the vest streak is just like a thing. Right, and then he played a bunch of games. Oh yeah, this is the this the thing happens here somewhere, I guess. Yeah. Warning everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Recently on the dark side of the internet, we've had not just one interview, but two. The first one being LSB and Agent Proper telling the Deep Lord and Nick Ricada. It's a long watch, but it's worth jumping around. We found out that Nikki Rackets has a pretty entertaining DSP impression. It's I didn't know if the taxi was gonna explode when we got to the hospital. I'm sitting in the hospital in the emergency yeah, room the and I've already got financing papers on how to pay. And it's like, but don't you expect, like, wasn't he ranting about people not paying or contributing to his content? And we'll talk more about Dave and Nikki down the road. However, what's more interesting and funny, Darks the Phil did an interview with an individual named Jake James Lugo. And I hear you boys wondering, who the fuck is Jake James Lugo? Hey there, everyone. My name is Jake James Lugo, and I make some of the best video game content. They're probably epic. Too bad I'm not going to watch any of them. <laughs> These videos are probably amazing. gaming 
was hidden behind a $5 pay me ton paywall. And how many people can get behind that wall, you may ask? Three. three. Just three. <laughs> One, two, three. That is amazing. Why would you do this? Oh, this is so bad. Fun. Let's get and to I it. Get, this can be like an, an incentive to joining his Patreon, but still, it's like DSP of all the people. DSP. Buckle up, buckaroo. Hey, Just what interview some fucking game developer that worked on like doom or something i don't fucking know man come on fucking dsp what's going on everybody out there this is jake james lugo welcome to the channel and thank you so much for being a supporter here on my patreon page now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh ready ready <laughs> this the... is a brand new ex mode that i'm doing for you guys if you haven't already gonna check out the defense curb before this guy's been going on for so long what is this DC, so how was Ghostwire Tokyo's ending? Was it mad? Was Bro, it I don't give a shit. You've you been playing for like an hour. There was a couple unique bosses at the end. That not even nice. an hour yet, though. But, also, but it's almost an hour. Or anything. It was just kind of okay. so I, ex I expect <laughs> him to be completely on on the clock. Gonna Discussion clock episode out of this, this episode that I'm doing dot. right now because it's over on the YouTube channel. So I have Darkseid Phil with me, Phil Burnell, DSP Gaming, chatting it up with me. We talked about a whole bunch of stuff involving oh, Twitch streaming labs. during this pandemic and all this other stuff. Work. Well, Phil, there was a timer on the screen. That it's that 11 hours, 9 minutes. Oh, yeah. It yes. Fun, man. Wow. Yes. You see, my streak <laughs> continues, man. I'm very <laughs> nice at this. What the hell is up with all these what? exceptional people on the dark side of the internet being obsessed with streaks? Dave's got the best streak. You got your good conversation streak. What? You, you see, the thing is, Phil, is like, again, every time I have a guest on the show, I always ask them, was that conversation top tier? And every single one of my conversations have been top tier. They've been S tier. They've been good. So, Bro, I'm... like, what the fuck? This is such a dumbass thing to ask somebody on your own show. Hey, did you like being on my show while while you're still on the show? Yeah, I loved it. Wow, my show is amazing. Keeping the streak going, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. <laughs> this is great. So, I want to talk a little bit, obviously, now more about your career. We have to talk, we have to talk about the fucking editing of this. Hopefully, boys, buckle up. We're going to talk about the bullshit. Just going to put it out there like that. I know, Phil, because at least me and you have a rapport where we can talk about stuff honestly and stuff. And there's, we been, can be there's honest. been a lot of craziness. Oh, yeah. This is the right guy you want to talk about honesty you, with. Over the last, like, what, like uh, two, honest, years? Phil. I want to say. I think he's done playing, uh, though. I'd say about seven. Seven Let's years. Let's him for a second. <laughs> What is he going to say? Don't get squished. I did get squished. Son of a Don't bitch. Get squished. I did everything else, though. So what's going to happen now? Oh, okay. oh, nothing. We keep playing. Okay, fuck this. Let's go back to uh, John James Franco. I was trying to be generous. I was like <laughs> saying, like, yo, you've had a good one so far, but you had a little bit of bullshit. But, like, it's it's been... A little bit wild and, and again i i look at this stuff from a distance <laughs> what is with this photo your career your career what the fuck is this he's a gaming spurg it's not like he's mean joe <laughs> yeah i just want you to know i think i think bro your career is so amazing best ever. wrong 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 you're wrong. Over the years, you know, I, almost as long, like I said in the last episode, as my own career in games media. I mean, I haven't heard of you. Perhaps there's a rabbit hole worth going down one of these days. And so, but I watch, you know, as I'm doing all my other work and such. And there's been some wild stuff with you, like specifically, obviously, with interactions with other content creators, with other streamers, with other people that have been on the YouTube and the Twitch space, you know, for a while. Big ups on saying the same thing three different times. I mean, now at this point, <laughs> now that you've been doing this for a while, has it gotten a little That's bit That's a great conversation. Reasons. It's a top tier conversation. Um, well, let me put it this way. You get to a point where you, for number one, you I've been around the block for so long that I've heard everything. I've had every possible thing said <laughs> about me, thrown everything. against me. Dave, he asked you the question, over the years of Bro, doing this, has the guy easier suffering. to interact with other content creators? I don't think he asked you to cry about the trolls. Like, nothing's new. Point. Exactly. You know, I've had the most ludicrous things that are just completely, utterly, 100% fabricated. He's, he's not based still on like talking about the fucking troll. A single fact. <laughs> Care to give an example, Phil? Or you're just going to keep it vague so you can bitch about it later. Possibly to. Hey, we're done with Kirby. Yeah. Passed around the internet. Oh, yeah, up. we're done with All Kirby. Right. Let's go back to the, the, the raw chill. Whoa, Cracker Jacks just took me a whopping Stop 15 recording. bucks. Thank you, Cracker Whoa, Jacks. Oh, and some 50 Happy more. Birthday, I'm glad that you've had a great Drop day. Thank you so 50. much, Cracker Jacks. 
amazing, outstanding. Thank you guys amazing. so very, 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 very much for all the support today. I am amazed. Thank you, Cracker Jack. I'm actually not. All right. So, we're done Obviously, here. Obviously, the gout man's going to make his money. It's his birthday. It's his special day. It's my cake, and then we're going to cool. eat the cake. And we're gonna have we're gonna have a breakthrough to go get cake. The birthday bash. And please so, be done before I reach 12 hours, because I gotta restart the stream. That's gonna be lame as fuck. I don't wanna have to do that. Be fast, please. Come on. Don't be a massive oh, loser like always. And let's go plug this in over here. Please do this don't for me. Anywhere, don't go anywhere. Okay. All right. Let's listen to some more of this. As if they were. And when you we get to that point. It's like, it just doesn't matter anymore because people are going to be gullible and they're going to believe whatever they want, whether there's facts there to prove it or not. Um, so for me, I just, on a daily basis, say, I'm just going to unplug from that crap and I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm going to do my positive streams. And I'm ESP, stop fucking bitching, boy. All right. Shut up, boy. Let's switch over. Let's switch over. Are we going to eat? Here we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to feast. I think he got the, he got the cake. Meaning I need to have another zoomed in Basically devour cam. Feasting with the king wow, for today. I'm gonna cut it. All right. Let's take a very brief break. I'm just going to run downstairs, get oh, Kate, come right back. Give me a oh, couple minutes you, to cut it. Scumbag. Get ready. Get out, right out of back. here. Okay, guys? Get right. out of here. Get him out of here. Security. Drag him out of here. Mods, get this guy out of my stream. It's nonsense. All right. I'm absolutely sure that people will take it. And he, he even plays fucking music, man. So he's extra annoying. Things that I say and do on a daily basis out of context to make me look bad. And I'm absolutely sure they will create drama. And I'm not about Bro, that. this is a fucking so, you know, priest I'm just going to... Why are you going to give this guy who wants like an exclusive scoop or whatever, just like an interview with you, why would you give him the daily priest stream? Give him something exclusive. I don't know. Tell him your wife cheating on you or something. What about being a dick, boys? This one's for all my baby girls. What up, homie? Big respect to you for the stream. I love to listen while I make music in the studio. <laughs> wow, well, it's Jerul. It's the it's the guy. It's Jerul. I'm a big fan. I I loved Fire Festival. Too bad I couldn't go. Right, but I go. loved it, Jerul. Okay. Big ups, Jerul. What's the most expensive thing you still have in your house? The most expensive Coffee thing maker. I still have in your house is this band that I'm giving you right now because you directly violated what I just said a million times. Wait, what? It's priceless when I get the band a piece of human this shit. This lean-in manual is so valuable. So fuck off and don't come back. Uh, Alva Waffle, are you going to be an incredible dickhead? He says, read the chat more. I'm playing a fucking game that you have to pay attention to 100% of the time, you fucking idiot. If you and suggest I, that again, I... Not only this, but the chat is in the opposite direction of the screen, so he needs to actively look away from the screen. And the best is when he does this while playing racing games, where he just looks away and he just crashes into something because he's straight up not looking at the screen. I will ban you because you're it's being a great an setup. You know that I always engage my chat. I Everything can't do it works. I'm playing a game that's this hard. So shut the fuck up. God, you're shut stupid. The fuck up. <clears throat> Too many fucking idiot trolls in here today. Too many fucking idiot trolls. <laughs> sure. I was going to say, okay. let, me, let me ask you this, because I think it's also important to acknowledge this, too. Did you ever feel like at any point in within the last couple of years? Because, again, even though you said like maybe seven years, but let's just say like the last like three or four years, just to be generous like that. Did you ever feel like a lot of the reaction from the majority of the people out there? And I'm not just talking about just the mindless trolls, because there's always mindless trolls on the Internet and they're always going to be there. There's like nothing anybody can do about them. They're going to be they're going to be what they're going to be. And so but did you ever feel like sometimes, you know, the reactions and just the, the behavior of a lot of the the crowds that feel a certain way about you did you ever feel like maybe you contributed to that in any sort of way like whether, whether it's through your actions like you know what? actively or passively did you contribute to your trolls there's a lot of, there's yes. a lot of people i'm not gonna lie like i've looked at like videos online about you or followed your career there's a lot of people who just straight up don't like you and i'm like damn that's crazy it's not crazy people oh, it are allowed crazy, not bro? to like people especially when that person's a greedy asshole who takes his audience for granted only giving them lip service while holding a piece of plastic yeah, you know, when you've been around as long as I have, you're, 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 obviously you're bound to make mistakes. And, you know, when I started 12 years ago, it was a completely different oh, culture. Yes, come on. When it came Most to people play. shit on him for shit that happens now. And video come game. Because now it's even crazier. What am I going to shit on him for saying Chicky Chang Wang in 2005? On the internet and, and, and YouTube. That's a little bit worn out. People shit on him for it back in the day. Now it's done. Because you know, back then live streaming was unheard of yeah, um it was kind of like the wild west it was like anything goes do whatever west. you want and get away with it so whether it was over the top 
uh, sexualized humor about stuff going on in video games that I would use in my commentary, or whether it was very, He's still very not back, edgy by the way. things could drop regarding under 300 race and views. stuff like that. For, for the ceremony I of did. eating of the I'm, cake. And he's still not here. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect Legit. it. Big ups not for the here. sub, Zucaras one. Big ups for the sub, Zucaras one. Not gonna, you know, the thing is, I've published all my content. I never Thanks have taken lurking. a single piece of content and hid it behind something to pretend like it didn't happen. Uh, it's all public what? out there. Everyone knows what I've said and done over the years. And there's one of the reasons why people make fun of Phil. Because he chose to upload everything. Yeah. He chose to monetize everything. Yeah. That means he can handle a little bit of criticism. But... I've definitely over the last 12 years matured. I would say the last, since I became a full-time streamer about three and three and a half years ago. So around the time the soul maid moved in. I kind of sat myself down and I said, if I'm really going to continue to be some kind of a, a content creator, I need to, to change things up. I can't just keep doing the same stuff I did. It, it, times have changed. Cultures changed. Bro, and I've changed. Didn't change exactly. anything. He's just more like sanitized nowadays. You're just afraid of like sexual stuff and he doesn't like say anything else he just makes shit jokes all the time and like scat i've matured i've evolved i've I matured here of course about... you're gonna mature you're like 40. of course you're gonna mature since the time you were like what 30. i mean 30 you should have still been mature and not making chicky chang wang jokes and and hello jew jokes oh anime girls on my stream all day yeah boys come on phil doesn't want to talk about anime girls he wants to talk about shitty dicks shitty dicks oh shitty dicks shitty dicks and liquid uh turds or whatever it was i don't want to sit here you know making these comments that are just going to get people all riled up i just want to enjoy games and be myself then it's one hell of a tragedy that you kind of suck you're an unentertaining boomer dead airing his way through twitch whenever you open your mouth you look like a giant asshole or a stupid cunt or or you make yourself out to be the biggest cuck in gaming moral of the story yourself sucks have fun and do that kind of more laid back commentary and have a more social interaction with my viewers rather than having oh, to social. fill dead air on youtube with constant blabbing about stupid stuff which is what i used to do quite frankly so now there's a bunch right. of dead air dead and air him filling the dead air with the begging oh, and this was wrong my looking at girls. chat my mom vaguely. i mean cat made me a cake i'm now going to eat it and Yo, chew like it's made of cardboard mukbang it's not bang <laughs> because for letting me know in advance what you're about to do on your stream so i'm gonna pay attention a thousand percent thank you uh dsp gaming for the doll so i admittedly there's been so many things i've said and done over the years that i know have urged people in the wrong way whether it was oh there we go we're we're here for the main course actually the dessert i the 40th birthday bash the cake okay and oh my god he's gonna tweet out now do you not have a phone are you for real and now we're gonna count tips oh this is gross this is gross. I don't even have the in hand the camera cake yet. Portion, so. The cake portion. Okay, now we gotta rename the stream. We gotta up, tweet it out. Come on, DSP. It's You're not this much of a production. Just the devour this fucking cake so I can go to bed already. Birthday. Come on. For my big Let's not go over 12 hours. We gotta restart the stream for a couple of bites Marathon of fucking cake. Stream. Okay. The birth. Day I wish cake. I could motion track the camera. Thanks to all awesome. who chilled with me all day. Here this we This is the live tweeting cam. This is the, the tweet is, cam. I have birthday candles I bought. I forgot them and I'm not going to go downstairs and get them and put them on the fucking cake now. We're just going to do it. It's so late and I got to get after. Just to give you some perspective. I got to eat this cake, finish, you know, chill with you guys for a little bit longer. Upload all those videos. Do all the schedule. Wait, let's not chill a bit longer. Take the trash out. Cut up the cake. Put it into containers because we need the container for cooking oh tomorrow for dinner. God. Then oh I'm my shower. god. Then the it's, most then it's difficult like life. Midnight. The most difficult so, life. Yeah. When I don't care about the birthday candles. I bought them. I guess I'm not using oh, them. Oh, he's not 40. even putting 40. the I'll fucking candles. Them. 40 again. Oh well. Bro, come on. Not even <laughs> fucking candles. Oh well. That's the way it goes, I guess. What a loser All segment. Right. Oh my god, so not even gentlemen, candles. He said no he had candles. He's just too lazy. He says, I think I forgot to say in my earlier tips, happy birthday. Thank you, Pinocchio, for that. I appreciate it. And Welcome. the 700 Club tips me $8 and says, I'm sure we were over $700 at the various cents, but here's to make it official. 700 likes, $700 in tips. Happy birthday. 
Here's bro, that's like amazing. With that tip, we're at $701 in tips, my friends. And indeed, we topped 700 likes. Holy shit. That's definitely the most I've ever had. I Whoa. probably have 700 likes on a stream. So again. many likes. It's your See, fucking birthday, year. asshole. Seriously. It's your birthday. Okay. Of course, you're going to get a bunch of fucking ready? likes and go. a bunch of fucking money. Mm. Your DSP. Why are we so right, surprised right now? After. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been nine, waiting for. Actually, more than nine hours of streaming today, playing four different games, feasting Bro, with the king. This stream was trash. What are we talking about? It is get time for the here. finale of my 40th birthday bash. and uh, I almost said anniversary. <laughs> my 40th birthday bash marathon event. Marathon. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... Hold what on. Is it? That's not supposed Bad to be cake? The birthday cake. Wow. This looks all right, I guess. I mean, I would thick, devour it right rich, now. Deep chocolate cake. All right. With I would, chocolate I would totally semi sweet consume morsels this. in the cake. With a peanut butter frosting and peanut butter cups on top. All handmade by my wife. Nothing, no mixed store bought. The frosting's not store bought. Awesome she made it all by hand. Imagine now it's it's terrible. It's also He's not gonna say it's terrible. I've ever eaten. I'm probably not finishing this. Yeah, you don't eat all of it. Come on, we got places right. to be. Let's clock Here out real quick. To 40 years on this planet, some of which were good. Mmm. <laughs> mm. The cake is very sweet. Mm, it's very sweet. The semi sweet chocolate. Oh, yeah. He fucking loves this cake. Oh, yeah. No, this cake isn't good. He doesn't like this cake. No, no, no. Mm, oh, the, the frosting. He doesn't like this fucking the cake, bro. Might actually, be the best part. Let me try some of the frosting with a peanut butter cup. Because the too. shit that he likes, he gives like a mega cringe mode reaction. Mm. And this is just like underwhelming. I guess wow. I don't fucking mm. care. It's a stupid ass cake. Kevin Keys, give me five dollars. He says, "Happy birthday, Phil." Here's to many, many more. Thank you so much, Kevin Keys. For the tip, I really appreciate it, man. This is absolutely delicious. Really Eat good. Some more. Mm. Oh yeah, you look like you're enjoying it. Really, mm, it's amazing. Seriously, so I like chocolate. But man, the peanut butter frosting is good. The peanut butter frosting is outstanding. Wow. Juicy, robust, and flavorful. Jade is singing happy birthday in text in the stream chat. Thank you, Jade. Oh, yeah, don't do that. That's cringe. I do not have a glass of milk. I just have water with me. Wow. Mmm, mm, this cake is so good, you guys. Oh, it's so good. This cake is so mm. good. Mmm. Mmm. It is amazing. Mmm. Mmm. My God, that's good. <laughs> Maybe it's awesome. Big ups to oh, Cat for making so a, a badass cake. It's not too thin. What? It's not too thin. It's just right. And it tastes amazingly like peanut butter. Nice. You should make me that cake too when I'm clapping those cheeks. The mic noise gate is blocking the cake. Your like mic do doesn't have a noise gate, DSP. You don't have a noise <laughs> gate. We can hear everything. You don't have a noise gate. Fucking noise gate. What? There we go. The fucking cringe reactions, man. Like I'm watching a five-year-old. We have a cake haiku from DC. Oh Those no. Peanut butter cake sounds so delicious. It is a peanut dream. Oh, wow. Cake haiku. Peanut cringe. Did I ever think when I turned 40, I would be eating delicious homemade peanut butter chocolate cake made by my wife. Why wouldn't you think two this? helium balloons with an audience of hundreds across well, the world. okay. This you wouldn't think. Getting is this embarrassing. A peanut butter cake haiku from a viewer. No. Yeah, this because uh, you wouldn't think this because this shit autistic, bro. Would I think I would be a lol cow? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it's a positive, I guess. Wow. You like a bunch of people laughing at you. Mm. 
But he's raking in the money today, so it doesn't give a shit, so it doesn't matter. Life is good, life is great. Subscribe and donate. Yum. Oh. Do I remember what we did yesterday to do this? Yeah, this had a lot of ingredients. Baking soda, baking powder. Oh, baking soda. Um, flour, powdered sugar, chocolate morsels, eggs, milk. Um, like sugar. What, what more? Flour? A lot of, whipping it all together, you know, okay. for, the, for the frosting. What else? It's crazy. Okay. Good cake takes a long time, but it's worth it, my friends. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yo, uh, Review Tech nice? USA didn't didn't over. drop any money on DSP today. Mm. Apparently, I think there was no Review Tech USA today. Yummy. Yeah. You guys say today was a good stream. All right, let me ask uh, you guys. Today was ass, DSP. I'm eating. Honestly, today was ass. What was everyone's favorite part of today's stream? Um, Out of everything we did, nothing. Games, the podcast, the feasting with the king. What was your favorite? Part it was of all kind of bad. The podcast was kind of mediocre, even for his the, standards. Always, you guys ask me questions. I'm gonna ask you now. Um, nothing much. Really, just like fucking around. He played a bunch of so games that he's playing game. anyways. I agree. It was boring. Um, was the the feasting today. was whatever. Feasting was whatever. It's it's a feasting. feasting the king the like all the like, shit with the DSP, he does it once. It. You know what it's gonna be all the time. It's the same shit all the time. In my face. So it's not really yeah. anything special. And what is his chat Zelda saying? Ring, Kirby, Best feasting Kate, ever. Cool people in the chat. The feasting and Skyrim. Wow, they love it so much. Redemption Games says the games like Skyrim and Kirby. Chill as fuck. And also the Skyrim ignored super hype. chats. So here's the thing. Squeeze here's banana thing. in his chat. Still up being a, a dare. A lot of people give me crap saying, you're just going to be playing the same games today. But how many people enjoyed those games? And we finished Ghostwire Tokyo and we can move on. I yeah, DSP, that shit was trash. Thank God you finished it. Right? So now we're on the new stuff. We don't have to worry about going back to Ghostwire. Kaseo, that's sad. He says, I wasn't here for most of the stream. I can't answer the question. Well, oh, you, you can't, can't watch on question. demand. Now's your favorite part because you weren't here for the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Skyrim wasn't very long. Skyrim, we started a new... Uh, cr uh, community content quest line. One where apparently is Oblivion Gates. Yeah. Mm. Bro, enough of this. End the fucking stream already. Is he gonna do like a QA and some shit for like 45 minutes? Devin sadly had to work for most of today, but liked Kirby at the end. What's up, Ooh, Devin? Seven? Good to see Oh, you. Devin. Or Kevin. I don't know. This is a weird Carlos remix. Says, what the fuck is happening in this song? It, it started out with a happy birthday awesome. song, and now it's completely spiraled into you madness. You. It, listen, as much as me being here, being dedicated to what I do, you know, is one thing. You guys being here and supporting it and enjoying it and interacting with me, you're just as important, if not more. Yeah, What's it is the more. Because they pay your bills, cares? bitch ass. You guys are here, man, and I love They are way more important. You guys important. are supporting, really. You are actually and absolutely the nothing do, without so them. Different ways that people support which is very scary for a person. As different as it is to be this dependent people, on right? random people on the internet. They you know are way more about? important than he is. Here's what I'm happy about. What are we happy about? Today we had a lot of fun. Played a lot of games. There Made a lot of money. Stuff. I didn't have to advertise one possible thing. There was no plugs, right? It was the your birthday, DSP. I was already taking a break. I would click run it out. You know what I mean? It was your birthday. It wasn't, oh, I'm doing a stream, but here, here's 400 breaks. Buy this uh, product, this do this shit. Sounds getting annoying. I love that I don't have to do that. I can make a living and not have to fucking do that. No, That's you didn't so have to do than, that you know, today, oh, DSP. It sounds like I'm watching a TV special. It's advertisements the whole time. What? You know? I'm very happy about that. Bro, it's your Thank birthday you today. Of course you're not going to have to beg. This is not going to be every day. He's gonna be begging yeah, like in the next two days. Success today, absolutely. Oh, of course, it's a big success. Really oh my god, yeah, it's gonna go way over his head. Mm -hmm. 
It's like, it's gonna be like the viral tweet. He's gonna be expecting days to be like this now. Hobo X, Man, no my idea. birthday was great, Hobo so X, every day is gonna be great, right? Get into Skyrim for the anniversary edition. I don't know what the process was that I got approved and put in there, and I have no clue. Insomniatic Me. Tip me $10. Said happy freaking birthday. Wishing you the best. Thank you, Insomniatic Me, for the tip. It's still it not goes. over. Good Lord, my God. My friends. And by Why the way, not? reminder, since we are adjourning soon, once I finish this cake, uh, we're now back to regularly scheduled streams. Freeze? We're going back to okay. normality. All right? Double streams every day. Now, I don't know. Okay. I, was, I didn't even check my emails today. So I, I guess this is going to be it. Uh, no, this stream is not over tonight. yet, but... But after this segment, he's basically done. Basically, what I'm just waiting on now is, pretty dope. is data or feedback from my tax honest. guy on whether or not he needs me to do any additional work or anything with the stuff that I submitted to him back on Monday. Uh, uh, excuse me. Yo. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's um, fucking disgusting, DSP. It is fucking disgusting. It is fucking week, disgusting. What the hell? Okay, I reviewed all your information. What is this? this? This, 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 this. And if that's the case, I'll let you know. I'll let you know, but for now... Bro, why would I give a shit stream. about your fucking tax guy? I'll let you know. Every day, tomorrow, Elden Ring Kirby, okay? Friday, new game release that's either going to be WWE 2K22 uh, or the new Lego uh, Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. No, I'm sorry, you guys. I know this is fights. disgusting, but let me proceed to do it every single time. Yes, Friday Night Fights returns. I know it's disgusting. I'm just a guy. Chill night stuff, including Skyrim gamer. coming back on Saturday. Which means I'm disgusting. Okay. Also, I'm Italian, sorry, which I guess means I'm disgusting. Pokemon says, don't take this the wrong way, but I think you're pretty Also, I'm 40 now. Listen, listen, I mean this. I don't mind that you're saying that at all. In fact, I'm happy and I welcome it. And here's why. Because I told you guys, I know I will not be able to do gameplay forever. I'm getting older and I'm going to get carpal oh, tunnel. Yeah. I know I am. Oh, I'm yeah. going to get it. I already have I'm signs gonna get that it. things going on. It's like the plague. It's going to happen. Because I've been doing this now for 13, 14 years. You know, it can't last forever. I'm going to get older. My hand-eye coordination is going to die out. It's just inevitable. It's not sad. It's inevitable. All right? It I is like sad, I though. Do. I want to keep doing this. I want to do streams that maybe don't have to be <laughs> gameplay-centric all the time. There should still be gameplay. Absolutely, I want to do that. That's my core focus. But outside of that, I absolutely... This does look pretty yellow, absolutely yeah. Absolutely want to be putting or out that. stuff that you guys can watch. If I can't play games Basically. like I do today... Whether it's uh, a podcast, it's whether it's a show where we talk about other kinds of things besides me, maybe news, maybe, you know, who knows what it'll be. The, the sky's the limit. But the thing is, you guys have been showing me it's that you still enjoy like bland as fuck, bro. Me. I don't know what to do about Even it. Even though games are the focus now, it's, never it's cool that I can diversify later this on. This is because we're all fucking and I really like it. Thank you. That's like, I'm, I'm happy you said that, Pokemon, because the more people like you are liking the other style of content that's not just gameplay, the better. It will help in the long term. Oh, yeah, in the long term. There's no Ooh, long excuse. term for you, DSP. Right, you already got this. like 200 This is too much. Years. I'm going to have another couple bites, but I think I'm done, man. I can't eat anymore. Oh, don't so have much. anything more. Let's just close it off. Right? Close off the stream. Come on. Stay, everybody. Thanks for being pay pigs and go home. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Homo Rock says you could just do gameplay wherever when you get older. Uh, here it's 5.36 a.m. right now. But why can't I? Because they don't retain an audience and they don't retain viewership and they don't retain support. You don't retain an audience, DS, no, because older, this is your JRPG fucking JRPG content. Look at how disgusting like, right? this is. <laughs> Look at the disgust. Look at this. All right. DC Look. With the, uh, uh, Grease. Haiku. Grease. Hope and a fucking haiku. And fun fill and happy 40 years. Thank you, DC. Oh, wow. yeah. This is fucking depressing, DSP. You better get over that denial Jay, and, like, and go into the rest of the midlife crisis. Like this shit's going to kill you. Glad to hear it. He's going to be in denial until okay. he dies. No, I'm not dying. You're fucking making up conspiracies about Ray me. I'm not dying. And, he and then Google he's going to die. It pulls data from Google accounts. A lot of kids lie about their age being 18 plus when signing up. You yes. do realize I'm the one who talked about that years ago, right? Yes. It wasn't years ago. I said that. It was actually oh, right. the said, last year. Well, who in their right mind would register for a Google account and say that you're like 14? Like, but what's your point? Because Your is point you is that it. you're flexing with stats. Negative spin to this. That's why you're bringing it up. The negative spin, you dipshit. The point is that you told people to lie about their age. And you're flexing about your viewers having a high age. Right? This is the point. Nobody cares. Nobody Thanks fucking cares. Okay. Yeah, you know. What a scumbag. What the mildest confrontation, pointing out an inconsistency. Man, nobody cares. Get the fuck out of here. 
the most positive dude, guy on dude, the internet. Many games in February and March. That was. And today he has no excuses to be fucking toxic. He got seven hundred dollars. In, in gaming, seriously, he got over a thousand dollars in total. Yeah, I mean, the super chats he doesn't fucking count because they don't count in the short term. That are over like five hundred dollars. He's still being toxic. So maybe next year it'll be different. I guess we'll see. Actually, spread the releases out instead of all the games in three weeks. Oh, and he's still eating. Oh, I can't even eat anymore. Yeah, don't. I love it. But I can't eat anymore. I'm full. I ate too much. Because <laughs> big ups cat for the great cake. This is what happens. You ate too much. Shit. My favorite part of the cake is the frosting. Derek is asking me what's my favorite part of the cake. The cake is good. It's a semi-sweet chocolate. Tastes good. But this homemade frosting is insane. Mm. I can't eat no more. I can't do it. Oh, Look how much I, I, I can't take this shit no thing. more, man. I shouldn't even eat half of that. Oh, All right, then don't. Okay. Hobo X, no, there will be no fit streams. Listen, okay. I'm gonna try to clarify. This will be a good a good topic to talk about to end today's birthday stream. All right, okay? let's clarify this. Talk, Please I'm, don't I'm make it 40, 40 minutes I am long. I'm officially 40 years old. All right, if you would ask me, <clears throat> out of all the lessons that I have learned in my last 14, yes, now it's been 14 years of my life, I've been putting content on the internet. All right? None of those Lord lessons of matter. You're on rock bottom, DSP. Rock bottom. You're a lol cow. None of those lessons matter. The two big They're worthless. Biggest lessons that I the two biggest lessons. Don't jerk off on camera and don't spend your money on credit cards and bullshit. Two biggest lessons. Number one, don't react to things in a really defensive, poor manner. All right, Learn to no. laugh with things. Because no, you've if never I do this. Ninety percent of the stuff that happened to me over the years, instead oh, yeah. of being very kind of stubborn. Did he laugh when people called you about Kirby? And obstinate and, and very very uh confrontational about oh, it. Oh yeah. In my early days as a YouTuber, you know, those first few years where I was. Oh yeah, I love this. I really this is don't a great feel excuse. I would have a quarter of the hate that I have against me on the internet. It was not at all. Oh dude. look, we can make fun of Phil and piss him off in the process and get overdoing it. Ha ha, let's do it. Right. That's number one. But you don't follow your own stupid ass advice, DSP. You don't follow it. It's the biggest piece of advice that I can give anyone who's a content what? creator. Don't mix your entire personal life with what oh, you there put we on go. the internet. Don't make your life right a reality now. show. All right. I had a great day yesterday with my wife. That was private. We did many things that I'm not going to tell you about. All right. And it's okay, no. You don't have to. And that's it's not truth. having a nice private life is a great thing. It really is to not tell you every little aspect of every little thing that I've done. Oh, Phil's gonna get physically fit, he said. He says he's thinking about doing that, maybe working out in, in, in this year. Oh, are you gonna stream that, right? You're gonna record that, you're gonna stream that? No. It's no, none you of don't have to. It really has nothing to do with you. Okay. You are here for entertainment, with gaming, with me talking with you. Exactly, what about you your taxes, job. DSP? My job is not to share What about your bills, DSP? You. When I used to do that, it backfired. Oh yeah, Three it did. Freaking mendacity. Yeah, it did. It made so many people on the internet feel like now they were entitled to every little piece of my life, and every possible thing could be spun into drama and negativity and stupidity. What about the bills, the though? I still hear I about the bills every day. Absolutely sharing. Every day. Every piece of my he life. Doesn't even follow his own fucking advice. We gotta listen to his stories about his bankruptcy and his taxes and his bills. But now he's learned so much. With people on the internet, whether they were fans or haters, when everyone knew everything, that was a bad idea. All right? No, there's not going to be a fitness journey of Phil where every day I make a monetized video or stream about me working out. Fuck that. That is something. If I want to work out, I'll do it behind the scenes. You'll see the results on streams over time. I'm not going to be sitting here showing you doing it a lot. It's ridiculous. That's ludicrous. Okay? It just it's is. ludicrous. Um... But again, that's not actually. That's it, it's something that I learned. Yeah, he's not. He's it's never not gonna work out. Think, he can't work oh, out. I'm gonna do. I've actually heard people do streams where they edit their videos. I'm yeah. Gonna edit a video that's today, great. So I'm stream that. Yeah. What? Just but, edit the video. Get it done. What? <laughs> Why know? not? 
Uh, oh, I'm going to edit my workout or stream my workout. I'm going to do yeah, this. Yeah, why not? No. That's no, great. You have to draw the line. You absolutely have to draw the you line. You have to draw the line. To have a private life and a public life if you're a content creator on the internet. Uh, you don't draw the line. Dude. And it's that simple. I'm not going to be doing that kind of stuff on camera, sharing it with he you. Wants you to want to hear a little bit about the journey. Oh, give guess. you the responsibility and beg for money, but then not tell you where it goes. Well, you can't have your cake and eat it too, DSP, as you just saw as you ate your cake. What I've been working out and now I lost. This is the shittiest fucking lesson. So wait here. That's something to just the chat about on my podcast. That's that can not watch a three-minute video telling me this shit and then click away and dislike like it probably. I know there's many content creators out there that have done stuff like that. You're not going to get that. No. No. That's not who I am. That's not what I'm putting out there. Again. Uh, that's the, who the you are. Yeah. Behind the scenes that you is, put out there so much. What I'm doing, the better. You do a Why daily podcast. Nothing. You do a podcast with the segment My Day Off. My Day Off. This is a personal life segment. Thing to do with gaming, with me putting out an entertaining stream for you guys, it doesn't make any sense, okay? <laughs> Trust me, I have more than enough stalkers out there doing messed up stuff. So. Enough stalkers um, and lurkers. Uh, let's see here. I got a super chat. I'm lurking mm -hmm. and I'm stalking when you least expect it. It was actually Tartarian Truth earlier who said happy 40th birthday. I don't know if I shouted out. Thank you, Tartarian Truth. I apologize if I didn't do it in a timely manner. ASM33 did a super chat saying, are you excited for Marvel Spider-Man 2? Yes. I hope it's great. I hope it's as good as the first one. I don't think we have any, any concrete data about it yet, right? <clears throat> um, but I am excited for it. And I hope that it turns out to be a great game just like the first game. Uh, I received a tip from Anonymous. Okay. $1.50 tip. What's worse, kids are putting all their entire lives and personal pictures all over Twitter and Instagram. No worrying about repercussions. They have no idea how much they're screwing up their life. Listen, it's true. And the, the thing is, their parents are so dumb and ignorant. They don't realize... Okay, what about your parents? Them. I'm not even kidding. Your parents you. I worked at my don't even job, know half the shit you've done. Job. ESP. I didn't use Facebook. Oh my God, helicopter All job. my coworkers did. They pressured me into trying to use Facebook. And when I went on there, I would go on there. One of my coworkers who was supposed to be my mentor teaching me the job. She's a middle-aged uh, single mother. I think she was in her, I want to say her like late 40s, something like that. And I go on her her fucking Facebook page. It's her at the club with her friends drinking. Okay. It's her showing where she works. It's her showing everywhere she hangs out. Okay. Here's a picture of my kid. Here's where he goes to school. Okay. Here's the, I was like... But bro, these people, they don't piss anybody off. They just live their lives and do their thing and go to their clubs and have fun. They don't fucking jerk off on the internet, create a bunch of internet beef, and make their life to be only drama. That's why they don't fucking worry about all this shit. Because they're being normal people. And normal people don't have to worry about shit like that. What if someone doesn't like you? Right? But they're not gonna go out and stalk you and kill you. This is not how the world works, DSP. And I know that's... What a, that's, a fucking alien. What if someone doesn't like you? It's a, a, a fringe thought that a lot of people don't worry about. But what if... Yeah, because they're normal, DSP. You are not normal. Someone out there gets a bug up their ass about you. What if someone decides that you wronged them at work or somewhere, and now all of a sudden well, they say, "Guess we, what? We're going I have to the gulag. We're facing life off in front of me. I know where you go. I know what you do for fun. What you do for work. Where you fucking sleep. I know everything about you. And they could harass you and they could fuck with you because you put that information out there. You know, it's like, geez." I could. I, I looked at that stuff. How much they shared geotagged okay. photos, geotagged. Didn't even think. Oh, it's a bad idea to show you where I hang out every Friday oh, night at a bar, like right? The but anyway, fuck? mega paranoid it's segment. It's you know, it's I, the paranoid boomer segment, and this is so fucking funny because this is his fortieth birthday bash, and we're having a boomer paranoia segment about technology. How much people have shared? Man, people share so much control. information. The guy who shared his entire fucking life out there. His girlfriend had a mental breakdown and he shared it. And, and made a massive drama out of it. They, then, they, then they get harassed for it, you know? Then they get harassed. Do they get harassed though? Do they? Here. They come to a stream and they, they're, you know, very supportive oh, of my here. stream. They're a positive person. Yeah, maybe they're they retards in real life. Have you thought about this? Eyes that they have maybe they wear fucking diapers, and they're maybe they're pedophiles. Maybe, maybe. All this stuff on the internet, and then someone goes and harasses them and stuff. Because there's plenty of proof about that. It's like, geez, it's fucked up. 
But that's it's just un it's unsafe to have your especially your kid and your kids unsafe. involved in it. Mr. Paranoia. You don't have kids. Not you don't man. know what safety of kids Ooh, is. Me. You can't even take care of yourself. No, I did not hear Rockstar was making Max Payne, Max Payne 2 for PS5. I was here today on stream all day. Yeah, somebody told you. Someone, I saw it actually, literally in your chat. Someone did say that earlier today. Yeah, somebody said it. Come back. Derek, you have a good night, man. Thanks yeah, for showing fuck off, today. Derek. Go away. Carlos Stop taking over chat. And Carlos, go away. As I said, in this household, Fucking Carlos. it's not about this material guy is so annoying. at all. I had a great day with my wife yesterday. I had a good day with you guys today. I just had cake that it was amazing last night. This is a great birthday that will be memorable. This 40th birthday will be very memorable oh, for memorable. me forward. I didn't ask for any presents. I wasn't expecting Lord have any presents. I didn't get any for this present. When you care. make an honest living, anything. you don't I, have to be so I secretive, dude. My wife was more important to me than anything that Yeah, that's, I that's the whole not. thing. Those people, they put their life out there as much as they want to because they're not concerned about it because they don't really like wrong people like this. So. But for DSP, it's like because since he thinks that everybody just instantly somehow turns on him and then it hates his guts that this is how everybody works but i know it's hard for some people to understand that because he's, he's too narcissistic to actually understand why people hate him when you when you maybe don't have that it's hard to understand that the time you have what are we talking those about you love is more important than just getting a gift i don't what do i need i don't need anything i got clothes i got food i got you know what i mean i got everything i need here in my house Bro, you're addicted to time. mobile games, bro. What do you time. mean I got all I'll I got? Extra day a week. I got all I, I can't want. Do that right now. Maybe eventually. <laughs> Maybe eventually. Okay. Get it out of here. End it. Yes, I'm aware House of the Dead remake is coming out. We talked about it today on the marathon. We did. Bro, you're obviously clearly checked out at this point. And you're not interested. What are you waiting for? Are we waiting for money? Ugh. <sighs> Dave what Baxter, is this guy doing? My biggest mistake during my entire career on YouTube answering this question right now. It was a big mistake. Off. Time. <laughs> DC says, I remember the strawberry chocolate banana cake from last year. It looked Bro. delicious. How did you like it? It was okay. The Why cake is had a banana flavor to it. Answering this and the okay. strawberry frosting was okay. This is much better. I like peanut butter way more than that. So. <clears throat> okay. All right, I think that's enough. This is nonsense. Yeah, I'm that's enough. People, yeah. <laughs> enough of this. All right, guys, everyone. Sincerely, from me to you, thank you for a great birthday bash. It was a great marathon stream. We got a lot done. And okay. get fucked, DSP. Thank you, everyone, for showing up and turning up and getting lit to what is almost 12 hours. As much as Susan allows, I measured it perfectly. And now we get to close this off, and I'm going to be off writing timestamps sleeping lurking stalking and uh, not expecting and we're gonna listen to my own fucking music okay all right and we're gonna listen to gotcha let's go and then after I that i'm closing this last year i'll okay. say it again i actually do play some mobile games i do all right, the Big ups, everybody. It's the morning here. Sun is coming up. It's 5.51 a.m. And uh, this one's for all my baby girls. Big ups, everybody. I love it. Gotcha. 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 Begging for fucking tips and shit on street dance. WWE champions. I'm, I'm stupid. WWE game plays like Candy Crush. Moving gems around. around. Breaking, breaking color, color gems. It. Again, it's pay to win. The more money you sink into it, the more characters you can summon, the higher chance you'll get the better characters, etc. etc. Alright. Got me that gotcha. I love it. Got me that gotcha. Gotcha. Begging for fucking tips and shots. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got me that gotcha. Gotcha. Thanks for the money. Shout out to Buddy Throat. Shout out to your buddy. That was you, a good YouTube, game I played like you, you, five, YouTube, six years YouTube, ago. A YouTube, 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 YouTube. I played it pretty hardcore. All right, even at that point, that was before everything kind of fell apart with YouTube and everything. I was putting a little bit of money into it. I was playing for the top cards. I was playing the shit out of that game. Okay. After about a year, they launched what they called season. All right, two. big ups everybody. Clock out. Go home and take care. All right. Bye.